it's you know. starting to go through the tubes the, oh the my underwater God. tubes down and below the, <laughs> the, the, the water down and uh, that's how the coronavirus travels from continent what, to continent the it's the internet tubes. tubes yep it's like alien. oh yeah why because why would i get quality options on the actual stream well here's the question though how did they lay down those tubes in the first place well, conspiracy man i'm telling you you see that going out of you <laughs> I get, well, but but really, like I feel like the the actual explanation is that they just had a ship and they built the wire on the ship and then just drop it to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, I'm not sure. That must have been quite a project. I'm I'm curious well, to see. Let's see. Uh... How did they build the internet tubes? How did they build the internet tubes? They did not. The question for the ages. How oh my God! South Park went live as well just oh, now. Boy. Right there, I think. What's he streaming? South podcast? Uh, sp no, it's Spooderman New Game Plus. Spuntermunden. Spidermannen. Spinnenmann. Spindemando. Spinnenmann 9. Wow, There's a really helpful graph on the New York Times where they just show <laughs> per year where all of the internet tubes got laid. Whoa. Oh. Um, and um, that's funny because um, oh, that Amazon. Facebook, Google, and Microsoft own a bunch of these new cables. Okay, 750,000 miles of cable. Uh, a 456 foot ship is like making. Okay, nah, this is too confusing for me to understand. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know what ships are. It's too complicated. Yeah. So, are we all live? Is... Yes. Uh, oh, excellent. I'm I'm still waiting for your stream to pop up on my end, to be honest. Yeah, let me oh, let me wow, have okay. refresh. There it is. I see cool you. Enough. There it is. I got it. There she is. Oh, it's on the left on the subscriptions, oh, but not the actual thing. All right, so let me get this this linkage. And put go. it in the thing. All right. Where's my my Langoonie. So complicated. It, it feels like a throwback to when we used to stream on Twitch 24-7, <clears throat> Mel. I still do that, though. Oh, what a loser. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, nine. The world has moved on nine. without you. Did it, though? Maybe. No. Yeah, I know. No quality yeah, options. Really Blame Twitch. Like nothing I can fucking do about it. <laughs> Unless I go fucking... Is Unless it I not go worth in the morning. restarting for this one since it'll be a long man? It's not going to do anything. At this time of the day, I, I, I oh. started trying it five times and nothing happened. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh. And then people just get spammed with notifications like, Fuck me, you fucking piece of shit. Okay, so... <laughs> so, my previous profile names, I'm going to have to get rid of one. I guess chat can vote on which one gets killed. We got a uh, Fleepoom. Glorm, obviously. Mr. Grimbley, Humphronic, Fred, Glump Senior, but there is no Glump here, so I don't know where his son is. Go Google Moose, Flume, <laughs> Renford Newpeen, which was a recent addition, and Goggle Piss. I feel like Fred oh. must be, uh, I think Fred's gonna be sacrificed. Yeah. All right. I feel like, yeah, Fred is. Oh, How okay. exciting. All right, so everyone, make your peoples, I suppose. That's what we're doing now. All right, well, I'm going for for my my dudes now here. Uh, hang on, no, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Uh, load game. Who we got here? Uh, we got Flumpus, uh, Myrtle, Primbus, Magnetism, uh, Durm Grump. I like yeah, that. Yeah, Magnetism. Yeah, uh, Durm Grump. Yeah, I, I like that name. It's really, it's just, it's just really attractive. Yeah. Oh, nice one. And flisms. Not as many, many good ones, and I don't need to get rid of one. So. Yeah. Oh yes, pale blood. Fucking racist. Uh, and the name I already. I'll keep an uh, eye on chat. If there are any questions your way that I manage to see, I will ask them while you are devoting 100% of your mental energy towards your bloodborne speed racer. Speed yeah. racing. You know, uh, <laughs> so my character's gonna be called Dangle Flumes the third. If we can actually, oh, the second like, because I'm I'm missing one. Character, this is the so uh, fourth again. iteration of EFAP that has had us responding to the uh, the remainder of the EFAP 103 super chats. 
So <laughs> whoever sent one during that has had to probably go through all four to make sure they caught the question. But I mean, <laughs> that's how it... You could probably, you know, vaguely aim it as if you knew you were a late one. You can go for part four, you know? Um, so I'm being asked who will die first. I'm going to guess Fringy will die first because damn. I think Mahler and Metal have probably just played uh, more. There we go. My internet just pooped, so hopefully that didn't happen again. No. No, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe they meant whose internet will die first, in which as, case. As for who will die you know. first in this game, it's probably me. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I figured you played the least amount, so it was more likely I have, that yeah. you would. Uh... So, I mean, these guys have got, what, like 10 saves? I've got, like, none. The, um, I guess all it's worth mentioning is there are no rules except don't do summons, and I guess once we. You know, this may, this may be session one of two, you know? We're gonna race to the end of the game, but we're probably not gonna do one because that's gonna take really long, so... Yeah. Um, in... Okay, so end of the game. Not not all bosses. Um, yes, everyone's job is to get to particular places, so if there yeah, is that makes the second part, you can all start from the same position. With all bosses, the only problem is just that I'm not... I can't remember how to get to all of the bosses, you know? Yeah, yeah. Some of them are secret and all that. Uh... So I guess... I feel like, get right to the end, right? That's, that's Well, the, complete that the end of Bloodborne the game and do, uh, and kill Orphan of course. Those are the two goals, I guess. Because that takes you through okay. basically everything. Orphan? Well, that's yeah. basically all the bosses except oh, two. <laughs> Orphan of <Kos laughs> or three. Well, I don't know what the other one... Maybe we'll do that as a bonus, Mel. God, he's such a nitpicker. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. Nitpicking. Well, yeah, I mean, we're all, we are all known no. for nitpicking. So no... No summons, because that's we got ourselves, not Chad. Uh, trucks can standoff. So, yeah. also, we're all no. offline. This yes. You can't in invade us or something. I don't even know if that's a thing in this game. I never played this online, because I'm not pay paying for to play online. And then, um, yeah, and, and everyone's going... I think we're all going to choose Lone Survivor as the base. But from there, you can do whatever yeah. you... To be honest with you, you can choose wherever you want. Um, I don't know why. We, we would make it so you can't, if it's just a race, you know? Oh, okay. Choose uh, whatever yeah. loadout you have a preference for. Okay. Yeah, this is about speed, so strategize appropriately. Arcane build, here we go. No, I don't even know how to do, what how to do this anymore. <laughs> Arcane, Arcane build gets pretty pretty sick in the end, but in the beginning I think it's pretty pretty floppy. Well, I'm gonna go for one survivor. Whichever one gives me more health. All right. We, um... Should we all sync on hitting finish? Uh, sure. Right. Hold on. Oh, I think I it, it to... gives you a prop. A prop. So, uh, sync on hitting yes to finalize contract. That's what we'll sync on. Uh, also, we. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. I don't care so how I look. Finish. <laughs> Let me just. Yeah, yeah, same. I don't really care either, actually, now that I think about it. All right. Three, yeah. two, one, go. It's like syncing a movie. Yes, it yeah. is. How exciting. Well, can, we, so, can we stop? I, I'm, I have big grabs of this We can part. skip cutscenes, right? Yeah. Yeah. And press, I, I think it's okay. press start to skip uh, cutscenes. Yumbo. We're probably not going to touch oh, chalices, options. chat. Not even going to go near chalices. I feel oh, like yeah, that's. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that's going to be way too hard. Oh, well, it's not. Those are only it's useful bonus if, you're content. On, if you're online. And then use the seeds provided online where you get the best runes and shit, I think. And, uh, thanks for the resoup. First challenge, <clears throat> one of possibly oh, many, who knows, up, defeat the werewolf in the opening of the game without okay. weapons. And what do you get for doing that? Nothing at all? Uh, the appreciation <laughs> of chat. Oh, okay. Chat will be for like, like 20 nice. seconds. Yeah, before they start saying how funny it is that everyone sucks at this game. Which they will do, I'm sure of it. Fucking sure of it. Man, I'm punching a wolf to death. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna beat it. <laughs> it's not the simplest I thing. I think people who are good at the game can do this easily. <laughs> Probably, but uh... Uh, and I'm yeah, I already, yeah. <laughs> I was well, desperately trying to get that backstab because I think you kill him in one hit then. Get a backstab with a, a, a like a karate chop? Yeah, yeah you can do it. <laughs> I, I, I never. Bad. Alright. 
Ah, oh, immediately almost got him. Ooh. Oh, I just chopped him into the sides. That's rude. I was just watching you trying this right now. I want to see if you do it. Stressful. Oh, I'm, I'm using this to get my head stuck. <laughs> That's fine. That's cheating, cheater. Okay. I'm not certain. Come on, Wolfensteiner. Gotcha, bitch. Someone Slow and said steady. Health, health doesn't matter in this game. Everything three shots you. Lies and slander. <laughs> <laughs> I played the so game way too much for that game. statement to be true. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, I actually got him. High I five. got him, chat. Oh, appreciate okay, good, me, good. not the other two. They suck now. Haha. <laughs> hey, alright, look. Yay, yeah, right, woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> I did the thing that doesn't do anything. I guess. Uh, did you get like. Five, oh, you get five vials. Yeah, hooray. <laughs> Worth it. Shut up. I'm winning now. <laughs> alright, Chan is asking for our Bible verse of the day. Uh, um, sweet. That's free. It is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23. To be made new in the attitude of your minds. Was that right. Fringy Dust Stream? Uh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 got, I got you a link. There you go. Put it in there. Oh. The, yeah, the bot just posted it right I the noticed. second yeah. point before you did. <laughs> All right, right, I should probably equip my weapons. That might be a good thing to do. That uh, helps a lot. That oh, yeah, chat. Link in the description to take you to either the, of their streams or a, a multi stream that takes you to both at the same fucking time. How neat is that? That's fucking stick, mate. So cool, oh, though. Oh, that wolf was. It only took, like, four hits. You're so shit, Mauler. Oh, wait, you went back to Apparently... kill it? Well, you both I went mean, back I, to kill you it. Have to sp no, you have to spawn there. You don't have, you have the to spawn lantern there. up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Spawn there and then... Oh. Yeah, but you're gonna die as soon as you leave, right? And then you gotta... What? No. What we're doing. What no, else? you can just go to the, to the next oh. lantern. Oh, yeah. okay. You can just you can just walk past uh, everything and just people go People who are turn. good at the game don't have to die, Fringy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, all right? Oh, uh, look. People who don't sleep in, slept in. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> According to Anakin Skywalker, people who are good don't have to die, so... Yes. Ooh. And Anakin is the patron one. saint of EFAP, possibly. Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skyface. Skyface. Oh my god. In my, I like how people think that, in my in my point of view, the Jedi are evil is a, a great example of how not to do dialogue. But well, it's how he feels. Is that bad that he expresses how he feels? Yes. I, I if it's Anakin, it. yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's supposed to be real bad at it. Well, he is bad at it. That's why he says exactly what he means. Because that's what people who are bad at communicating do. Or yeah. communicate very clearly their intentions and feelings. You know, it's, like, it it's very robotic. Because they miss out on what is potentially a really interesting conversation. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. And then Obi-Wan, instead of saying, Well, there you are, lot Says, Why? <laughs> Free yeah, is on my like, left, Mola in my yeah. middle, and Metal on my right. Alrighty. Because they don't let me fuck. I'm like, yeah, okay, it's details. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're totally chill with it. Just but keep we it fuck secret. Anakin. <laughs> Anakin. Many times. My I allegiance is to like the Republic. when I come up from the covers and say hello there. Oh, second challenge. <laughs> okay, I don't know if these should be optional at this point. You know the big Chungus um, near the beginning? Uh, He's, what, what, the big fat dude who's yeah. walking around? Kill big dude. fat dude. Yeah. However oh. you want. But, like, I kind of... No, oh, that's gonna be harder, though. <laughs> Wait, when you say it's gonna be harder, what do you mean? Well, like, harder than... I that one. Him. I'm already... <laughs> I mean, well... I'm already past that. I'm gonna go back. Fuck him. I'm gonna fuck him up. Yeah, yeah you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it, you know. I'll abide by your rules. Bonus random yeah. challenges. So, in my opinion, Mahler's rules are wrong. Then you are <laughs> lost. Well, then you <laughs> are a piece of shit. I disagree. It's ringing okay. I'm just humming this music, alright? Revenge of the soundtrack is killer. Just saying. Uh, hey, well, that's for story time. time. I don't have any stories at the ready. Well, um, I mean, if it's if it's funny, I will just I can just start. Oh, reading one time, I, I was driving oh. to. Arizona and I saw a cow run and it was amazing and that happened over 
a decade ago, but I remember <laughs> a sight of a cow running. I've never seen a cow run in real life before, I don't think. I've never seen a cow run either, now that you mention it. Yeah, yeah I... we saw a cow run, and it was really... It was... It wasn't majestic or anything. It was really kind of awkward <laughs> looking, but that cow ran. <laughs> this this, the sight of a cow, cow running is a memory that I'm cherishing in my mind. Also, I'm a Dumbo. I didn't, didn't walk past that. I just you didn't thought what? I was. All right, I beat the big uh, fat chungus dude. Hey, nice one. I thought I went past the big chungus, but I didn't, so I just took an extra lap. Uh, is Rags point point of view, the Chungus is wrong. Don't, I don't think Rags don't has Bloodborne. I don't have a what? Do you have a PS4? Somewhere oh. around here. Okay. okay, well there's your answer. He doesn't even Yeah, it. it's somewhere. <laughs> I have the controller here at, by, for my computer because every once in a while when I want to remind mm -hmm. me how I've evolved as a gamer, I plug it in and remind me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to mention that I absolutely annihilated the big Chungus. I did too. I, uh, that, that practice playthrough yesterday has done me a lot of favors. We were doing I feel the same like way. That. I feel like I'm a little better today than I was yesterday. I don't know. Uh, well, but is there an item here normally? Like a, like a, uh, like a thingy majingy? Obi-Wan, I don't know where I am. Then you are lost. Huh. That is so true. I, oh, these <clears throat> stupid enemies that just like hide behind walls and just. Oh, why? What are oh, they why? doing? Are they just chilling out? That's like, a Soulsborn like why? standard that they just like putting oh, enemies just... behind things that you walk through just to yeah. sort of go, hey, 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 look right. at me. And you're like, all right, yeah, there you are. Trick. You couldn't have seen me from where you were, could you have? No! <laughs> you yeah. fool! You yeah. are defeated. <laughs> I... <laughs> All right, th third challenge, I guess, is killing the two werewolves. You can't dodge them. You gotta, you gotta fight and kill them. I don't like your... I don't know, you I, hey, I gotta do all these things, too. I don't like well, yeah, yeah. rules. <laughs> I want to play it like I played Dark Souls 3, which was eventually giving up and just running past all the enemy. <laughs> oh, you... Boss. See, I'm just saying defeat them once. All right, just once. Just those uh, things. Someone asked, how goes, in your chat, how goes the Crash Bandicoot 4 video? So, like, my playthrough's nearly done, because, I think I explained this yesterday, but, uh, I don't think I'm gonna try and get the Platinum Relics, because I might get Carpal Tunnel if I do. concerned with his health. Yeah, like, legitimately, I think I might destroy my hand, so, uh, I'm, I'd rather not, so... But I've got all the other, Thanks like, I've, Brett? I've, I've 102 percent of completion, so I feel like I've played... 102 percent completion? Well, they have like a hundred percent, but then you can get more than that by doing a bunch of other stuff. They're aware of what <laughs> percentage is mean. Right? Well, it's meant to be like hmm. a secret ending, right? So there's like a secret ending where Crash Band- No. No, you know what? You you would have played it by now. So there's a secret ending where it's like, Hey, so here's the status of things, you know, after um, after the game. Like, here's what Coco and Crash and, and like Dingo Doll are up to. Uh, and then there's like, in fact, yeah, no, you know, I'll keep the surprise secret if you haven't played it. It's, it's a nifty little thing. And then I think All there's right. like a super secret ending that's like, oh, Crash Bandicoot 5, which makes me happy. Um, but yeah, I, look, I've played, I've played that game for like probably a hundred hours at this point. I think I'm, I think I'm cool with, uh, with, uh, making the video. So, you know, give, give me like a month or two. Yeah, I doubt I would blame anybody for making a review if they played it for a hundred hours. Yeah, I feel like it, if you put eight hours, you know. Yeah, with rare exceptions like an MMO or an RPG, just a, a huge uh, vast swath of content and stuff. I'm like, uh, general overviews, sure, but for the most part, yeah, it, it's a it takes a special game that requires more than a hundred hours to adequately review. Well, I think, I think for me, it's because I wanted the video to be basically, oh, how difficult is Crash? Like, I want it to be a analysis, sort of, of, like, the, the core design of the game, going through, like, you know, the actual movement mechanics, level design, uh, how the challenges are structured, and part of that was just, hey, I want to complete it 100%, but now, like, the, the topic has evolved quite <clears throat> a lot more. Like, now it's, it's stuff like, hey, is it fair to, like, design your game in this way, or... You know, mm. is it is it really a challenge to just hide things in places you could never have possibly known you could find them? Like, is that a challenge in the same way that, um, hey, can you jump from this platform to that platform is a challenge? And so I so, think, yeah. Go, you'll keep going, I'll, I'll add the end. Oh, right, I was just going to say that I think what my thesis is going to be, not the I, I need to stop saying that. Last time I said that, I derailed for like 10 minutes. 
Um, I think the point I'm going to be wanting to make is that uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 can be, has like a very low skill. Oh my god, these wolves got me. Wow. Have you, have you killed the wolves yet, Metal? Um, I'm, I'm still chopping away on these guys here. I'm, I'm glad that Fringy was able to finally counter. get a break from Crash Bandicoot and play a nice, <laughs> relaxing Chilled. round of Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the point is probably going to be that Crash Bandicoot 4 is actually pretty accessible. Um, but it's, it's, if you want to play it at the highest level, it's, it's actually kind of insanely difficult. Um, cause like this game has a lot of very forgiving mechanics, like the amount of, you know how like in platformers you can kind of jump even when you're off the platform because, you know, Yumbo. people react really. It's called Coyote Time, you know, like Wile E. Coyote, and it's like, man, this game has incredibly forgiving, uh, in that yeah, regard. It's like, Crash Bandicoot 1 is not forgiving at all when it comes to that, from what I remember. Um, not, to be not to be confused with Peyote Time, which is a another thing entirely. <laughs> yes. A fun yes. thing. I'll just believe you. I've never heard of that before. I don't know what that is. Alright, well, it's just... You, you will know, I, I remember like I, when I did a Game Maker tutorial, they're like, yeah, you should just put this in because it, it feels wrong to miss jumps that you technically shouldn't have made. Like, there are jumps that you are technically shouldn't have made, but, you know, people are like, no, I, I pressed the button at the right time. It's like, no, it's you didn't. It's the bullet magnetism of platformers. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> basically, it is it's exactly that. magnetism. Magnetism. <laughs> <laughs> My All precious right. momentum was stolen from me. Um. Oh, I just got a text from my dad. Um, saw Clooney's The Midnight Sky last night. I want my two hours back. It's <laughs> supremely bad. Avoid, just avoid. That's uh, the Netflix movie. I don't. I don't know anything about it. Debut. It's his what it's like debut? A, uh, directorial debut. But oh. he also stars in it. It's like a science fiction film. Um, yeah. Um, I'll ask him if it's like entertaining. Well, I guess not because he said he wanted his time back. Yeah. No! So it like oh, he hit me and then I parried him. Oh. I never hear about George Clooney for years at a time, and then after we watched Fuck Batman off. and Robin, my dad texts me about it. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, the the First Order need to get, like, bring these guys into the army. <laughs> these guys are Wait, pinpoint what? accurate. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The guys Luckily, like, it's only 3,000. I'm gonna go straight to the boss now that I'm sad. Oh, I okay, said... so I guess we've given up on that rule. What do you mean? Rags, thought you said your dad loves all movies. He is very low standards for movies, um, but if movies are boring or try to be super dramatic and deep at ease, he often will really, really hate them. Uh, like, he hated... He hated... Cap I think he said when we watched Captain Marvel, he said that was the worst movie he'd ever seen in his life. Wow. I think his, his, his precise words were something like, I think that's the worst movie I've seen in, like, 35 years. <laughs> um... Bad. But he loves the first Wonder Woman, so he's ah. kind of, he's interesting. He's a normie, he, he's, not, he's, he's a normie, that's what I would he, say. He is kind of a normie, normie. yeah. Um, he, 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 he said, neither my mom nor my dad liked Marriage Story. So, oh, damn. Yeah, uh, so they just said, he's like, I just couldn't, I just, it's just following it and the care, it just, they, it just wasn't, it would definitely was not their movie. Um, but I, t I think I talked them into, like, understanding what it was and appreciating right. it all. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, it just wasn't my thing. Which I can totally understand. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, I think that movie is amazing. But <laughs> oh, yeah, I do, too. It's incredible. Um, I, I see people say that that argument scene is overactive. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, what's overactive? Your father think about you being gay? The, uh, he doesn't know, and it's not his business scene. to know. So, there you go. Overactive? I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, people say that it's, uh, you know, because people don't act like this in real life. It's like, That's oh, bullshit. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what to say to that. Yeah, yeah. 
All right. Stupid wolves got him. <clears throat> I was gonna say I I killed the wolves when I when I was when I was killed and I was like fuck this I'm going to the boss. I was referring to a Randy. Oh, I'm uh I'm about to kill the wolves. Yeah, I almost beat him my first try, but I right I, when I parried him for the last attack, he hit me while he got to the parry point, and I was like, oh. Oh, come on. <clears throat> is it, you don't think your father should know that this genetic line is going to die with you? So, firstly, I'm bisexual. Um, oh like, I've had sex with women. Um, um you. Oh, also, dude. I- it's not an obligation of mine. Also, I have three other siblings. Um, guys, I'm stuck. Like, I'm stuck in the terrain. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. it sounds like you're gonna lose the race. Then. <laughs> <laughs> you, you kill yourself, or...? Um... I think if you return... Have you got a Bold Hunter's Mark? By any chance? Uh, a Bold Hunter's Mark. I feel like it's probably too early Otherwise, in the game. Just, otherwise uh, just lock out and back in, I guess. That should oh, do it. Oh, dude! So I have to quit the game. Um, I mean, yeah, but you don't... I don't think you lose anything, right? No, alright. Oh, no, you don't lose anything. As long as I well, do I lose my? I couldn't roll out. Wait, I couldn't where, roll. Where are you? I where are you? Oh, okay. So you, you're you not like the part where you. Yeah, I had to. I couldn't roll. Um, yeah, I was about to see where you are, but it's funny because people were there like, "Oh, roll out." It's like you don't think that was the first thing I tried. I couldn't <laughs> roll. <laughs> like I, I couldn't roll. Yeah. Also, I almost triggered the cleric beast, and before I realized, like, oh shit, I don't even need to kill this one. People saying oh, there was an item, it's like, yeah, I didn't have it, so... Oh, you're gonna skip oh, that's lame. No, I, mean, I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to. Oh, no, no, going to. Oh. I mean, for now, I mean, I don't need to kill it. Sure. I was gonna get it, but damn. I mean, I'll probably go there and just to get some more uh, echoes. I was gonna say, I'm probably oh, gonna kill it for the souls. I am gonna kill echoes. it, too, yeah. Yeah, just spawn me back where I was. That's that's awesome. Cool. Uh, as in, uh, I I said that in a very deflated way. Like I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. It all worked out in the end. Hey Rags, my first introduction to Soulsborne games was Dark Souls 2, and I completed the game without knowledge of adaptability affecting the hitbox. So when I started Bloodborne, it was really easy. Yeah, that would happen. <laughs> I don't know what those mean, but judging by the giggles, oh. they do. All I know about adaptability was from uh, Mola's video on uh, Dark Souls. It increases of, like, your iframes. Uh, you know? Iframes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and so you need you to have... spend, I think, 12 points to get back to the iframes you had in Dark Souls 1. Yeah, Bloodborne, yeah, so. I would argue, is easier than... Uh... Well, the problem with all of these games is that which one is the hardest and easiest depends on how much you know about the game. It's yeah. hard to say which one is the easiest and hardest. A lot of people consider mean, DS2 the hardest, but I consider it like kind of the easiest at this point. I uh, see. I've only played. Uh, I've played like a lot of. Uh, I've played Dark Souls 3 completion, so I I thought Dark Souls 3 was pretty uh, straightforward. It took me about 15 hours, so which I hear is short. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I know I've joked around about you motherfucker with your stupid ass gun. The other. I liked after the TLJ fiasco helped start a podcast by door. Oh, and he sounds cute. Lol. Quality comment. Oh yeah, Gnome Bush. Thanks for subscribing. <clears throat> oh, and, so, and also, Grand Arc, 400 bits. I understand what you're trying to say, Fringo. It reminds me of playing Devil May Cry 3 and 5. You can play the game, but if you really want to play the game, you reach a point where the game's playing you. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the idea that, like, the game changes when you're playing at the hardest possible level of difficulty. That was kind of the- that's kind of the point I think I'd like to make with Crash 4, is it's like... Oh, you're you know that, what? Fucking no- no music box, because Fringy's probably not going to use it, so... You gotta beat uh, Gascoigne going the regular way. Fine. Wait, what do you mean Gascoigne All the, the regular way? Yeah, if you bring the music no box idea. to Gascoigne, it makes him a lot easier. Oh, the right no, way. Yeah, wow, that's, that's no, expensive. Beat him, beat him fair and square, alright? Wow, so all the tricks I learned back in the day in Nam are not allowed anymore. Nam right. bread. Cleric beast. Let's go. Na Nam born. <laughs> this isn't gonna this be is... fun, is it? I got something interesting in chat. So, General Rancid says 
Dark Souls 3 is the hardest in terms of enemies and level design. And James Moore says, having completed all three Dark Souls games, Dark Souls 3 is the easiest. Yeah, and the I would say 3 is the due easiest. Due to how broken it is. You think 3 is? 2 is the easiest or 3? Three? 3 is probably the easiest, at least. But the problem right. is, I played 1 and 2, then 3. So it's like, it's more yeah, than likely that yeah, 3 will come across as the easiest. Well, I remember that I found Dark Souls 1 hard, but I barely played it. I just remember that I went to the wrong place at the start. Like, because you can go in several different directions, I always went the wrong way to the place where I couldn't kill the enemies. I'm like, oh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, right, I love it when this... Oh, look at all the health you lose when the stupid thing grabs you. And then I can't get up uh, before fireball? I... Uh, fireball? The, the cleric beast. It's too the big. The cleric beast is too big. I can barely, like, see what it's doing. No, you just need to not use the lock-on. Oh, oh no. Like, lock on is integral <laughs> to the game. No, <laughs> no, no. La here. My he. I feel it like it'll be this... well and win for the flumes. I'll try. I'll try. I mean, you know, based on the dark shortcut theory, I feel like the best bosses were always like the one-on-one -on -one enemy people. You know what I mean? I mean, um, funnily enough, the that boss I was fighting last night, the shadows of whatever, I forget. Oh, uh, fuck him. I hate them. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I liked it more than any other boss that whole night. <laughs> Found it more engaging right. than any other boss, because I had to... And this is the problem, man. Like, in DS2, a lot of the problems a lot of people would cite would be that there's so many enemies that it's just fucking cancer. But uh, that's mm -hmm. almost better that your brain is doing something than I hack away at giant hairy glooms. I I I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I mean. It's like so... I don't even feel like I'm relevant when uh, I'm doing that sort of thing. Yeah, and that's why often of course are so great. You can see him most of, especially all time unless he jumps all the way up into the air and shit. Uh, but you know what's, what's going on most of the time. Ah. Uh... I, dude, he's hitting me before right. I can even get back up. <laughs> he's too big, he's just got everything. What, if any, are Bojack's redeeming qualities in your estimation? Uh, I like Bojack, but the show doesn't want me to. Some good voice acting. Like Diane. Um, it does have good voice acting. Oh, the, the character of Bojack is almost there. It just needs, yeah. it needs to be needs sorted work. back out. Um. <laughs> um, um, uh, that seems unfair. The beast grabbed me and then, like, I could barely... Ugh, took all my health away. It's not right. Not right, oh, goddammit. got a question in chat. Um, <laughs> this one's for, uh, Mauler. Were oh, you shit. a voice actor for that Empire of the Ants game? Yes. Oh, I I it always right. feels weird if they do it in the reverse. I always expect people to find out about the game through me, not they played that game and then, like, you sound <laughs> like the like, narrator in it. Yeah. Fuck! Was, seems weird to me, but it's like, yeah, yeah, uh, I am indeed. I can never time the parry shot for a gas coin correctly. He always right. hits me right when I parry him. I got the cleric beast. Sweet. Excellent. I haven't said, I knew it. Yeah? yeah. I knew it. Uh, ant game, it was you. Figured <laughs> you out. Oh, that was a cool for idea it. for a game, by the way. Oh, it's, like, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, they. I, there was two portions, and they were a year apart for me narrating it. There was supposed to be a third one, but they never contacted me, and I don't know if it's because the game didn't do well enough, mm. or if they were just like, he's a Nazi? I don't know. <laughs> like, that can always happen. Ah, uh, yeah. But uh, it was uh, it was fun. No, you should be able to hear the game. Sorry. Go ahead. No, that was, that was it. Um, I feel like we should try a little harder for Bojack's redeeming qualities, but I just can't think of any. Well, yeah, because <laughs> I find it to be just kind That's of disappointing. A goddamn shame. How do you increase your iframes in this game? You don't. You don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Technically, the less frame rate you have, the longer it seems like you, the longer your iframes will be. Yeah. I guess the problem is that this game runs really badly. <laughs> wow. It does, alright? Wow, for It runs like 20 frames. It runs a cinematically. Yes, it runs at a filmic frame rate, all right? So, and look, it, the, re the reason why the game is 1920 by 800 is not that the PS4 is it powerful enough to render this game at 1080p, it's because we want black bars, because it's better. 
Someone has asked, uh, well, they, it's more of a, more of a comment. They're, they're ranking from, this is from best to worst. Uh -huh. Bloodborne is best. Then Sekiro, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 2. Well, what would you say the actual order is? Actual oh order. Oh my god. That's, I don't know. That's is there a, oh, sorry. I don't, I don't know. Like, um, <laughs> when I say actual order, I'm like, because I feel like you might disagree with yeah. that. You don't think Bloodborne's the best, do you? Bloodborne's yeah. definitely not the best. I and mean, that's, yeah, that's one of them but, hot yeah. takes people have trouble with. I'm sorry, guys. For me, it's one, three, Bloodborne. I guess when we put Sekiro in there. Actually, I probably put Sekiro before Bloodborne. Sekiro, Bloodborne, and then all the way on the bottom is Dark Souls 2. So you think Sekiro? Sekiro I I played a decent amount of Sekiro. I thought it was fun. Yeah, oh, I, I really liked it. Right. That is frustrating. Well, I think it's once you once you start <laughs> parrying, that's kind of that's the path to victory. Well, that's the only. It's not your only path to victory, but everything else is just insanely hard. Yeah. When I first played it, I played it like a Dark Souls game, and it's like, I that's, that's not how it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how the fuck did I miss that? That's embarrassing. So where are my echoes? All the way over there. Have any of you guys considered playing GTFO together? Fun co-op game. I have played GTFO. I don't think it would translate well to a stream, though. <clears throat> no. I don't know what it is. Um... It's yeah, I, I think I've seen a video of it. Reason. Yeah, it's like, it's. I like playing it. It's fun to play, but it's very slow in its pacing. Um, and I, I just don't think it would translate well into streaming it for people to watch us play. Um, who said, uh, this is for me, but uh, everyone can answer, of course. Uh, what's a game you've never played for whatever reason, but still want to try out? Mass Effect. Uh, have you never... You've asked me this so many Mass times. <laughs> I, yeah, I, guess, I guess I just assume everyone's played Mass Effect. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really good to play. Um, Nearly, I haven't played the first one. I played two and three. But the first one Game wasn't out on uh, PlayStation, which was what I had at the time. It's a lot later. Oh. Easy versions work A-okay. Oh yeah, I mean, I probably would now. Yeah. Fuck okay. yeah. Uh, let me see. Um, a game I haven't played but want to try. Alright, right. I don't know. Um, oh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Um, I have not played a game of that yet, but I want to. And I will organize such a thing. Does it count for that uh, Divinity Original Sin 2? Because I played like 30 minutes and then I stopped. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, I've heard nothing. Yeah, that would be a, a nifty uh, game to play with uh, someone else. I wouldn't recommend playing it with more than one other person. Right. Um, Ooh, I'm out of bullets. But it's really good for co-op, absolutely. The fucking gunmen yeah. in this game are actually terrifying if you're on low health. They're so oh, yeah, good they're at insane. their fucking job. <laughs> 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 they're the anti-stormtroopers. Yeah. Yes, they are. Scary. Oh, by the way, the guy I asked yesterday um, about the Halo stuff, uh, let me see. Uh, I said, just for clarification, streaming now in Halo 4 came up. Aren't humans also forerunners? And he said, they changed the lore. Humans are either descendants of them, or in one story, we came to the Milky Way, got beat and devolved into slavery, and our pet flood All mutated right, into go. the parasite it is and wiped out the forerunners. <clears throat> so they felt bad and gave us the mantle before using the Halos. Um... So, yeah. Yeah, so the mantle of responsibility is basically the notion in the Halo universe that, like, you are responsible for overseeing the the galaxy. Like, you're in charge, basically. Um, you get the Is that pretty nice? So that's... And that's so, like, coin. Oh, wow, you're well ahead of me, then. I have well, like, no bosses beast. yet. Uh, Sorry? Well, I've, 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 no. I've not killed any bosses yet. It feels bad, man. I haven't leveled up yet. I'm gonna do that now. Apparently this is a hot take of or it's an unpopular take. Someone said, Rags, Mass Effect 1's combat and world uh, nav didn't age well. I disagree. I enjoy Mass Effect 1 a lot, and I can appreciate that it's more of an RPG first and a shooter second. The combat does work just fine. Um, it's not just a game that you can 
just play without thinking about it, I suppose. You have to play your class. It's very much an RPG in that sense. And the world nav, it doesn't hold your hand, but it's fine. It's like The Witcher 2 in a way. But I, I think it it ages just fine. You just can't play it with a modern gaming mindset. If you like, think it's going to be easy and there's going to be flashing lights everywhere telling you exactly where to go. Um, is there a game genre you just <clears throat> couldn't get into? Um, no, I don't think Tell so. Telltale Games. <laughs> Wait, so yeah, can't actually, I can't get... Hmm. <laughs> I think I can get into those now. I, well, but... the complication is just, could you get into it if it was really well done? It's like, probably. So, in which case, I don't yeah. think there would be anything stopping me from getting into anything that I consider to be well made. I don't really play a lot of Ocarina of Time. I found that game hard to get into. Yeah, I can see that being hard to get into these days. Absolutely. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, um... I'm not sure about Ocarina of Time. <laughs> I feel oh. like uh, I feel like it hasn't aged that well. Whoa! But, like, <laughs> look, I haven't played enough of it, but I mean, you know, the combat's pretty, pretty like you just hit the A button, Fuck and up, then chat. dodge. Look, hey, look, all right. <laughs> I'm happy Zach, to admit Zach, I don't know enough about Ocarina of Time. Zach, if I try to kill Fringy, kill him, kill him now, <laughs> kick him. Look, I like Breath of the Wild a lot. I thought Breath of the Wild was awesome. <laughs> Well, I didn't like that one a lot. Really? Yeah, oh, I played through it. I I, I, I was glad game. when I finished it. I it was funny. I, I don't I don't think it I don't think it's a bad game. I just didn't enjoy it as nearly as much as anyone else on this and planet. What game is that? Oc uh, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, yeah. And funny I didn't enough, care for I read Princess. So I don't know if that's unpopular or not, but I just could not well, get into Twilight it. I never Princess finished it. The, uh, I think it's okay if you say you don't really like that. Yeah, one. yeah. Oh, <clears> nice. <throat> I don't like. Uh, it's okay to not like that. I think, from what I understand, that this, as the story goes, Wind Waker was like really new and cool and had a unique style, and people were like, "This is kitty and shit." And so for Twilight Princess, they're like, "All right, we're just going to do Ocarina of Time again, kind of." <laughs> and we have an edgy wolf, so like we're we're edgy now. Um, and then people didn't really like it that much, I don't think. So uh, I think then they realized, oh, maybe like we can just do whatever we want, maybe. <laughs> I like I being right, put right, right after Golden. Eden Prime is so boring. No, it isn't. There's there is at least one, two, at least two com three. There's gonna be three combat sections there, and this is going off memory, like decade old memory. Um, but there's like at least three combat sections in the Citadel after you get there from Eden Prime. Um, but again, it is a, very much an RPG. They, they do a lot of work to establish great world building, characters, side quests, etc. Um, mm. I don't think it's boring. I see why people would think it's boring, but I don't think it is. Um, but I guess I'll answer the question. What genre I could never get into? Fighting games. Oh, I yeah, that's probably fighting one, actually. Oh, no, I'm okay. gonna, yeah. Oh. I'm not Wait, like Fringy, you can't get into fighting games? I thought you like Mortal Kombat a whole bunch. I do like Mortal Kombat, but like not... But when I played like Mortal Kombat um, <clears throat> 11, I only played it for like 8 hours. I like Mortal Kombat, but I'm not very good at it. Like, I'm not... When oh, I said yeah, I yeah. can't get into fighting games, like, I feel yeah, like, that. with the exception of Super Smash Bros, I can't really get good at them. Um, yeah, and I, I was about to say the same thing. Like, I, I really like... Awesome, but Sorry, guys. Oh, well, I mean, Killer Instinct is probably, like, just a good example, because that game looks really cool, but, like, I I don't think I could... I don't think I could be... I could play that game and be competitive. That game looks yeah. too complicated. I, I really liked fighting games uh, when I was younger. I played them a lot, but I tried to get back into them, I think, like, two years ago. I think it was with one of the Tekken games, I think. And then I looked at the combos that you can do now, <laughs> Yeah. And what you need to do is like press 17 buttons in this combination, then do a 360 with, on your chair and jump into the air twice and then clap your hands and uh, I don't know, <laughs> say hello to Mother Mary as sane. I was like, I just want to beat someone up. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> I think one of the things I find appealing about fighting games in theory is that it's a really hyper competitive, um, uh, like, landscape but also one that has a heavy emphasis on characters you know like everybody likes these characters like Ryu and, and uh 
and um, Chun Li and, and mm -hmm. Scorpion, and you know the fact that there's like a certain persistence across all of the games, like that they play fairly similarly, <laughs> but then you have these new characters. But but I just yeah, I feel like I'm not I'm not good enough, um, and that for as long as it would take me to get good. I would rather play other games. I don't know. I do like story in games. I do like going on an adventure and exploring the world. Yeah, I generally don't like games that are one person versus one person. I like team-based things and larger scale stuff and cooperative things. Yeah. Um, but there's also the aspect of I just do not at all have any interest in the mechanics of fighting games and having them and playing them in the have you haven't played the Jesus series? Uh, didn't you say you had a hard time getting getting into games like Command and Conquer yesterday? Um, so RTSs, I've played some RTSs and like them. I used to play StarCraft and StarCraft Brood War a long time ago when I could. Played StarCraft uh -huh. two a decent amount and got into it moderately, and I was fine for for a casual player. I was I think I was pretty good for a casual player. Um, I played Command and Con no 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 it was Supreme Commander and uh, oh. Forged Alliance. Those are kind of fun. Uh, the, the CPU wreck up back in the days. Yeah, oof. Oh. Um, <laughs> and, but I'm Damn not it. really into RTSs. Those are just some that I've I have played before, but I never really took them seriously. I just never really knew them. Uh, let's see. Stupid. Why did Apex Legend win them. the best game you suck at Steam Award? Because a lot of people are really shitty at it, and if you're bad at the game, it's really not fun. But I think people can appreciate the mechanics of it while recognizing they're just not good at it. It's like all MOBAs. Uh, Apex Legends. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. I've heard that. Oh, camera, thanks. That was fantastic camera work right there. Right in the bushes. <laughs> <dishes. laughs> that sounded Jesus sarcastic. Did you play Civilization? Yes, I've played a, I played a lot of Civ 4. Um, I had a friend who had it on his laptop, and we would play Hot Seat. Remember Hot Seat? Oh uh, my god. Play hot pink, um, <clears throat> Civ oh, you mother. Oh. The way that, um, like, I. These stupid snipers, man. There's no. You, <laughs> they just can't miss. <laughs> I'm not dead. That's the good thing. It's just. Damn, man. Yeah, I pulled up the stream to just see what it looked like. <laughs> and I, um, I played Civ 5 quite a bit and liked it the most. And I also played Civ 6, which was. Fine. I what? like Civ six. Five is my, my favorite. What the uh, fuck's this guy doing here? With, with the expansions, if you buy them for five, <laughs> it's like the best one. I like that Civ Six lets you play as Australia. <laughs> that, that's uh. That's cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Koala Empire. Wow, and you get to you get John Curtin. Which special is units and Zingos. Imagine well, being named after unit. a curtain. Oh, oh, that's well, a gang no. squad all there. Curtin, <laughs> C-U-R-T-I-N. So not like a curtain. Oh. Um, John Curtin, though, one of our best prime ministers. It's funny how a lot of our best prime ministers belong to the same political party. That's, I uh, can't that's believe Mahler is... <laughs> Mahler hears the name John Curtin, and ironically, he's throwing shades. <laughs> oh, like yeah. But, well, John Curtin was, uh, he, he was our prime minister during World War II. Ah. Um, oh, but look. he died shortly before it ended, just like FDR. The last it's motherfucker kind of left shame. after all them was the, the, the gunner. Wow. It was a shame that he died, obviously, but it's kind of a shame that he didn't get to see us win. Though I guess he, he knew. I think he knew. I think he would have known. Because by 1945, it was, it was over. Rags, what do you think about Witcher 3 gameplay and just the game overall? I think the game <laughs> overall, if you look at it as a you know, some of, you know, it, all of its parts mixed together, it is fantastically good, extremely good. Uh, the combat itself is fine. It's something that you can learn. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, it, it, it works fine to my knowledge. I never had much of an issue with it. Uh, I do wish it was better, though, but it's fine enough. I saw somebody ask, like, didn't one of your prime ministers disappear? Yeah, so Harold Holt went swimming and just never came back. That's a long uh, swim. Well, Did he know how I to mean, swim? 
Yeah, he did. He was. A, he was. <laughs> right, yes, he did. He was a very. He he went swimming regularly. He was a very good swimmer. That's why it's. That's why it's a perplexing mm. little mystery. Um, but yeah, he just kind of disappeared and, and never showed up again. Emus got him. Um, mm -hmm. he was in the. He was in the. What the emus that can swim, even though they have yeah. no arms. You don't. You don't need arms to, to swim. swim. Fish don't have arms. <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like eels don't have arms. <laughs> this is just like, what a weird, what a strange thing to say. What, did um, you need arms to swim as... Uh, I, yeah, I, I assume <laughs> you don't have fins, yeah, you do need arms to swim. What a, eels don't have arms or legs. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> They're just a head right. with a long oh, neck. <laughs> It's so funny because it's true and I never even thought about it. Yeah, you don't need arms to swim. <laughs> uh, it certainly makes it easier for us, I will say that. Oh um, my god. Uh, it does help us out. You guys give Guild Wars 2 a go. Maybe I don't know if that would be good for swimming. They, they snuck up on the farmers by swimming in the ocean to catch them and then the arms... Yeah, they... Like, wait, Australia you're never planned for a beach invasion oh, of no, emus. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I, I mean, it's funny. I'm pretty sure I've thought of this as a gag. Saving Private Ryan, except it's like he uses the Nazis. Go on, give it a try, <laughs> <maple> boy. <laughs> God, Mel, look at you running ahead. I haven't even killed a boss yet. I guess I shouldn't have been looking around as much. Well, yeah, this is a race, usually. Hey, races... Look, the tortoise, all right? The, the tortoise. No, I'm not. Uh, Moodle, you're in the lead. Moodle will never catch up to you at this rate. Don't say that. I'm gonna. Yeah. This is gonna be a point where I fail. Guys, horribly. this is a this is gonna, gonna be a 20-hour total game time probably thing. So yeah, we got oh plenty God. of time. <laughs> so let's see, Regs. Games similar to Witcher 3 Divinity 2 and Mass Effect 1. Deep games that aren't handholdy. Yeah, and I like that to a degree. And the degree is the point I get frustrated and just want to play the game. One of my big, I don't even want to, it's not even a pet peeve, it's just outright frustrating, is not knowing where the fuck to go. Yeah. That is one of the worst things in the universe in a video game. Tell me where the fuck I yeah, need but, to but go is, like, to do one things. One of the issues you see now is a lot of people are like, oh, waypoints are bad because you look at a minimap, it's like, yeah, I'd rather look at a minimap than not know where to go. I'm sorry. I need to know where I'm going, like in an open yeah. game or something. Um, I know that... Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey had a really cool little, and I'm not sure Origins probably had this too, where like, you could play a mode where, um, the game didn't give you waypoints, but you could ask characters, hey, so what should I be looking for? And they'll be like, go to this town, you want to go to this place, it's near this, uh, it's near this landmark. It's like, that's a, that's a cool little way of doing it. Um, but I like having waypoints, frankly. Um, I Me like too. I don't want to spend half my time in a game traveling around. I want the that's option the to travel around if I just want to travel around. Oh, yeah, and people saying, like, fast travel is bad? No, way. No, Absolutely fuck that. Not. Never make a game. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I, God. I fast travel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, but that's a take that you see now. It's like, oh, uh, yeah. Travel. I never want to... <laughs> Which like, is, I, I can't even imagine play playing play games like The Witcher 3 and Far Cry, yeah. Guild Wars and Far Cry and stuff if I had to physically go to all the places every time. Oh my god, fuck that. Hey Frogger, how's it going? Not great as you can probably tell. I beat Also, this like, you don't have to use the waypoints if you don't want to. Yeah, well, I think that's, that's the big thing, right? Like, uh, give me the option, please. <laughs> You lose nothing. Just don't use the waypoints. And if the temptation is too big, then that says something about the quality of those waypoints, doesn't it? Well, I think so, it's a world design, right? Because a lot of people say, well, if, if you people can fast travel, you don't have to put as much effort into world design. I'm like, nah, you could still put No, in I have to get to the effort. waypoint first. Well, yeah, generally you can't fast travel to... I don't know why I sat down. My character just sat down for no reason. I think if you hit, hit the X button too fast, Oh. Yeah, uh... Well, the problem is, like, I hit X button a lot because I always assume that's how you jump. But, uh, I've been playing a lot of Crash Bandicoot in case you didn't <laughs> I killed oh, Gascoigne. Oh, I'm coming for you, Metal. Oh my god, you no. actually hit me now. <laughs> Someone said, this is a good question for all of us. Um, what is the fastest a game has ever made you turn it off and never go back if it's happened at all? Mm. That was recently for me, funnily enough. I don't think like finishing anything once starting it would be necessary no matter what. 
So that's not true at all for me. I will no. absolutely ditch a game and never go back to it. Yeah. But it, it, feel free, go ahead, Metal. Uh, God of War Ascension. <laughs> Hard oh. mode. I played all the God of Wars in a row, if uh, people that's are not PSP aware. That's a PSP one, right? Uh, Ascension is... Ascension no, that's the PS3 last one. PS3 yeah. one that came out. That was oh, the last okay. one that came out before God of War 4. And I was playing all of them on hard. It was challenging, probably the most challenging so far. But then there was the, the Trial of Archimedes. And it's basically a three-tier fight, which in itself is not unusual for a God of War game. Uh, but then I had big troubles doing the first part. It's like, oh, that's fine. It's probably a checkpoint in here and I get some health. Nope, you get right to the next one. Super small area. You can barely stun lock the enemies. And I tried it and tried it and tried it and you don't get checkpoints. You don't get health. You don't get anything. I was like, no, nah, fuck this. I'm, this, is, this wasn't fun challenging. It was just bullshit. I was like, fuck it. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty crappy. I, even, I was so angry, I made a tweet about it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you're angry, yeah. Um, Anybody else have one? Uh, I don't know, actually. The game that the, the the game that made you quit it the fastest and never go back. Nothing that springs to mind, unfortunately. Yeah, same here. So, yeah, and and I'm gonna talk about not some of the shitty Steam games I play just for the lulls of it, but like actual like proper games. Um. Uh, <clears throat> Most of the games that I start and never go back to are just because I'm just not interested in going back to them. It's not that the game has offended me in some way That's or that it's bad. Yeah. I just lack interest. I just get apathetic about them and don't care about going back to them. I'm sure there's some, though. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> what, what do you think, Scoob? We just wrote. I wonder who, who's the asset who made you play those games, Boodle. Yeah, I wonder who it was, Scoob. <laughs> oh, no. He, he said it, I was like, I was going to make a Twitter poll, and people were like, play all of them, and yeah, all right. never listen to Twitter. <laughs> uh, does this include DLC? Yeah, we got Old Hunters. I bought it specifically for this, because I never had it, but I like the music from those bosses. And I think, um... Right, let me ask you this. Um, <clears throat> if you and I had not agreed to finish Destiny 2's campaign, oh, Christ. would you have, yeah, would you no, have quit no, Destiny 2? No, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have beaten that game. I definitely because I know. basically <clears throat> didn't. Once we were finished, I that was just I didn't play anymore. Yeah, because I, I went back through it one more time and I've never touched it since. Um, I goddamn Destiny Two was, uh, fuck me, that sucked. I heard it's gotten really good. Yeah, but people said that about the first game, and it's like I don't know what do you, what do you mean it got good? Is it still I have to shoot bullet sponges? <clears throat> Like, does it still have fuck all story? Because if it has those <laughs> problems, then I'm still probably not going to enjoy it at all. It's just not yeah, as good I have as no Halo. Going it's not as good as Halo. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd much rather play Halo than Destiny. I'd much rather... I'd, I'd rather play Halo 5. Like, <laughs> I'd ra I think I'd rather play Halo 4. Like, at least... At least, like, I don't know. Like, at least there's something to chew on in terms of, like, story. Even if it's crap. Because, like, I think that's the problem with, that I have with, uh... With, um... Destiny is there is no story and I expected a lot more out of it. I was so excited. I bought that $200 special edition for the first one. I, I think that was the one that got me off of pre-ordering video games. Uh, <laughs> I think it was. Uh, let me see here. Someone, someone here said that that game for them was Hellblade and that was my Whoa. game of the year. For yeah. the year. I, I loved that. Hellblade. Well, if they encountered um, the game breaking bug then maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> I remember. I remember. Uh, let's see. Like oh, I see. You went back to the cleric beast. Yeah. Yeah. It's personal now, I guess. Game is just slowing down every once in a while as I attack this thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, let me. I can't keep up. <laughs> oh, it's like, stop it. Someone said, um. Yo oh, there, Hunter. Yeah, if you're not good at it, like, it's miserable. What League of Legends like, did you say? <laughs> what? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't. I totally didn't hear what what game were you talking about? I don't think Apex Legends. Yeah. Oh, right. I mean, that's Legends yeah. in there. That's I a guess. game that's. I I love it. I have over a thousand hours in it. I have a lot of fun with it. I play with people who are good. But if you're not good at that game, then it is just oh. miserable. 
I nearly beat that stupid father prick. I I'm a little <laughs> bit I'm a little bit better about um Apex because I would have preferred Titanfall three. Yeah, I just yeah, I don't know what the story is. I know you really like it, it. But, uh, but I really prefer Titanfall. I would have preferred Titanfall 3 to Apex Legends. I like it a lot. I think it's a really good game. It's just that I would have preferred Titanfall 3. I think I just prefer I'm, I'm not a bit I'm just really not a big fan of um of um of um fuck me. Uh Battle Royales. I prefer like just standard PvP multiplayer. Rags, please tell Fringy to use his L1 attack. Fringy, what? use your L1 that attack. Does it help to use, like, what difference does it make, really? Um, it'll be slower, but it can increase stagger. So, like, oh, right. more okay. likely to make things stop moving. And I think it deals slightly more damage, too. The trick, yeah, probably trick does. option. So instead, okay. Rags, you say that, but live service Titanfall 3 would have happened. So here's the thing. That's what Apex Legends is. Yeah. And let me explain. So... I think Respawn oh, would have loved to make a Titanfall 3. I think and I would. think that EA probably said, no, we, 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 even though we were the ones who fucked you over, apparently, or whatever, <laughs> with the release dates or no, whatever. No, they apparently Respawn shows that release date. That was their decision. Oh. I, I don't, I, I know, I know. Well, that, <laughs> yeah, so I, apparently Respawn is so stupid that they can't, <laughs> they, they couldn't pour piss out of a boot if the instructions were on the heel. Uh, EA looked at those crayon, crayon nice. munching Single simpletons one, and said, Yeah, even though you made a great game, you ruined it with your business decisions. We're not going to allow you to make Titanfall 3. And I was, I'm was, i curious if Respawn was able to finagle them into saying, Well, hey, we do what like if we make a... a universe, but it's a, a, yeah. a battle royale. Like, what if we sort of make no. a Titanfall game, but it's yeah. a battle royale? And EA was like, Rick. oh, okay then. So, so, you have to, yeah, yeah. So that's probably kind of what uh, sort of. Happened. It would seem you have priority over Fringy today, right? Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I'm starting I mean, to notice not, now. I'm making up time. Yeah. It, it, it just means uh, that if you both talk at the same time, Fringy will break up. Oh, well, <laughs> I will. <laughs> I finally beat Einstein and Smo, and I've gotten the titty reward. Nice. No, I've been playing doing... Wolfenstein the New Colossus lately, uh, and it's amazing. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> I, I like hated New Order game. a lot better. New Colossus, I New Order is better. Yeah. I think New Colossus has some dog shit level design. New Colossus. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, <laughs> it has a bunch of shitty characters. It has a really and if dumb you play story. That game on hard difficulty i think it i'm not sure that they even about made that game for hard difficulty because i just remember it being impossible to get through certain sections oh of that God. game very easily um on hard and you might be like well that's the point it's like within reason all right and with the new colossus like a third of that game is cutscenes. yeah it's it's pretty insane how much of it is cutscenes. <laughs> Not only is a third of it cutscenes, that's okay. only counting the proper full cutscenes you can't Not do anything with. Talk and talk. Yeah, talk the, talk. this. I just walk around. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the game where it's technically you can move around, but you have to sit yeah. there and listen to it as if it was a cutscene to get a lot of information and character stuff. So. Uh, yeah, I th yeah, New Colossus was not that fun to play. It, it Just get the new order. <clears throat> Young Blood is better than the new Colossus. I That's promise the whole you. Take, I think. Apparently <laughs> it is, and it shouldn't be because Young Blood plays way better than the new Colossus does, and the levels are better designed as well. Um, story still dog shit, and you have to put up with the fucking horrible protagonists though, and they cover everything you do. I'm so, mentioning yeah. there's no backstab in Bloodborne. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I was trying to uh, backstab. Someone said, yeah, honestly, you I need didn't to like do the a, order. You're wrong. You need to do a charge attack onto the backs of them, and then you can do a... a, oh, a <clears> it'll set up the backstab, deal. technically. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. okay, let's see if this hunter up here is going <laughs> to fuck me over like he, like he did you last night. Oh, Someone right, quoted fine. me, technically not a cutscene, but you got to sit there and listen to it to the point where it might as well be. Wait, are we talking yeah. about cyberpunk all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, 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 shit. I I feel like um I saw I saw a video recently. It was nope, um it still fell from, uh, easy from you know uh, I think it was Yahtzee's dev diary where he was talking about how he doesn't like um 
he doesn't like uh, dialogue select screens, and part of the and one of the things he cited was like especially when there's just a list of exposition you have to go through, and I I'm like yeah I think I agree. Um, uh, it's really annoying when one. it's like investigate and there's a list of three different i mean the problem is if if the writing's good then i'm happy to listen to exposition but if the writing's bad i often feel like obligated to listen to the exposition yeah, yeah. Yeah. i'm like i don't want to leave any stone unturned <clears throat> um, even if even if i'm not that invested in uh in in what's happening uh, someone uh, have i tried rainbow six siege i've played it briefly uh, I like it. I, I've I've seen it destroy too many people to have me invest more time <laughs> hey, into it. I mean, you know, like I've you done can, okay you, in it, but oh, I, I worry meet, about uh, what my people on um. You can meet uh, what's his face uh, the, the the Wings of Redemption. You can meet him on Rainbow Six Siege. Nope. Play uh, a couple of games, have a fun time. Nope. <laughs> nope. Um, he, he no. Is a funny <laughs> Let's see. Uh. So I don't. Uh, someone asked me about Valorant. I've never played it and have no interest in playing it because I, it. I, I have no interest right. in CS Go, for which Valorant is a similar type kind of game. Um, yeah, I have no absolutely no interest in it. I have interest in the idea that maybe one day I will get Dirty Bomb again, but I. Hmm. That game hurt you, didn't it? <laughs> the game hurt me. That company, the the game loved me, and the company who made it hated me. <laughs> <laughs> Depressing. Uh, let's see. Uh... Go. Ba -da -dum -dum -da -da -dum. Someone said, hmm, I generally prefer dialogue choices in games if your protagonist is silent. The way you get more speech options and Whoops. don't have to have an unwanted voice stapled on your yeah, character. Yeah, I think I might... Well, the problem is it's like it's twofold, right? The reason why they talk is because it's more immersive, I guess. But, like, I'm cool with inventing in my head that I said something. Yeah, especially because every time my male protagonist in Cyberpunk in talks, Cyberpunk I'm like, why? Uh, no, sh yeah. uh... Mel, how do you sell... I'm... Oh, never mind. <laughs> kind of has the same problem where like fem chef is way more interesting to listen to but like i do want to play as a guy because i am I personally <laughs> I, I personally don't care if i my guy talks or not i, I want my choices to actually matter if they yeah. gave me one that's i think i prefer less choices but they're more consequent it's funny i get into arguments about this black ops 2 might well be one of the best games in terms of player choice actually mattering there are no inconsequential choices in that game they all have an impact <laughs> Oh, really? Um, I, I don't remember okay. it at all, so... Oh, shit. Uh, that game has four, I think, more than four endings, actually. But, like, you know, depending on characters that you either save or kill, uh, or, you know, characters who you manage to save or don't, it can have a huge impact. Like, whether or not you are, whether or not you shoot Harper will directly lead to whether or not you get a bad ending. Um, and it's like, wow, that that's... And, and that choice comes, like, several levels before the end. And of course, you can be like, well, is it lame that one choice makes that difference? It's like, well, sometimes one choice does make all the difference. Um, and, well, maybe I should reevaluate this take, because I remember getting really mad in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck! You sounded like fucking Ganondorf in this B-move on Smash. <laughs> oh. And I'm not Falcon Punch. <laughs> totally not a Falcon Punch. Like, I remember, um... <clears throat> In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, that I went to this place where it's like, hey, so, um, I don't, one character's like, I don't want you to kill the guy in charge here. And, um, I was like, okay, so I'm gonna do all the side missions to. Why did you get close to your microphone? Later. What? You've gone close to your microphone, so now I'm gonna have to turn you down, but I can't, because I'm playing a video uh -oh. game. Move back away. Uh oh. <laughs> you want me to move? You want me to move away? Whatever you want would. To move. Go back to what you were doing. Uh, what, here? Here? Is this fine? No. No, here? <laughs> He's just gonna have to pick one. Here. Commit to that. That's fine. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, All that's right. fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is far away, kind of, from the mic. You sound right. perfect right now. Okay. Yeah, good. you really do. Um, yeah, this is more comfortable for me then. I'm cool with that. Yeah, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I, I did this this part where I, I worked for a long time to whittle away at the Empire. I think it took me like three hours, and then I got to the end of the like, well, you you killed this one guy 20, 20 hours ago, so I'm not I'm not surrendering. 
and then I got punished for that. It's like, you should have made it clear that this was pointless. Why would you waste my time only to be like, you made the wrong choice 20 hours ago, so you can't, you can't get this outcome. Yeah, that's lame. Sure, mm -hmm. I sort of saying that's the point. It's like, well, that's a lame point. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Spend 20 hours working hard and then be like, nah, you made the wrong choice 20 hours ago. Sorry. It's like, yeah, remember how years and years ago you killed that one doctor who was going to kill your daughter? Well, turns out that that doctor has a daughter and she's going to come and she's going to find you inexplicably and hunt you down. Wait a minute. Yeah, but Rooney. <laughs> It's like, oh, it's just like real life. Oh, well, oh, I could, yeah, real I life could play sucks. Life. Yeah, real life does <laughs> suck. I can, I can yeah. play real life every day. Oh, somebody talked about Detroit become human. The choices matter a lot. Yeah, I, I heard that they do. It's a shame that the writing <laughs> sucks. Uh, Frags, what sword did you buy and how long did it take to get it? I got the Albion Landgraf. It's a long sword. It took. Landgraf. It was a while. I got it a little bit early. They said nine months i think but i got it in like seven or eight so yeah uh fucking baller rags no one knows what you're referencing that's ah, all right i i like to think that i may mistake. have if i had known there you go mayhaps yes Mo, go away i can smell you on my screen I'm, I've decided that uh, I'm not going to be too concerned with old Yarnum except for the Bloodstarved Beast. <laughs> I think, anyway. I don't know how much is valuable in this place. Man, you guys are a lot further. I'm still <laughs> stuck on Father Gascoigne. Just believe in yourself, and others will believe in you. Chicks love confidence. Yeah, I, feel like I, I feel like I believed in myself when I was fighting the Cleric Beast, and now I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, by the way, no, we are we are not a duty to retreat state. Um, Why not? Which I am fine with, by the way. I'm fine with the, the uh, duty to retreat law. I am fine with it. Um, it right. is totally fine with me. Uh, I mean, duty to retreat makes sense if you can, right? Like, yeah, if, you know. if yeah, if, if someone if you're unlawfully attacked or you're defending someone who is, you can't use deadly force if it's possible to. Avoid the danger with complete safety by retreating, right, which is that... just like what you should be doing anyway. Yeah, I mean that makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, the the thing is that you, but generally the castle doctrine is when you're you have no duty to retreat when you're attacked in your home. That uh, makes sense in... to me as well. Yeah, I exactly, think. Um, yeah. I mean, to me, I feel like it's pretty simple. If you come into somebody's house, like if you they've get got killed, nowhere else to go. Like that's. That's yeah. That is the set. That's the place they're supposed to be safe. Exactly. Um, so yeah. like in here, if someone breaks into your house, with you know some exceptions, you could blast them, and that's that. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that that's how it works in Australia. I think uh, I don't think well because we you know our gun laws are a lot different. Obviously, you need to keep your gun locked up in a safe. I'm pretty sure, and you can't get one for self defense, which I think is pretty stupid. Um, you can get it for hunting though, so, you know, killing animals for fun, that's cool, but if you want to <laughs> defend your house, they're not allowed. Um, I'm checking out the things here. Uh, give me a second. Is it a wall hanger or actually functional? It is very functional. That's why I bought it. It comes, it come when it came, it will, it's sharp enough to cut paper from the makers. It is very sharp, absolutely. Um, if it wasn't, I wouldn't have bought it. Um... Let's see. Have you ever had to use your gun for self-defense? Uh, thankfully, no. It'd be and weird I if hope you it had. Remains that way. Unlikely. Yeah. Ah! It, hopefully, I will <laughs> never have to. Uh, but it's there if I need it. Um, oh, here's a good question. What instruments can the EFAPers play? I, Zero. Uh, pretty well, actually. And um, ah. keyboard. I played saxophone for a long time. Uh, Regularly, I don't play it so regularly anymore, but uh, but yeah, saxophone, um, keyboard. I think clarinet. Now, don't you play you... the Glock feel? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> All right, Glock and Spiel. It's a little bit Ooh, dangerous to culture. I played, uh, yeah, I can play piano. I played for, I took lessons hey. for like nine years. Uh, I was piano. quite good at it. Yeah, I could probably pick it up pretty easy. 
I, I can still go to a piano and like remember some stuff and I can use muscle memory pretty well. Some things just stick with you. Piano, yeah, piano, yeah. piano. In and I had a drums already do vocal, which is a weird combo. Oh, yeah, but I mean, you know, like learning how to play multiple instruments. In. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of yeah. benefits being able to play multiple. I think piano is super helpful. Absolutely. Um, Especially so. with electronic ones now that can mimic all, all kinds of other sounds. I think it's just and it transitions well to computers. Oh, well. Yeah. It's a good, and plus, like piano is effectively the baseline instrument. Like, you know, concert C is piano C. Whereas, you know, like concert C is, um, Oh my god, I am forgetting. I wonder that. if the reason for that is because you can't just like p tune a piano on command. Pianos, yeah, pianos have like, yeah, and, and pianos can represent like a, it, it, I mean, you know, you just look at the number of keys a piano has. And it, it's got a lot of keys. It can represent several different octaves. Whereas, you know, if you're on a saxophone, you only really got two. And it's, it's Ooh, what are you... a lot of other instruments as well. Yeah. Wow, that didn't work at all this the time. The incredible weakness of pianos is also their biggest strength, is that they're, it's a big fucking... Although, the keyboards nowadays, it doesn't matter as much. No, like, I've um, got a MIDI keyboard that's only 25 keys, so... Yeah, um... Let's see. Camera, please. Uh, Camera, please. Get out Rags, of the wall. What do you think Thank of Conan Files? Haven't played it. Uh, oh, Mahler and Rags. Remember the choice in Resident Evil 7? Nah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that choice. Did you... Did we do the same thing with that? Because I chose... I wanted Mia to die. I was like, fuck you. I don't care about you. I care about this other girl who's been risking her life to help me. And so I chose <laughs> I her, and I the game was it. like, no, no, no. She always dies, that one. And you're like, oh. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember. Cool, thanks. I, I remember being incredibly upset at the game, but that could have been because I chose uh, the helpful lady, and she got murked instantly. Mm -hmm. Or because I chose Mia and the game, I know the game would have fucking punished me if I chose. I can't remember which one of those it was, but I remember it upsetting me greatly. I was thoroughly disappointed. I don't know why they made that sequence. It should have just been a cutscene where your character says, I'm taking Mia. That's it. <laughs> and that would have had me angry as well, because I'm like, no, 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 the other chick was like really, really yep. helpful and she tried to save you and me as a cunt. Uh. Let's see. Uh, recommend a good MMO to get into? Go first, too. Uh, do you think you'd ever be interested in working in a game dev studio? No, fuck that. Uh, I would if I was a writer or something. But I Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. If I was a writer, well, like if yes. I got to dictate all the choices, but I don't actually have to do the coding, like, yeah. I'd yeah. Go, I'd go, like, <laughs> so basically, if I was in charge of the whole production, um, yeah. but not, <laughs> like but not to be in the, the production yeah, sense. Basically, just the creative director. I get to make all of the creative right, decisions. There we go. Yeah. Uh, but somebody else has to figure out the budgeting and like staff management. I then yeah I would. I think I like yeah. the idea of being an indie dev. I, I think I want to make a game at some point. No, I don't. Um, I oh yeah no I I do. I really like the idea of uh, of making a video game. Okay. I just don't know how to code, so that's kind of a big barrier. Can you play the gas chamber? I cannot play the gas chamber. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that's against TOS. <laughs> <sighs> what kind of game? Um, I really like the uh, idea of making a Metroidvania. Um, mm. That seems like something that would be really cool. I also like the idea of one idea that I had was like a uh, an XCOM style game where you build you like build a bunch of robots and then you can deploy them on the battlefield and you know you yeah, so basically XCOM but with robots. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. I was about to say you can customize them. It's like yeah, you can customize them with XCOM as well. All right, yeah, all right. But like, you know, where you could build like a robot in an assembly bay or something and give it different type of weapons depending on, you know, what kind of team you want to build. But the moral of the story is like, oh, these robots, they don't get to choose what wars they fight in. And then over the course of the game, they start to like, you know, choose, choose the wars they want to fight in. That's the arc. <laughs> Rags, can you play Megalovania on piano? No, but I bet in 10 seconds oh. I could. <laughs> uh... Pianos, what's the sharp thing Rags was talking about? My fucking sword! Swoured. Uh, we already know Rags can play the piano if like, Creation has a video of me play. Yeah, that's right, I play the hate piano. Apparently I play it every fucking EFAP, so people tell nice. me. Nice. <clears throat> no wonder you can just take it up fire. like that. Yeah, it's natural. Oh yeah, okay, oh, thanks for the resub. Moodle playing my favorite game. Oh. Not only me, Mumblo and Fringle, the plague too. <clears throat> oh, that is the truth. If uh, 
Well, if you just joined, the bot just posted to multi Twitch. So, yeah. Sweet. Multi Twitch. Uh, Stop it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how badass do you feel when you hold your sword? I don't know. I'm up there, but I'm used to holding, like, My rifles nuts. and stuff. <laughs> so, but a sword is pretty badass. I feel pretty darn badass. Oh, so. Das Bullshit had a cool idea. He said, if I could make a video game, I'd want a VR horror game where you're in a wheelchair bound overnight. Uh, where you're a wheelchair Let's bound try. overnight security guard in a morgue. Worth it. That could be cool. Yeah. That could be nifty. Like, if you. If, I hope, hopefully, yeah, it's not you staring at computer monitors all game. I guess it would be like where your mode of control is limited because maybe like, you know, you can't go upstairs or something, but you can go downstairs really quickly. Once. You know what I mean? Like, so like in terms of navigating stairs, it's like you can't get up them. And if you want to go down them, it's a big risk reward because you got to like, you get down them quickly, I... but then, you know, maybe you've got to balance or something as you go down. So I think that as cool of an idea as that is, you're going to have to find a way to justify why they'd hire a security guard who's crippled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is that. Problem. He's got tenure, okay, and for the he's really respected, and he got into an accident, and he's like, I can still do my job, damn it. Uh, Rags, have you read The Art of War by Sun Tzu? I have. It takes about yeah. 12 minutes. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's barely, <laughs> it's really quick to read, but goddamn, I love that book. It's a great book. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah. Um, it is very short, sweet, to the point, very yep. excellent general advice. Oh, uh, excellent I think it's general really advice. Good, yeah, good uh -huh. life advice uh -huh. in general, I would say. That, uh, uh, nice, that was, nice yeah, one. Nice. Uh, got a lot of good life advice, you know, like, uh, um, I think I got even though it was written for people who were commanding armies in, like, the 3rd century BC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cons of wheelchairs, um, you can't go upstairs, bros. You can go, go downstairs really fast. Here's a question that's good. Are there any games that you think are otherwise really good but it has one thing broken about it that puts you off of it. Hmm. I'm sure there is. I gotta think about them. Yeah, I can't think of it right no, now. No, nothing comes oh, to mind. There's. Uh, hmm. One thing that ruins it for me. Yar, har, or that's broken about it for me. Um. Oh, I don't know. I'll keep that in mind as I progress here. Um, but if uh, but that's a really good question. That's uh, just one that kind of caught me off guard. I gotta think about it for a while because I'm pretty sure yes. that there is. There has to be, it. yeah. I'm almost. I am almost well, tempted um, to say. It, examples yeah. in chat, maybe I don't know. Yeah, if you have some in chat, I would be curious what some of yours are because that is a good question. Um, oh, I am shit, tempted to say whiskey. StarCraft. The, that I, I just, I just want to be able to fucking zoom out. That game has a pretty close up view of everything and you don't have an option to scroll back and see a lot more stuff. I know it's part of the game, but it really bugs me and it makes me feel, it's the only RTS that makes me feel claustrophobic. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's even just... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I thought it was done. I was just say that's just that. That's the one that sort of comes to mind. Though I have, I do enjoy StarCraft. So and I did play it for quite a while. Emi just wrote Cyberpunk. What's good? The game. What's broken? The game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. that, I, <laughs> um. Watch Roy to get this chest as well. Someone said Alien Isolation. I'm curious. That's thing. But don't just say the game. Say what it is about the. You know? Yeah. Otherwise. Um, let's see. Huh! Oh, I feel like I was doing a lot better at this game yesterday. Um, I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure I beat this guy in one try last time. Now I got no health and I got no healing items, so that's fucking great. <laughs> it's Borkman. Let's see, uh, the driving and sleeping <clears throat> Yeah, there we are. Mm -hmm. If you, uh, <laughs> if you just farm a little bit, you can buy healing items from the- the messengers, as they're called in, uh... Oh fuck no! You, if you, and if you just go around in the beginning, you get like a, a lot of. Oh, well, them I mean, I was, well. I was, I was doing that, but like they were barely oh. blocking anything, and then I like lost more health than I gained from the healing items I found. So that was, that was fun. I'm, I'm just pulling up your stream to see where you are now. Yeah, you guys are like well. Oh Jesus Christ! <clears throat> Jesus. Oh, I got the messenger top hat. Fuck yeah! Yes, please. Metal. Someone in chat said uh, about the, the the game with one terrible thing in it. Uh, the water levels in God of War. Water levels and go. Wait, motherfucking dogs! 
but th th those are just like short segments. There's no, I don't, yeah, there's, no, there's, no, there's no real like proper water levels. Oh my God, yeah, the recovery. To, but I yeah, Funnel, if, yeah. You, if, if you be a bit more specific, I might can comment on that, but I don't remember like an actual water level. Because you can't actually Multiple. do anything in water most of the time. You just swim around and dash. Multiple people have said the Batmobile and Arkham Knight. I didn't play Arkham Knight, so yeah, I can't I. say. That game was too broken and had really bad pre-order bonuses, but none of us, you know, that game still sold really well, and now here we are. Uh, oh shit, he turned around already. The Vermin Tide 2 for me. Interesting. I never liked how the enemies seem like they can hit you from far away if your FOV is really high. So, it makes it hard to judge distances. So, yeah, that's what field of view is. That's not, that's not Vermin Tide 2's fault. That's just... That's field of view. That's just how uh, I work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. The the it it becomes a lot more difficult to gauge distances when you hyper expand the field of view. Yeah. That's just the <laughs> setting on that. That one's on you, man. Um, someone said Call of Duty. The price. <laughs> uh, oh, someone said Metro Last Light. The story makes it worse to play twice. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Must... That reminds me of one. Max Payne 3, unskippable cutscenes on replays. This is funny because yeah. I've replayed Max Payne 3 a lot. Um, so it's kind of funny that that's one that a lot of people, I remember like Total Biscuit talked about how he thought the replay value. I just played that game a lot, a lot. I really like the mechanics. So. I love it. And I, I love, love the, the gameplay. Writing, it's so. so great, but fuck me. I don't, this, there's so many cutscenes and they go, I, it's, it was great the first time. I legit yeah. really loved it the first time. The second time, I don't care. No, I, I, I get that. I think the problem is that just the, the way that the game was built in terms of the way um, that the yeah. were Hang on. cut together uh, means that a lot of the cutscenes have to be unskippable. To, but the, the slow walking stuff, right, that's like the main one. You should have an option to skip that. And maybe it's something that they could have if they like ported it to PS5 or, you know, just basically made it for modern. Like if you have an SSD, you probably can skip those now and it wouldn't be a problem. Someone's. Oh wow! What an interesting pairing. I was just about to mention. Someone had mentioned Alien Isolation. They hate the fact that there is spooky safe music and spooky danger music, and that kind of <laughs> ruins it for them. And That's then I scroll down to see, Frags. Any games where the soundtrack is so bad it ruins it for you? It's uncommon. Uh, That's a specific kind of bad, though, right? Yeah. Is say that what? That's a specific kind of bad. Not like the songs are bad, but the placement and. <laughs> I don't know, usage all Yeah, it's them. just two... It's just one question talking about this, you know, the soundtrack being really bad, and then the other one is like, hey, do you have one with the soundtrack? You know, I, I think they're just unrelated, just sort of similar. Mm -hmm. But Did I you kill Amelia think of already, a game Mumbo? where the soundtrack so is what? so bad it ruined it for me. Did you kill Amelia already? No. I keep oh, getting God. fucked on this part. To... Um, by dogs, which... Bring, here now. Bring, you're the one that said dogs kind of suck in most things, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I think dogs suck in a lot of things, especially in stealth games. Um, I think I think it's really stupid to have an enemy that the only difference is that they can smell where you are. Because you can't track where people can smell things. You can tell where people can see, and you can intuitively figure out what people can hear, especially if the game has a good sound propagation system like Thief. But smell is retarded. And, I mean, a clear example is in The Last of Us 2, where it's just, hey, hold down this button and you can see a trail. Um, you can just see where the dog is following you. It's like, oh, so really, you've added nothing. Um, good job. Yeah, Last of Us 2 isn't very good mechanically either, guys. Just no. have smell be an excuse for why if an enemy was in, is within a certain proximity of you, they will slowly track you, and you have to exit the proximity of the enemy. Well, the in problem order that to... The Last of Us 2 had is they would just have a thing that's like, oh, the dog's got your scent. It's like, yeah, the game would have it, because how the hell could I possibly know if a dog has my scent? Like, how how does the game... player in the universe know that the well, dog has their well, scent? I, I mean, that's the, that's the big problem. Like, in terms of immersion, it makes no sense at all. Um, as opposed to, like, again, if you're playing, like, Splinter Cell, they've, they've just got the, you know, and in Splinter Cell, it's like, wait, so when you're in stealth, you've got giant green light bulbs on your back if, that light up. It's like, yeah, but, like, you know, you can Easy. get around. Oh, wow, I lost all my goddamn things. I died before I got to him. Oh, 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 o
Um, oh, the, uh, any games where you like to be- Oh, go ahead, Mola. Uh, the reason I was bringing up the dogs is just that there's a pack of like four or five of them <laughs> and they- their whole goal is to stun lock you. Like, that's what yeah. this seems to be designed to yeah. do. And I- Which one- which one is that? Oh, in the, in, in the beginning area, the, those ones? Well, honestly, no, wait, where any dogs wait, anywhere. Where if- even if fucking- one of them can sometimes stun lock you if you're not careful. But, yeah, uh, oh, you're at the, at the thing, okay. When you get like yeah, four, yes. it gets intense. And uh, I'm not a fan. How about those dogs in seven days to die? I don't think I've played uh, it. I mostly kill them. They're not that bad. Well, I guess maybe it's because of the... So, like, seven days to die is really good. Because it's a lot of things that are... They just mix it together well. But the dogs yeah. in that game are fucking horseshit. And one of the reasons is because that is a game where enemies that move faster than the player, it just does not work in that game. It is not a game that is des that just, it doesn't work in that game with the way that combat is and moving around is. Oh, if off. an enemy is faster than you in Seven Days to Die, it just doesn't work. Oh yeah, now, that's, that's true. Now, if so Bitch. what I do is I normally play on higher difficulties. Um, and... And that makes that like the normal zombies. It makes them a little bit more imposing and um, like deadlier, uh, which is good. They're slower than you, but you know you got to be good with timing. You can't get surrounded, but as long as you don't do those things, you're gonna be all right. You know, as they're zombies. But I want them to still be dangerous so that I actually play with that in mind, and it changes my behavior sometimes. You can't tank zombies or anything like that. However, what that means alternatively is that unfortunately dogs become a whole lot more deadly because they can run up to you and just fucking kill you now. Um, and sometimes the game will spawn packs of dogs. And if that happens before you get like firearms and bullets for them, you're just dead. Okay, you're just yeah, dead yeah, yeah. nothing you can do. Yeah, the dogs in that yeah, game need to go away. No, that, that, that's true. Now that you mention it, when, when you happen to cross a path of like a pack of dogs that's uh yeah, yeah. You, you better get the fuck much. out of there if you can <laughs> it, it's, ugh. um yeah they get, i always play seven days to die with cheats on because the game can bullshit you in a totally unfair nonsense way and mm. cheats allow you to be like okay yeah that just that thing that just happened the game just did to me yeah that's that doesn't happen yeah, we we play with uh without losing our shit when we die yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, uh, they used to have a really shitty system. They used to have it. They used to have a because I've been playing it pretty consistently since launch. There used to be a wellness statistic that you had, and wellness oh, okay. was a statistic. It was a base of one hundred, and you could very slowly but surely raise that to higher numbers as you ate particular foods and things. And that was like the long-term mm -hmm. goal of your character was to raise your wellness level because wellness was your stamina and your health cap. And yes. it was, so items that gave you wellness were like really valuable and you worked towards them and using them and you did what you could to exploit those to get as much as you could. Mm -hmm. However, when you died, you lost 10 wellness. That seems so, like a lot. <laughs> yeah, which it is because often that is a snowball effect of you die. And if you die sometimes, now that you don't have your stuff, depending on your settings, uh, you just, it just, you die again, especially if it's at night mm -hmm. and the zombies move faster at night, unless you otherwise change it in the settings. And so, and plus it's like, even if you die once, you might as well fucking restart. Cause that's a huge deal to only to have 90 health and 90 stamina instead of a hundred of each. Oh so yeah. They did yeah, change yeah. that. They changed it to the system they have now, which is much better, uh, which is simpler and it just works better. Um, um. I got asked the question, uh, any games where you like the music more than the game? Uh, so Bloodborne is an example. I really love the music and I, I like, I, well, look, you know what? I'm just mad at the moment. Um, <laughs> I, I do like Bloodborne, um, but, but yeah, I really like the music more than like I've played the game, right? So like, you know, I can hummel a lot of the main tracks, even though I haven't even beaten the game and I didn't play Old Hunters and I really... Here's, here's an example. I actually really like the soundtrack in Anthem, or at least I like a couple of the songs in that game. Uh, I like the main theme, but I don't give a shit about that game, so... Oh, yeah. that one. Have you killed Amelia, Mel? Yeah, I'm going to Forbidden Woods now. Oh, wow, man. That must be fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so in the... Also, I guess while it's on my mind, um, 
I think that Seven Days to Die needs to remove the stunning mechanic. If a uh, zombie sorry? stuns you, uh, in Seven Days to Die, they need to remove the stunning mechanic. If a zombie hits oh. you and like randomly stuns you, you're dead. That only happened to me once. I was super confused what happened. It's, yeah, it's it's fucking dumb. And it's like stupid. I didn't even know I didn't even know where it came from. Holy shit, he just annihilated me. Uh Sonic Holy Games. Shit. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic games are a good example. I like a lot of the ah. music in Sonic games, but I don't care. Well, I mean, I like the old Sonic games, so um, but yeah, I do like the music more. The problem is when it's like, do you like the music more than the game? It's like, mmm, what do you mean by that? Because like tomatoes and apples. And oranges yeah, like for instance, somebody said Halo. It's like, well, I love it. It's like, do I like the soundtrack of Halo more than Halo? It's like, well, I've listened to the song probably more than I've played. Oh, uh, that might not be true actually, but yeah, it's like I don't think that's it. I think it's a not a distinction I'm I care to like, you know, explore. I like Halo and I really like the music. I think that my answer would be, with a huge caveat, uh, Stellaris. But that's just oh. because I haven't, I have, I have not played Stellaris. I'm just familiar with the soundtrack. Yeah, the music's really cool. Yeah, yeah so um, that's just the, the thing there. Um, but I, I do have the, a lot of the soundtrack on my computer. Great. But yeah. I don't think I can actually think of a game I enjoy the soundtrack more than the game. Oh, well, uh, like a I lot said, of times uh, in games I turn the soundtrack off, depending. I, I have one. Actually. Yeah. Uh, it's Crypt of the Necrodancer. I don't really, um, the, the gameplay doesn't really mesh well with me. I don't know, I didn't like it as much, but the soundtrack is fucking dope as shit. That is a game that is about the music, right? It is, yeah, you have to move in, in rhythm and everything. Yeah. It didn't really mesh with me, I didn't really get into it. I think it's a really cool concept, but I don't know, I just didn't get into it that well. But yeah, the I'm soundtrack sure there is fucking are... dope. I'm sure there are games. Uh, where I like the soundtrack more. I can't really think of them off the top of my head at the moment, but I am certain they exist. <laughs> Stop! Yeah. You fucking pieces of shit! Fuck me. <laughs> the boss fights are going way better this time around than yesterday. Man, that must be nice. My boss fights are going worse. I think one of the reasons is maybe that, like, if it's a game I don't like, I don't stick around with it much, I remember it much. So I don't really remember the soundtracks. Well, the thing is, like, a lot of the time I just find the soundtrack from, like, looking it up. Or, like, it comes up in my recommended. So, like, for instance, Anthem is a game I only played the, the beta for. But I remember, like, oh, I like, the, I like the music on the menu. And so then I just got recommended the, well, or I would have looked it up. And then I just start getting recommended other tracks. And it's like, oh, yeah, no, this is... And also, if it's the you know the same composer, I think the composer for that that game is the one who did the new Modern Warfare soundtrack, which I like as well. Um, yeah, there probably is. And if I went back to all the games I don't really like and checked out the soundtrack, it's very possible that the soundtrack is perfectly fine or even good, and I just can't remember it because I didn't play the game too much. But I can't be can't be certain. Um, yeah, because the problem is if it's a game that I like and I also and I love the soundtrack, it's almost <laughs> like, well, what what is is that? Does that matter? <laughs> you know, because maybe yeah, it's a game where the soundtrack. All right, see you later, dude. And what if it's, if it's like where the music was enhanced for you because you associate a memory with it? You know what I mean? Yeah, like that's the, very like in Mass well. Effect, there's this music that's like the Interceptor. I think it's called Interceptor, and it's like this song is like fine, but I like it a lot more because I remember the mission it was in. <laughs> or you know, like why is Warthog, Warthog Run so impactful? It's like, well, the music is really good, but it's also the memory I have of the level it was part of. I have one, but Rags won't like it. Hellblade. Um, yeah, Hellblade's music was really good. It was very, it was very, very appropriate for like the settings and everything. Right. Um, let's see. Yeah. Rags, what do you think of Call of Duty? What a broad question. <laughs> some are great, some are terrible, and they're everything in between. Oh, um, I like the music in a lot of Call of Duty games, actually. Modern Warfare 2 has a great soundtrack, Khan Zimmer. Uh, but I love Modern Warfare 2, so that's that doesn't count, I guess. Oh, and, and this will be where I fuck it up. 
when I nearly beat this little prick. This will be where this will be where I fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. I can see fuck it. Fuck you! It's... No! Oh my no, God. no! 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 All right. <laughs> yes! <laughs> fuck you! Yay! Yeah, Presumably. that was that was almost two consecutive fuck yous with completely different context behind each one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Thoughts <laughs> <laughs> right, on Death Stranding? Never played it. I saw Matthew Matosis's video on it, and it was insightful. Oh, that's a good one. Death Stranding. I like the song from that trailer, but I don't care about that game at all. Ah. Oh no, I'm dead. I fell. Ow, in my face. I forgot Are that I had music seen. music based games you like? Guitar Hero, etc. I've enjoyed playing Guitar Hero and Rock Band. But, I love um, Guitar Hero. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, they're fun. Bloody but fun. I like, never got into them. I just enjoyed playing them casually with people. The normie that I am. I forgot that I had seen Breaking Bad Season 1 and watched it a second time. Still got bored and stopped there. Maybe I won't be for the third try. Um. Be surprised to find a season one of Breaking Bad boring this one. Uh, yeah, goddamn, that yeah. one's quick. That one's I, I, racing. I, I felt like they, yeah, they shove a season's worth of content into what is a small season. Yeah, even I remember a lot about Breaking Bad. What little I saw of it, I definitely wasn't bored. So um, this is not math. Well, I mean, the pilot for Breaking Bad was like, it, it blew me away in mm. terms of like it felt like a movie, and it was forty minutes, I think. Yeah. Uh, something we've talked about, I'm, I'm sure we have talked about it on stream, Breaking Bad was like the turning point, I think, where, um, so, we, we have reached a point in television where, like, big budget and good cinematography is all you need to convince people that you're good. Um, Breaking Bad unfortunately started that trend, but Breaking Bad was also, like, well written. So, it was really, you know, Breaking Bad is amazing. Um, but after that, we now we're, we're now in the era of like West Worlds and Stranger Things and stuff like that, where it's like if you have good music and the cinematography is good and you have enough money to pay for good special effects and stuff, that's all it takes, and your show is considered to be really good. Um, yeah, we uh, people have figured out how to fool you. Yeah, because before but that, I think it's because they don't know any better. Well, I think, I think it's the whole idea of, like, before that, we had stuff like The Wire and The Sopranos, where it's like, these shows were... I haven't watched... Like, I've only watched season one of The Wire, but, like, shows that were well-written, but didn't really have the money to, like, look good. Well, yeah, like, or what... look as good as the movie. What did Buffy get Vanderbilt floated by movie? on? It's like, it wasn't its production values. No, the production values are fine. Um, it, it was the writing. But now it's like, oh, well, now we don't care as much about writing, seemingly. It's, I it's think the same production value. would be said for Star Trek, then, as well. Like, as a show, production values aren't that high, but the writing is uh, carrying yeah. it like crazy. Um, somebody now mentioned like aptly that uh, maybe Band of Brothers started the trend. It's like, maybe, but Band of Brothers was like... Imp I'm not sure if I would fit... Like, Band of Brothers is, you know, it's a really good show, but it, that has high production values and good characters and stuff. But um, is that, like... I feel like Breaking Bad really was the beginning of that, of, of where we are now. Um, Band of Brothers is conventional. Hmm. I wonder how I'd describe it in the sense of like... Fuck me, camera. Uh, Band of Brothers... Of... Oh, yeah, go ahead, actually. No, I have no thought there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys think of the Helm Steep Castle and Battle? I think they both have issues in the battle. And that, that the battle has more, and that's where it stops. Okay. What? The Helm's Deep oh, Battle? Right. It's got, yeah, yeah it does have some. Battles, yeah, I it, mean, it, I it love does. it though. It's great. It, does, it gets more right than wrong. And the important stuff, I think it nails. Bum, um, bum, but bum, yeah, bum. it ain't perfect. Oh, fuck you, dogs. No. Oh, here's one. Uh, are there any movie tie in games that you think are good and enjoy playing? That's a tough one. None. Uh... I don't know if that's partially because I know to like instinctively avoid them. Yeah, I haven't played many, and I the ones I played were like a long time ago. I feel like the Avengers game they tried to make should have been good. Like I feel that like was... there was like a really easy concept there that you wanted that you can do, and apparently they like a... cocked it up really badly. 
I don't know if just I make a third that person action playing. RPG with light stealth elements, and each character is like their own class with your their upgradable paths for talent trees and food. Well, oh, I, I think that's even... what they did, and, and people didn't like it. <laughs> it's basically I think it's because the execution was bad. Yeah. I think I think they should have just made an Iron Man game. Just just do like uh. Don't don't make a game with like six characters. Make a game with one really fleshed out character. Yeah. Do Spider Man thing. No, that's all you need to do, really. Uh, Rex is not streaming. No. Uh... No, I am not streaming. I am. Uh, I have been playing. I, I've kind of been both working on Mando and uh, Stardew. And I have. I think I mentioned it in the kneecap, but the last like three weeks, I have been playing very casual-ish games. I've been playing games. I haven't been playing like Apex Legends where I try hard with my buddies. I haven't been playing as much like Battlefield 1 and stuff. I've been playing you know, Guild Wars 2 and Stardew uh, Valley. And come for your like giblets, Moot Low. No. Chill. There are two Iron uh, Man games for you. Yeah, but they're not good. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean a good one. Uh, you talking about uh, Iron Mortal, Man? Could you Iron Man 2? The Iron Man 2 video game. Well, I, I, I don't yet even know these games exist, so I don't know. Fair enough. As far as I'm aware, uh, the Iron Man 2 video game is worse the... than the first one, too. <laughs> so question for Fringy here. Uh, oh rank the Halo games from best to worst. Uh, my favorite is 3. Um, uh, 3, ODST, 2... Uh, I'd probably go 3, one 2, reach. 1, ODST, four, and Reach. And then, four. Uh, and then five and then four. I prefer five over four. I hate the campaign, but I like the multiplayer, so. Fair enough. I have not played five, so uh, yeah. I'd probably go just to be uh, oh, three. <laughs> I go three, ODST, two, one, Reach, and then four. And I have not I guess it's uh, it's worth clarifying that 3, 2, 1 and ODST are real close. And um, yes. and there's a lot of things about ODST. Like if ODST had multiplayer, it might sit above Halo 1. Because um, I really it like does. that. It does, it has campaign. Firefight. Uh, oh yeah, but I mean like competitive. Oh, hello Schnotsky. Mamlo, say hello to Schnotsky. Schnotsky, I'm going to go Good job. That's racist. Yeah, in your opinion. Yeah, damn straight. And what is your opinion worth? Nothing. Hey, no look, nothing. I don't think I don't think you were, I don't think you believe that. Not really. Well, how are you gonna know? That's your opinion, Deb. You got a you at the witches already, man. All. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still at the. Uh, I'm only just gotten to the cathedral ward. Oh, these stupid dogs. You're right. They are just there to stun lock you, aren't they? Uh, I'm. I'm doing. Oh, you're right, I didn't even do the... Wait, I forget. Which way am I going? Am I going to the shadows or to the witches right now? No, I'm in the woods. I'm going through the shadows, right? <laughs> hey, I just want to read this. Can you guess how out of date this super chat is? It's been officially confirmed by Disney that Rosario Dawson and Timothy Oliphant will be in Mandalorian Season 2. Thoughts? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have more now. I was going to say, you can find our thoughts. Episodes... One and five of the biddies. Find more thoughts than you ever thought you ever wanted. Yo, yo. Oh my god, that's a lot of It'll thoughts. It'll make you sick of thoughts. I like thoughts. Thoughts? Thoughts for oh, everyone. Oh wait, no, ah, wait. When, when are you not allowed to say these words? Sorry, I forgot. When 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 are these not allowed anymore? Huh? What you're, words? You're not allowed to use to them say, in, like, in, a, in a way when you insult someone. Yeah, like how metal's being a simp right now. Can okay. Oh man, I'm gonna ban you from the Twitter, Twitch thing. .com. It's gonna be so awkward for Twitch because if I like aggressively called you that, then they're like, "You, you YouTube, do something <laughs> about that guy." And YouTube's like, "Nah, <laughs> no, it's not, nah, not really." A little bit We're cool. Your rules are a little silly. You know. What are the words that you're not allowed to say? Simp, thought, virgin, Sim right? Incel yeah. is one of them, right? Uh, An incel, yeah. Okay. So that is a scary army of dogs. Nah. I wonder what the incels think about how incel is not allowed anymore. Yeah. Your well, the funny thing is, the you, usage of the word has increased by like 95% after <laughs> they announced yeah, that. Yeah, why don't you tell people that they can't say something, they're going to. <laughs> yeah. Weird. 
Let's need to go to safe space. Need to go toilets to go pee pee. Mel, you're gonna lose your lead. Mm. Is it oh, really me, worth it? Let me it? check your streams to see where you guys are up to. Oh Christ! <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the thing. I'm I've got momentum right now, and I think Mel does too. Where you can sort of roll through the game a tad at this point. It's only once you hit like the later levels where it starts to get hard again. I haven't um I haven't found the the different clothing yet. I'm still in the original stuff. I must have missed it because last last game I found it. Ow! Like, where do you find the the uniform that's on the box art? I don't uh, know. I, I don't know which one this is. This is the one we're wearing because you just find them when you leave Cathedral Ward to the right. Oh. The ones I have at least. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. I forgot to go which that is, way. Let me. Uh... Which is also also it's like just at, at, uh, on a fence, and I think this yeah, is also the yeah. entrance to, to the DLC if I remember correctly. Also, this was not the correct way. I forgot. I, I went the wrong way. Uh, just, <laughs> let me go back. I Ow. Want, I want my new the digs. The shrooms are shooting me. Your new digs. Digs, yeah, like. Oh wait, no. Digs is um a place. Made digs do you yeah. need? Gosh. God, get your slang right, Fringy. Jesus. <laughs> Leave me be, okay? Oh my hey, God, my you're line. stealing slang. Wow. That's that's the big racism right there. Go I got a little bit lost here right now. Oh no, I think this is. Yeah, this is the shortcut. Okay, now I'm good. I'm good. I'm Gucci. Stop yelling at me, okay? What the hell does it mean to be gushy? Do the Lego do the Lego games like Lego Star Wars? Does it count as a movie tie-in game? Hmm, no, I, don't I don't think, think so. so. I'm leaning towards that as well. It's hard to categorize, but I think we all know what we're referring to. Um, yeah, yeah, like more like, effort. Avengers, game that the game. Well, no, that, that's not a movie tie-in. The Phantom Menace, think. the game. Oh, you mean like? I thought you were talking about the, the actual Avengers game that we were talking about just before. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't not. count that. Yeah, that'd be different. Um, Mother yeah, because I was thinking back to my childhood, I was thinking of like Jedi Power Battles for the PS1, but I just don't <laughs> think that that was a tie-in game. This I just chungus. remember that you could, oh. I found out you could select playing as Captain Panaka instead of the Jedi and fucking uh, going to okay. mode, because you could just shoot everybody dead. Captain Panaka was always a beast. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to the double rubber. Mel, run! Speaking of Lego, thoughts on the Lego Movie and Lego Movie Two? Um, I really Lego like movie the first one. Lego Movie One is amazing, but Me Lego Movie Two is a lot weaker. I didn't see. Uh, it. I heard the first one is very good. Lego Batman is also pretty good, and the Ninjago one is weak. Um, I've seen them all. And I need everybody to know that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry. Where are That's these clothes? God damn it. Sick of walking around looking like a peasant. Someone who said Panaka became an Imperial Moth. Interesting. I wonder if that's true. Like in I will EU? Check. Or... Uh, let me see. Where did the old lady go? Huh. His first name is Quarsh. <laughs> Quarsh. Quar His name is Quarsh Panaka. I see you there. Surf Fringy. Oh. No, that's a pejorative, alright? Surf, you can't say that. Fuck. Alright, Panaka remained in Amidala's service. When her two terms were over, Amidala became senator of Naboo, and Panaka stepped down from his functions as her personal bodyguard, making way for his nephew. He did, however, continue his services as head of security under Queen Jamelia. In 22 BBY, Versailles, uh, Versailles, I guess, now working as one of Amidala's handmaidens, was killed in a failed attempt to kill Amidala. During the Clone Wars, a three-year conflict under the Republic against the CIS, CIS Panaka met Viceroy Bail Organa of Alderaan said, blah, 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 fuck it off. Uh, so yeah, I guess he became... Panaka's loyalty to Palpatine was great. Huh. Uh, still, he was as good a man as anyone in the Emperor's inner circle could ever be, and much better than most. Pat Panaka was an option I wish had been left open to us. Uh, from Breha Organa said that. Uh, apparently, he was assassinated. Um, really? So, let's see. Uh, do do A 
bomb. Yeah, he was destroyed. Yeah, he was he destroyed. Was, he was destroyed. <laughs> he was destroyed by a bomb. Yeah, he got, he got fucking bombed. Oh, fuck. What is that? Ew. It's like it's explosive. Little... Yeah, but what kind, Rags? Enough of your vagaries. I, it, the, I, I'm just being... It is a vague thing. That's all the, the, the Wikipedia says. That's unacceptable, man. Unacceptable. Vulgaries. Vulgaratis. I haven't met enough yet to really uh, be able to know that so maybe later. Was, um, was he assassinated by a centipede? No, apparently it was a bomb. Maybe it was a bomb that shot out killer centipedes. Who knows? Yeah, bitch, you did. Uh, turn back or the hunter will face the hunt. Nah, you know what? Nah. <laughs> nah, you don't scare me. <laughs> well, um, I'm, I'm much further behind you guys, aren't I? You know the hot take double streams? Someone, someone super chatted that they're all the coldest hot takes they've ever heard. I, I simply disagree. Simply and utterly. And thoroughly. You simply disagree? Simply, wow. wow. Whoa, I didn't mean to call Metal a simp. He's not here, so it's fine. There, I killed the witches too. Now I'm catching up to Metal. Jesus, see? The outfit uh, is on the cleric beast level in the sewers. Oh. Well. Man, that's, that's uh, far away. I don't know if I'm... Mel, that piece oh, cost you, buddy. Wait, I completed why? the game. No, the game? Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Well, did you guys. Welcome home. Welcome home, good hunter. It's like, shut up. Yeah. You yeah, don't know smart. me. I called Fringy a peasant while I was on the toilet and didn't even react to it, and I was very upset. Uh oh. Damn. Somebody just yelled an, an exclamation mark. I'm scared now. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got a machine gun. Okay, that's uh, that's no good. Wait, you can't buy fire revelation. paper here? He's got a machine gun. That's a shame. How do you unlock the ability oh, to no. buy fire paper, Mel? Do you know how? I just said, oh, there's no fire paper in the shop. That's a shame. <laughs> oh, someone in uh, chat. Maybe it's the on the inside. Uh, the witches are thank oh. you, Fringy, for sharing either. how awful Bojack Horseman is. Hey, yeah, our kind of people right there. <laughs> I, I do like how that's just the thing that it's like we all wow. Sock Lever plus Tism. I I used to like <laughs> that show, and then I rewatched it. It's all right. It's it's okay. I forgive you. Rags, it's been a while since I last saw your face. Were you a ginger or brownish kind of hair? It's more of a like a dark orangish brown, really. With but I'm lighter on the bottom side a bit. Um, with some you know markings on the face, like at the brow, like the, the inner brow. Uh, Emi um, says yeah. you need to unlock it. Uh, uh, he thinks you need to unlock it after some boss. So I guess it's some badge you get. That's my guess. If you didn't get it, and I didn't I get it, it must be something we missed, yeah. Something. Yeah. I mean, I haven't done witches or the cleric Oh my, so... what the hell? Oh wait, you haven't I, done I, witches? I gonna... No, I went straight for the shadows. Oh, huh, okay. That's why I was confident to take a cookie break. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, Mel's trying to, trying to outdo me. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I'll be going through the, to the witches, well, though, because I'm, I want uh, the tool. I am lost. <laughs> Fringy strategy. chat, it is up to you yeah, to help your streamer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I like your strategy, uh, Fringy. I'm not, not what, convinced. Not knowing where I'm going, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would, yeah, I'd change that. Oh. A bold strategy, let's see if it pays off. Dodgeball. We should do that for EFAB movies. That's a fucking funny. Oh, movie. yeah. I haven't seen a movie in forever. Yeah. It's hilarious. If you can dodge, can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a car, you can dodge a dodgeball. You can dodge a dodge. Dodge a dodgeball. Jesus Christ. Dodge a dodgeball. Dodge and ball. Do not spit the, the goop walker. onto me. No. So Auburn here. Toss the coin to your streamer. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Toss a coin to your streamer, oh, something oh, yeah. plenty. Now, apparently a lot of people don't understand I'm trying to... 
the, the hair Being thing. Aware, now my my human though, his hair. It's odd. My human's hair, of course, is is black. It is black hair. Um, it do, is a lovely shade of. Do you take your human for walks? Um. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Stop! Yeah. Stop! Uh, Stop. Uh, not as much. Not as <laughs> much. That he hesitated. Been. Hesitated. Oh fuck! I've been poisoned yeah, and I'm pretty stuck. Often. Yeah. They've they've yeah. stuck me in this this part but of I'm the... more of an orangish Fuck. brownish. Ah, damn it! <laughs> the creamy beige beneath. The Belt. cream of uh, beige. Rags and Mahler, what is your favorite movie that you probably shouldn't have watched as a kid? Starship Troopers. Uh, um, Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a movie that uh, I remember my dad just being like, "Don't tell your mom you've seen this," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Rags, hey, tips for a guy wanting to grow his hair long. So, wash your hair. Literally do nothing, and it will grow. Whoa! However, yeah, that, that, that happened yeah. to me when I had long hair. That was that was crazy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just don't do, just don't cut it, and it will grow long. Um, however, if you want some other tips. Uh, be prepared to have to wash your hair every day, especially if you are a white person. Uh, we have we we tend to get greasy-ish hair if it's not washed, and if your hair is really short, it's a lot harder to see. But with long hair, fucking um, stunlock me. Have to keep it washed. Yeah, wash it a lot. You have to wash it every day or every other day. Is generally the day or every other day. Um, uh, I would say. There's going to be a middle period where it's miserable, uh, where your hair is too long, or it's too short to, like, do anything with, mm -hmm. um, apart from using hair gel, which is what I did. I would highly recommend hair gel when it gets to that point. And you'll know how it is, because it's long enough to, like, poke your ears and get kind of in your eyes and brows, sort of, but you can't really do anything with it. Um, mm hmm so I would say, yeah, just get some hair gel. I used Got To Be Glued, I think, is the brand I used. And they had a really strong, a particularly strong kind of hair gel. And I would use that because I was working at the time in a restaurant. And it, I was looking slick, ain't gonna lie. But you had to get used to using that every day. Um, when Ooh, it gets long, you. you can spit it in the ponytail. Oh, fucking fire breath, dude. I mean, at least you got the orgasm. Yeah, that was pretty good. The gas was pretty good. Someone said the mullet good. phase is pain. Uh, uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, because especially in the summer, if you're if you're in that phase, because your hair is gonna be on your neck, mm. and it's not in a, if your hair is in a ponytail, it's not gonna be against your neck. It's sort of lifted up and away from your neck. But yeah, that phase, it'll just be you're just gonna have to deal with it. That's the that middle area that just sucks. But then once you're past that, it's uh, it's just something you get used to. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> to, uh, with hey, oh, people told boy. me guys were in the sewers. Help me, where are they? <laughs> so I can run and get them and run away. Unless you lied to me. <gasps> you lied to me. How would a dog wear a hairnet? Just like a person would? Yeah. So to shampoo as little as possible. I don't know about that. I don't, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I just shampoo a normalish amount, but I guess yeah. biggest anime betrayal. <laughs> 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 going the ponytail route or just let it down? Oh, right, go um, back to the bridge. Okay. Ponytail, typically. Um, but That's it's often annoying. just down as it is. Uh, it depends. It works both ways. This time I remember the shortcut. Wait, I just went down. Wait, hang on. I always get lost in the fucking woods, man. No, I'm good. Okay. I just got confused for a second. No, you're not. Because I'm Don't stupid. How do you mean? I am. I am. You have to kill me. I am. That would be me. me. I had long hair touching my shoulder. I feel like I go behind this giant pig the other day. Eyes. Yeah, I'm a big hat wearer. Um, if you hate hats, I don't know. I, hats really help with long hair. Um, they're, of course, not mandatory. Most ladies don't wear hats with their long hair, but I've always been a hat wearer. Do you find um, hats arousing on women? Uh, but neutral. 
Fair enough. I don't I like them hats a lot, hats and they help a lot to keep hair out of your eyes. Oh, you stupid pig! Hide up in the streets, <laughs> the sheets. Yeah, boy. And ironically, yes. Um, like Fucking camera. No, I don't. I do not wear fedora. I wear baseball caps pig. and like officer style oh, caps. I killed the pig, and there's nothing here. So, uh. This metaphor. So, oh. Nice metaphor for actual items that I wanted. <laughs> Don't you get it? The pig was never the point. Why did you jump? Mauler, did you open the gate to the first elevator already? No. I don't know where it is. <laughs> There's two shortcuts to open. I've opened one of them, and that's helpful, but I don't know where the second one is. Fire breath. The reward fucker. was the journey and the friends you made on the way. I disagree. I wanted that stuff, and I don't have it. Let's see. Rags, you ponytail. Yes, I do. It is currently in such an arrangement right now. At least I'm human right is outside. when I look over there at him. Of course. Um, does a mask count as a hat? No. Alright, let's get to fun. How would a mask it's count as a hat? It counts as a mask. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not following that I'm one. I'm confudled. Also, I'm finally at the Shadows Metal. I join you on your battle. Cool. Wait, you didn't sound very enthusiastic. What the hell? I'm concentrating because I really am <laughs> right. I don't have any fire papers or anything. Yeah. I'm constipating. Yes. Wait, can they, can they poison you? Uh, no. Okay. What did I know? Maybe they're snake heads that Poisson. bite you later on. Poisson? Uh, what would you consider the most well-written <gasps> anime? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood or any of the Ghosts in the Shells? I don't know. I haven't seen Brotherhood in long enough. As, I like I've enjoyed them analog. both quite a bit, but I'd have to re-watch them and pay a lot more attention just to be sure. Just in case. Oh! <laughs> Second time I died. Again, the fire breath guy just nuked me in like a second. Fuck that. Whoa, Jesus Christ, literally as you said that, it happened to me. When I wore a hat with a COVID mask on, customers like little old ladies would come up and ask, Ma'am? Then they were all shocked to hear my voice. It was kind of funny, but also annoying. You're poopy today. I've never been with poopy I'm, for I'm a lady in the yet. lead. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're poopy today. Well, maybe they just mean that we're all poopy. Oh, God, behind a tree. Okay. Uh, oh, in this courtyard. Also, Mother isn't using Tonatrus. He's using. Wait, you're uh, using a Tonatrus? No. Neo, my chat just said you were using a Tonatrus, but you're using a bolt paper. Oh, fuck the Tonatrus. I don't what even I have needed? arcane build. That shouldn't have that should probably right, a good idea. Right. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> so now ask Mauler which one because he needs to pay attention. One Punch Man or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? One Punch Man. Um, and strictly from uh, being objective, it's uh, One Punch Man is a better ratio of like time for quality of content. If One Punch Man includes Season 2, that answer might change back to FMA Brotherhood. Right. I haven't watched it yet, and I just remember, okay, here I go, and then... Yeah. Into, <laughs> ...into the air. Alright, finally I got my... I got my top hat, I got my... my, my new... my new threads. Now I look like a real hunter. Neat. I wish I had bold paper. I'm be really so far cool. behind you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We have consecutive Full Metal Brother, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood all the way, and Brotherhood sucks. Hmm. So that's all. Right. Oh yeah, Mala did kill more bosses, but that's not progression. Someone right. says One Punch Man won't age better than Brotherhood. Oh, I think One Punch Man, one punch man has age aged. Even better it's aged wonderfully. Cheap. Season one, anyway. Yeah. I feel like the, for as long as anime keeps doing the things that it does, um, then uh, then it will remain relevant. Like as long as anime doesn't change, which I don't think it will. You have more health than I do. Uh, 
that probably helps. Hey, what's up, a monk? Stop summoning snakes. Yeah, it's kind of rude. Stops on Stein's gate. Haven't seen it. Don't care to. Well, I know that, uh, what was it that we, that, um... Cough. Uh, Count Dankula really doesn't like Stone's Gate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Tag. Dankula doesn't like it. I think ER really likes it. And doesn't, yeah. um... I think Chase likes it, right? I can't remember. I don't listen. <laughs> um... <laughs> nah, I do. I just can't remember if he likes, uh, Stein's Gate or not. Uh, change your really what, uh, what I'm saying is like anime has a lot of things that it, we talked about this yesterday. Anime gets away with a lot of things that Western media doesn't because people don't yeah. hold it to the same. Because anime fans are insane people uh, who don't have don't know what standards are. Because like if 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 a Western show did a lot of the stuff anime does, where characters just yell about exactly how they feel, like people would be like, "Wow, this is fucking retarded." But anime gets away with it, and a lot of the it's time, it's anime though. It's anime, or oh, it's Japanese. It's a different culture. It's like, oh, okay, <laughs> all right. I mean, and anime also has the thing of, well, no, this, <laughs> I is, hit him the wall. this is like a Japanese thing in general where people get shot and like don't die. I, I really like uh, Death Note and I really like <laughs> Battle Royale, but both of those have the same issue where people get shot like 50 times and are okay. They can still That's talk. It? Well, like I remember it, I think in, uh, in, <laughs> in, um, in, uh, uh, um, no, no, no. What, uh, Battle Royale, the, the teacher guy, he gets shot by an Uzi like six or seven times in the chest. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that hurt. And then he stands back <laughs> up and shoots say, a water pistol at the guy. Um, and it's like, oh, you can't breathe, by the way. Like, you, yeah, you have dead. holes in your lungs, you're dead. And then he gets shot another six or seven times. And then a minute later, he gets up and smokes a cigarette and then dies. It's like, oh, no, you're dead. Um... Oh my god. Jesus and Death Christ. Note did the same thing too, where like in Death Note, um, Light gets shot like six or seven times and he's, he, he's able to run away. It's like, you're dead. I'm sorry. Let's see, Rags is just salty that Western media is trash. The trashness of Western media is totally independent of the trashness of what I think anime is. And when people say, yeah, well, the, the ratio for anime is better. When people say that, I don't believe no, I don't. Them. I don't believe There you. is so much anime. Like, yeah, holy shit. I don't this. believe that. So well, says, yeah, Ghost in the Shell oh. standalone complex close to perfection. That is my favorite Ghost in the Shell, the standalone complex. Uh, <gasps> he knew really me while I was on the floor! I think the thing about Ghost in the Shell in terms of his writing... I could have done. Is oh. that they like to... Uh, Ghost in the Shell likes to wax poetically about a lot of things, a lot of interesting oh, things, but sometimes it seems a little misplaced. Um, I watched oh, the movie. Oh, what was it? Let me double check. Um, okay. Uh, in the Shell. <laughs> okay, I'll allow it. They use the stupid move uh, that Mikolaj has, the move that should be removed from the fucking game. <laughs> it was Ghost in the Shell Oh, two. the, the stun yeah, thingy? Or which one do you mean? Just the, they fire like a thousand shots and each one deals like half your health. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used that one a lot when I did my arcade build because it's super fucking powerful. <clears throat> Yeah, there uh, a lot of the the writing and stuff in Ghost in the Shell. It's really good, but it seems out of place sometimes. But like, um, is Ghost in the Shell as good as Blade Runner? Or, um, I feel like it can't be. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to see them both back to back, honestly. Well, um, cause... uh, yeah, I don't know. I I, I got a bias. Look at oh, Blade good Blade. job, game. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah, just, Excellently just, designed that you. move. <laughs> I'm gonna look at that one. Oh wow, I actually never seen that happen that, that way. That's insane. This is the thing, when functioning properly, that move you just avoid it. So like, it, when yeah. it's working the best, is when you just don't have to deal with it. So bad. All grow every, every test? Yeah, that's the one. That one is... Knocking futz. I think my echoes went in the hunter and they went on the floor. They must have been upstairs or some shit, but whatever game. 
I think you I saw them when you died. They were like in a corner or something. Well. Is this bolt paper? No. 37k <laughs> souls gone. Yeah, I'll get them back. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm not even at the point uh, of the game where I think I could have accrued that many uh, <laughs> souls. I'm still an old yarn and I'm fighting this stupid hunter. My favorite uh, part is how he shoots me before I can heal. I love that. Just die already! <laughs> Shadows of Gun for me is what is is like the abyss watchers for me. I either destroy them first try or they just fucking fuck me off for a bunch oh, of hours. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this for myself, am I? Now I'm just shooting him to death. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, alright. That didn't go I go well, in, no. hit the one guy twice, and I get fire blasted and die immediately. That was insane. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, alright? Look, it's, I'm it's, sorry. It's, this, it's, it's, the it's not your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. Don't fuck <laughs> with me, man. Fuck you, leave me alone. It's not your fault. <laughs> Words to live by. You will wake your downstairs neighbors. I don't have those. <laughs> I tell the boss to do projectile poo when you attack them from behind. Neat. Interesting opinion. Um, finally caught you live. I've only watched since 74. No, but have you ever considered watching a YouTube series such as ASDF movie or some of the SCP movies? So that's dangerously close wow. to just stealing content. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to do it. I, I feel like that's just becoming a React channel. And as like much as we may be able to provide commentary such as, why does that joke work? Or, um, you know, like stuff about the person who made it or maybe what went into making it. I would rather just be like, go watch those things. They're really good. Yeah. And they're short, so, you know, it's not going to take you long. Oh, goody, my echoes. So Thank you. That's fire paper you just mentioned. Huh? Are gonna help? Uh, th there's fire paper on top of the tower, Switch. which I'm probably probably gonna make my my attempts a bit easier. Hopefully. Holy shit! I've only got uh, 13 blood vials. That's not good, but okay. Oh yeah, that's. Good. As Rags would know, 13 blood vials. I only got Ooh. two. I would have helped my my fucking run breaker right now. Vials. Would be, would have been a little later and not. Fucking stupid shadows. As oh, always. there's a hunter up here on this uh, on this roof, and I've <laughs> only got one blood vial. Oh, and he's got a lot of health too. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> How do you keep shooting me every time? It... <clears throat> and I, I only got one bullet left too. This this is unwinnable. <laughs> um... Dude, he left early that second phase. What's up, homeboys? Why can't these hunters just leave me be? <laughs> they don't like you. Oh god! I forgot you were here. <laughs> oh, fall off! Yes! <laughs> Suck it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I'm dead. Uh, are there any enemies you'd recommend that aren't stupid ones to start to think about the premise more and more? Not One Punch Man or Death Note, I'm watching both. Uh, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood again. Really good. Ghost in the Shell. Samurai Champloo. Now quit out so you can get his equipment. Wait, hold on. Yeah, just just quit. You spawn right where you are right now. When you quit out and lock uh, and just oh. continue. Okay, yeah, cool. I'll do then that. His, I want... his uh, thing spawns up there. Yeah. <clears throat> he drops a badge. I'm not sure what it unlocks though. I can't remember. I think some stuff in the uh, blah, 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 blah. what's his face uh, inside shop. Henry Cavill's video entertainment. Yep, I know who made it. <laughs> yep. Henry Cavill's recent comment on the Snyder Cut being released. Whether you agree with it or not, it doesn't matter. It's going to be even better. I just want to see a good movie or a series of movies. Is that what he said? That's funny. That's a weird quote. <laughs> it is a weird yeah, quote. <laughs> There's lots of implications <laughs> in that quote. What, that it might be bad? Just the, well, first of all, that he agrees that 
the first one's bad. That's interesting. Most actors don't even go that far. Um, well, I saw that, um... Oh, his equipment is not... Oh, wait, there it is. Uh, yeah, trying to oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah. Very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, Ferris. Wait, I don't have any old hunters marks. Really? Huh, I thought I got some. Oh well. I'm just gonna go down then. That's aight with me. Man, these spiders are antsy. That's Wait, what are they now? Sp sp spiders or ants? Like they have six legs, or...? Yeah, I'm confused by your quote. I don't think spiders have six legs. I disagree with that characterization. You said they were antsy, so I'm trying to find out you know, yeah. what it is about them that makes it happen. All of it. Every last mm -hmm. bit of it. Fuck you. Give me that. Ow! Stop being so precise with your shots. Fuck you, Dolphin! <laughs> Skeletor. <laughs> oh man, Ooh, these spiders do not like me right now. Well, I am not in a good way at the moment. I'm stuck <laughs> on a platform and I don't know how to get down. I sent the other way back down the fuck off. <laughs> oh, I think I made a mistake here. <laughs> Someone uh, said uh, they want me to tell Metal to tell Mahler that he needs to watch Gurren Logan with him. Yeah, that's what? completely <laughs> absurd but amazing. Lol. I watched it already. I watched it recently. It's really fun. It's really fun. Absolute insanity, but it's fun. Safety health. Do a move, Rom, you fuck. <laughs> Do it, you coward. Oh, <laughs> God, have you Five killed the witches yet? 4,200. Oh, what, me? No, Mel. <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you gay, Mel? Like, what, what's going on? No. Whoa. So angry. So, so angry. Uh, yeah. What, well, that really didn't help. There, I right? don't have the fucking echoes to buy the fire papers. <laughs> but they're unlocked now, I guess. Let's see, have you ever played any of the Serious Sam games? I have not. Yeah, right. Oh, I played them a long time ago. Metal, I think I'm gonna do it again. I think I'm gonna 100% Dark Souls 3 and PC. Uh, sure, go for it. I'm not stopping you. <laughs> You're not need my permission, child. Game, you wanna spawn me some blood vials? No. I got none. He's not giving not. me any. Shouldn't have gone there. Should have done that after I beat those guys. Molly hot take: Iron Man three is unparalleled Kino. Ugh. Well, yeah, unparalleled bad. bad. Get right. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, boy. <clears throat> um. One part of the show's problem is the writing bias. Jeremy Jones is confused as to how <clears throat> HL got off the hook. The show? Which show? I don't think that's... Mm. The show explains it as SF's memes. That's not how reality works, but it does in the writer's minds. How HL got off the hook. Chat, let's get some, some speculation. What could it mean? Um... Uh, Henry Lancashire. Mm. The boys? Oh, Did Homelander? Some... Homelander got off the hook. Ah. Oh. Yeah, 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 no, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah, he shouldn't have been getting away with it. And they're like, oh, don't worry, we did memes. It's like, that's not how reality works, but okay. Yeah. That's your opinion. That is my opinion. I 
Okay. I stand reality by. Reality bends to my will, alright? I got the reality stone. Put it down. Reality can be whatever I want. I do like how, um. Well. I, do, I like Infinity War a lot more than Endgame, but Thanos should have just turned Iron Man into spaghetti like he did to, uh. <laughs> to Drax. Like I yeah. said, I, I that would be another tweak I'd want to give, and I think the starting point for us trying to fix that is that Thanos... Well, this doesn't work. <laughs> I was about to say, like, Thanos, <laughs> Thanos wants to have a fight rather than just... He wants to give them this shot or something, but then at the same time, it's like, why would Thanos want to risk losing when it's, you yeah, know, incredibly it's, important? It's life's mission. But I suppose you could be like, he never thought he was in a position where he could ever... Yeah, and it's like, I, eh. I don't care. That's still dumb. Because that's the thing, Thanos <laughs> yeah, is a pretty I smart dude. Yeah. Well, I'm piss off. Well, the question is, do I believe that Thanos would risk uh, sacrificing his... I mean, especially considering that he destroyed the the stones after he used them so that nobody could ever use them again. It's like, yeah, he's pretty committed to this. God. Uh, oh, and Endgame, man. Where, where is Endgame? Like a 2 or a 3 out of 10, probably? A 3, I think I'd be... Probably 2. Settling on. You reckon it's really a two? A two. That, that the, it, it's I mean, lucky it's not a one with how much it breaks reality, I would say. Or yeah, at least. the time travel is uh, uh, disastrous. Yeah, I can see how. Yeah. And then we've got um, essentially possible assassinations okay, for a couple of characters. I, well, I mean, Thor, uh, Hulk, um, Captain America, maybe even. Yeah, Captain Iron America canonically let 9 11 happen. A bit awkward. Well, yeah, it's just Captain America went back so that he could get sex. Um, regardless. I think of no, no, come on. He loved her. I know he did, but like, still, it's, it's nice to know that um, that, dude, you know, stop. You're just gonna go back in time. Yeah, uh, I, I, I do not. That I think that's dumb. They just. Well, they just also, wanted their themes. That's kind of the problem with it. Yeah, they Endgame. wanted their themes. They yeah. really and also, wanted their Bucky themes. should be Captain America. Yes. I, I had an argument with you on that, didn't I, Fringy? Didn't I? Have it with rags. Go ahead. I think I think it's I think it's fine that Falcon is the should Captain be Bucky. America. I think no, I, I, it should be Bucky. After all that they've been through, and after and Falcon is Falcon should be Falcon. Falcon's cool. Right. Stay That's Falcon. A, Winter well, Soldier's I mean, like an enemy Falcon, guy. <laughs> it's cool that the redemption arc would include him taking the mantle. Almost fucking did it again. Yeah. Taking the place of the person who sacrificed so much and risked so much to save him. And I, I just, I, and then Falcon should be Falcon. Falcon's got some cool. Falcon's cool in Civil War, especially at the beginning with all of his gadgets and his shield and his hell? wings and stuff. Well, I mean, he can still be Falcon. He's just also Captain America. So you've lost a superhero, basically. Oh, well, no, I mean, me. he's still he's still Falcon. He can still fly. But now, but now, who's gonna do the Captain America stuff? Oh, like with right. the shield like and everything. Throwing you know? the shield around, yeah. He'll be throwing it while well, he's flying. Well, no, it's it's the leadership <laughs> and it's the the like the tactical prowess and the. Well, it's the, the symbolism more so okay. than it is the actual ability. I think. I guess the main it, thing think. is that I guess I guess the big argument against Falcon is he's not a super soldier. He is a guy. He's just a normal guy who's really good at flying. Whereas yeah, Bucky he's got a lot of super soldier. He's super strong. He could be the. I mean, Falcon would be interesting to. Well, no. Um, because I was almost gonna Fuck say off. like because he has a lot of really cool gadgets and things. If he yeah. could be if. But for a brief moment, I was like, is he going to be the newish Iron Man? But I'm like, nah, it's just, it wouldn't work. Nah, um, I don't think that would work. Yeah, because he doesn't have, like, the history of the gadgets. He has them, but he well, doesn't, War like, Machine is really next to Iron Man, right? Like, War Machine is the... Yeah. It's Nobody funny. likes I feel War like Machine. War Machine is act... <laughs> but What's that, sorry? Nobody likes War Machine, public-wise. Oh, Obviously, it's on um, the fault of the writers for not making a more interesting character, but... Uh... Well, because I think War Machine as like a Iron Man thing is cool. A dude who's just got massive guns and rockets. Um, I mean, funnily enough, I feel like War Machine is actually like more effective than Iron Man. I feel like a bullet is more useful than the arc shot thing. Probably. You know, where it's like, boom, and it has to charge. Bullets don't have to charge. They just come out. 
Do you yeah, well, I mean, those faith? are just a result of his power source, isn't it? It's just releasing the power source in a controlled yeah. blast. Uh, uh, oh. Someone is asking, do you have any faith whatsoever that Black Widow won't be garbage? I don't think it will be good. Um, um, I'm hoping I for will... okay. That's all. Yeah, I'm hoping for okay too. That's a good oh, way I mean, to put yeah, it. I mean, yeah, I prefer it, but I, I, I just... Don't... I don't believe that between the events of Civil War and Infinity War that she took down like a- that she flew like without a parachute and was fighting atop debris as it fell from the sky. I don't I don't believe that that happened, or at least the context is probably going to be insane. Um, this is why you need to be careful with your prequels. Wait, you don't believe that between the OT and the sequel- no, the OT and the prequels that Obi-Wan went on many, 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 many adventures? Cross space, doing all kinds of things like yeah. probably saving Jedi and and giving advice to all kinds of people. Like it's gonna be just, oh the adventures. There's gonna be so many. Hey, hey, we got someone calling you out in chat. They said Thanos didn't destroy the stones; he reduced them to atoms. No, oh, okay. Someone what, say what does that mean? yeah. Get your facts straight. Is, is that a meme or? <laughs> I don't know. I think it is a meme because that's what he said. But I assumed it meant he said he destroyed them though. He said if I reducing used to something to atoms them. is not destroying it, like I'd be interested well, to know how that's not destroying. It doesn't matter what he Unless said. Unless you reduced <laughs> it to the size of an, because again, reduced to atoms, everything is atoms. So what do you mean reduced to atoms? <laughs> like, the, the atoms that make up atom. the gauntlet and the stones have been separated. All the stones have been separated, right? So now they're I nothing. I guess that's what you could say. Yeah. Is it possible to? I mean, I if when you have the magic of the stones. A, a yeah, but that's the thing. They control a fundamental aspect of reality. It's like, oh, so what happens when you oh, destroy them? Does reality still work, or...? Yes. I guess it does, yeah. <laughs> Evidently. Endgame has a lot of problems, guys. Yeah, Endgame has a lot of problems. Yeah, we, we talked about it, I think, the other day, but it would have been better if, if Infinity War ended and Thanos got dusted and he was cool with it. He's like, yeah, you know what, maybe, and you know, you could still have it be the ending that he goes, because I really like the ending of Infinity War where he goes and sits there. I think it'd be better if he sat there and boss. actually dusted. And was I fucking said to you, like, like, yesterday. Yeah, no, I know, that's, I'm repeating it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you can't just repeat, like, a, a straight-up idea without being like, hey, that's the thing that I, that you said sounded pretty good. I said we talked about it the other day. Yeah. That would be. Oh, I'm out of vials as well. Fuck my asshole. Yeah, if they I didn't try to bring everybody back, Avengers would have fuck been adequately I think, named. I think what you said the other day, Mola, was that you would have been happy if he smiled when he got dusted. I said it would have been cool if he went to his planet and saw the sunset and then smiled and then dusted. What the fuck it's are you different. talking about? No, I had to explain the, the mechanic of him being killed by the the thing being beating a possibility because you were like, wait, why would he die from it? And I was like, I well, if it's, if it's half the universe, it's a coin flip on whether or not he will be one of them. Of course. I did not say why he die. I, I definitely believe that he could die. Why wouldn't he? He's part of the universe. This is this is, was an idea that you did not have until I said it, and then you were like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and I literally just said we talked about it the other day. Well, th no, you've changed back. That's the, that's the first thing you said. The second thing you said was actually... Stick actually, to one argument for yeah. fuck's sake. <laughs> I said actually when he went to the place and, and sat there. Also, and the what do you think, Rags? Genuine perspective here. You introduce an idea to me previous day, I then I say day. we talked about it, and then I say I like the idea of blah blah blah. Does that sound like it was yours and that I'm presenting it? Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How about that? Come on, Rags, answer the question many quick. <laughs> on this topic. Wow. You're both wonderful people. The enlightened centrist. Yes, yeah, enlightened centrist. Pick a side. Fence no, sitter be boogie filthy, over I'm gonna here. be a filthy fence sitter for this boogie? one. Is that what you are? I'm gonna You're be a boogie, boogie for this one. You know that leads to racism, right? Is his fat ass compared sure. to my thick ass? <laughs> Fucks don't grow up any feet. Is this is like the fucking Capra Demon race again. I Fuck think metal ass, was right. <laughs> there, how about that? We wanted metal. I'm, I'm very annoyed. I didn't say anything. I'm just ranting. I don't know where I'm going at this point, honestly. I'm sort of. Whoa, that's probably bad. Have you seen the Ghibli films? Um, isn't Princess Mononoke one of those? Yeah. I saw that. I liked it, except the ending. Oh, that sounds I'll important. killing you a bunch. Is that controversial? I don't know. Right, did you just say something really unpopular? 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I people always just say the movies are good. It's like I really liked uh, Princess Mononoke. I just didn't like the ending. What is this fucking carnage? But I haven't seen it since I was a child, so <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I, I, I know where Mewtwo is. I have a stream open. I, I know how fucking far behind I am. Thanks for reminding right, how me. Far behind <laughs> 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 Stop oh, throwing it. Molotovs! Jesus, this is like World at War. Rex, ever gonna pick apart Man of Steel? Um, <laughs> yeah, and I'll get by with a little help from my friends. We're gonna go through all the DC movies. Wonder Woman was only the beginning. Wonder Woman was only the beginning. It's it's weird how she doesn't oh, fly shit. off. Fuck that. off! This that is homosexual. There, I said it. <laughs> Right, it takes fucking ever to reload a fucking scene. Oh yeah, that's uh, another problem with this game scene. that I assume everybody is aware of. The loading times are ass. I need to farm blood like vials. Because I used all of them by last try, but then the fucking snakes raped me. Run, Molly, you're in Portland. <laughs> what? <laughs> Very confused. Get out of my fucking way, Grandpa. Blood Whoa. echo! I died here, where are they? Just get an SSD upgrade, I know, right, Amy? One of the... Well, I, I read a... Um, someone was saying why PC game... Like, there was like an article or a list, or maybe it was a video, I can't remember, it was a long time ago, of someone said why PC gaming is actually worse than consoles. <clears throat> and one of the reasons was that... that Levels and maps load too fast, <laughs> so you don't get to read all of the lore and things on yeah. the loading <laughs> screens. Didn't I talk about this yesterday, how I saw somebody who was a PlayStation fanboy say that he doesn't like that the loading times are faster now because he doesn't mind waiting for greatness? <laughs> like, oh, such a... that's the most know, fucking like... cope thing I've ever heard in my life. What does that mind? mean? You get the greatness right away. <laughs> I, I would just well, be... it's funny, right? Like, you, you, the fact that you are just stating marketing slogan in regular speed. Like, I see a lot of this on these stupid Facebook groups where they're full of these, like, console fanboys where they just repeat the marketing jargon of Sony. It's like, you are. How do you zombie. sleep at night? Yeah, you are a zombie. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind, mind waiting, waiting for greatness. Well, I don't I mind do. getting it immediately. Yeah, I know, right? Like, what, what is the problem with getting it now? It's like, no, I'd rather wait. <laughs> I'd rather sit there and stare at a tooltip that lets me know that pressing R is reload. Or sorry, X is reload. Yeah. I really need to see that for the twelfth time when I'm fifty hours into this game. First super chat here, Mulder. Have How you ever come seen I'm the stuck so much? Never mind. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what, sorry, what did you say? What, what, what sucks? We just sort of started talking at the same time. It was, it was about the loading lo loading screen things. Like, how how come all of the tips for games almost ubiquitously fucking suck? Yeah, it's all simple for stuff. Loading like, screens. hey, did you know that pressing X is how you jump? It's like, no, I didn't, thanks. Yeah, it's not interesting, useful things about the game mechanics or, like, these attributes increase all of these things, not just these things and stuff like that. It just seems like... It's a great way to convey all kinds of information to the players. But it's yeah. never used for that. <laughs> um, they said, first super chat here, Mauler. Have you seen The Walking Dead? My friends think I'm dumb, but I'm convinced the entire show is baptisms. The comic, too. <laughs> oh! Um, oh, that's the, the hot comics were great. What are you talking about? I feel like it must have come up on EFAP many times, but I watched... Uh, it was Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad, and I was thoroughly impressed with both. And I was like, what else is good? And they're like, uh, that Walking Dead, that's good. I was like, I'll watch it. Watch season one, which is considered the good one. And I was like, well, that was shit. Uh, on to season two. And then I was like, so I'm not watching this anymore. And then in my university, everyone was watching it and talking about it. So I was like, I guess if I want to stay up to date, I'll watch it. And I got as far as all of season five, I think, and then I stopped. The whole cool. show is a fucking joke, and it would be cool if YMS did all of the seasons for a breakdown, but you only did up to two. I think Walking Dead comfortably falls into the category of, no, this is a serialized show, so I'm smart for watching it. <laughs> like, I kind of feel like it's one of those shows. Uh, hey, there's a story that takes 
place over the course of several episodes um i watch it that means i'm like watching real tv not like NCAA. i have an attention span that means i'm smart <clears throat> I think the people will... demon shoot until it dies. Yeah, it got way more popular than it ever should have been, and I'm assuming it's because of the zombie hype zombie. of the time. But also, again, people like, hey, people die in this show. Oh, that means so it's close. Like, real. Uh, Come. Oh, fucking wolf jumps out of a goddamn door. This <laughs> is bullshit. How was I supposed to know that would happen? Did you kill the shadows, Mill? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You go into the witches then. I'm trying to get blood vials because I don't have any anymore. Oh. That's my goal now. I didn't mean to insult your man. I, almo I almost beat them and then I got raped by the snakes. It was really fun. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Where does this go? Yeah. Stop stunning me, you cork. You cork? You cork. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You conk. Hello. Wait, what happened? Uh, Big Chungus was just around. That scared mm. me. <laughs> you quark. Mm. I'll get you one time. Okay, that was terrible. Like Nobody watched that. Actually, I think. I you know what? I need to farm vials and shit anyway, so I might as well go for the witches. So, can so I can said, actually wait, do something Wait, Frankie is still in old Yarnum? Yeah, I am. <clears throat> All right. Hey, to, in a way, we're all at your old Yanum, you know? No, no shut up. up. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that was a Simpsons joke, wasn't it? And in, in one way, you're both Ritters, but in another more accurate way, Barney is the winner. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Barney. That's <laughs> And then he drinks the non-alcoholic wine. It begins! <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't get it. That was not alcoholic champagne. That's another episode that has a shit ton of jokes in it. Yeah. Well, not yeah, the, the ants. Yeah. I, for one, welcome our insect overlords. I'd like to remind them that I can be helpful uh, in rounding up <laughs> slaves to toil in their underground sugar caves. <laughs> underground <laughs> sugar caves, yeah. <laughs> Those fact fucking sniper fucks. Fuck. I may have overreacted. Mm. I don't want to add <laughs> scroll on a piece of paper on the wall. Oh, I got the teeny tetras. Okay. I think I'm near Vicar Amelia or whatever her name is. I'm just trying to find a place. Are there any, uh... Are there any lanterns, uh... In the lower part of, like, Old Yarnum? No, it's like a... You have to un unlock shortcuts. It's like a straight shot then to, um... Uh... Oh. Bloodstar Beast is the next one you're going for. Well, I, I, usual, but I sort of walk past, and I'm just trying to explore this area thoroughly to make sure that I, um, yeah, I guess unlock all the, the checkpoints or whatever. Yep, that's pretty satisfying that the giant laser kills my enemies. It's, it's oh, good. no! <laughs> no! That was a really oh. pronounced one, I like that. Oh! I dropped down a little ledge, and now I'm back for a fucking... Oh, oh. Fucking parted to the wrong tism. Oh no. Uh, oh, it would tism. take 15 hours to change. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fun game. Why did you do this to me? <laughs> Should it be held right. against the game for a player failing rank? Should it? Wow. It's a bit of philosophy for you. A bit of philosophy. <laughs> oh, okay. That's something. That's like a David Brent sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> bit of philosophy for you. You're forty vitality already. Holy fuck. What? Wait. What blood level are you? Is that a thing? <laughs> Not yours. <laughs> mine. Mine is forty-seven. Yeah, thirty-four. Well. You gotta kill. Well, the big spider. Well, the that thing is, the lead, delete I had. I, I just grabbed the doll outfit instead of beating the enemies to get 30,000 souls. Doesn't matter anymore now, because I'm getting absolutely <laughs> annihilated by the shadows. I forgot about the doll outfit. <laughs> I, I felt so fucking smart. Just like, I'm just gonna grab the doll outfit instead of beating the other enemies. See what that fucking brought me. <laughs> well, you know what? It's been It's been fun regardless, has it not? 
Uh, Mola, don't I watch. Don't, <laughs> don't watch Stargate. I love that show, but it's too much for you to tear apart. Oh. Like there's too much of it. Like in terms of just sheer volume. Oh, I thought they meant yeah, like a lot of it. Because there is a general fear in the audience that whenever we watch anything, they'll be like, "You, you, you gonna, you gonna poop all over <laughs> well, it?" And we're like, there "Should oh. be." <laughs> there should be. No one is safe. Ah. Oh, I want that. Okay, dogs weren't fun before they became red. Whatever that means. <laughs> red in games means dangerous. That's true. Frenzy cold blood. Alrighty. I'ma just well, run through give me here. Give vials, lads. not everything else. God damn it, game. What's this? Oh, vials. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Is, that's what the game did. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I swear I didn't do it. Dogs, please don't. Just don't. Just stop. Just stop. Oh. Huh. Nifty. I, I opened up a little checkpoint that got me back where I was. Like a noise. Touch my tearsums. My tearsums, tearsums, tearsums. Is this the correct way or is it the other way? I don't know. Oh, I think it's this. The no. only correct way is not the way at all. Rags, which is, is the correct, correct way? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Rags, they're attacking me. You didn't warn me. Wrong go! Built into the spirit of a question. Um, oh wait! Oh wait! Only an Australian creature would have four danguses. <laughs> um, four cocks. I mean, uh, yeah, have maybe. you seen this in the wild, Fringy? Wait, hold on, let me... What is, what? Man, the wild four dangus dingo. <laughs> <laughs> no wait, those are the legs, never mind. Oh my god. Oh my it's god. so hard, they can walk upon He's them. He's gonna quadruple <laughs> right me. I, uh, oh, what do we got here? Debat, subscribe, thank you very much, and Fuzzy Creature gifted tier one sub. Oh, cool. I don't know what any of these mean for the most part, but thanks. <laughs> Yay. You're Guys, quite... just what drop files, please. Like, come on. You can. You can't come in. You giant ugly thing. You're not allowed in. Uh oh, this thing's got like. Would be butt flap things on his head. I had so many vials last night. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> yeah, so did oh, I. Oh, I missed. That's that's cool. Fucking hell. Oh, God damn God. it! Stop it, you ugly ogre thingy. Oh huh? no! It's <laughs> all going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, well, that was. Hooray! That didn't oh, make sense. Use three to beat this enemy. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh, I'm still alive. How? There's no health. <laughs> I keep knocking them off the thing. Whoops! I hope they die. Some jingling all the way. Oh. Oh. This game has some weird physics on like these bosses' little butt flap things. Oh my god, I'm like. Just... Ew! <laughs> don't talk about the butt flap like that. I don't, know, I don't know what to call it. Like, it just looks like a butt flap. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> butt flap is a funny word. I like it. It is a funny, funny word. word. I agree with that. But now I've got slow poisoning, which isn't very fun. <clears throat> like, stop complaining. You got to be in Bloodborne. <laughs> get to be in it. <laughs> I got to be in it. Yeah, what a, what a, what a treat. This hunter's dream. It's more like a hunter's oh, no. nightmare. Maybe that's the point. Oh. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. The DMCA police are coming. <laughs> oh, no. FBI, run! Run! Wow, Molotovs do more early game than they do late game. That's probably fair. Oh, that's a third pro. Fifth, fourth, six. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. It's too bad that I'm trapped inside a boss. It's not normal. Inside of it. You? 
I don't think that's normal, no. Once again, another oh. boss where oh. my ability to see is hampered by locking on. That's probably good. Yeah. It feels good, man, to, to be fighting bosses with the two pigs. To, I'm gonna die. I, I've been poisoned. And I, I'm losing more health than... Yeah, and then he hits me once. And then it's a... <coughs> I came into this fight feeling really good. <laughs> This boss is so fucking awkward. Oh cool, you're beating another boss. It's a vomiting on me. Yeah. Well, it was fun while it was. The music is fucking amazing though. <laughs> yeah, is. Wait, which boss are you fighting? The one reborn. Big old flappy boy. Big old <clears throat> flappy. <laughs> How am I poisoned? You didn't hit me! What the he has hell? an aura. He has an aura. What am I meant to do then? How am I meant to kill this guy if I if when I get close Yeah, I'm dead. Alright, sweet. Yeah, just kill me. He has poison spell. <laughs> just oh, kill that's... me. <laughs> You can't wait for my comeback? Oh my well, I, you better get used to it, because it's not happening. Well, <laughs> well. Actually, let's go back in case anything tizzy me happens. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, Mola, Rags, and the Goo crew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Will there be an EFAP yeah, gaming for boy. Doom Eternal? Probably not. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't know why there would be really. I don't have any interest in doing it. Not that it's a bad game in any way. Just don't see the where where that would happen. Don't care. Come home. Actually, um, now might be a good inspiration. I want some coffee. I'll be back in like five minutes. Also, don't, don't say simp. All right. What? Simp. <laughs> simp. There's so many enemies following you right now. It's actually kind of scary. They are friendly. Ask them for autograph. Just don't follow me. Stop. Ask them for autograph. <laughs> and the, the end. was saying. Also, will we get the EFAP nude calendar? Uh, on the way. Mm. On the way. <clears throat> Chris Chan attacked a GameStop employee because he didn't like the redesign of Sonic's arms. It boom. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sounds not insane at all. Oh my god, what are you doing here? Ah. Uh, new super chat that I, I see is, Yo, Mo, ever consider doing an RE Bloodborne is genius and here's why response to H-Bomber guy? I mention it <clears throat> in the DS2 series that it's ripe for responding to because it's a terrible video, but everyone agrees with it because of the title. That Bloodborne <laughs> is genius and here's why. It's like, I like that title because I like Bloodborne. And then his argument is Bloodborne encourages you not to use shields, which then makes you replay DS1 hmm. without shields and have more fun. That's his argument. That's a shit fucking argument. It's insane. I remember that. Bloodborne isn't even built for shields. There's two, but... <laughs> like, What's no. the argument? It's like, here, this shield says it's for cowards or something. I yeah. I remember what the shield actually says, but... That was really weird. Remember guys, shields are for cowards, but we're gonna allow you to upgrade your health an insane amount. Also, you're allowed to dodge and parry, but shields are for cowards. I mean, I don't Just think... Just get I hit. I can't remember what the like wording a brave is, person. but I think it's just like shields are just in this. It's, the game is designed to not really have much value for shields. It's just simple reality. There's two in the whole game. Meanwhile, the weapons are all like really well. I don't know. I was gonna say designed, balanced, whatever. The combo of both. I have no idea where I'm going anymore. I remember it's like the, the mind thrower in Resident Evil Four. You just like, oh, it does exist. Oh, aren't the tisms on the ceiling in this area? Oh, there he is. Do I have to bait him? Okay then. Why can't I target him? Hmm. But yeah, I remember the students are where you would farm for blood vials, right? Metal, sort of? Yeah, those were pretty good. Oh, there he is. Let's kill him. What is the final boss in this game? I've completely forgotten. Is it German? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So in that case, once I unlock that option, it'll just be kill other things first, right? I, I don't know. Well, what do you know? The, the flangus. Just what I thought. Check out Color Out of Space. It's simultaneously great Lovecraft horror and fun Nicolas Cage tisms. Guy who made it is also doing Dunwich horror and one more. Nicolas Cage and Lovecraft? That sounds interesting. Yeah, sign me up. I'd wait, be wait down for watching it. Yeah. Fuck. I would Give it a little look, see? Oh, they revived already. Sluts! Sluts. I <laughs> I like big fantasy fantasy thighs. They're a thing I'm into. Shut up. It's a nice thigh. H. Fringy guy. <laughs> I remember that. The fantasy doors. But with th thighs instead. You want to say thighs? That's not right. Oh. Oh my god, I missed her completely. The students look funny. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't you fucking dare. Bitch. You murdered the witches. I didn't even get this many. I have less vials than before. Fuck off. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no one dropped any fucking vials along the way. It's so fucking annoying. But I have souls to buy some now, so fuck it. Nothing in this room. Hmm. God damn it. This uh, is like. Uh, I was doing wait, really well. Hello. All the way to one boss, and then everything goes to shit. It's like the cab rap demon. When we last did uh, thing. I'm gonna exactly check the, the stonk market today. Let's see how the stonk, <gasps> stonk market. The stonk market. Yeah, the, the stonk market, alright? Stonk market. Um, I've been doing so much better le yesterday. I'm really annoyed. <laughs> Could we have done that one? I feel like um, <laughs> the stock market is weird. It feels like you just kind of make money from doing nothing. Neat. <laughs> Well, it's just, it's weird. It's like, hey, if you own capital, you just kind of just increase the value of your capital just by having it. It's like, oh, all right. Do you have to work? No, other people do the work. So who do you use? I guess it's probably, you probably don't have the same. So you have like people who well, manage it for you and they take a so, percentage uh, of your earnings? What what uh, we have here, what a lot of, like each of the major banks, and then there are other things like Vanguard and stuff where you just create an account where, um. You have a brokerage fee for um or a brokerage fee for any transaction you do that's basically the cost of the like you don't have to pay a fee for instance with the one i use for having the account you just pay what you trade um and it's it's about 14.95 which is the, about the cheapest you can get um but obviously the more you do the the less that 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 fee is gonna hurt you know what i mean like if like yeah. the minimum is 500 so if you do a, a 15 dollar fee that's not one small <clears throat> but if you invest like five thousand dollars a 15 dollar fee is pretty negligible uh compared to you know your earnings and, and and fortunately the little thing here that tells you your gain and loss factors in the brokerage fee so um so as soon as you're in the green you're uh you're in the green um but it's it's yeah it's good. You just do the trades there, and then you can see like the the well, buy useful. list, the sell list, or the order pad. Um, make your that watch list so better. you can keep track. And through these ones, you can directly invest in uh like the U.S. market or Germany or the U.K. Um, but there are there are um like tax things to do with those places. So ETFs is usually a good way to do it. Just get an ETF that tracks the market if you. It's, you know, basically just get someone else to make the stock picks for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, like if, I can, if I can just give a bunch of money to... Oh, like, yeah, a like a mutual fund, service. if that's something that you didn't know about, right? It's like a mutual yeah. fund is just where you put your money in, you know, in the fund, and then somebody else in, puts it together with a pool of other investors and decides what they want to uh, buy. So you don't really have to pay attention. That's kind of like the, yeah, I got the value money. of it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. um, it's, I'd say it's just, oh, what happened? Oh no, what happened? No, it, it's not game related. It's Twitch related. So, oh. you know how I stream like basically every day, and I never get quality options, mm -hmm. like today. So I just checked if Fringy has quality options, and yep. yes, of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Metal, metal never sure. lucky. 
I just stopped happening for me at some point. I only get them when I go live at like midnight or some stupid shit or super early. Uh, anyway. Um, it's a valid investment strategy. Oh, we're talking about crypto. Oh, we're back on this again. <laughs> cool. um, crypto. I don't know anything about crypto. Crypty. But Fringy doesn't Super know bad. how to invest properly. Well, look, I'm not going to be giving you, like, investment advice on a stream while I'm playing Bloodborne, all right? <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that's your responsibility to figure out what you should be doing. But, like, but on, the, you know, the general advice is, like, if you put money into the market consistently, like, you put something in every month forever, like, you're going to make money. Not a lot, not a lot of money, not quickly, but eventually. <laughs> bull market advice line well yeah but it, the market tends to go up that's the thing like even when it goes down for a while it eventually goes back up um i mean clearest example is like the dot-com crash it's like yeah things didn't go up for a long time but eventually they did go back up so unless you die in the next 10 years you're gonna probably go up <laughs> like unless oh you go down Oh, what? put your money in random things. No, that's stupid. Don't do that. Like, if you're gonna buy individual stocks, you should actually look into the company. But I thought that went without saying. Like, hey, when you put money into a company specifically, maybe know what they're doing. Like, yeah. Play dark. Close your eyes. Well, it's, it's like uh, Gordon Gecko says, you know, they're playing darts. I, I don't, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, no, sorry. He said that, you know, they're throwing darts at a board. Um, I don't you know, do guesses, I do sure things, or something like their sheep and sheep get slaughtered. All of these mismatched <laughs> quotes from this movie from the 80s. Um, cliche, but buy Apple, NASDAQ, Bitcoin, uh, Dorsak. Dorsak? You mean NASDAQ, right? Or did you, is that a typo? Dorsak um, is a, no, a horrible new product. <laughs> on Amazon. Horrible. Uh, I, I, against it. Don't get I think uh, I think the interesting thing that we're seeing now is that people are getting really bullish on like a lot of tech things, and I think it's because they're upset that they missed out on Amazon. Um, to which, let me tell you a fun little story. So there's an Australian company Jesus, called. Jesus, the Arthur. damage. Oh, <laughs> the Sorry, damage. It's terrifying. It's insane. Uh, Fringy, do you own any gold? No, I don't. Um. It's really high at the moment, so I'm not sure if that's something I'd want to buy into until it comes back down again. It sort of balloons when the market crashed, so um, I think I might hold off on that. And yeah, if I bought gold, gold, I wouldn't have gold, like physical gold that I keep. You okay. just buy a gold ETF. Um, oh, what is that bullshit? What the hell? But, um, hey guys, Hunter Battles oh. are really good. Yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. So, there's a company called... There? <laughs> what happened uh, there? What did happen? I'm, just, I'm back at the shadows. They just fucking suck. I hate them. Um, uh, buy Bitcoin, digital gold. Dude, Bitcoin, like... I mean, first of all, the problem is, like, I'm not sure how many people have the money to buy one Bitcoin at this point. It's worth $30,000. Um... Oh, yeah, so the story. So there's a company called Afterpay. It's a buy now, pay later thing in Australia. Um, I got that when it was $30, and then the market crashed, and I was pretty upset. Um, and then it started going back up, and it got up to $45. I'm like, wow, 50% return in like three months? That's not bad. So I sold. Um, it's <clears> now <throat> worth $120. So so, uh, so that's Dang real it. fun. <laughs> Had you bought it when it was at the bottom of the crash, it was worth $8. So we're talking like a 12 times return on investment in less than a year. I'm a little bitter about that one. Um, yeah, I can see that. But, but, you know what? It's okay. 50%, that's pretty good. Like when you, I think, I think that's, yeah, 50%, that's not bad for like a, well, actually I'd say that's very good in less than a year. Um, I guess it's just the whole idea. What was it that, uh, again, more references for, uh, Wall Street. Bud Fox, what did he say to, uh, Gordon Gecko? You told me don't Hello. get emotional about stocks, Gordon. Hey, no. Don't. The bid's 15 and a half and closing and going down. As your broker, I advise you to take it. Yeah? Will you take it? 
right in the ass, you fucking scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I, I'm a big fan of the movie Wall Street. Doesn't surprise me, it's Reminds misogynist. Me Wait, what's that? I'm a little behind, but bringing investing is risk. Oh, yeah, I mean, it is risk, but you can do low-risk investments. Um, okay. Just, just buy big, stable companies. Um, that's, like, the big thing. Eventually, your money will earn for you when you don't need millions, but it's a risk-reward thing. Slow, reliable, yeah, or risky, <laughs> potentially high returns and losses. Well, I, mean, I think, like, the general... Well, I mean, that's the general advice, right? Diversify. Just, um... If, if you're going to invest, like, and you want to put money in, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, buy some, buy some uh, large caps, some small caps, and you know whatever. But again, oh, I, get it I, I am not giving you, I am not giving you financial advice. All right, any decisions you make, do your fucking research. Okay, I'm not giving you hot stock picks. That's for sure. Can <laughs> you give us legal advice? Ow, oh, okay. Jeez. Such angry little boys. <laughs> Shot it, bird. Are they just slowly gonna die? What the hell Seems was that? like it. Um, Buddha like Wars. Phone. Guy here. As a response on hey, anime hi. tropes from the stream, I can totally mm -hmm. understand why you guys don't like anime tropes. Also, hot takes are totally fine with me as long as the arguments are reasonable and logical. Also, hi Rags and Theo. Hi there. Wait, hold on. You don't have to buy entire Bitcoin? Oh. Oh, well in that case, that might change my perspective on that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, like... Now it's... Oh, now it's freaking getting advice from Jeff. Finally, they're dead. <laughs> yes! <laughs> You killed the I'm shadows? so erect! Damn it, now you can catch up to me. <laughs> and erect? Is that when you get different right on the internet? Yes. Yes, yeah, so... I need to stop being louder because it's Monday to... Well, it is Monday and people louder. probably need to work again tomorrow. <laughs> How did Fringy not know that? Well, uh, I mean, I figured that... Now, I that, know now that. that I think about it, it kind of makes sense that that is an option. Yeah, I didn't know that. You can buy percentages of a share, right? I see. Yeah. Man, I'm so excited to fight Mikolaj soon. Be erect all you want. You're still not gonna win. Wow, Neo is really a downer in my chat. I, I'm, I'm very upset. Do you have the guy from the Matrix in your chat? Yeah, he's crazy. He's all like, "Oh, you suck. You don't win." Damn. I mean, that's not true, but you know, I can still say it. <laughs> Uh, Crash was meant to be a wombat originally. Yeah, Wally the uh, Wally the wombat. <laughs> That's Neato. a funny name. Wally okay, the wombat. All right, all right. Wait, it was Wally the wombat, or am I mixing it up with the different uh, Wally the wallaby? <clears throat> Walton the, the Wallace. Combat wombat. Combat wombat. <clears throat> I made that comment because Fringy said stocks are <laughs> basically nah. money for nothing. Oh no, I mean, I, obviously, I was kind of exaggerating. It's not like, of course, it's risk. You can't make money without risk. I mean, even simple, like even housing is a risk technically. Of course, like but, I mean, how, how there could be a swamp oh, that consumes your house. Holy shit, they're tanky, stupid flies. Oh wait, oh wait. I'm just trying to farm these cool. stupid blood hearts, but it's not. Uh, consider killing the lightning scully in order to buy a bolt pair from inside shop. I don't know if I have the time, to be honest. <laughs> is this seriously? I have fire paper. This is so stupid. <laughs> Stop throwing things. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to? Oh, I want to get in the elevator, but every time I'm about to like activate it, it attacks. <laughs> so I roll, and then I'm like, oh boy, I'm dead. Ah. <sighs> oh boy, I'm dead. Okay, now that I killed the shadows, I'm in a better mood again. <laughs> All right, oh, Mel's, shit, Mel's uplifted, everyone. Don't panic. Yeah, as somebody's mentioned in chat, it's much better to do something with your extra money than just leave it in your bank account, especially when the interest rate's like fucking zero percent. 
like a oh, conservative oh, oh. estimate for like how much people make in the stock market in a year. I think a conservative estimate Dude. is like four or five percent. I have never seen all three of them follow you to this fucking door. That's insane. I think they followed me. They uh, they like your bum bum. I never. I, I've legit the first time I've ever seen that happen. I didn't even consider that a possibility. And they obviously fucking raped me. They gave you the big chunkus. And now we could. I mean, it's not a You're huge big. loss to be honest. I mean, it's just around the corner. But man, that's annoying. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Good. That'll be <clears throat> helpful, hopefully. Those flies are the shits, anyways. Drizzling shits. Ew. It's so fucking tanky. It's insane. Wow, that's not awkward. Hey, you know, I love that they put platforming in games like this. <clears throat> that always makes me very happy. It's not cringe. I know, right? It's really good. It's never cringe. Oh shit! There they are again. Maybe I just never noticed. Stop. All right. So you see the stream? You see this platforming nightmare? Help! <laughs> you get caught on the I fucking. I can. Jesus. Go away! Go. It's too far away. Go away to kill the guy here. No! Leave me be! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> up the ladder! <laughs> Look at them go! Absolute bad lads. Platform. Oh boy. Well, I got the key. <laughs> There's another fly up here, isn't it? I like how the gap is just growing wider and wider with each passing minute. Well, uh, I'm not even sure what the gap between me and Metal is, but <coughs> have you killed Bloodstuff Beast? No, I'm trying to farm for, um... For uh, blood vials, and it's not—it's yeah. not not helping me out because I'm keep getting bullets, even though I'm all full of bullets. Bullets of bullets. Okay. Full of so, bullets. Yeah. No, the hunter fight you have to do, I think, right? You have to do that one. Those flies are still up here. They didn't go back to their original position. Is this oh just? My am God, I walking into is... Mikolash? I don't want to do this. Is this not going to happen with those flies here? Yeah, I know what to do. That Mikolash fella. <clears throat> he's a fucking cunt. No, but he's interesting though. Let's see oh. if we can just open the door and just fuck off. I suppose that makes it okay. You know what else is interesting? The choices they made in season eight of Game of Thrones. That was interesting. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Choice. Okay. Okay. I see. Uh, all the care. Dude, all the this guy really, really wants a piece of me. See ya. Um, cathedral ward? Good idea. Fringy, thoughts on Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? I never played it. <clears throat> Do you even count as Australian at that point? Gex, um, and plus, it's not a tiger, it's a thylacine, alright? Fucking, I hate it when people get that wrong. Well, remember, Tasmanian Tigers would not... Not only do they look wow. like dogs, as opposed to cats, Four but they're of them. dogs, they're marsupials. Are you mental? No, stop saying that. Really this game is up. out to get me today. It's insane. Four of those spider things in ROMs thingy just all jumped me at once and nuked the shit out of my asshole. Like it's flapping all around my asshole. Thanks for giving me more quick silver bullets game. It's not like I already have 20 of those. Need more. Yeah, you yes, need I need more. more. <coughs> Udendorf, more. Thoughts on Tasmania <laughs> in general? Uh, Tasmania is very nice. I would recommend going there for holiday. Um, super diverse landscape. Um, well, like well, said, a saying. lot of natural beauty. Um, yeah, and and the and the wildlife. <laughs> Udendorf <pretty> enough. <laughs> Because again, you know, there's a lot of things in Tasmania that we just don't have. Oh um, god, now it's like... Yeah. But watch out when you're driving there, because echidnas can just run out into the streets and I'm pretty sure they can puncture tires. Whose kids? So, uh, echidnas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see what you did there. And so yeah, watch Stop out for them echidnas, because... Pricks. 
If you if you send them to hell, they're taking you with them. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. That's such a fun line. If I'm going to hell, you're coming with me. Uh, 535, Fringy keeps saying it's funny, but it never is. I, I don't know what this refers to. Um, <clears throat> it must have been yeah. something you were referring to as funny, and they disagree. I'm so sorry. I'm actually replaying the PS2 Ratchet and Clanks on emulator. Good. Yeah, they're good, good shit. shit. Good shit. The tunes in those games. I d I d uh... Mel, why are you trying to kill a spider instead of putting it outside? If, man, I wish I could. I mean, it's it's outside technically. Well, that place doesn't have any walls at all. I don't think there is inside. Or maybe it's all inside. Stop rolling around, fat fuck. <laughs> Was it Eggman? Is my body shape? It's <laughs> like. Oh. <laughs> you make a god a angry, dirty butter pirate. Is that something Mario would say? Mm. Probably <laughs> not. Holy shit. These guys are so aggressive. Like, chill. I'm just here to kill your father or whatever. Ow, ow, run, yep. run. <laughs> Lord, enough. Enough. <laughs> We're, we're getting oh, close, God, very close to that video coming out now, guys. Very close. <laughs> Did some editing on it today, Excited. as a matter of fact. Fun stuff. I'll probably do more when we end this stream. Maybe, I don't know. It depends how long everything takes. How long have we been going for? Three hours. We've been gone for... A I think I might be able to beat this. Minutes. Three and a half hours, I think. Three hours oh, probably, and 15 yeah. minutes and 35 seconds. Yeah. 36 seconds. 37 seconds. Nope. Wow! The fucking accuracy on these old men. Seriously. Use beast blood cheese. You're, you're implying I know what that is. Oh, beast blood <laughs> pellets? Like, to get more powerful? No, beast blood cheese. So, Very, uh, important. Very important question <clears throat> in um, uh, the chat. We have uh, TFA Critique Part 4 when? Oh. When have I ever promised loaded times for those sorts of oh, things? Oh, there's- I think there's an argument about crypto in my chat now. <laughs> uh -oh. What? Super dog? Hmm. No. What? Oh, you mean- Oh, yeah, that's- I remember that. Shit, was that- that was like an animated show, right? Crypto the super dog. Dude, why am I getting so much damage? The, the, the theme song was really clever. It went, Crypto the super dog? Yeah, yeah, that's the, right. Crypto something something away. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, Jeez, guys. What? Uh, imagine naming. Imagine like naming your dog Earthy. Earthy the Super Earth Dog. Dirt. And now imagine naming your dog Dirt. dirt. <laughs> <laughs> what about Max, on top of uh, Oh my god! My game here. is like in slow motion at certain points here. These guys apparently deal a lot of damage, okay. Oh, there they are. Oh, jeez, how long is it going to take to get back there? Ugh. Alright, round two. Fight! Somehow no one recognizes Annie slash the boys in public. True! It's really dumb. Yeah, it's... Ow, 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 ow. Well, I keep trying to stun this guy, but it's not working. I Try using time. the stun gun. Yeah, I, Crypto, I did. Super girl's totally banging him. She is a white girl, so it's very possible. Well, having sex with a dog. Hey. A lot of white girls do it. Supergirl's been cancelled, right? Yeah. What'd she get on Twitter? So many spot yeah, us. one last season, though. Oh, How that's exciting. Oh. Is it out yet, or no? Uh, no, I think, I think, like... Uh, I think it would come out probably around the same time as Batwoman, I guess. So next year. Oh, yeah. Do you think? Oh wait, this year, yeah. I would have be cancelled. Like, uh, why? Not enough you... ratings. Cost too much money to make. Somehow. Oh yeah, they're. Uh, you yeah, you they're think that that would be the case at all times? You know? Like when was it that? Would. <laughs> well, I think I think these shows have um like they've declined in popularity, right? Like Arrow was really popular for a time, and now it's not really popular. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that's a factor that these shows have declined in popularity. 
Which, of course, makes me happy, because I've always kind of thought that they weren't very good. As long as I like, get Batwoman, like, oh, I'm okay Arrow it. good. No, it's not. <laughs> like, or Ooh. at least, I don't believe you. Uh, maybe it is good, but I doubt it. All I've ever got... Chat killed Mutal? Yes, Chat killed Mutal, because I looked at it for one second, and he nuked me with an attack that stunlocked me. It was really cool. Oh, boy. <laughs> Whose fault is that, Metal? Hmm. <laughs> I'm to get a phone call. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Rags, are you an underdog doggo? So, I don't... I never really cared for Underdog. It was never really a show that I... I didn't enjoy it. I didn't care for it. it was never underdog like movie. Oh, I never saw that. I'm talking about the old show. <laughs> oh. I think they cool. made a movie. A live-action movie. With a flying dog ride. It's a superhero dog, isn't it? There are probably plenty of shitty movies with a superhero dog. Ah, uh, I think he got me. Yeah, he got me. Fucking hell. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Thanks. Thoughts on a Hollow Knight? Couldn't hear you the first time. Well, um, I don't have any thoughts on a Hollow Knight. I have not played it. Bum, bum, bum. I'm sure he's a great guy, though. Yeah, yeah. I legit don't remember those spiders being ever that aggressive towards me in this fight. It's, I, I could misremember it, but I don't remember them hitting me that much. Whoa. Ace Attorney ringtone? Damn straight. Have you ever seen Biker Mice from Mars? No, I haven't. And, um, I have, nor have I seen Rock and Rule before anyone asks me. I'll be back momentarily. <laughs> Hi. Wow, I am handling this fight really well. That's not what I want to hear right now. <laughs> oh, I was being sarcastic, so you're right. Oh. <laughs> what? No, games. Oh, you're fighting that guy? Yeah, that guy is a fucking bitch. No fall the ledge. Not uh, really no, 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 no. Someone said rock and rule and biker mice are nothing alike. I never said they were. Yeah. Don't misrepresent an, an old raggle. Um, old animated movie that people might uh, ask me about. And it was on my mind. Someone said, you've seen Loop on the Third? Uh, I, I've seen some of it, and I kind of want to watch the new movie because the animation looks delightful. <laughs> saw some of the old show. It was entertaining. Oh, piss off. <clears throat> oh, uh, you. Noir Stop. dies from a non-established nut allergy. Yeah, it would have been neat if they had thrown that in at some point earlier, so that we could at least see how it, but, you know. You know, from a writing standpoint, you definitely are at the point hey, of, like... Hey, there was that time <laughs> okay. oh, so, so sort of moved the hand away from that one person because she had a candy bar. You, also, like, you, you wanted to put one in the bin, right? It was like, put that away. So I guess you could call that setup, but that was, well... Yeah, you know. Rag's favorite Guild War 2 season expansion? Um, probably. Probably Five of Kings Path of Fire, or Living World Season 4. Find a Not the fucking story, story is fucking shit in Guild Wars, and so are all the characters. Um, but the maps are really great. I enjoy a lot of the metas and a lot of the mechanics they've added. The mounts are, of course, incredibly great. Fucking um, hell! Good, a lot of good stuff in there. I have to excuse Melly's from Germany. Fuck you! Ah, the flame with the lights, mom. Oh, they took so many hits. Oh, that was too close. Have you seen Cobra Kai? No. Oh, that's oh, play Dog's Life. That's good. Did that just Rags, happen? Favorite what film? Favorite what film? Favorite film. <laughs> Either. 1917. Uh. Oh, you slut. Yeah. Probably 1917. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, I thought he was doing his. Oh, you bitch. Ugh. Zulu, does that count? No, Zulu should count as a wolf film, Yeah, absolutely it is. Um, but, um... <laughs> the one... Fucking... 1970. Oh. Like, 
anymore, but I really like Susan. Um, oh, the uh, old Alamo. Dude. <clears throat> and Which Alamo? This is a new one. Oh, Anthropoid. Does that count as a war movie? I think or it should. Or is that more of a technicality? But... <laughs> eh, I guess, yeah, at that point you just need someone to define what they mean by it, I guess. It's just not stopping with the fucking things. And I can't find an opening. Also, high rags in the river. Fuck this shitty game. And fuck this shitty game. Fuck. Look at that. Just stuck in a corner forever. Unable to roll, unable to attack. And as much as someone could be like, well, you're in that position, aren't you? It's like, what choice did I have? <clears throat> they were fucking guarding and spamming the entrance. Oof. Shitty. I just gotta have to sprint over there at this point. It's unfortunate that these things happen in this game, but uh, they do. And all you had to do to solve it was once some kind of system detects that you're being stun locked and you're unable to do anything, that the, the fucking enemy needs to back the fuck up. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, if the character is currently in a state of being crowd controlled, then enemies like back the fuck off, or they do a taunt maneuver, or they do a flourish or something. Or they heal themselves, or something that isn't continuing to attack the player while they're literally <clears throat> defenseless and can't do anything. Because fuck that, and there's no reason for that to be in video games. You made the decision to put that in the game. I'm talking to the devs. Mm -hmm. uh, thoughts on the Dragon Age series? I really like one, but it's really tough. Um, I liked oh two. Like, it's good. It's just a sequel to the first one, which is. Which means the comparisons will be obvious. It's not a bad game. I liked it. It's just not as good as the first. But it's a good game. Um, I haven't played Inquisition. I don't intend to play Inquisition. Nor do I intend to play 4. Unless I hear for whatever reason that it's really, really good and it's a return to form or whatever. But I highly doubt that'll be the case. Uh, let's see. Did you keep your visage of the con Ur or sell that bad boy? So it was selling for nineteen hundred forty-three gold. Hello. But uh, he's still I decided to keep it. Um, I have three classes I play fairly often that can actually I you can use it on all classes because sure, once whatever. you have it, you can unlock the skins for all the armor weights. But yeah, I kept it and it looks pretty fucking baller. I'm glad I did. I don't need the money, honestly. I don't need the money. Um, so I, I kept it and I show it off wherever I go. Thanks for the reset, Doctor. And I'm out of vials. Cool. That's that's what I like to see. Oh, that that's was satisfying as the game. Fuck. fuck these little squid dudes. Uh, what I'm gonna do now. Someone said Steven Spielberg's 1941 <clears throat> seriously underrated. Steven Spielberg's what? Sorry? 1941. I've not seen it. Like Dragon Age 2 is garbage. Yeah, like, no, it isn't. <laughs> and oh, that's, another one I thought 2 was a bad game. Oops. It's like, I don't know. It, someone said it was trash, it was poopy. And I'm like, I'm curious what your references are, because I don't remember it being a bad game. It just wasn't as good as Origins. And I, and I kind of. It is a bit of a pet peeve of mine. Everybody's so hyperbolic when describing things, especially when they're games. Like this game I think was part shit. of the problem was uh, there were like interviews when that game was coming out where they were like, you press, <clears throat> you press like the X button, something awesome happens. It's like, oh, the fuck are you talking about? That kind of thing. Like it's 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 clear to see, I guess, that that was maybe like the beginning of a uh, Bioware shift. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's definitely a downgrade from Dragon Age Origins. It's still a fine game. It's just not as good as the game that came before it. And it's a, a clear shift in what their focus yeah. was. Which was not really good storytelling and really good writing and making really interesting worlds and places. It was clearly well, I guess we're gonna try and take Dragon Age Origins and make, make it, like it a, a lot of streamlined. Yeah. and approachable for everybody and put a more of an action focus on it. I'm like, well, it's still, it's still alright, but, like, you didn't have to go and do that. <laughs> no. That might have been a bit of an overreaction. Yeah. So it's, I like this Rags interview stream. Thank you. I, right, maybe <laughs> <understand>. <laughs> what it We're is. all working hard on Bloodborne. Yeah, 
the three of them are working hard on Bloodborne, and you can watch the streams for you know their gameplay. But you know, I'm just kind of hanging around. Um, um, Theo, be quiet. I can't hear anyone over yeah. your loud self. You're worse than ER. I swear, <laughs> Mola, how can you put up with this? Theo is a wonderfully civil lad, and you should be thankful whenever he turns up to give his perspective on how the Clone Wars is bad. What's up, Golger? About to say exactly the same thing. Wait, you think Clone Wars is bad? <clears throat> oh, just that th that he'd be the one to say that it's bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not that's not Mahler's question, Fringy. <laughs> What do you mean it's not? Oh, oh, right, because he was asking. I look. I'm pretty sure I've said that it probably is. I haven't rewatched it. Oh, in my yeah, I, I agree. It probably is a shit show. I yeah. Again, it's Star Wars. It's probably shit. Yeah, unfortunately, that seems to just be how. Uh... Sowie. Yeah, I mean, ignoring the games and. Well, is that all I needed to say? <laughs> it's like ignoring the games, it's all shit except for two movies. I mean, Ragsit, two and a half movies, I guess. Ahead. Rags, it reused a lot of assets and the combat was a huge downgrade. I agree. It's still not a bad game. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, someone said, when do you take the Christmas tree down, Rags? Um, my family does it on Epiphany because that's when the Christmas season officially ends. Wait, um, when's the, when is that? It is soon-ish. Let me say it's within the week, I think. Uh, twenty twenty-one. It is January sixth. Mm. Yeah, Christmas is Christmas. Oh, that's Australia over. Day. <laughs> <gasps> you guys got a whole day? What the hell? Bam. Yeah, that's kind of kind of rude. You have a whole day, isn't it? Called uh Saint Something's Day. Saint Britain Day. I don't know. No, but. The, the saint, the, the flag, your your English flag. St. David's. Oh wait, that's not saint your flag. David. You're not English. England. I'm parrying oh, too much. Yeah. <clears throat> I need um I need one of them Oh wait, there's one right outside. Alright, fine. Just watched the new series by the author of Bleach called Burn the Witch, and it's a fun series. Is that anime? It was made by someone who made Bleach. It's probably anime. I hope it's good. Drunk Muller uh, is objectively what, what, better than what Drunk Rags. What is happening? Is that the, the the corner of the map? Oh my god. Uh, Rags, you just keeping that because Isabella's hot. I have to relook and re. Uh, Dragon Age Two is Bella. That confused the fuck out of me there. Holy shit. St. George. Oh my god, I went super far back. What the fuck? <laughs> That's what you get for trying to kill a spider, hey. you fuck. You already killed yeah, it. I didn't kill it. I put him to sleep. Rags, what I'm you don't doing. know. Sorry if you think Dragon Age 2 is a good game. I'm sorry, but you're just wrong. Well, you're gonna have to convince me. <laughs> what if you're just wrong, though? I just like, I just. <clears throat> someone said, it's just. Ugh. You're gonna have to do better than just asserting it's bad. Cause like I think it's on it I think that it's just it's it's not bad. Like I know gamers love to be hyperbolic and every game that isn't it's a either the worst or the best. I will say ever. we it's it's said that that's what we do. They're like, oh, Bly Man no, is a masterpiece. Not. Mandalorian's trash. The boy season two is trash. No nothing can ever be yeah. okay, can it guys? Well, look, if if they aren't okay, I, there's nothing that can be done about that. It's not our fault that they are either really good or terrible. <laughs> well, I suppose what that would get at then is that they genuinely think that Dragon Age 2 is really bad, I guess. Maybe, yeah. Um, I ever played, uh, ever played Total War games, uh, guys? Because I haven't. I haven't, yes. no. no. I really like the Total War games. Ah, there you go. Total War, uh, the, the Warhammer 2 one. That's that's the one I played last. Really like it. Rex, do you play Minecraft? Yes, I do play Minecraft sometimes. Generally, it comes in phases. Mandalorian is bad. Uh, Bly Manor is also bad. Get over it. <laughs> uh, no. 
No, that so they're wrong on both counts. Mandalorian is way worse than bad, and Bly Man is a masterpiece, so... Yeah, you gotta correct both of those takes. When was the last well. time I played Dragon 2? Years and years and years. Like everyone else, fucking <clears throat> a million years ago. One um, million years. Hard card titles. It's better than three. It's better than four. It's better than New Dawn, tentatively. Um, I think those are the only ones I've played. I haven't played Blood Dragon or one. Oh, oh I'm like part Blood garbage, Dragon. and it's the thing you are most wrong about. Get the fuck out of here. Also, yeah, it's I like why like watching the shitty fucking video where they called all the amazing actors diversity hires. Yeah. What is that like? <laughs> I was gonna say, the arguments against Bly are really shit, so what do you want us to do? Like, conclude that it's yeah, shit like, because you trust us, yeah. sources say? Come up with the- come up with the really good reason why Bly Manor is bad. And do not reference the fact that there are black people in it, because that is not a point. <laughs> Alright? I didn't think that needed to be explained, but that it's is sad, not a it's point. It's sad that you have to say that, but that's where we're yeah. at, I guess. Uh, okay, here we go. Just Rags, like this it's is not a point- Alright, go ahead. This is why Dragon. Then again, someone said. But then again, Rags also think Halo Three is the best Halo because multiplayer. I get. Uh, I thought yeah, we, all, we, we all said. Hot. I thought we all agreed that Halo Three was the best mode. Yeah. The best yeah. one. But... <laughs> I think Halo Three multiplayer is really good. Yep. Like most people on the planet. Yeah, this is not a controversial perspective that Halo yeah. Three is the best. If anything, it's a normie take. Yeah. To say that Halo Three isn't the. It's generally regarded as the best one. Yeah. Oh no. Um, the story in Dragon Age 2 is oppressively dull, and the gameplay was stripped down RPG system that removes the benefits of turn based combat while keeping the lack of intensity. All round boring. Boring subjective. Uh, oppressively dull doesn't mean it's bad. And also dull is subjective. Gameplay was stripped down RPG system. It definitely was compared Ooh, to the first. Fast game. plus kill here. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> Down versions of other things and still be good. <clears throat> Benefits of turn-based combat. No, there's still a big benefit of being able to pause the combat and do to tell people to choose different targets and use different abilities. Um, the only people who mention the black thing is these fat guys. You haven't been paying enough attention. We scrolled through a bunch of the reviews on Metacritic and they're like, what? There weren't like lesbians. Wow, so forced. Like this is the shit that people say about Bly Manor. <laughs> Said so what do I mean, EFAP guys? Like, are the only ones that are saying it? What do they mean by that? That, the, like, the only people who are pointing out that... Like, as if, as if, like, nobody's actually making the case that there are, that the, the show is bad because diversity and stuff, and that it's just the point that we're making. And whatever, don't, don't make the problem. argument anyway. <laughs> when you force diversity into an agenda, then it isn't good. What do you mean by that? Do you want to explore that a little bit more? Are you sure that's a take you want to just firmly root yourself in agenda bad oh is that really a perspective that we actually have that any story that has an agenda that's like a problem yeah that gets into what does it mean to have an agenda i guess well 1984 has an agenda like i'm sorry guys but most stories have an agenda or some kind of point that they're trying to make that doesn't make something bad diversity nice. is always bad what are you talking about Diversity like is all always life. bad. What the fuck? What are you talking about? That's a troll comment. It has to be. I hope you're not American, because if you said that and you're an American, that's bizarre to me. But all right. Who are talking about like forced diversity and stuff all the time? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> um, here we go. Rags. <clears throat> My Dragon Age Two is bad. The narrative framework. The backlash framing device is a. I guess they mean flashback instead of backflash. Um, the flashback framing device is a terrible way to present the story. Um, no. Also, that doesn't make the game bad. None of that's related to gameplay. A game could have the shittiest story in existence, and if the gameplay is still pretty good, then the game's still pretty good. Alright, so we, we this is a topic to explore. What does forced diversity mean? Do we have any definitions? Also, they said, how do you not feel that racism bad and homophobia <clears throat> bad isn't beaten over the head with Bly Manor? What are you talking about? What? It, that's racism. not even a thing that's ever talked about in the show! There's one line, you... the way they say, we can't get married, like, legally, but we'll wear the yeah, rings and we'll know, which, which is, is just true. true. That's just true, <laughs> like... 
Forced was the key word. Again, the same question. What does forced diversity mean? If I was going to say what is forced diversity, I'd probably say that it is when you go out of your way to ensure arbitrarily that actors are of a certain race, gender, or right. ethnicity. Is that a meta commentary, though? Or is that actually something that you can pull from, well, like, so the media itself? The way I try to categorize it has always been you see a flaw in a show, and then you can figure out, like, you can almost reverse engineer, why do you think that flaw happened? And, like, J.J. Abrams, for example, this is the example I use in the TLJ critique. Why is it that Maz Kanata is shoehorned into the second and third film? She seemed to have a role in the first one, but then she just doesn't in the second and third. Why is she in there at all? And it's just like, um, we could go with lazy, incompetent, all your standard sort of writing issues, but... After I saw enough interviews with J.J. Abrams being like, if I had my way, I would make everyone in Star Wars Asian. It's like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah. so, her being, I believe she's, uh, I want to say like, Vietnamese and South African at the same time or something. She's she's got two two uh, diversity origins for for a writer like J.J. to, to, yeah. to enjoy. And so. Yeah. It's like, we gotta have Maz Kanata in the film. Same for Gwendolyn Christie, by the way. They would celebrate that it's a woman villain. What? what? Do you remember that, everyone? <laughs> woman villain. Yeah. Ever seen a woman well, villain saw, before? I just saw somebody say something that forced diversity is when a movie or show or game throws in a gay or colored character for no other reason than to have a character like that in the story. What do you mean by for no well, other reason I mean, than to have them? So yeah, where like, I was going was that was with Maz Kanata, my assumption is she's in it strictly because of that the background casting, right have, she would yeah, if she was a that. white guy like that was the the actor they would have just dropped the character like they did with um what's his name the 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 friend of jj abrams who's a pilot he dies in rise of skywalker uh, and he's, yeah, yeah he was in uh force awakens but he just disappears for tlj which honestly is a little bit of a continuity fuck up yeah, we just have to funny. assume he was on some trip to like right. little or something getting some Oh, see, somebody's hmm. pointed out a good example, right? The end game women in power moment. It's like, all right, so what's the problem with that scene? It's like, wow, it's really convenient that all the women were in this place <laughs> at this exact time to line up for the shot. It's like, Eyes clearly up. logic has been strained significantly to facilitate this scene. So the reason why I'm kind of pushing back is because I feel like a lot of people just say forced diversity and then they don't really like explore it more than that. It's like, yeah. oh, look, there's a black person and there weren't many black people in the countryside of England in the eighty in the eighties. Therefore, this is a problem. It's like, oh, yeah. Can we this explore this a little bit more? Yeah, like yeah. this. Call it out when it happens. Quit fucking crying yeah. wolf all the time. Yeah, otherwise <clears throat> you honestly fuck the conversation because you get false. But it's the exact same on the other side. Whenever they see, oh, new new show is out. Who's the protagonist? White male. Well, Who's I'm not watching a it. White man. Yeah. Oh man, like we're doing like, that's, this. That's yeah, terrible. it is as stupid. It is as stupid to just flip it around and be like, oh, look, a black woman, that figures. Yeah, if, if like, it's a black woman it protagonist. It to be everywhere all the time to be an issue. Just call it out when it happens. Well, and I think, I think, uh, and, and I mean, you know, it's funny, right? Because Batwoman has done that. It's like, all right, so what's going to be the thing with Batwoman? It's like, well, you know, they're going to make a big deal out of it. This is going to be the topic of several episodes. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, um, it'll be and like. And it's going to be explored with zero tact. Or anything at the, all. I think the best episode is the is the lesbian hacker the who gets lesbian mom episode. She's, oh yeah, the lesbian hacker. That's right. It was she's that a girl too. and she's a lesbian, <laughs> so she's off the hook. It's like holy shit, guys. Yeah, I, I guess that's part of the problem. Is like you got to be more specific because when you do see stuff like where people are like oh blind manner, there weren't black people in England in that eighties. It's like <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know what it meant to do with that. Yeah, the, um, I guess what they and try like, is, like, the likelihood of there being that oh, many non-whites in one house is just not very high. It's like, but it's possible, right? It's like, well, yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, well, Sunday then, is that, like the, is that, like, the end of the discussion then? Well, like, what, what is the effect to... of this? Nothing What bad. does it matter? Yeah, who and cares? I would be, I would be totally on board if, like, they were, they were shit actors. If they were they terrible, weren't. They were then amazing. I'd be like, eh, hmm. I'd, I'd raise a brow with that, yeah. right? But they were incredible. Like, yeah, but Hannah's character, uh, her, sorry, Hannah's actress and 
some stuff. Again. Owen? Um, so, Owen oh, Sachter. Uh, Rahul they're, something. I forget They're his both line. so fucking phenomenally they're good. They're excellent. That mm -hmm. I just... It, it's it's kind of like, I, I know I shouldn't, but I kind of get insulted on their behalf when people say it's forced to first. <laughs> oh, like, like so they, here, they earned that shit. Of it. They absolutely BBC. earned their place. So apparently BBC cast a black woman as Queen Anne. I don't know who Queen Anne is, but I'm assuming she was white. Is that a uh, is that the topic of uh, adaptation? <laughs> is that one? I mean, that yeah, that Correct. would be yeah. interesting, yeah. That would be adaptation, yes. Also, so that I, becomes I'm that becomes really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably, it's probably, that's probably. I'm gonna pr tentatively say that's probably forced. What's well, the whole idea of like? Um, I think that generally, when it comes to casting characters, okay. you should consider what the demographics were at the time. Hey, Rags, you see in the stream right now? This is Mikolaj, the boss, by the way. <laughs> oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's oh, absolute garbage. I have chased him and hit him about seven <laughs> times now. <laughs> How much further ahead are you than me at this point? Oh, a little bit, but uh... At least you don't have to oh. fight him right now. It's... Why it's did Hamilton... wait hmm. so that then he runs... Oh, it's a game thing. It's... Uh... This sounds really... That looks really fun. It's... Oh, oh. Rags, this is just the... This isn't even the worst of it. This part is just really boring of the fight. Uh... Someone's like, the demographics were 100% bad. It's like, yeah, yeah, no, I know they were. I'm what I'm delayed. saying, I'm, I'm talking like in general at this point, that like it makes the most sense to me to just have the demographics are the most accurate to where the story is set and the time. So like if you set a story in New York, it would make sense to have a pretty sorted assortment of people of different races and stuff. But if you set a story in like South if you were making Carter. a Chaka Zulu documentary and there were like, if there was a white person, that would make me go, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And, and you know, conversely, like if your story is set in the middle of like um, South Dakota, it's like, yeah, it probably makes sense if it's like 100. Uh, fucking hell, like people are getting really confused about the, um, the, the Queen Anne thing. The, the point that was being made when it came to adaptation was like, is it a subject of adaptation when you take a real life event and then change it all? And if it's a bad adaptation, which it surely is, is that different from whether or not it's a bad, it's a bad, bad story? story. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, all right. But look, I know it's not accurate, okay? I, even though I don't know what the example is specifically. Hey, Rex, so I would- I would chasing I... him properly, tell Mahler he can position himself in a way that makes Mikolash run oh. into the actual boss room. I've already, yeah, I've already got that. Like, the, but watch this fight, Rex. He has like two moves and that's it. But these moves do an insane amount of damage, so I gotta make sure I don't get hit by them. Confused. I'm back to oh, the, uh... I can walk past the door like three times at this point. Ah, come on, butt flap guy. Don't, don't screw me over. Oh, cool. Um, when people say Bly is bad because SJW, I just hang my head because it's irritating. Yeah, you're not the only one, buddy. <laughs> oh, from it. <laughs> you. Um, people were mentioning Kingdom Come Deliverance. I remember when that game came out, like, people were mad that there weren't many black people in it when it was set in, like, medieval Volataria. But the thing with that game was it was, it was trying very hard to be, like, an authentic thing. So it's really stupid to get mad at it for trying to represent the demographics that were there. It's not too like, it ultimately it's... depends on what you're trying to do, really. I mean, like, you know, Battlefield Five is a good example, right? We are trying to do an authentic World War II experience. It's like, but you're not, though. You got, like, cyborg British women on the front line. This is insane. I can't take this seriously. Yeah. Um, Some of and the... then, of course... Yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. Oh, just um, just the whole idea. If they were like, yeah, this is alt history or something, it's like, okay, oh, I'm, I can I can deal with that. Like, if it's alt history, then Good it's game. whatever. Good game. But if it's but if... only alt history and that's the only thing alt about it, I'm like, mm, yeah, you, oh, you should so that's you not, could stand yeah. to try a little bit harder to differentiate it from the real world. Oh, these guys. Now you're just you? using yeah, it as an excuse. Guys, you're not actually yeah. using alt history. <clears throat> Someone said, um, technically the wall had first a uh, forced diversity, it had Americans in it. Like, what about those... Chernobyl? I had British people in it, and then they're Russians. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> so with, that's... yeah, with the wall, I don't think it was uh... forced diversity. I think that it was they, they were from, and it was part of the story where they were sent to China or wherever to look for some stuff to bring back. Uh, that's and that's how they ran into um, uh, the other guy. Ah, I forget his name. Uh, 
he was a lighthouse. Um, oh, Willem. fuck. Willem Dafoe? Willem Dafoe, yeah, he was in the wall as well. And he was there because they wouldn't let him leave, essentially. And Yeah, I, I wouldn't call that forced diversity. They can come up. And also, the wall is bonkers. I love that movie. It's fucking terrible. Well, I, think I love it. Chernobyl should be the, uh, <laughs> the interesting answer, surely. Or the question. Right, because there's British people who speak English, even though it's set in Russia. But, like, obviously, we're we're making an allowance because they're such incredible actors. Yeah. So... Well, I mean, it's funny, right? Because we talk about this when it comes to, like, casting, right? It's like, you should pick the best per- You know, we, we all keep- Because everybody agrees, like, oh, you pick the best person for the job. It's like, well, does that apply? This stupid fucking boss. Oh, and as soon as I get up, it slow poisons me to death. You know, like, imagine if you're casting for a movie that, and the character was meant to be, like, white, but the best performance was from a black person. It's like, oh... What do we do? Can this work? Yeah, and fit? I, I, work? I will often edge toward merit before anything else, Best acting wise, right? Yeah, like it's, I think so. Oh, it's, but the funny thing is, we're not even talking about some like, it's impossible for these particular colors to be in this particular area, because Bly Man is just, yeah, there were black people in Britain then. Sorry. Yeah. Um, oh, Nick Fury is a good example. Nick Fury is white in the comics. Um, but then they cast Samuel Jackson, but nobody really cares. No, yeah, he's also like Samuel Jackson. Yeah, because people <laughs> like Samuel Jackson, exactly. Um, Oops. I guess like oh, the, the way only, old man. The only instance where it would have to be ruled out is like if you've got a character who's specifically uh, like their rape is relevant, right? So like if you're making a movie and it's about I don't know, like I don't know, like um, some kind of you know Coach Carter esque like. I'm a black guy in the hood, but they're white. <laughs> like, and then you no, have the, no. the other characters being like, 12 years a slave, but it's like, 12 years not a slave, but a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that point, Owen Jones. <laughs> Owen Jones. Owen Jones and 12 years a slave. Yeah. <sighs> not worth it. How? Not worth it, the that item. I have to turn Etonatrus now, though, which I have no use for, so that was worth you the death, right? You can sell it to the local merchant. <gasps> oh, wait, hold on. Ben Shapiro said replacing James Bond, you know, female James Bond, is false forced diversity to Samuel Jackson playing White Nick Fury isn't. That's an interesting one, because surely, like, creating a brand new character who replaces <laughs> James Bond is like less forced diversity than um yeah we we might have than, a uh, super hot take on that one being that if james dies and someone else takes the 007 mantle yeah. and it's a black woman in the story which is perfectly possible that's yep yeah, and i know that an argument nowadays, yeah. an argument a lot of people make is like okay fine but it's not james bond and it won't be as popular and it's like okay oh i thought we okay, weren't she's not i thought james popularity bond. was not something that we cared about it's a what, complex what if it's one. like a really good, still a really good character? What if she's a really, really good, good character? What if she's better yeah. than James Bond? <laughs> Imagine that. Impossible! <laughs> How dare you! Ow, oh, I got you. Almost. Oh, you lucky sod. Camera! Fucking camera! <laughs> um, though, the camera was I would assume... The this whole time. I couldn't see the fucking laser. When they were choosing the replacement for James Bond, and they went with a black woman, I would be like, oh, that's that's probably because that of... That was probably on purpose, yeah. Yeah, like, that probably is diversity. But I'm interested there to be like, is that forced? When you have a pool of anyone to choose from, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, I guess the problem is it's like, it's hot. Like, what if the person who was responsible for casting, like, was legitimately excited about specifically having a person of this background in the role? Well, exactly. Like, what and if they weren't cynical at all? If, if James died and, you know, Henry Graves took over and he's just a white dude who's very similar, it's like, well, that's not a problem, I'm guessing. And so it's really just, right. is it really just you just want the 007 person to be white and a man? Yeah, and if so, it's like, oh... It's, it's interesting like it's to get down to the right. the pieces that construct all of this, I guess, I'd say. I think so, yeah. I think it's worth interrogating this, especially, just to think about what your values are when it comes to media. And I think a lot of people, if, if it isn't forced diversity, it's like a loss. Like you lose, you're like your side. <clears throat> 
yeah, like I'm not I'm not really sure what to make of it. Why didn't they cast it to Selbridge and Spawn? Uh, I don't know. I mean, oh, but I, would that I one be Force Diversity? Because I'd be fucking well, game for that shit. Yeah, personally. Or is it more I wonder if it depends, like, you know, is it more significant that James Bond isn't white or that he isn't a man? That, um, you know I would I mean? assume the male aspect comes into it more for people. I feel like it would, but I feel like it has yeah. to for a lot of things in general. Like, a man versus a woman is much more of a distinction than a white guy versus a black guy, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, if she fights, but in the same way, that'll be create issues. But if she has her own distinctive, like, fighting style and everything... You know, she's more agile, for instance. Mm. She doesn't rely on brute strength, or she's Fuck extra off, stuffy, you stupid old lady! Apparently I misrepresented yeah. somebody. At, what was the initial question, then? It was force diversity. I thought we clarified that. That's what the discussion's been about this whole time. Yeah. Also, someone mentioned um, uh, Morgan Freeman in Shawshank Redemption is a yep. white Irishman in the book. Yep. So, yeah. Wolf's talked about, about that before. Uh... Yeah, if we're gonna carry on that line, I'm thinking. It gets a little complicated. Um, and besides, oh, um... Oh, piss off! Cunts! Oh, wow, I just missed Rags it. and Co., would you take morality into judging the quality of a story? Uh, We'd need more than that. It, you'd yeah. have to be... Um, be more specific. So, just off the top of my head, you have characters who are doing evil things, but they're oh. evil characters, that's fine. If they do evil things, like Captain Marvel doing something horrible to the Dawn, and the this film is, is so unaware of it, it's probably gonna be listed as a... Not like only a shot against did. her character, but like some kind of inconsistency with presentation and events, to it, it, which wouldn't be a significant flaw, I guess. Uh, but it would certainly create dissonance for a lot of viewers. Yeah, it, it's the morality, how it mixes with the rest of the stuff in the movie, like presentation and the themes. Uh -huh. um, but just because a character is bad or good, that in and of itself isn't the issue. It can't be, I don't think, yeah. And what if, if what a movie, like, do they mean if, asshole. like, is Cuties objectively bad because of, you know, it, its portrayal of underage women? It's like, mm. hmm. I, I don't, I wouldn't say so, but I think I can make a pretty fucking strong ass compelling argument that the film, you know, the, the, that the film is bad in other ways because of that. You probably. Know? Yeah. Like, morality, I think we like, could argue... objectivity is not the way that you judge everything. That still hit me. Okay. Yeah. I, I, no, I, could... I, I could use objectivity to weigh that, um, like my moral system, I could use objectivity to weigh the fact that they exploit underage girls and say that, yeah, that is an immoral thing to do because I have a moral standard that I can use to judge that action against and it yeah. does not hold up. And of course, it's fundamentally, like, yeah. you know, whether or not objective or not, it's like, if it's something that is repugnant to me, then it's like, that's still, that's still a perspective that I have that's, you know, means yeah. something. So Again, I can make it feel as mean something. Yeah, I you like I, I can judge that to be immoral objectively. That oh, doesn't mean it's like sure. intrin that doesn't mean it has to be intrinsic to the universe or something like that. Yeah. Well, I mean again, good stories and bad stories isn't intrinsic to the universe. Oh! Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Alright, now now we're 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 getting real close to the end. <laughs> No! No, 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 all right. Fuck you! Sit down! Damn, making it sit down. But when it doesn't, like Nick Fury and Captain Marvel, then not. Skip the stuff that he was super spy in the Cold War, no one believes that in the former East. There was a lot of no's. Uh, why do we almost never see the reverse white blade? Oh, yeah, but I thought we all knew, I mean, I think we all know the reason why that is. Is because yeah, it's like, because of the fucking Hollywood the politics. They'll never yeah, fucking do it's, that. Yeah, it's popular to do the other thing around, but surely the standard would have... Like, what I'm saying is that my standard would apply the other way around. Like, if there was a black character who was made white, that isn't necessarily a forced problem. Even though, like, I think all of us wouldn't want to see a white blade, but we'd be like, all right, let's see how, let's see how it goes, I guess. Well, I think, it's, I think it's all contextual, right? Like, a white black panther, it's like, how the fuck is that going to work? Yeah, oh, like a, there's already problems, yeah. Yeah, like, it's the color of the suit. And I guess that's what I'm getting at, right? It's like the standard applies both ways. I don't know why a white Black Panther wouldn't work. Well, yeah, well, I guess it's I mean, because... if we're doing the Wakanda thing, then yeah, that would be... Well, that's what that, I'm that's saying. That's precisely saying, like, what I was going to say, yes. Yeah. Like, kind of... The exact that same be... story, but a white guy, or like Luke Cage. Yeah. The there's one white dude in Wakanda. White. 
Yeah, he just happens to be like his family and everything is exactly the same, but he's a blonde, blue eyed yeah. guy. Just yeah. randomly. For I think I think that's the problem I'm noticing. People were getting really antsy about my take, but it's like no, but this applies always around like an asian character played by a white person or like an asian character played by a black guy or a hispanic character played by a white person like it would have to hold all the time otherwise it would be like why, hey. why do you have this double standard went into mikolash's boss room and he did the insta kill move <laughs> I saw, I nice. saw it. like matt i like you but mikolash is one of the worst boss fights in gaming it's so horribly bad <laughs> Hey, so um, help me out here, guys. How do I? I've just killed um the the flap the butt flap dude. Um, where do I go? Uh, you're gonna want Amelia next, I guess. And where yeah. is she? Join yourself, Mola. Well, I don't play Bloodborne for Mikolash. I consider him this fucking annoying obstacle, and it damages my experience. <laughs> but I can't wait to get past him. And I don't okay, consider I don't myself at fault, like, remember this fight. if I'm rolling around and blobs do or do not hit me, because it's pretty hard for me to account for, like, 50 lights that land around me. God, it's bad. And it's slow, too. It's like oh, the Wonder on, Woman of up. fucking bosses. Um, but yeah, Oof. so, Amelia, uh, where, where, where do I... Um, is there anyone in chat who can, like, give you sort of text guides? Yeah, maybe. Because they'll know where well, you are as well. Is, like, because I've just killed the, the, the flat guy, and it's a dead end. So, is there somewhere I'm meant to go next? Door in the cathedral, um, on the right of the lamp. Is that open, then? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it wasn't it wasn't open when I was there before, that's all. I guess maybe it's open now? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, folks. Oh, okay, um... that's it. Someone asked earlier, "What do you have like a particular of uh, like favorite mythological creature? One that you just find really cool, I guess, or really interesting?" The one that's what like three animals in one. Oh, the bitch. Griffin. The chimera. Chimera. Oh, chimera. Sorry, yeah. Griffin is a part of that, isn't it? That's taking it back to the Babylonian. Oh, two time. of them that's fell down. Oh my god! No, did you kill them downstairs? That's annoying. I'm gonna go with the Minotaur because I want him to fucking ream me. Oh no. Okay. Where oh werewolf oh yeah werewolf of course duh oh Easy. um I guess I'm I need to know what what is included when you say mythological can it just be like stuff like um, fairy would fairy tales like be included in that wait did I miss one oh you slut oh you're gonna get it now you're gonna get the the the, no. the noggin kicked in. I don't even know. Um, I missed you. Stop ringing your bell. I stop so I like dropping the, my frames. Um, <laughs> I like the idea of how like Satan is sort of like a deal maker with people. Um, yeah. How especially when he's not portrayed as explicitly being evil, but like a just neutral. He's interested uh, neutral in uh, character. See what people do. Yeah, he wants to. Yeah, like what will he like? He he gets enjoyment and satisfaction from. Like putting humans, almost like he's like a Q kind of character from TNG, um, uh, like a Gaunter Odim style presentation of the devil that makes all these deals and bargains Aww, with people and takes an interest in mortal affairs and things of that nature. Um, is it puke again? Also, uh, let's see. Um, but yeah, um, I do like. Look at the puke? No. Uh, yeah, like that for that presentation of the devil, I do. I think the Minotaur is really kind of nifty. Um, a, a lot of the, the the classic stuff is interesting, but part of that is because they have rules attached to it. Like oh, the, that's the puke. vampire rules and the werewolf rules and stuff are, are interesting. Mm -hmm. I like those. Wait, does the puke go like all around the map? Hmm. There's an There's item floating in the air. There's another one. <laughs> Devil's chaotic neutral. Not really because of the like he he, he like he has to keep his own word like that's Ow. Real. Um, which is weird because some a lot of things say he's the prince of lies. Oh, 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 oh. That sort of thing. So. Um, please don't watch TNG. Right oh, now. there it is. Uh -oh. I've seen a lot of TNG. Yeah, some of the episodes are yeah kind of. I look out for the puke. 
this whole time, and then I attack, and then he immediately pukes and nukes me with another attack. Oh my god! Puke and nuke and... Such stupid fucking deaths! Every single one of them. <sighs> I have not seen Lucifer now. Is it Rags, the prince of this world? No, I I, I, I know well, that one of back, Satan's sorry, just that's all about for a second. Lord of Lies. Let's see, the prince of lies. <sighs> I'm so annoyed by this death. It was so dumb. I don't think I feel. I'm yeah, that's Mikolash. one of the names of Satan. Yeah, yeah, this is one of the names of Satan is the prince of lies. Or the lord of lies. Um, uh... Maybe it's just a derogatory title because the they don't Satan like him. The calls him the father him. of lies, but you get the idea. He He's made lies? Lot, got a lot of Lies. No hero was born of lies. That is true, right, that's right. Yeah, except that's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman thinks it has. Yeah. Cute that that film thinks it has a point. <laughs> oh, so many <laughs> Egyptian gods are cool as shit. Like Anubis yeah. and Osiris and stuff, that'd be fucking cool. But those are more like gods, not mythological creatures. If we, if we discount those Alcubre. and stick to them, Wait, you know, are you saying man. like it would be cool to have a story about like Anubis and stuff going on adventures? It could be. <laughs> I, I mean, mean yeah. If he goes around like mummifying. Like, <laughs> I, uh, like, I actually like that idea a lot. You know what? Yeah, I like, like that um, idea. Because when you die in Egyptian mythology, you're you get weighed oh, if you're a good person or a bad person. Sniper, dude. Holy fuck. And if you're bad, that one critter eats you. Um, I forget what it's called. Um, someone help me in chat because I forget the name. But there's like this 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 dog-like creature, and if you're a bad oh. person and the scales tip against you, Jesus. then it fucking eats you. Like, Anubis is the god heart. of death, right? In Egypt? I, I think Quetzal he is. Stop yeah. it! Quetzalcoatl is fucking the... dope as shit. He's a... Ra is the yeah. god of the sun. I feel like Egyptian mythology is... Uh, is so Greek, Greek mythology has been super thoroughly plundered, and it feels like Norse is now... You've got to be oh my god, yeah. there's so much happening at oh. once. Oh. Um, it feels like Norse is now becoming the thing that we're starting to get super into. And Norse mythology is really cool, but uh, I feel like Egyptian is the one that is currently not being super well explored. Maybe that's the, the thing to tap. Did you get shot through the wall? Yeah, I think I just got shot through the wall. Yes, it's oh, Amethyst. Cool. Rags, watch the fight, because yeah. something tells me might happen. Um, the power of the dead. Oh, man, that's right. Uh, let's see. Oh, that looks... Now. Let's see, let's watch. I think it should just be catching up. Battle I'm loving the beard. Well, thank you. Not, not do damage to him? <clears throat> you hit him like I'm twice on... and it didn't do like any damage. It's doing very oh, little, I guess. Oh, it like so... a tiny bit? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I just didn't notice the bar move. I'm just, I don't want him to do his fucking AoE move. If he doesn't do that, <laughs> I should be okay. Mm -hmm. You really don't want him to do that move. That is correct. Oh, cool. That actually didn't this do anything. Just... He's a yeah, really I bad boss. Like... Fucking Matt How advocates that they need more bosses that experiment like this. It's like, please, no. You might should be a voice actor. I disagree. Oh, my gosh, he's dead. Oh, oh my god. Prey slaughtered. It actually worked out. Okay, this time please don't all snipe me at once. It's yes, unmoot. perfect. Yes. 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 What about the end moot? Oh, I don't know. Prick. I don't know. Easy first try. Yeah, yep. that. It, it could be interesting if you had a take, if you wanted that Egyptian, like almost like episodic show, you have Anubis and all that Osiris, right? And like when it, every episode would be like an Egyptian guy dies and he goes mm -hmm. to the afterlife. And so each episode is exploring kind of that person's life and things. And he, like Anubis is almost like the narrator. Mm. He's with oh, that you... person as they explore the events in their life and they have to account for all the things that they've done. And at the that end, cool. they yeah. have the, well, were you a good person or were you a bad person? And if it's, right. a t it's an obviously horrible person, then the show is about them explaining themselves and giving yeah. their reasons for why they did all those terrible things or every episode's a new character that we get to spend all of our time with but anubis is always the same he never changes he's he's done this before i feel i i i really like stories about characters who are like the the guy who is responsible for death you know what i mean like uh i like the idea of a grim well, anubis was thing. specifically mummification but you could 
that yeah, was yeah. very important for them so that you could stretch that as oh, I, I think it's Osiris. Oh, oh, well like i've always wanted to do a story that has something to do with the grim reaper like yeah judge of the, the dead is osiris just some That'd be kind a good of thing the judge uh, yeah Osiris's chamber or something. Osiris and Anubis, and they like play off each other. One of them's more, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like one like of them's that. more jovial and jokey, and the I other like one's that. more stoic and I all that sort of thing. Uh, okay. really or, Osiris is like he's he's presented as sort of like the he thinks he's big and in charge and everything, and Anubis is like oh, he rolls his eyes and he just he humors Osiris with all the weird shit he says and all that stuff. <laughs> I like this idea a lot. Yeah, but we're not gonna get that because it's interesting and. Cool, but... I would rather watch a guy with a baby randomly complete tasks for strangers that don't no. have any characters. That's my fetish. Yeah. Nobody talking about Ra. Ra's the yeah. Ra's the. I, Ra. I feel like I just think it's more interesting to explore the characters who have the crappier jobs. You know what I mean? Like, like if you did a story about Greek mythology, I'd much rather be following Hades than uh than Zeus. I don't think oh, I yeah, absolutely. It. You know, and in the same way that, like, if there was a thing about Norse mythology, I think I'd rather be with uh, Loki rather than, uh, like, Odin or Thor. Because they're just going on the standard heroic adventures, whereas, like, Loki's the one who gets to go on the more interesting adventures, I would imagine. Um, Why's my damage so shit? Well, I think, anyway. <laughs> I, didn't but get I do any like, I do like, the I think I like the idea of maybe going down that rabbit hole and seeing more of it, reading up and yeah. I'm scared. I'm gonna go back home. What has happened? I'm stuck. Stop! Kloob! Man, you've really built up your health there, haven't you, Maul? <laughs> Jeez. And I haven't died as much as I probably would have if I didn't. So, with. Raj just makes edgy jokes and throws people off roofs. Why would we focus on him? Oh, maybe I don't. <laughs> no, well, there's obviously it. more to it than just that, right? We want to explore it. Like they explored Wonder Woman yeah. in the Wonder but Woman why 84. Edgy jokes and throw people off roofs? Yeah. Don't expect anything. They couldn't get Lovecraft right. Don't expect any. Well, I'm saying, like, I might like the idea of exploring this personally and thinking about yeah, the Provisor for all these ideas are that they're executed well, I would suppose. <laughs> yeah. That's the fundamental. Too Isn't scared to continue. That's what that's kind of the point I'm making. I think villainous oh, characters oh, in like fuck. mythology or at least the ethically dubious ones are the ones that are more interesting to me than like Zeus or Hercules. Like I don't really care about Hercules compared to yeah. Hades. I'm just sick of like heroic characters doing their heroic things. What where like... did all this damage come from? As uh, oh, as somebody's aptly pointed out in right chat, now. right? Like the reason why people like breaking bad is because it's kind of fun at following the villain. Um, yeah. Especially when the villain's really got likeable his and has reasons, yeah. Yeah. So guy went all those stories about how these people, everyone from the lowliest fucking peasant, Very well. um, or like it, it, you could have everything from your 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 feel good episodes where the the lowly beggar who lived a life of poverty is finally getting his happy ending, and it's about how you know he's just so thrilled that at the end it all paid off because he was a good person. And then you could have the episodes where you have the miserly evil bastard who's just and, who gets you know fucked what? up Fucking in the end. damage. You know what, what would happening? be like the real depressing but super interesting episode is the one of like a baby who didn't even get a chance to live coming to him. It's like I have to, what do you judge you like what what do you mean you didn't even get a chance? And then maybe like you know start to explore that topic of like wow yeah it's like a world you have where a, you don't yeah, even get a chance like, to live like dude. You know? Yeah, what do the what do Osiris and Anubis do when a kid shows up? But do they just like, yeah, I guess they get to go to heaven, I and suppose. Straight up and it's like the uh, maybe they I didn't be like, any sin, what if so. uh, well, what if like if they had the ability to see what you could have done if you hadn't died, imagine like it was a kid who grew up to be not a particularly awesome person, not like the worst person in the world, but somebody who didn't do particularly good things, did some really bad things. But it's like, but you didn't do this yet. You didn't even get the chance. So what what do you deserve? What is your you know what 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 should you get in life? I feel like that could be a really cool topic to explore. Yeah, it's, it's Heracles. Re. You, you get those really um yeah you could come up with I all kinds of crazy anything, stories of time. playing off yeah. the the characters of Osiris and Anubis and maybe you know they're a little bit different than one another or 
one's more pessimistic, one's more optimistic. Yeah, have dynamic um, duel. Sure. Yeah, or they just have you know different personalities. They wanna, like they've been doing this for so long. They just they wanna make it interesting. They set up, you know, you why relive all these moments and all these stories. Yeah. Why, 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 do, why do you do this? Why do you do that? I mean, like, do you think they deserve that thing you did to them? Or what were you doing at the time? Such a interesting concept. I don't want to have to fight Plague Doctor. <sighs> Doesn't make me happy. A Plague Tale Innocence is one of the best games I've played in years, and it's nice and dark and scary for Spooktober. Huge thanktism to Mr. E-Man Gameplay for the awesome gift. That was from Salad King, I guess. They, uh, they bought it up for him. <clears throat> Cyrus is technically dead. He's like, yeah, well, he is. Now. Someone asked, what is, um... Yeah, I saw. I, I hope I remember it because I had to scroll. Oh, it come caught, on, chat caught dude. up and scrolled past it. But it was like, what's the thing that NPCs do in games that like ruins your immersion the most? Mm. And I think it might be when they keep repeating the same line over and over again. Yeah, I think so. Especially if other NPCs elsewhere have the same line delivered by the same actor in the same <laughs> way. Okay. Plus the fact it's audio based is yeah I think that might be the thing that ruins it for me more than anything else is reusing the same fucking audio line over and over. Maybe seeing the same NPC twice like with the exact same clothes and stuff like you would in the old Grand Theft Auto games. It's like oh, yeah yeah, right, yeah that could people. do it yeah. Now it's not really a problem though. You never really see the same NPC twice unless you play Cyberpunk. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, oh yeah, and also people aptly pointing out Zeus was not a good guy either. Yeah, very few yeah. of it. I think that's why I find these mythologies really interesting. It's like, yeah. Odin is not a good person, nor is yeah. Thor or Freya. They're all kind of bad people who are. Yeah, they're very, uh, like they're jealous and vengeful and all that stuff. Yeah. Not, I mean, so, Christian <clears throat> God's the same way, but they don't fuck around with a pretense, you know? <laughs> Uh, you know, all the gods have, you know, are jealous and like one, like there's one story. Apollo, there's this guy named Marcius, right? And uh, he goes to Apollo. He calls up to Apollo. He says, "Apollo, I am the fucking best liar player in the whole world. I'm better than you. I can, hey Apollo, I can beat you in a in, in a contest uh, of uh, a, a liar contest, L Y R E. But is he Apollo is the god of music? So, oh, that's quite the boast." And you don't want to boast in front of the gods. They don't often like that. No, and Apollo says, "All right, we'll have ourselves a little, a little liar contest. And if you Wait, win, before... Marcius, I'll give you a statue of gold." Before uh, you finish, I just assume it has some horrible ending where he like rips his oh, face of course, off or yeah. some shit. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Marcius loses and Apollo flays him alive. Oh, so... well, I wasn't quite right, but <laughs> well, it, it's a horrible, terrible end. Yeah, I think um. I, I always distinctly remember the, the the one where um in Norse mythology where they needed a wall built around Asgard, and uh, there's this guy and he's got a horse and he's like yeah um so I can build this in a year, and if I build it in a year then I get to marry Freya and they're all like <laughs> yeah whatever and then he actually gets really close to building it in a year and they're like oh well we don't want to uphold this like we don't we really don't want to honor this agreement um and so. What happens is, they're like, all right, so Loki, you're gonna turn into a horse and impregnate, or either get pregnant with or impregnate that guy's horse, um, so that the horse gets lazy and doesn't really work. And that's exactly what happens. And the guy's like, well, no, you 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 screwed me over here. Uh, and they're like, lol, whatever. You know, a deal's a deal. You built our wall and you don't get to marry Freya. He's like, oh, I'm a frost giant. I'm gonna get you. And then they just kill him. <laughs> so he built the wall and he didn't get so, paid for it. The only person who the only person who won here was Loki then. Well, yeah, because Loki had a kid, uh, and I think that was Thor's six legged horse or something, I think. Hmm. You're getting a super biased vision from God of War. I don't think Fringy's fucking referencing God no, of War. I, I'm talking No, about, we're um, not. We're no, getting dude, read Greek God mythology. War. The gods are dicks, but at least they're entertaining. Yeah, that was from um, that was from uh, the Neil Gaiman rewriting of the of, of like you know the the retelling of the Norse myths. That's where I got that from. Um, <laughs> like so they think that's from God of War. The idea. Yeah. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see. Um, oh, oh, as someone said, or how Athena turned Arachne into a spider for being better at weaving. Yeah, the gods are pricks. And Medusa. <laughs> Medusa is a victim. Uh, yep, Medusa is a victim. I mean, she got raped by Poseidon, and then Athena turned her into a snake monster for it. Well, you know. It and, and one time, this one guy, he had the unfortunate coincidence of seeing Artemis bathing. And she was so upset that a mortal saw her naked that she, like, she either, like, killed him or blinded him or something. I think she yeah, blinded him. Yeah, like something named the <laughs> Artemis. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so, but she was like, well, I blinded you, but, like, I feel kind of sorry for it now. So I'm going to, like, make a constellation or something out of you instead of giving a sight back. <laughs> so it's like, these people are dicks, but they're interesting. These stories are bonkers. Yeah, but they're great. I think that's yeah. what I like so much about uh, Norse mythology compared to other... Well, not, so, yeah. if you had a show about these gods, made them more, like, middle ground, not just outright assholes, but more middle ground, I think it could be super interesting. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm cool with them being assholes. Um, I guess it's just that... Uh, I think I think what I like about these mythologies more is the fact that they're like we, the gods are like treated with irreverence only in the sense that they're really powerful, not in that you think they're really cool. Yeah. Um, but they're not. <laughs> A lot of them. Uh, I mean, they're interesting, but they're not like the people I'd want to hang out with. You know, I wouldn't want a cat get a beer with Thor. Like, not... Oh, piss off! The... Well, you really pissed yeah. me off with that. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big fan of yeah, Thor. Yeah, fuck you, Fringy. No, fuck Thor. We're gonna die I again, aren't I? And then I'm out of black oil, and then I'm gonna do it all over again. You might be right, focus. yeah. Fucking She's a fucking son. asshole. <laughs> yeah, Tiresias, the blind seer. Yeah, some, I know the name Tiresias. I think that oh, was right. the guy. Oh, right. Hit me. But I, yeah, there's another other one. He turned the guy into a deer, and his own hounds killed him. Oh, man. That's fucking yeah. These shit, people were shitty. Uh, someone asked a question. Let me scroll up. Um, when do you feel the idea of it happened because it was destiny is good or bad in a story to explain a possible contrivance? It's always Wait, bad. It, it, it damaged me. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so fucked. I'm inclined to agree that it's always bad. Yeah, um, I I will. All my positions are tentative, of course, but I am gonna say that it's always bad, 100% of the time. Fuck it. What is, um... I, I get, hate Destiny. I, so my questions would just be like, there was this book that was written, and that's it. Nobody knows who wrote it, but everything in it comes true. I'd be like, oh, that's shit. Um, yeah, but if we're talking shit. some kind of... Oh, the godlike god entity of the universe actually steps in to do something in some narrative, so it could probably work, I guess. Um, I... To make something happen yeah. that they said will happen, but it's only because they make it happen. I don't know. Yeah. Probably There's, some reason for that. It could have happened any other way, right? It predestination, in a sense. It, it, it could not have happened any other way. Besides, uh, when is it ever used, like, for anything? Up? Are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm fine with stories where people believe in prophecies and destinies, um, but if it's an actual mechanic of the universe that people, that, that there are prophecies made that must occur and destinies that people have to do things, and there is no possible other way it could have happened. Yeah, fuck that shit. Don't put it in your stories. So what happened in there, that, that doesn't look very fun. <laughs> well, I mean, it worked out. <laughs> I'm just fisting pigs. But it might not have. That's the thing. No, yeah, I would have been really pissed if it didn't. What's your next boss then? Rags, I'm, I'm, what if it's uh, a yeah. self fulfilling prophecy? No, yes. oh, great, this is all a hunter fight. Yeah, I think I'm. Uh, I'm not even too far away from the end. If I was to focus on just getting to the end. Oh boy! Nice. You said Lord of the Rings is I... a destiny story, you flutes. Well then, what? I don't like that about it. What do you mean? How is like Lord of the Rings a destiny, destiny story? I don't know. Someone said it doesn't. Maybe okay. It like the extra lore. Or it doesn't count. But if that's the case, if there is a book that says Rags will do thing and then and then it comes true but he had every reason to do it for his own person regardless of this like mm. like I don't care 
It, that's kind of yeah, Star Wars. I couldn't have done anything else. Well, just that, you know, Darth Vader will bring balance to the Force, meaning he will kill the Emperor and rebound, blah, blah, blah. It's like, see, it was written, it was destined, it was always going to happen. It's like, but there are story reasons why it happened. I don't care if it was written in a book. Yeah, also, the people yeah. in the, like, they don't know what that means. It, like, that's ambiguous. Bringing balance to the Force. However, if Darth Vader was strictly evil the entire time, then just randomly kills the Emperor and he doesn't even know Missed why, and one. someone's like, oh, well, it was in the book. Like, what? You did it because it was in the book? Yeah, no thanks. That's that's pretty stupid. Uh, let's see. How do you feel about Deus Ex Machina's and stories, and how do, much does it bother you? It bothers me a lot, generally. Yeah, yeah they're not really I referenced as a positive. Yeah, I would rarely... I would never... Just don't use them. Just That's that's my that's my advice. Just don't use Unless them Unless you're ever. doing a literal god from the machine, but then it wouldn't be a Deus Ex Machina in terms of a trope. It would be like its yeah. own new thing. Like, de um, literally what Deus Ex one, like, one of the endings is. Let's see. Um, yeah. Don't do Destinies. Uh, what about Death or, Note? Uh, as so an that's... actual mechanic. An actor, though, do... is doing that. They're using the power of the book to do something. Yeah, that's like... Death Note isn't prophecy. The, the Death Note has rules, and then you just use... You exploit uh, those rules to do what you want. I don't think the Death Note says level, anything about what will happen. Uh, you know, it only says what will happen if you do the certain thing. Like, if you... You know, how the rules work, and this is how it will work. It said, what if the prophecy is not 100% correct? Then it's not a prophecy. Then it's then not it's prophecy also, anymore. It's just that's a misrepresentation wrong. of destiny. He didn't do it because it was in the book. The book was written because he would do it. So now we're talking about fucking seeing the future. And, yeah. and like, whatever. So you got some old dude saw into the future that Darth Vader would bring balance to force, wrote it in some book or text, passed it on to a bunch of people. They tried to interpret what the hell it even means. And through possibly wanting or not wanting it to happen, made it happen. But all of it re doesn't rely on that. Some guy saw the future. Is is just that's not that's what made it happen. Is the point? If your story supports itself, what we're specifically talking about as a flaw is this thing happened because it was written in the book that it would happen. That's yeah. bad. It it happened because I said it would. And of course, right. if someone brings up Death Note again, it's like clearly that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, right. What do you think? Well, actually, let me use the loop before I open that question. How would that even right make sense that it's, it's, like, light is creating the things that will happen. That's not destiny. That's cause and effect. Yeah, but well, they, you, this is what I mean. This, it's a bit disingenuous. They're like, ah, oh, but he's writing in a book and you said books. Like, that's clearly <laughs> not the spirit yeah. of what I'm saying, but alright. Yeah, come on. What is the next boss you have to fight, then? What uh, wetness. Around? Something, I can't remember what her name is. Mergo? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a name that we would come up with. <laughs> Mergo, yeah. I can't get a single fucking good boss fight right now. I'm annoyed. Uh. Out of files again. You laugh at my shadow take, but I'm correct. I'm assuming this is the people saying that you shouldn't make fun of shadow. Fringy, how do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> I will continue to make fun of Shadow the Hedgehog, wow. alright? Fringy, do you understand how it racist that never, is, or...? It would never not be funny. He is a black hedgehog in a game where the good guy is a blue hedgehog. And he has a gruff voice. He's got red sad. streaks as well. Yes, Shadow Troopers, black armor, red he streaks. Wears, he wears, like, these cool sneakers that Sonic doesn't have. The new Daleks, they're black with red lights. It's like, oh man. That's right. Cruise control for Edge. Uh, I say with my black avatar with red lights. My avatar is edgy. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's glowing right yeah, it's red light, yeah. What do you think of prophecies that are basically if-then propositions? So, if I go to a restaurant and I prophesy that if I order a steak from the waiter, then I will receive a steak cooked as I requested that is then delivered within a short span of time, that is not a prophecy. Not a prophecy. What do you think so, of um, if I had a story where I'm like, if the hero ever enters the chapel of unforgiven madness, he will die. And there's some person in there who he cares about that he wants to save. And so, like, do you think that creates interesting, like, drama? But then, I guess it would be the nature in which he dies would be your point of contention, yeah, right? Like, if he just fell over and had a heart like, attack, we're like, oh, okay. 
or is yeah, it the, but, you know, but then i would be like oh is could he never have possibly even succeeded it wasn't it, he didn't even have a chance because the universe mm. conspired against him i was like well that's fucking lame like as if he enters um, and his heart just stops but like a prophecy has to be like prophecies are very specific and a prophecy has to be it has to it has to be specific in its what it says will happen um it can't be ambiguous and open to interpretation it needs to be a specific thing happening it has to be such that people cannot work towards its completion and it cannot be a mundane occurrence buffy does it's funny because now i'm just thinking about buffy flash angel one that i don't want to talk about that just does it in a way that i really like yeah buffy does that a lot like, it's not a problem um, with things, a thing that you're like, oh, that's not gonna work. It's like, they made it work, though. Yeah, they did. Wanna remain it's nice really and vague like on that one. if someone said, I prophesy that America will have a female president, like, that's not, that's not much of a, that's not a it's prophecy. It's not a meaningful prophecy. That's, yeah. like, practically inevitable. Well, I mean, you know? yeah, there's, um, I think there was, like, a prophecy in the Bible of there will be wars and rumors of wars. It's like, well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Duh. Yeah. Um... But someone says, nah, prophecies can be vague as fuck. No, they can't. That's not a prophecy. Well, if it's, it's, if it's too vague that it's something that will invariably happen, then it's not, it's, like, a prophecy needs to be specific for me to believe that it's, um, that it's actually not just a prediction. I guess yeah, it's we're... like, I prophesy that, you know, one day the, the tomb of, oh, you've already, sh you've already fucked up with saying one day. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah, one so... Day. Oh, basically all right well that's vague as fuck that's not useful well like a good prophecy would be like if prior to you know like a prophecy of you know uh on on something november 2008 barack obama from illinois will become the president of the united states a prediction from like 1850 it's like wow that's a yeah, really like that's good... it's specific now the only the only contention i would have with that and it, it, a tiner one to the point of it being a non-issue would be that it is possible when, when Barack Obama, it, like if it's a public prophecy, that yeah, hurts it a yeah, lot because people does. can actively work towards completing it. Yeah. Right. And of course, um, if it's a private one, how do you prove that it was made before it happened? Yeah. It can't be. It has to be specific. It can't be vague. It can't be mundane. It can't be common knowledge. You know, stuff like that. Oh, fuck you, you stupid it, Oh, it has to be falsifiable. That's the thing. It has yes. to be falsifiable. Yeah. That's, the, that's the big one that I forgot. It can't be so open-ended that, like, no one will ever be able to disprove that the prophecy didn't happen. This is a conversation on the quality of a prophecy, right? Not... I'm, I don't like, even think if it doesn't meet these criteria, then it's basically it's a requirement just... of a prophecy. Yeah, Otherwise, I'd say it's, it's basically a guess. requirement. It's the difference you, between you, yeah. random predictions based on chance and educated guesses and, like, actual prophecies. <clears throat> but the problem is if it's a guess and if it's a really vague guess, like, again, if I say there will be a war in the future, it's like, that's not a prophecy. Like, of course there will be. And also, you didn't say when or why. Um, um, how do I chat? How do I get to the a big... Major event a prophecy? I don't think so, no. I wouldn't say so. What the fuck are these rules for prophecies? Like, are they, we're, we're, so like that 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 word should have weight to it. Yeah. Because if it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Because mm. we have things like prediction, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. educated cool. guess, you know, an inference. Guesstimate. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so by that logic, you will inevitably have a green president. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> half the people, half the people in the world, more than half of the people in the world are women. There are no green so, people. Yeah. If there, if you made the guess that there would be a woman president, it's like it's inevitable. Oh. Rags's definitions of prophecies is such that prophecies can't exist. No, they can. They don't. But they can. Like there, are, prophecies don't exist in the real world. God, this boss sucks. Uh, let's see. Here's a conditional prophecy: If Achilles, if Achilles fights in the Trojan War, he'll die soon and as a hero. If he doesn't, he'll oh, die. Oh, cool. He just. Unknown. He just probably tries to avoid a... the fight, but then he gets that's... caught up in it. Oh, so that's that's not too out. bad. You claim that because it's be falsifiable present. after the fact. <laughs> okay, whatever. It is not. It's not. Wait a second. No, that isn't. 
No, that's a terrible prophecy. If he doesn't, he'll die old and unknown. So how do you know that it came true if he dies old and unknown? Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's a terrible prophecy. Yeah, you shouldn't... Yeah, that last bit ruins it. Um, um, isn't this supposed to be a big... Also, people can work towards protecting Achilles if he doesn't, uh, you know, go to war. Oh, what the... Oh. What the dickens? Damn it. But yeah, my, my criteria for a prophecy are very, very high because a prophecy should be held to an extremely high standard. Otherwise, it's just a guess. Yeah, Rags' definition of a prophecy isn't really what prophecies are. <clears throat> All right, it. let's see what the definition of a prophecy is. I'm just curious what the definition is. A pred it's, it's a prediction, uh, is all it says. A prediction of what yeah, will happen in the future. Thank yeah, you, that's yeah. A, yeah, that's definitely not the definition but I'll be using. the Wikipedia definition is a prophecy is a message that is claimed by a prophet to have been communicated to them by a deity. Such messages typically involve inspiration, interpretation, <laughs> or revelation, <laughs> and divine will concerning uh, the prophet's social world and events to come. Yeah, so those don't happen. So... Yeah, I don't. Well, think that's that's the thing is real. like a prophecy yeah. can't be real by that definition. Well, yeah, okay, but in a fictional world, yeah. they can be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. And those are my criteria for oh. if just seeing if it's an actual prophecy. I lost so people many. People seem to have low standards for prophecies. I lost. So Anakin so Skywalker many. being the chosen one is bad. Then I can agree on that. I don't like chosen one things like ever. <laughs> kind of. Um. And it's it's vague too. It's not as bad as if you're the chosen one to do some thing. Like it's just like the prophecy. It's prophesized that the son of the king, uh, born if you know if the the son of the king born under the full moon in the month of February, he will achieve, you know something, you know you know because of him a great change in the kingdom will occur. It's like, it's still not a great prophecy because if you're the king, it's really easy for you to make great change in your country, right? But it's not like the worst attempt at a prophecy, you know? I lost no, it's so me cool. Um, there was an elevator. I jumped onto it assuming it was there, but it was just a hole in the ground. <laughs> so There's a hole in the bottom the of the sea. Oh, that was a cool combo you guys just did. Good stuff. I'm proud of you. I'm not getting any stagger. Cool. Yeah, fuck you. No, yeah. all my blood points are gone. My fire pepper is gone. This boss is fucking bullshit. This boss <laughs> sucks. What boss do you want, dude? He's on the one reborn, which what? is just a gloopy mass on the floor. He shoots you. He can shoot you in the thing. He can shoot you upstairs, downstairs. When you go there, he just floops around with all his fucking <laughs> five million legs. Then he has this stupid, works. huge ass AOE attack. Mm -hmm. I was like, fucking hell. And then he's like tanky as shit. I don't. I know I'm out of. Oh. Imagine listening to some guys on the internet about the nature of prophecies and not like I don't know a scholar or a theologian. Why the fuck so do you have to be a scholar, a scholar or a theologian to do that? Say. The yeah, hell. Scholars and especially a lot of fucking theologians I've Is heard this... from are. Yeah, are I don't. We, are we I don't really going to take this stand? We're not allowed to have a perspective on this because we're not scholars or theologians. Really, we yeah. can't have thoughts on the pretty basic like like human concepts are you kidding me like <laughs> all right does the prophecy need divine inspiration no i don't i don't really care i don't well, care where the source that's the wikipedia is. definition <laughs> yeah like i don't i don't personally think that the source of the prophecy matters at all we're just talking about the prophecy itself. well i guess it's because the idea is like a prophecy in irl world is religious it's like divine or divinely inspired or something that's like part of it but when we talk about prophecies and story we're not talking about that we're talking about just because of course the rules in your fantasy universe can be whatever you want them to be someone says like um someone says is paris is to live then troy shall fall like that's a really shitty prophecy yeah it's not because paris great. can live or die troy uh, uh, uh troy is gonna either you know exist or be conquered you know, it's just, it's, it's a really, really loose, mm, cool. you know, kind of, a, you know, kind of prophecy. Oh, wow. I think I'm finally starting to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. 
thought there was an iron gate here. Say if the prophecy was in reference to someone else rather than the protagonist, that it can still be entertaining to work with. I mean, I'm sure it could, it could be entertaining. Yeah, this wasn't. I still wouldn't like. It. That's where I wanted to take the question next. So, if you know, fucking Mando or whatever, all the characters are doing what they do, and then some seven. bearded guy is like, "Yo, Mando, if you go back to Mandalore, you'll never, uh, you'll never leave." And then he's like, um, okay. Like, and, 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 you know, depending on different variations, it can just be something for the character to think about, I guess. It doesn't have to have to have come from anywhere specific or <clears throat> that just a great, great. I remember this being fun. Um, yeah, we don't know who came up with it or wrote it or how they achieved that knowledge. It's just something of a risk that's applied from some random source. And it may or may not be true, that sort of thing. Very, very much arbitrary for our character, but it's something that he can maybe think about. I don't know. He can add a level well, of atheist stress. Rags is craziest rags. Um, what does atheism have to do with this? Like, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, rags, your bias is showing. Prophecies can be intentionally vague. Yeah, well, that's not very impressive. Is yeah, it? I mean, if it's really specific, it would be a lot more helpful. Uh, that's what, like, if a prophecy is meant to be useful in any way, then the more specific it can be, the better. Um, is, is that, what's, what does the atheism got to do Prophecies with this? have always been vague. Well, that's fucking convenient, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, isn't that the whole meme with Nostradamus, is that he was wrong about a shit ton, and the ones he was right about, a lot of them are very vague. Oh shit, here we That's go a good again. Prophecy rag that's falsified. Exactly. I think that um I think that a prophecy has to be falsifiable. Well yeah, because otherwise it's like, what are we doing here, you know? <laughs> I think all the things that you believe should be falsifiable. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> um, let's see. What do you think about the Ragnarok prophecy from North Smith? I'm not familiar enough with it. Uh, I think the Ragnarok philosophy is it will happen and like Thor, Odin, and Freya and stuff will all die. I think that's what it is. Sure. Oh. Does it say when it will happen? Uh, no, at some point. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> oh, these I mean, give it enough time then. Maybe it does have a date and I'm just not familiar enough with it though. That's the thing. Um, like I said, my, Too much my fun. Norse mythology info is pretty low compared to like Greek mythology. Oh, the frenzy do uh, I do. It's, yeah, they Overdosing on too. fun. It's just too much. They're just so uh, much fun. They grab you, and they apply a put the fun away thing that knocks out like seventy percent of your health while taking health off you oh. and reapplying it. Oh, that vicar thing. Orgasms of oh. fun. All right, the giant dog lady. Hey, that's bitch to you. Okay. <clears throat> now this one is a nightmare, isn't it? In terms of frame rate and like. Not being able to see. Get anything, in there, right? Frank. Get in there and nuzzle her fur. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm barely even doing that much damage. Oh, uh, look at all this fur. I can't see. I wish I could fight Amelia right now. <laughs> Why is this preferable to where you are now? Uh, I'm just farming things again because I'm uh, out of things. Is there any reason why Vicar Amelia is a dog? <laughs> I'm happened? sure it's in the law, you racist. The very yeah. ambiguous more. Oh, Fringy, you're gonna I love this one. See. Uh, criticizing oh. the Bojack universe is like criticizing a dream. You're not supposed to make sense of it. Oh, um, <laughs> oh well. Wow. Guess we can all close the channels yeah. that, that exist now. Everything so small. Just, just wow, man. Just fucking wow. <laughs> it's a dream universe, is it? <laughs> What, God, what a get out of jail free card for the DLJ Bojack. is a dream universe. You shouldn't criticize it, alright? Yeah, I agree. Everything is so fucking tanky here. Is... <laughs> Rex, we're talking about a literary device and you're discussing it as if it's a real world thing. You know, what? like, most of the people on the planet think prophecies actually exist? Yeah, most people do. Like, more than half. Also, why would it However, matter? if we're talking about a literary device, I still don't like them. That's, I thought that's what the, the context the was supposed vague... to be. Well, yeah, and plus, reason... it, it's like the chosen one thing. It's like the vague... I'm fine. People can believe it in the fictional universe. I have no issue with that. Whether or not it's uh, real is a different thing. Yeah, whether it's real in that universe, I don't, I don't think you should have them be real. 
And if you have people who, like, it's like when people see fu the future, right? And it's just a potential future that they see with their future vision powers. That's not a prophecy, right? Because people can work to change it. And also, the only reason we brought up the real world thing is because I was looking for a definition. <laughs> and the definition of prophecy is much more, like, religious in its connotations uh, than when we're talking Ooh, about it as a literary weird. device. Yeah, I... I don't like them. You could write them in a way that's interesting, sure, but and, and I'm fine with the idea of prophecies being very vague. Uh, yeah. Almost like a... And I'm certainly fine with the idea that a prophecy is, you know, open-ended and we don't know if it was, you know, that's the... So, it, it just avoid it. Avoid destiny. Avoid chosen one. Avoid predestination. You know, have yeah, characters please. feel like they it's have agency and that they could yeah. have failed if they did things differently. Yeah, or that they could have be... even done things differently at all. This, this comes back to what we said at the beginning, me. which is, as long as it's not, they did it because it was in the book, rather they did it because there's plenty of reasons for them to the do it. Yeah, 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 and then it just also was in the book. I can upgrade again now. I don't think I'm beating Vicar or Mahalia. I am making some progress. I am happy. It'd be nice if I could see what was happening, but... Now you just spent ages talking about the vague ones being crap. Yeah, they are. But <laughs> if you're gonna have one, have well, it be vague. I'd rather have a crappy prophecy than prophecies actually being true in that world. Is there a ladder? Is I guess it's I worth like noting that, that there's, a difference, there's a difference in how we would want a prophecy to be in, like, the real world versus in a story, what will work best. In the real world, it should be very specific if you want me to believe it, but in a, you know, in a story, it can be whatever, right? Whatever so best I like that you... story to it. Fuck right. me, this guy. I like that you cherry pick what part of my comments you want to respond to. So is, quote, no man can kill me, from Lord of the Rings. Or, quote, no man born of a woman shall kill you. Macbeth, bad. Vague, but still true. I don't even know that... Like, well, we don't know if they're true because it's yeah. a prophecy or I've not. I've never looked at Lord of the Rings and thought, good thing she was a girl, otherwise Witch King never would have been defeated. I've never looked at it that way. Oh, great. I... <laughs> yeah, like, like, Mary, he wasn't a chick. Well, he was a and man. He hurt him, for sure, yeah. And yeah, he I, hurt him. I picture if that if Aragorn was thing. to stab him in his face, he would <sighs> still die. It's just a really cool fucking thing to attach to yourself to scare people. No man oh, can yeah. kill me. Nice snipe. Yeah. And if, if they're referring to, like, the race of men, well, Mary's not of, of the race of men. Still fucked him up and set her up for the kill shot. And if it's talking about being a woman... He's like, well, Mary isn't a woman. I just thought it was a, yeah. it was a neat line. It, so. <laughs> I am no man. Yeah, yeah, it's a cool line. It's, uh, it's, it's girls get it done, except not cringy as fuck. <laughs> I almost feel like, like, like I, I always took that as Aowen just uh, being like, delivering a great line. Yeah, it's and that a cool was it. Line. She's almost being like snarky before the kill shot. Yeah. He's, he's so full of power and hubris, and he thinks so highly of himself for good reason. He's like, no man could kill me. And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I am no man. Like, I understand you her... guys have a very literal way of looking at stories, but there yeah. are other ways. Well, um, what do you mean? I mean, yeah, well, I live in a literal a universe, <laughs> but like, yeah. Also, how do I, how do I um, apply a fucking, wait, I'm probably gonna be able to figure it out. How do I do yeah, a- was a hobbit, but I still agree anyone could have stabbed him. Yeah, I, yeah, I did cover that, but yeah, you're right. A <laughs> very literal uh, way of you, looking at things. I just like that as left, a criticism. Uh, left. You need to yeah. use the left side of your touch screen, uh, ah. your touch thingy on the controller. Thank you, Mutlo. Mm -hmm. I keep getting quick silver bullets, but I need, I need blood vials. I just need to have like a good fight or I next get the fucking blood vials. Also, what's the shortcut? I think it was this way. So said the Witch King thought he couldn't be beaten by mortal men, and he was kind of right. No. No, he, like, was, he was. He was fucking him. defeated by Aragorn Aowen in the first movie. In the face. <laughs> Aragorn fucked uh. him up. You guys need to remember what happens in these films. Like, if, Ar if, if the Witch King had fallen over and he set himself on fire and then Aragorn just hacked away at his corpse, I'm pretty sure he's going to die just as much as he would have died if Eowyn, you know, kills him as well. I don't... I didn't realize that people took it literally that, like, someone cast a spell on the Witch King of Angmar that no man could kill him, therefore it has to be a woman. That's weird, but okay. Yeah, like, shit, yeah. you should 
I'm casting that spell more often. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. yes. Every just cast it to Aaron one of the orcs and you. just wait for him to eventually win. Yeah. I guess they could, like, subdue him. Like, put him in a pit or something. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill me! He's like, alright, you're gonna live forever in that pit. <laughs> Holy mother of <laughs> god, how long does it take to kill this thing? It takes a while. It has a lot of health. Guess I'll read some super chats. <laughs> Let's not it's away. not like you have like all the time in the world right now. <laughs> Who would win in a full scale war? The all branches mm. of the US forces or Bowser's army? The uh, book literally says the blade Mary uses. So we're going by the book, not the movie. The book literally says the blade Mary uses breaks the spells, making the Witch King mortal again. Okay. I so. The prophecy was wrong? <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Uh, it's not even a prophecy, it's just him saying that no mortal man can- he's like, no man can kill Wait, me. so was it the blade that Mary used, or was it the fact that he hit him in a particular place? I guess Mary used an enchanted That's sword that broke the spell. Like, by the way, um, all of the swords in the world actually have a spell that destroys the spell on me, that makes me invulnerable. <laughs> Oh, you're taking things too literally, right? Um, you're not I'm, I'm not thinking that. I don't know if there are other ways. As for the, um, the US versus Bowser's oh, army, right, chunk. it really depends on if we count every single thing ever that was in Bowser's armies across all the games. I want this thing again. Well, yeah, but he said the entirety of the US army, so I guess, so the army, the air force, the, uh, navy. Probably Bowser has, like, a sh like a, we're talking a shit ton of enemies to deal with, and it's not that the American army couldn't deal with it, but some hard ones to deal yeah, with in there. Remember that there's like there's millions. I mean, it's one of the things that I think about with like Avengers movies. Like, I feel like the U.S. army could have done better against Thanos than the Avengers. Um, <laughs> I agree with that actually. Yeah, yeah like, certainly a ship. They would have fucking well, well, it's the knocked his ship out of the like, sky. Oh, Wakanda versus the U.S. Army, it's like, yeah, what, the U.S. Army wins, it has superior tactics, it doesn't matter that they have superior... It's like General Shepard said in Modern Warfare 2, yeah, it matters who's got the biggest stick, but it matters a hell of a lot more who's swinging it. It's like, yep, I agree with that. Um, we got some interesting comments here, we've got... Uh, do you like pubic hair rags? Uh, in moderation. Uh, I like it, I do like someone trimmed or smooth person. Um, sure, that's actually not where I wanted to go now. And this one, Craig, so now you agree that the Lord of the Rings books and movies are different stories. Yeah? When the... Why do when people keep ever... doing this? There's a person the other day who was like, like Oh, Rags, you can't like, complain. Like, events happen? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, Lord of the Rings, the um, book is different from Lord of the Rings, the film. I thought we all yeah. knew this. When did you ever say otherwise? <laughs> Rags would like to see a show where mortal characters have to face extremely powerful sorcerers. Mages being underpowered annoys me, like in The Witcher 3. Let me stop you right there. Oh god. <laughs> Mages in The Witcher 3 are not underpowered. They can, like, fucking teleport and fucking cast fireballs and shit. They're glad. Like, I think mages should be glass cannons. Yep. I think that a witch, mage should be a glass cannon. Really yeah. powerful, but you shoot it with one bullet and that's it. As opposed to Captain Marvel, Ooh. where it's really powerful, but also impervious to headbutt from a guy with all six. I like that you called it. It. She's <laughs> 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 well, a plank, so. Yeah, a, mages can cast extremely powerful spells. Like, Kings and the Witcher knew to keep mages around because of how powerful they were and all the things that they could do that m normal people oh, could well, not that's... do. Oh, well, where I'm going. Uh, like in Aragon, right? So in Aragon has is one of the best magic systems I've ever read. Don't they they get they start getting bad quick after the first book. But like a mage is it's like the ultimate glass cannon where they they have to pull energy from things around them. Either right. other living creatures or the plants or be. whatever. And they could very accidentally kill. They could accidentally kill themselves if the magic words they use or the thought they use accidentally falters, and they accidentally target themselves or aren't specific enough about the spell. And you have whole armies that are designed to protect mages in battle, so the mages can cast the spells because a single arrow could kill a mage because they're a person, right? And stuff of that nature. But yeah, I like the idea that mages are glass cannons. They're just as Frail and they have normal bodies, 
and uh, if they get stabbed or cut in half or they fall off a great distance, it kills them. But they're capable of, you know, very powerful things. Mm. Um, yeah. How long have you been hitting that big thing, Mola? Since I said, wow, hit? I deal like barely any damage. I don't know how long ago that was. It's a, it's a long world away, you know? And uh, someone mentioned that the US Army would have any trouble because a fucking fat dude jumps on them and Bowser's army is defeated. Are we taking into account the people behind these armies, or are we taking into account just the power of these armies against each other? Um, uh, I feel like, well, if you say the entire US Army, you are factoring in the numbers. Oh, right, I just so want to like, mention that, like, Bowser has magic on his team, and if he's smart, we could probably do some real damage to America. What are you thinking of when you think about magic that Bowser would use against the US Army? Just any and all of the crazy magical shit that happens? Maybe one, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of something and I'm not sure what um, it would be. I mean, all all typical cartoon shit. Like, um, when they have like portals, or uh, maybe maybe I need help figuring this out. Magic versus nukes. Yeah, the nukes are gonna do I good. He, he, I agree. The army wouldn't use nukes, but they could. Yeah, if they could avoid it, that would be like a th the last possible. Thing oh yeah, Kamek is just a wizard, right? Well, if Mario can beat him. I mean, but, wait, 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 but I just said that. Like, we're not including how stupid they're handled. We're just looking at power levels. Oh, okay. Um, I'd, I'm not familiar enough with all of Bowser's magical capabilities, honestly. This is all yeah, that's the problem. I would put my money on the U.S. Army, probably. I just wonder if that kind of throws a bit of a curveball, that's all. Well, I feel like that's always the... I, I kind of get annoyed with how incompetently armies are portrayed in films. Because, again, you look at the Marvel Universe, it's like... Yeah, I feel like some fighter jets and some and and like a few tanks are gonna do better against Thanos' army than a bunch of people with spears. Um it's cause you running into a battlefield. Women. Well, do you remember how poor the defense is um in Infinity Wakanda, War? Yeah. Like, yeah. Wakanda would get wiped out, even though they have all that technology because the the brains behind it are well, brain dead. Well that's the problem is that like they have they have technology that they use very poorly. Um, cause yeah, Vibranium's really strong, but it doesn't matter if you're turning it into spears and doing full frontal assaults with, like, actual melee combat. Anybody with a gun is gonna do better against you than you would against them. That's what I mean. Like, if the US Army... It's part of... Because Avengers, the argument is, oh, well, they're gonna get out very... And also, they had flying vehicles, so that does make it harder for a fighter jet to fight against them. Highly maneuverable... Oh, but they don't bank very well, there's that. And also predator drones. Like, again, we underestimate the capacity of any modern army. You also wonder how it would be fought, like, is Bowser's base on the moon or some shit? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, like, where he had the wedding in against the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a big portal in the middle of America that leads to the Mushroom Kingdom or something. Yeah. Oh, I will be back in about one minute. Excellent. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. uh, Let's not... see, someone says, um, the Nazgul are established in the film to be immortal. So that's not true. Uh, um, one of them dies. They're... So. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, they're, they're all dead at the end. Well, yeah, I was going to say they're all um, dead by the end, yeah. So yeah, that's not true at all. So not a strong start. Uh, Aragorn oh, says, neither living nor dead doesn't mean they're immortal. <laughs> Gollum says, no, no, you cannot kill them. That's Gollum's account. Gollum could be incorrect. And Gandalf Also, cannot says, can refer to, like, don't fucking try it. Yeah, yeah, he could, like, this specifically, he could be talking to the person, no, no, you cannot kill them. Uh, also, Gollum lies. I don't know if you guys are, you know, he's not the most trustworthy source of that thing. And Gandalf says, the one they say no living man can kill. Oh. The one they say no living man could kill. <laughs> they say no one will. They say, I mean, he's like, oh yes, Babe Ruth, the one they say whose record will never be broken. He's like, yeah, they say a lot of things. Yeah. So that's an account. Uh, let's see. I need to. I think it's the bolt uh, modifier I've got on this thing. I need to change it. Uh. 
related, but what do you think of naturally gifted and powerful protagonists that have to learn to master themselves and deal with the consequences of their own abilities? Yeah, I like this story too. <laughs> um, Yennefer stands in front of hundreds of charging cavalry and easily kills them. Yeah, w yeah, w yeah, witches and mages are very powerful in um, uh, the Witcher universe. Who is the guy from the second? Um, oh, is he had that like a he had like a super evil name? Uh, Witcher two mages. Um. Uh, his, because his name was like he had like a super evil name, Death Mold. Wow, that is an evil name. His name was yeah, his name was Death Mold. Yeah. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. gonna run around the ports and get some echoes and blood vials. Well I get just bored drunk I guess I'm <laughs> I am going to continue drinking too Munto. That was a dance. And we're I'm just uh, I'm like actually upset how how fucked I got by the fucking right, battles. Let me pull up your see what Oh there's nothing to see, I'm just running All around. Right. Running around in the big up. marsh. I, I just said I'm just upset how early my run got fucked, and now it's not really a race anymore. Oh uh, well, for me it has been a race for a good long while. <laughs> <laughs> what piece of media do you think does world building the best in terms mm. of unique locations, rules, and how everyone reacts to the world around them? They say movie. Uh, piece of media. Ah. Uh... I feel like Mass Effect's gotta be really high up. I think it's pretty high. Um, I'm gonna say Halo. Halo's got some real tight world building too. Especially you know. if we go by book Halos. Book. Yep. Which um, I think we can count. Oh. Uh, the Witcher seems pretty good now that we're actually kind of on it. Like the mages and every like whenever you go places, they do seem to be taking advantage of the things going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh... Yeah, that's something that come to mind. Now, but, uh... Yeah. Dude, Mel, Mugo didn't even do the dark shit once. Uh, no. Really? Not once. Well, just for people in my Yeah, because what, what you right. need right now is like a cool advantage for a boss fight <laughs> that's totally hard. <laughs> Gee, That's insane. I've never seen that happen. That's like the most annoying part normally. Maybe it's because I electrocuted her. Oh no. I slayed a nightmare. Any good? Yes, um. Fall of Reach, top tier. Oh. Yeah, so Fall of Reach, the Flood, and First Strike are great. The Flood's my favorite of the three. But they're very, very good in terms of their world building and establishing tone and stakes and creating rules. Very, very excellent. And um, if you're looking for if you're looking for like a Halo book that's more recent, because those are the old ones of like there aren't of the new ones. There aren't many I'd recommend, but Shadow of Intent by Joseph Staten. I really like that one. And it's real short. It will only take you a couple hours to read. That one is following the shipmaster. You remember the really cool shipmaster from Halo 2 and 3? With the missing uh, mandible? Yeah. 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 Mainly senses on him. I've always found him to be a really cool character. Yeah, he's pretty neat. He has many. He doesn't good get lines. a lot of. Yeah, you know, we don't get that much time with him, but he's he's pretty. Fucking he's really cool. memorable. He has a lot of great lines. We shall cut into the heart of this infestation, retrieve the icon, and burn any flood that stand in our way. And then all the flood, the covenant are like, Rawr, like they always do. Ratas Batam. Ratas Batam. That's his name. Yeah. I think in the books he was Artos Vodeme. Um, that sounds about right. Because um, his his name they, they in, might be in different Halo people, Twist. and it's just a coincidence. But I think Artos, 
we don't know if he die. I don't think we know if he dies in the flood, but he was specifically sent to kill Master oh, Chief. No, no, no. Ratas Vadam, the shipmaster, is introduced in Halo Two, uh, and he's I'm definitely alive by the end. Oh, so, oh, I was, I was. Okay, well then it's a different character. Let Oops, me actually. double check. Give me a minute. I'll be back. You double check. <laughs> Let me check here. Oh. Um. I oh, think, I didn't know or is that? Or I might be Wait, confusing what? him with the protagonist <laughs> of. And so, in the Halo graphic novel, there's a really cool. Uh, one of the really cool um, comics in there is, uh, yeah. the, the last voyage of the Infinite Sucker, which is the, the Infinite Sucker is a ship. Oh. Okay. Um. S u c c o r. Um, and. I think Artus Vodeme, he might be the protagonist of that one. And I'm not good hunter. Let me let me double check the Halo wiki yeah. just to uh Yeah, do that cuz I might be mistaking them. Yeah, so Ratas Vadam <laughs> is um formerly Vadumi. Okay. Oh, mm. okay, his name changed. Okay. All right. Nicknamed the Half Jaw following the loss of his two mandibles, but he's definitely still alive. Um, yeah, he is. Yeah. So, so, so I guess, because, yeah. yeah, in the books, Artos, uh, as he's Vodome, uh, in the oh, Flood, sorry. he was an elite who was sent to go kill um, the Master Chief. He obviously fails at that, and he exits the story in, like, we don't know what happens to him. I think he falls down, like, a big... Um, like a big, like a, like a, a um, oh, they can pause an elevator cool. shaft or something. Like he falls and we don't know what happens to him, uh, and he gets all fucked up. But we ne we never know if he escapes or dies. Uh, and I think he had a buddy with him, like a uh, one. Of, he had a grunt with him, uh, and they had palled around. But yeah, I, I think they might have been the one. So yeah, yeah, that explains it. Yeah, if his name changed, then well, funnily enough, his name in uh, in Halo Two was just Spec Ops Commander. Oh, <laughs> and they actually gave him a name. Uh... But yeah, he's he's a cool. He is uh, one of my favorite characters from the Halo series. Yeah, I mean, when we first see him at the beginning of uh, Halo Two, we'll talk with the yeah. Arbiter. You're like, yeah, this is the guy. Oh, uh, there's so many good lines. Um, that armor suit. Uh, guys, where's where's the pasta monster? Like the, I know where it is, but which what is it called? The place where I got the um, the gesture to talk to the giant brain eye thing. I can't remember what place that's called. I just need to get there because I can fight the army of weird things and then the pasta monster. Dude, bro, culture has kind of infected a lot of this sort of stuff. But Halo, there's a lot of really good stuff. Oh, I think in Halo, I think Halo like writing two is character wise. Halo two is a really, I mean, it has a lot to say. Like it is a criticism of like staunch, zealous fanaticism to a religion. Like that's that is what that game is critical of, and how easily people are led awry when it's like the promise of going to heaven. You just do these things. Um, how easily people can be swept up in a lie. Halo Two has a lot to say. Thank you, chat. Kind of steps back yeah. on a lot of that. Damn it, um, what am I doing? Partly because people told them that they weren't interested in that. Like, oh, I don't care about Arbiter. It's like, man. Yeah. I always, hey, I always really hey, was look. interested in the Arbiter and the Elites and... Yeah, so was I. How, he isn't good at doing Elite voices. I could try harder, but... <laughs> I, oh, I like you, that. You were trying? I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't even trying. trying. No. I wasn't even trying, damn straight. I just... Here, Fringy, could you just sound like Keith fucking David for a while? Could you just oh, go ahead and do that man, for us? That's, yeah. that, Keith David's got Can you accelerate voice. your life for us? I need to be, I think that's the problem is I need to be, I feel like once I'm older, like once I'm in my 40s, it's just going to happen. <laughs> like that my voice might get a little bit deeper than it already is. And you can finally start playing those cool black guy roles that people get with. <laughs> <laughs> like the Keith David types get, and, um, that E.K. Marty guy who played Mark in Halo 5, he has a really good cool voice. Got my echoes. The one you're talking about, Rags, died during Halo CE. He's the elite in the elevator in the final level. No, I'm talking about in the book. In the book. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. 
Let's see. Uh, let's see. Aragorn does say the, you know, the, the same guy. He's saying something again. He said uh, Aragorn stabs them, then Oswald and burns one. Arwen drowns them. Three characters in all three movies tell the audience they are either immortal or can't be killed. Well, you say that that thing that sentence. If your references were the ones from before, those have been discarded because they're not accurate. Um, and he says, then they just die from being stabbed. So you don't just die from being stabbed. Especially if it's in your face. Yeah, it's kind of like, the way you are stabbed. Yeah. If you stab oh, one in the face, oh, what the I mean, fuck? it clearly is enough to kill one. Apparently, uh, Rags, the elite you're talking about is both. Yeah, well, we've already so established that. So then how can that, he be alive in Halo 2 oh. if... Hmm. Or, at, or is the elite in the... Or is the elite in the book supposed to be the story of the elite that you see in the game and the protagonist of the last voyage of the infinite sucker and the ship master those are the same characters well because he is the ship that master. might be it that's the thing Twitch didn't notify like, me you were streaming so i've missed subject about the race yeah, oh, that's, that's fine it. it's not a race anymore <laughs> or, hey it's not over it's yet confusing. For some reason, yeah, this vicar, when he hit the no ground, confidence to catch up now I'm really all. annoyed. This vicar did like an anime blast where it hit the ground and then the blast came two seconds later and killed me. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. anime okay, bias says, is I'm showing. thinking of Zuka's anime. That's it. I'm confusing him with Zuka's anime. You're okay. Right. Uh, I confused yeah, we are. Yeah, I'm confusing the one with the graphic novel and in Shit, the book. Yes, that's it. That's the, that clears everything up. Yes. 10,000 echoes, I want him. I want just to stack up with blood vials so I can try this stupid shitty boss again. So it says, now they said, now, and someone else says, what you're talking about both. Yeah, I, I, I think the, that's the, uh, the, the, um, the confusion there that got resolved. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Let's see. Piss Favorite off, Monarch? I don't, know. Um, what a... I don't know much about Monarch. Um, Dude, I Monarch. fucking hate when enemies don't die and they have like one HP left. I don't know why this happens in Souls games so fucking okay. often. This is, it'll be like Rags, that. you have... Yeah, this guy's still going. He says, you have Smeagol say you can't kill them. Why would he lie? What? Okay, so <laughs> this is... This is insane poisoning of the well against poor Smeagol. So, <laughs> Smeagol is known... To, Smeagol is known to lie. However, he could be lying to preserve his best interest to keep whoever he's with. Who does he say that to? He probably says it to the hobbits, Frodo and Sam, which case it would be accurate. He would say, no, you can't kill them. Also, if they go and try to kill them, then they'll lose the ring to them and Gollum can't get it back. There's Gollum something... could also not be lying. He could be telling what he thinks is the truth. If but they say they can't yeah. be killed and Gollum hears all these stories and sees how powerful they are, it is, uh, it's not crazy to think that Gollum believes that they're actually immortal and can't be killed. And so he's reporting the truth as he sees it. That's not a lie. I'm, yeah, I'm very thrown by this, this whole, like, Gollum a, uh... scholar of the fucking ring race. And he says, it implies that Gollum has seen an instance that they should have died but didn't. No, it doesn't at all. Ollie, it is. it seems to be knowledge amongst a lot of people that the ring rates cannot be killed. Gollum picks up this info like everyone else, and it's reasonable to believe that he believes that. That's what the story is that goes around. It doesn't mean he has to, and it doesn't imply that he has personally seen an instance of one of the ring rates providing something that they shouldn't have lived through. Um, and Aragorn and Gandalf are reputable characters. However, as even the quote that you gave from Gandalf says, they say that they can't be killed. Oh, God, rip the frames. Yeah, Gandalf is lying. That they say, whoever they are, the ambiguous Clearly they. Clearly, it's Gollum. He heard it from Gollum. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry, I'm just in love dude. with the idea that Gandalf is sitting there with Gollum, and Gollum's like, they can't be killed. And Gollum's like, oh my God, really? That's fucked up. He says, no. Sam says, I thought they were dead. He was not implying he wanted to kill them. So that doesn't change anything. I don't know why he even brought this up. Why waste the effort? That doesn't change anything about what I said. If Sam says, I thought they were dead, and Gollum says, no, no, they can't be killed, that doesn't, that doesn't counter me also, they can saying be killed. what I believe is the truth, that Gollum doesn't think they can be killed. Like, the Witch King doesn't think he can be killed. 
Also, killed like is complicated too. The witch king himself says, "No man can kill me," and he gets killed. <laughs> yeah, so he. Uh, like fucking what? hell! Stop! This is embarrassing. But rags, don't you see? It's true that no man can kill um, him. She had a vagina. Someone said, Rags, out of curiosity, why was The Flood your favorite of the original three novels? I think it had a connection to the game that I really enjoyed. It fleshed out a lot of what the Marines were doing during the time of The Flood. Like, during the game Halo, which is what The Flood is, it's basically Halo the video game. It fleshes out a lot of what the Marines were going through. Which I um, think what they were doing. You don't see a lot in, uh, in Halo. Yeah, like, yeah. You're off kind of on the bigger adventure. Yeah. So... Like ODST. Yeah, um, kind of, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, uh, it does a lot to establish the worlds and, and, and the care. And there's a lot of marine characters and how they deal with the situation and what they're doing and how they make it through. Uh, Rags, I'm about to fight the pasta monster, and this is the one that most notably I affects see. the frame rate. Okay. So, oh just, boy, let's take a look. I'm, you can carry on I'm with what watching. you're doing, but yeah, it's in the background, and hopefully, I can beat it first try. But you never know with these things. No, don't. <laughs> I just died twice to the Goompy enemies, so nothing's really in stone. I'll stone you. No way, that sounds wrong. Do not stone Wait, me. I actually don't remember. Are you You're doing an optional boss even? I'm well, I've only got German left now. <laughs> uh, if I wanted to finish the game. Oh boy. Going. Yeah. It's over for me. All <laughs> the waters have poured with Arwen, but they all show back up. So, like, a human could survive that. <laughs> We, I think at this point, it's just gonna get lost in terms of, like, what does it mean for a Nazgul to permanently be destroyed? Um, and is that what we're calling kill? Or and are we calling we it, have to, like, being dissipated? We have, to establish, we have to establish if the characters, what they believe is true versus what is actually true about the world. Because it's reasonable for people to have... It's reasonable for even Gandalf to not fully understand the total mechanics of ring race living in the Hey, Rags. I want you to know that this is a boss in Blood 1, okay? I'm watching. Ebrietta, daughter of the cosmos. Yeah, that's a Dark Souls name. You looked right into to the asshole of the boss. That's too big! <laughs> Just don't lock on, see? Oh, all right, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck! Dude, those fucking snipers are probably the most triggering motherfuckers in this game. They're so fucking accurate, it's insane. Oh, my. Oh, frame rate. And Rags, I understand about right as now. much of this boss as you do right now. <laughs> I, it looks like you're whacking them. Whatever they are, they're, they're strange, odd form. This is called gameplay. Have you ever seen it before? Oh, I guess I won. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were standing in... I think it, it deals like AoE damage like crazy. Well... I'm confused. We did it, everyone. Oh, I'm not, I should look at my fucking screen. I'm a fucking mong. <laughs> I'm not looking at my screen either. I'm too enthralled by this terrible boss That's battle. the pasta monster. <laughs> Hey, Rags, why is the flood the best way for I'm God gonna to die on my way to the pin? boss? It's not. It's really fucking dumb and evil. Um, they literally got. Also, it didn't work. Uh, they literally got killed in the second age and got resurrected. To waste Please, health, there's right? Literally a the boss. Which That's amazing. Rises from it. So your sentence is literally. <laughs> your sentence verbatim starts out. They literally got killed in the second <laughs> age. Also, Jesus Molly, you just beat one of the hardest bosses like nothing. I disagree. I'd have never known that Ibratas to be like one of the hardest bosses in the game. I don't know about hey, that. The, the hunt is if your argument that the wit if your argument that the ring the Nazgul can't be killed begins with the four words they literally got killed. Well, oh, cool. Thanks, don't. boss. Yeah, don't, Rags, don't we it. need to have a talk about definitions at that point, right? Because it's like they can't be killed other than when they were killed. You're like, uh. What is embarrassing is how little Rags knows of the lore. The wraiths are immortal as long as Sauron reigns. So, they're not immortal. <laughs> <laughs> as long Guys, like, as just don't- the more you talk, the worse it gets. I just stop. I mean, that is the I'm for free speech but. <laughs> it's like, you guys know I'm immortal provided my body doesn't get damaged too much. And provided the passage of time doesn't occur. It's like- yeah, as long as... Oh, that's just... Um, 
Rags, had you read the Halo novels, The Cole Protocol, Cole Protocol, and Contact Harvest? I did not. I have none. I heard the Cole Protocol was good. I hear Contact Harvest is good. Oh, cool. I get knocked oh. down, the goop flies on my face while I get up, and I almost die. It's love this boss. Down. It's really good. But I'll get up again. Uh, let's see. Literally, as in figuratively, Rags got. No. No, no, I used literally correctly. I, I, I quoted him verbatim. Verbatim <laughs> meaning word for word. Literally. Uh oh. Master I'm actually meant you literally say, but if I say I'm literally doing something figuratively, that's not the same. Um, alright. How do I get the. to the bonus place? Chat, it's up to you to guide me to whatever that boss is. Okay. This, the DLC. Wait, not the DLC one, the. the What's his name? The one oh. on the rooftop. Oh no! <coughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a we've got another attempt here. Glorfindel, looking <gasps> into the gathering dark, said, "Do not pursue him. He will not return to this land. Far off yet is his doom, and not by the hand of man will he fall. But we see oh, him fall by you. the hand of man in Return of the King." So. Kanehurst, that's the one. Um, I got angry, and then I then I. Had to cough, and it was really annoying. <clears throat> I got gotcha. you. Stupid I fucking he boss that nuked me out of nowhere, and was really good attempt. I just want to. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Oh, I want to do the metal DLC and Mahler. bosses. Metal Mauler, maybe Fringy. Um, yes. What is your favorite ahead. Shadow of the Colossus boss? I haven't oh. played Shadow of the Colossus. Um, uh, I don't know the names, I but I number three and the flying one and the one in the desert is my number one. They like my favorites, and then the the desert one. The desert one blows me away in terms of just scale and and the experience. It's yeah, the, that was pretty cool. The mechanics themselves aren't even hugely impressive. It's just the the experience of battling <laughs> this enormous creature in the desert. While it, the, it, I don't know how else to explain. It. I'd have to play it again to be better at it. But I love that one. Uh, the flying one in the desert, or the the, the, the flying one. one in the desert. Okay, yeah, that one is really cool. I agree. That's probably one of my favorites as well. Let's see. Um, the, the, he says number three is his favorite, so there you go. There's He's awesome. something good about it. Which one was that again? Like, uh, describe it, I guess. Uh, three is the one with the. It has to hit the ground and break its arm, and then you can climb up it. Oh, the one on the on the thing you have to climb. Yeah. That's oh, what doing. the what the? <laughs> you just got grabbed by some giant monster thing. Hell yeah. Well, that's that's DLC entry, yeah. Ah. So if See, I can I beat all the DLC bosses, and then I have to beat Kanehurst boss, then Amygdala, and then I can beat, uh, I guess, what's his name? I want... Garum? German. German. <clears throat> so, like, I'm not even close. I'm, like, several... more than several hours away. <laughs> Oh, the boy. fucking next boss I have is Mikolash, right? <laughs> just one. Oh, his Mauler I don't, don't even want to. I, I legit just. Oh, Mauler's right like now. massively <laughs> ahead. Um, like I, I think I Metal no used chance. to be ahead, right? Metal was metal winning was at one point. Not, yeah. not anymore. Oh, yeah, and then the shadows of Yarnum just absolutely raped me, and then it was over. Yeah, see, so like I haven't I've had a no single chance. good boss attempt since then. I've only beaten three bosses so far. Um... How is it that all the main bosses are fucking garbage in this game? I I did say this. <laughs> I know. But everybody but loved I, ju this I just game. reminded I just reminded myself while playing this like man. So bad. Like look at this, he's flopping around, dropping goop from the air that I, that I can barely see. Like fucking fantastic boss. Yes, Demos, I agree. Like, can you stop flopping around? I need to attack you at some point. <laughs> like, fucking hell. Oh, you're stopping from flopping. I like it when bad guys attack each other. It's neat. Oh my god, that guy went to town. Thanks for the souls. Bye. What, what even damaged me here? Like, what did... I don't even know. Let's see. Uh, Rag's so favorite much. Battlefield game? Uh, 4, followed by Bad Company 2, and then <sighs> Battlefield... Three, one and then three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I think that I think that Battlefield 3's problems. So, if Battlefield 3 didn't have this is purely subjective. Um. 
if Battlefield 3 didn't have the fucking M16A3 in it, I would probably have put ah, it above Battlefield hmm. 1. But it right. is clearly the best weapon, and everybody fucking used it, and it was all that people used. It was fucking... Mm. Um, it wasn't. But I just... I can only see Battlefield 3 as a worse version of Battlefield 4. Um, and Battlefield 1, for all of its problems, and it has them, it is, like, interesting enough and unique enough amongst the Battlefield games in terms of its damage models and the gadgets and things that I just really enjoy it. There was no it fucking pure. Oh, there was no... You just kind of died for no reason. <laughs> it just, just goes all across the map. There was nothing there. I know. <laughs> Springy delights in your okay, pain. So this game, this game is testing me right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you if someone passionately... Down. Yeah, well, how about they fucking tell me that by showing the fucking puke on the whole fucking arena? <laughs> that might be helpful. Fucking right, hell. So let us address this. So, what Glor... This is going back to the, the Nazgul thing. Sweet. Um, what Glorfindel said is the prophecy. Glorfindel. And as I understood it, Mary was able to hurt the Witch King because he is not of the race of men, and Eowyn could because she is a woman and not a man. So when you say so, man can't be used both ways. You have to pick one. Yeah. Um, if if man means the race of men, which makes then more sense, Mary can hurt it. If it means a woman, Mary can still hurt it. It just makes sense to me that when it's like the man, it I'm is... no man, it's just, it's not like that it needed to be a literal male. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, I, so is it, so is the issue here, is it supposed to be that no man can kill me and it's supposed to mean one thing for Mary and a different thing for Eowyn? I mean, like that's you know, sort of, the whole man. idea, right, is they were once men, they died with the rings on, and they had become wraiths f under Sauron's control. Um, I'm willing to believe that they could, like, regenerate after being defeated over a certain amount of time or whatever, because there's some, they're like Waste ghouls at this point, as long as Sauron way. exists. Cool. This is just clarifying what killed means. Oh, I opened a shortcut. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, seek for the sword that was broken. In Imladris it dwells. There shall be councils taken stronger than mortal spells. All right, nifty. Um, let's see. That's so, so this is the exact reasoning Tolkien used. It's like, okay, so they're not immortal. <coughs> yeah, I agree that they aren't immortal. Well, they died, so... Yeah, you they, know. we see them die. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. It's, pre it's made pretty clear in the books uh. they have situational immortality, though. Um, situational immortality is an interesting pairing of words. Do we have situation? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I have um, situational immortality at this very moment. I'm not dying. I'm not dying. I'm not dying. If the right things happen, you could, though. Like, if, yeah. Uh, let's see. If the if the idea is... Why is Rags talking about ordering things in the book? I have. It was a long time ago. I don't... I don't remember the, like, specific lines about one aspect of one thing relating to one thing. Just, like, if, because if, because I could, I've got them behind me. I've got the books behind me, asshole. <laughs> what I can do is I can open it up and read some random line, and you wouldn't remember it. You know how big these, it's, it's fairly hefty books. See you later, Vicar. Yeah. Bye. Nice. Yeah, disintegrate into dust. So, right? back, to what, the, what? <sighs> back to the I got temporary. Great, or fucking corpse parts, and then he crushed me with his hand, and then he does it again, and I just want to fucking Man, die. That boss is okay, raping you. Can, you. Con okay, continue, Rex. I just had to get this out. That's all right. No, no, vent. Get it out. Yeah, get out of your system. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, if by if by like situational immortality you mean that under Stop certain conditions me. there is not <laughs> anything that could hurt you, like possibly. Okay, I guess. Like I, yeah, I, I can follow you there. It is just a, it is a funny pairing of words, but I, I see mm -hmm. what you mean. I, I do Neo, see what you're getting at there. Neo in chat, like, oh, you only just beat Amelia. Okay, now you're eight bosses behind Mola. Oh, sweet. 
<laughs> I was just like, oh, oh yeah, I read these books oh, great. ages ago, and there's so much shit in those books to remember. Oh, was like, oh, Rags is talking about it. He hadn't even read the books. Like, yeah, I have. I don't remember all of it. It's a, there's a shit ton in the books that's happening. Those that like, those things are dense. Big it's not books. like I read it yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. well I yeah, I was like, oh yeah, well I remembered it. And it's like okay, well that doesn't mean anything. Well, I, I mean, they're not like enormous books, but they're they're big books. Oh yeah, there's a, they're dense. That's the also, thing. There's a lot dense, going yeah. on and a it's lot worth, being said. It's worth clarifying. Fucking finally, <laughs> piece of shit. Immortality, <laughs> son of a bitch. In this context, yes, cockballs, ballsack, blood reborn. All right. Uh, immortality in this context is clearly being used for like capacity to be killed rather than can uh, ageless or can live forever as long as. Yeah, nobody kills them because that doesn't make sense with the prefix of temporarily. Yeah, and this doesn't apply to the Nazgul. Nobody said like, oh, if you leave them alone, they live forever. But if you stab them in the face, then they'll die. Thus, immortal. Uh, like it, the implication is that they are unkillable unless this very specific circumstance. While I was under the impression that Aragorn could. Don't you hit me again? Okay. I like the absolute don reaction to what I just said, Ben Muller. It's fantastic. It's like we've known each other for a while. Wait, wait which one are you? Oh. And also, like, the whole point of this is 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 that they're not immortal. They get killed. It happens. We see it. So, like, it's done. It's settled. It's over. It's not true. They get fucked up. Um, decent chunk. Drag says the weirdest definition of immortality. What? It's. <laughs> 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 I don't even how. Also, Just how does mine differ from everyone else's? <clears throat> Told you guys I'm the fucking lightning rod. Okay. <laughs> for an easy boss to be cool, Ash. Oh fuck off, Odin. Uh, how did you die there? Hey, look, alright? Shut up. <laughs> hey, it takes a lot of skill to die oh, like man. Fringy does, okay? I, I, all I need to do is to catch up to Mauler and then beat all the DLC boss before he does. Like, it's easy, yeah. right? Yeah, well, in fairness, I'm do. about to do Ludwig so I could be here forever now. <laughs> oh yeah, his first phase is... Uh... Is ass Special. monkeys, but then I get Maria, and I'm actually that's gonna be the first boss in this whole game that I will probably be concentrating like hell to beat. Because well, that's the good one, right? She's a really good <laughs> yeah, fight. Yeah, is easy if he is a piece of shit. That pretty there, much sums him up. <laughs> there seems to be this confusion about immortality, and like, but the elves are called literally immortal, and we see them die. Like, so they'll live forever, but you can kill them. Yeah, I, I, I said that it was like probably worth clarifying, just to make yeah, sure everyone understands what you're saying. Like that's what it means, right? Like, I've, I, so that's the definition I've been, you know, operating under. Yeah, vampires but the are considered King immortal. But the says that no man can kill me. That's yeah, that's what we're addressing, the is he killable yeah. thing. And he is killable, he's absolutely killable. If he dies, he gets killed. Stabbed in the face. Down go. Another so if you consider calling the Immortals from Highlander, I don't know about Highlander. Immortals bad because they can die? No, Immortals can die. So, so we say Rag's definition of immortality means ageless plus utterly invulnerable. No? What? No. Don't you Stop know that not dying on is me. a really weird definition? Um, I don't think that's what Immortal means. Man, this is a good time for my weapon to stop working when I encounter the <laughs> God, Ludwig is uh, such a spaz. <laughs> that's, that's a good. That's a, that's another good. Uh, read the books. Oh, sorry. Uh, watch the movies. I would suggest if you're only gonna do one, watch the movies. Yeah, you can do that faster. Uh, yeah, it'll mind. only take you eleven and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> so it says, drags what's immortality versus living forever. Like, well, I I think immortality, immortality. is. You can live die. forever, provided your body can sustain. Like, it's not going to die of old age. You don't wither yeah. away, but your body can be destroyed by, like, external sources. Swords and daggers and fires and falls and things like that. Ludwig is a fun uh, fight, Maria too. Ludwig's second phase is a fun fight. So yeah, it's it's the scared. blade Mary stabbed him with. It breaks the enchantment. I swear, if you do him first try, I'm going to... I bring... don't remember that line in the movie. <laughs> that Mary has a magical sword that breaks the. Yeah, that's bullshit. That doesn't happen in the movie. Of 
invincibility on the Nazgul. Like, I don't remember that being a thing. I just saw oh, him stab the Nazgul. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody in chat's like, oh yeah, there are two. It's like, oh yeah, you're right, there are two. I forgot. Awesome. Invulnerable is a better word. Invulnerable is a better word if you're describing so someone shit. who can't be damaged. Come on, don't do this to me. Oh, you know what? I'm running away. Let's see you. Oh, look again. He has like half an HP. And then he fucking kills me. <laughs> <laughs> just so bad. Oh, please look up the dictionary definition. You're wrong. I'm not, and I don't care what the dictionary says. The dictionaries are not prescriptive. But uh, what, what are we looking at? Immortal? Living forever, never dying or decaying. An immortal being, especially a god of ancient Greece or Rome. A person of enduring fame. Um, so this seems to be a definition that definitely doesn't comport with the Lord of the Rings, so I don't know why you brought it up. Ludwig first try. Yay! Prophecy, maybe it's payback. Well, no, you did. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and also, I don't follow that definition. I don't follow that definition. Oh, well, but also, I'll use the dictionary to find common use. usages. But if yeah. we're talking about the definition of immortal as the Lord of the Rings uses it, then elves are not immortal <laughs> under this dictionary definition. But the Lord of the Rings specifically says elves are <laughs> immortal. <laughs> Fucking hate you. I wouldn't no, check. You did first, first try. try. Oh, oh, you did. Yeah, thanks. I know. I have to uh, scream Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's wonderful. They skipped where they got ancient Numenorean swords in the movies. Yeah, they, they did. Yeah. The Wombo uh, is yeah, invincible. The... I still got two more big bosses left. I don't care. You're going to do it first try. I'm going to stop. I don't think I will. <laughs> that, was, that was definitely a fluke. I nearly died like three times. Your your role has not broken like at all this time. That's well, the one upsetting. that gave me the most trouble was the <laughs> the glumpy enemy, the random celestial emissary. That's the one that gave me the most trouble recently, which is pretty embarrassing. So you have that. <laughs> I don't even need to beat those to beat the game. <laughs> you gotta be. If I beat them, then you've got to beat them too, right? I know. That's my fucking problem right now. <laughs> That's exactly All right, what here we go. Here we go, guys. Uh, <laughs> the elves the have souls that, that, that are seen. immortal. So do the Nazgul. <laughs> That's Tolkien's immortality. It has nothing to do with their physical bodies. Um. Okay. So, at this point, I want to just ditch the conversation because I'm not interested. If we're just gonna keep moving around, exactly what it means to die in this world. Yeah, it's like, no, 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 when, when they die and they're on the ground and then they never move or say anything or do anything ever again and their body decays, that, no, that's not, no, that they're, they're still immortal. Like I said, if... But it's their souls. If you, if what she did to the Witch King bursts him and everything's gone and his spirit goes back to this little bucket that Sauron has and he has to coax him out of it with little, like, giblets until he fully forms back into what he was, like, a few years later, I'd be like, okay, but he was still fucking killed. Like, what do you want us to use the word defeated? Yeah, he was dead. Because of course he's already not what he was originally, being some king. <clears throat> I don't know. This is getting too tizzy for me. Like, I just like it's clearly semantic. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Yeah, very much. I think it's. I think there's a lot of shifting of well. Yeah. Trying to hit the demos. Metalist is shit, he has no death run I've ever seen. I'm taking my killed. gifted sub back. Oh, yeah, no. that's my position. Yeah. <laughs> no refunds, bitch. <laughs> yeah, like a, that is my position, chat. I mean, because the Witch King says, no man can kill me, gets stabbed by a man, like someone from the race of men, dies. Oh, like, well, so that right. wasn't true, but Frenzy he clearly mechanic. believed it. Big fun. Big dick energy fun mechanic. Except it isn't. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Obviously he dies. Rags, obviously he dies. Well, then I don't know what the fuck this whole conversation was about. <laughs> you're going to say, oh, obviously he dies. Because you see, he dies, but he doesn't get killed. Is. 
Oh, yeah. We were simply saying that through the lore in the movies doesn't set up that they could be until it happens. Mortality refers to death. If you die, you are you are mortal. <laughs> like, I don't know Up what to tell you. Up until that scene, everyone in the audience believed he could not die. Yes. I didn't. I didn't believe that. I never believed you could <laughs> not possibly, under no circumstances, kill the Nazgul. Yeah, that's a bit ridiculous. Especially because they're, like, trying to kill Sauron. So, like, why would I think that Sauron can be killed, but not the Nazgul? Oh, fuck. Dude, this... That's well, unless... Bizarre. Are they saying that the only way to kill the Nazgul is for Sauron to die? Are they using it I, to I mean... I guess it depends on who you're asking. They're using it to mean the infinite the spawn is no longer active once Sauron is dead. Move! If you take the... So, understand my meaning. Because the, the oh, Witch King watch. dies, but Sauron's still alive. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it doesn't work. Fucking get out of the way, you whore! <laughs> She's so fat, like she stabs in the middle. Happened. What is this? Get out of the way. Get out of the way! I'm upset. Hell. Okay. Oh. Someone says, but no living man am I. You look upon a woman, Eowyn I am, Edmund's Ammon's daughter. Which, as I said before, it looks, it seems as if she's just, like, essentially taunting him, being like, ha ha. It's like, you're using man in one way, and you're right, but not the way you think. Yeah, I, like, I ser seriously, it's just, um, in the, in the same way if someone's like, only a, just whatever, it's just a, it's a fuck yeah moment. I don't know how else to explain it quicker. I'm also a little drunk. I miss him, like, three times? Yeah. <laughs> Hit him! Hit him! I hit him! I did! I think you guys should try and steel man the ones you're arguing against instead of using semantics. I- we're the one using semantics. <clears throat> what do you mean Ooh. using some? Okay, so if I say to Rags, like, this is a man, and then you go, no, it's a person. I go, no, it's a man. And you're like, no, it's a person. She's so like, okay, so this is just semantic at this point. I want to exit the conversation. <laughs> I was like, Rags, you are arguing semantics with chat. You are insane. You are an insane and crazy person to come out of this thinking that you are arguing semantics, that I am arguing semantics with chat. I am responding to what chat is saying. This is what you come to EFAP though, to get yelled at by us. <laughs> <laughs> I already I mean, know what the con- I, I already know what the fucking comments are. this- Wait, why did everyone cut out? Oh no. In cancer. There, <laughs> I've- I've prophesied it. I will be a prophet. My my prophecy is that everybody will have very favorable things to say about me. All right, make it happen. All right. Arguing oh, with yeah. Rex is like sword fighting a fart. <laughs> <laughs> What's the why? Because I always defeat your fucking arguments, and they make no sense. And well, the evidence guess... that you give defeats your own reason. Like, uh... but nothing has happened. You just shift around the swords. Like, yeah. By that you mean your chance of success is. I, I am, zero. I am I not meeting this uh, this person here. This is not happening today. Oh my god! How come he has a cool shotgun that comes out of his stick? Dude, why has uh, the next boss gotta be fucking Mikolash? Like, can we, can we skip that Where's boss somehow? Shotgun? Where's my shotgun stick? <laughs> I agree with Rags. Where's his shotgun stick? Oh, oh wait, no, it isn't a shotgun stick, it's just a gun that I couldn't see. And now I'm dead. Awesome. And I lost like 10,000 souls. Oh, oh man, I can't Dude, wait for some more fun to fight. half my health? Why is, why is everything so strong? No, I could have killed him if you didn't shoot me in the back, you stupid goddamn. <laughs> you ruined everything, oh, you shit. annoying here we go. thing. Oh, here we go. Wait, Atomic you're gonna bleach fuck this guy to no oh, one? Yeah. Of course. Wait, Some you coming cool with me? Awesome. Do you really want to come with me, Randy? Okay, uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, hey, oh. Mikolash. <laughs> the best boss of the game. <laughs> also, I, w I would like to point out, I guess as a, as a little cap and things to consider about the weird Nazgul kill thing, is when the Witch King says, no man can kill me, and Eowyn says, I am no man, oh, and stabs him. That's that's not confirmation either way. No. No. It isn't. So, like, that's not enough to confirm it either way. Like, I he think it's a wrong. badass line. 
Yeah, it is a badass line. line. Eowyn is a badass character. She said a badass line, which is what I think it is. But either way, we have no confirmation of whether the Witch King was simply wrong, or if it only applied to, or... like, the male gender. <clears throat> we don't know. It could be either. That's not enough to go by. Pull off it's the like, edge. It's oh like if God. Man, yeah, I it's like if a soccer goalie said no man could score on me, and a woman does. So, well, that's not confirmation a man could never score a goal on him. Yeah. We, we just don't know. This is just not how it works tautologically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, let's see. Arguments with rags are like wet bread. Yeah, they are fucking <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> They're yeah, everywhere. I, I, you're fucking spot on with that one. Okay, I'll admit, this hunter fight was way better than all the rest in the game because she just didn't attack me. Alright guys, you win. That hunter fight was good. <laughs> I don't like this hunter fight because every time I try to attack, he, this guy or chick shoots me. Fuck, I hate um, this place. I can't remember how to... God, I got living failures next, Mel. <laughs> oh my god, mm. I can't even, like, get... Oh, bullshit. Oh, that's come on, heavy. stop shooting me! Every time I try and dodge, it's like okay. another gun. When I shoot, it doesn't do it. Damn it's fast. Good. I do run upstairs. It's almost dangerous, wouldn't you say? Dude, look at him. Yeah. I guess they don't change your speed while you're moving up the stairs. No. Why? 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 Like why? 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 It does. They treat it like you're moving across a flat surface. So. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking frustrating as shit. Oh, Mahler. You spam roll, and it's too late, because every late-game enemy in Blood... Well, <clears throat> Soulsborne games... I want to say more with Bloodborne, I notice it. They they don't take a lot of health off you with one hit, rather. They stunlock you with multiple hits, so it comes across <laughs> as fear when yeah. it's not. <laughs> And as, as, sure I know. As, 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 I knew someone would say it. You ran into the gank wall. It's your fault. They have the capacity to stun lock me. That is the problem. I should be able to roll back uh, out. Arguing with rags is like more than like a bad dragon. Yeah, it's really satisfying when you get fucked. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I like it. Um, need to go far more stupid things. Oh, you. Freak with your crossbow, fuck off. <laughs> also, none of them have Let's my echoes. Like, Mel, where'd you put my echoes? Uh, oh, right behind you, you on the what flank building. Uh, where are where my... do I need to go? Oh, oh, it's this way, uh, this is the one where I need to drop onto him, right? Yeah, I remember. At least I'm yeah. stocked up on. Can you not? Rude. What kind of not? What is this place? That's interesting. That okay. All right. Did All right. he like stab in anticipation of where you were going to be? So, just watch what happens, Rax. Right? Just he's enjoy here. that. Wait, what? 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 He. Uh... Oh, I fucking hate that when in a... <clears throat> Oh. He started up a stunlock oh. move as I was getting up. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> oh, I thought you were referring to how he was tracking you through the wall. <laughs> oh, that too. They do that all the time. <laughs> That's because that's one of my complaints uh, about, um, right. uh, I think it's, uh, uh, Vermintide is that sometimes enemies, they, they track players and can hit players, like, as if there was no wall there. Wait, what? It can be incredibly huh? fucking frustrating. Do you mean just the weapons like go the, through walls? Like the enemy can't see you, but enemies don't operate from actual Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Data, so. Yeah, okay, I get it. I'm confused. Jesus Christ. I'm very confused. God, these these are all cancer. Oh great. Why does he have a magic mirror? I think that's not fair. Magic mirror. Mikolaj is a cheater. You can't move Don't through that clearly anything. person in space. Yeah, it's really fun when that happens. Yeah, I, I hate that in video games where you're like, I am clearly I I can No, clearly don't move run away. Oh, space, man. So. All I'm trying to do is set up. Yeah. I'm just trying to set up a pathway to the Living Failures boss. That's all I want to do. I don't even know how exactly. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have hit him. That was probably a mistake. Wait, I don't know where he went now. It's right because I hear smaller before I see what happens. So yeah. I know to like brace my asshole for something happening. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's fucking lame. That would have pissed me off. It was the same with metal as well. When things. I hear metal screaming, I'm like, all right, let me pull up that. Let me see what's happening. I was running up the staircase, and then a guy killed me. What? 
Yeah, I oh, now see. Okay. Like exactly now, I'm looking up. <laughs> why is he not? Why is he not down there? What? I'm oh, very confused. At least I opened a door to somewhere. What is your favorite class or discipline of magic, like summoning, warding, etc.? I've always kind of liked the, uh, like, uh, like illusion stuff, like being able to play with, you know, illusions and create images and sounds and. You know, being tricky with that sort of thing. Uh, I always thought that was kind of cool how that could be used. Yeah, I think it's a lot of things to reward guys. cleverness and a good oh, use. Oh, you absolute <laughs> cock! <laughs> that guy looked like he was like, "You go get me, I'm going jump." Oh, did he just jump to his death? <laughs> All right. Oh my god, that rat was no, immune to damage from over there. Oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. No. Oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, I got it. Okay, no. Oh, this Dude, is the you're gonna damage. You guys are gonna fucking love this. This is gold. Oh, that no. I correctly complain when JJ resurrects <clears throat> Palpatine because we have no reason to believe he could. On the flip side, we have no reason to believe creatures that are neither living nor dead to be killed. What so if you have a, if you have if you have a problem with Palpatine coming back from the dead in re the Return of the Skywalker man, then you can't you have to have also you have to have a problem with the Witch King getting killed. I I mean I I don't I don't even know how to start addressing that. <clears throat> don't even know where to start. Um, what's, what's your ma favorite magic system from media? Uh, I don't know, maybe like Witcher, Aragon. Those are kind of cool. Then again, I like it how in like D like a D and D and Pathfinder, magic is something that you can just learn. It's a part of the world people are familiar with, and you could you could learn it. It's a thing you could study and become adept with. Now, Rags, is it worth it to upgrade your Guild Wars account? Yes, because you get access to two huge expansions and a bunch of living world stuff, and then uh, just just you get a whole bunch of shit. It's very useful. You get a, a huge chunk of the game, arguably a the biggest part of the game, and the specializations like... and everything that. Am comes I just with stuck? It. <laughs> like... oh. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> that almost killed me. That was some bullshit. Careful, right Metal. There. Don't stay too far away from him. You'll do the thing. Just be careful, that's all I'm saying. I'm just gonna stun lock him in the corner. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Here, fuck you. I I do like how his attack just comes out so quickly that you almost can't react to it. That's really fun. Well, he doesn't have any other defenses because he's so try. shit. Fuck this boss. Look, he keeps doing it. Well, okay, okay. wait a second. Uh, there was Nikolaj a, um... is a very good boss, Mel. You just don't understand him. No, fuck you! <laughs> so fuck you. Vermin, I won't I let you take this from me. Enemy who did that. They had one of the the Chaos Warriors originally in Vermintide 2. They had like this punch that they could do that was super fast and could like come out of nowhere and it would damage you. And they eventually were like, everyone was you know complaining about how it was so quick out of nowhere with no tell to it. Um, and so they they changed it. They like slowed down the animation and changed it up because they're like, yeah, that's not fair that. That animation is so quick without any, you know, predictive abilities. It's just like free damage against you if they do it. I'm just happy I didn't need to fight this boss four times. Yep, that is definitely a plus. Rags, remember when Gandalf says they say no living man can kill him, making it assume that it's just story? Yeah, Still I, I do remember. I uh, I guess you weren't here, but I made that exact same uh, observation. So well, no, why would he say that unless it's 100% true? <laughs> Good, the time was right uh, to fight against these. This boss is gonna take longer. Shut up! Wait, I guess I just have to use a bolt hunter's mark. I'm not seeing how I'm supposed to get out of here. Uh, wait, where are you? I like fell. Don't be a twat. Just don't. I don't. I'm pretty sure there's uh there's a way out from everywhere. I mean, to be honest with you, dying is a decent way out too. So. Oh yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I, w I would I would say it's quick, but you have to load, so it's not. Yeah. Does that count as actually using <laughs> one of no it doesn't good. There's a trap I'm glad door. Glad we can all agree. Consoles are slow. <laughs> yeah. But remember, wait for greatness, alright? I'm patient. Only, only took wait them fight generations. Wait for Bloodborne. That Bloodborne greatness. Yeah, that 30 FPS. Great for waiting. I just wanna play I just wanna play all the good bosses and don't do the other ones. I think it's right. saying 30 FPS is like uh, it's it's always shit. assumed that 
But like the reality of saying 30 FPS is that's a max. 30 FPS <laughs> max. Max. That's right. Best case scenario is 30. Well, that's FPS. How do I get it? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> as good as it gets on the upside. I remember I seeing like Digital side. Foundry. They talked about how like oh you know this, this gen we got a lot better when it came to you know actually having things like run at above 30 <laughs> FPS. I'm like man, not by much. But by the end of the PS3, you know, actually, Ooh, 60 game cringing uh, running game play. Like, uh, did, did you die in your dodge? Oh, it's all right. Oh, it's whatever. it's okay. all this is the thing. Taking the time to kill them all is not something any reasonable person does because you have to do that every single time you move oh, yeah, through. Otherwise, so, so you have to figure out how to them. bounce around them. And Same. when you have enemies, they go boom, 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 boom. and then mm -hmm. if you can't avoid that one, like or you dodge like, into boom. another one, going. Boom, 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 it's just like, oh, this is just fun. It's just have to fun. My favorite uh, part is how when these guys explode, they um, they drop the frame rate to at least they're dead, so it's not really a problem anymore. But, um... uh, I like Aragon magic in particular because it facilitates my inner grammar Nazi. Yeah, one of the nifty details about um, Aragon magic is that. You don't have to say the magic words to make the magic happen, but it helps your mind to focus specifically on what you've just said, so right. you don't actually think the wrong thing and end up accidentally targeting yourself or getting a detail incorrect. So you say it out loud so your mind focuses on what you say. Um, because it's very easy to kill yourself with magic in the Aragon system. It is super glass cannony. <clears throat> Into these. Um, now. I don't remember coming here before. Oh, Rags and Company. Uh, which is better, or do you like more? Helm's Deep or Pelennor Fields? Uh, Pelennor I prefer Fields. Helm's Deep, but... Helm's Deep. I prefer Pelennor Fields, so we have a nice well, two so and two nice split. Even split. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I think, I mean, the, the charge is kind of, is incredible. Um, Whoa, Mahler, that jump with the gallery. Like, I know, Very right? cool. Helm's Deep. <laughs> Cinematic. <laughs> Okay. okay. But Rags, human eyes can only see at 24 prophecies per second. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, Yo, Rags, are you hyped for Dark Tide? It is legitimately the only game that I'm, like, really interested in coming out of. That's, um, You're playing that Cripple? One, right? The Cripple's trying to kill me. Look at him wheeling that's, around. That's, that's sad. Uh. I didn't just kill him, Rags. I took his bullets. Wait. Hit what? Is it, but it, as, if it's not a Desert Eagle and it can't shoot through anything, then I don't That's care. true. Yeah. Maybe Why would they write that? <laughs> shoot through anything. Oh, this was it's where like, I was supposed to go. Okay. I think bullets could shoot through anything. Are you serious? Desert Eagle can shoot through anything. Yeah, the human leg can only hear at 480p. Yeah, it's a tragedy, yeah. but yeah. It's a tragedy. I, I do reality. love that whole conversation, like the human eye can only see at 24 frames per second. Like, you don't realize, like, that. Uh, <laughs> the standard it, television is 60 hertz. Yeah, why is that? If if not, why is it that certain things are broadcast at a higher frame rate? Because they're wrong! I mean, even as a kid, I didn't fully. Like, I remember there was a soap opera <clears> that was on TV. And like, it used to run at like 48 frames, run. It was shot at 48 frames per second. Yeah. Uh, and then it went to 24 and immediately I'm like, something's different here. Different. And I don't know what I... it is. It's yeah. smoother, but it's different. And I don't know what it is. Oh, well for me it was that everything yeah. was moving a little slower. That was, that was like the thing I noticed. Cause I think that's the thing with like a higher frame rate is it, for some reason it makes things look like they're going faster. Um. In yeah, a weird way. Um, my first introduction to it that I can remember is that the <laughs> the first Bioshock game on the Xbox 360 had an option where it would run at 60 FPS, but it it said it would look it wouldn't look as good, but it ran its performance was better. Right. And it looked almost identical to me at the time, but it ran at 60 FPS instead of 30. And I was like, what is it? This is just so much better. But I had no idea what like frames per second and stuff was at the yeah. time. I had no idea what it was. I just knew it was better. Well, and later funny. I, I learned think, uh, that it was the frame rate. I feel like that's the, because I remember like <laughs> when you play Call of Duty, the, you know, back on PS3 and 360, it's like these games, like they, there's something about them that is different from like 
other games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Battlefield, fortunately, improved on that later on, but it's like there's something yes. different. Things are running differently, and I'm not quite Stop. sure why. Stupid dog. Yeah, you don't know. Like, most adults really? probably. Like, the normal adult doesn't know about, like, framing. But they feel the difference. That's the yes. important part. They feel the difference. See it, That's all yeah. that matters. The human eye sees at 60 FPS. I'm pretty sure the human eye can perceive a lot higher than 60. I mean, why is it that 144 hertz is a thing? If not, that people can perceive the difference. <clears throat> oh yeah, like they, you definitely can. Um, have you ever been? Hey, you can't. Uh, hey, you can't say C. It's ableist. Some people can't even see. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of fucked up. You said that. Mm. Someone said the freaking in, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System had a refresh rate of 60 hertz, 50 in Europe. Yeah, uh, like the Game Boys and stuff did too. More like the Game uh, Boys. <laughs> yeah, they they would run it like 60 hertz, as far as I know. Um, this whole 30 FPS thing, that was not the standard in games until no, it wasn't. whatever console generation it was, was just PS3, like 360, I think, uh, cause what you notice in, uh, PS2 GameCube is that now it's like, oh, <clears throat> our games can look good and run well, and you see that in a lot of things, I'm pretty sure, like, Ratchet and Clank absolutely ran at 60 FPS, Devil May Cry ran at 60 FPS, Jack and Daxter, Jack 2 and Jack 3 ran at 60 FPS, and those games look really good, at least with, you know, the time. Uh, I think Metro Prime, um, Super Smash Bros. Melee app definitely ran at 60 FPS. I think, um, did Metro Prime run at 60 FPS? Or am I, like, because I only played the trilogy. I can't quite remember. Let me look it up. It wouldn't surprise me. Nintendo's always put a priority on performance over gameplay. Uh, performance <laughs> over, over, um, graphics. <clears throat> All right, so this was, this was a NeoGAF in 2014. Right. I can't get over Metroid Prime being 60 FPS. Um, I mean, wow, I'm assuming Prime 2 and 3 were at least targeting 60 FPS. How can such a graphically intensive game for the GameCube have such a frame rate, especially Prime 2? Uh, it's probably because you're only having one room loaded at once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First person perspective. Like too, the game. Of, some doors in that game yeah, with a wild open. Yeah, always. Yes. Why did you yeah. check me? Oh, <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Uh, yeah, you need to. Oh, they did. Oh. Oof. That's so no, 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 no. Oh no. Let, all right, game. let me pull that up. <laughs> Let's see what happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh. oh no! What did oh. you do? What did you what a do? Combination. <laughs> I, think there's some I shit remember birds. farming souls here. Oh yeah, the, this is like the best farming spot in the game. <laughs> Two or three moon uh, thingy majingies, and you get like a fuck ton of echoes here. Well, that's where I was where I farmed on my first playthrough as well, or my second or whatever. <clears throat> You yeah, just bait uh, those guys to kill each other, and then you pick up the scraps. That's pretty good. Uh, Rags, have you ever been injured shooting and or shot a gun that was a little too much for you? No. Oh, the only injury I've sustained with firearms is from... Uh, I cut my finger on the rim of a casing for my 1895 Nagant while I was trying to get it out of the cylinder, because those old guns can be... They, the cartridges can be kind of sticky in the cylinder if you uh, if they're not like lubed up properly sometimes. I wonder if a crow has was, my echoes. Yeah. Most likely. All right, no, no, you aggroed way too early. No, so I need you to kill the like other ones. Eight millimeter R, yeah. But no, Quickly, the most run. uncomfortable thing I've shot is my. Ow. Um, uh, my P sixty four. It's basically a. It's basically a, uh, a little... Man, my awesome. favorite thing is when the fucking camera gets stuck behind this stupid fucking pig <laughs> and you can't see fucking anything. Yeah, the yeah, Makarov. Yeah. Uh... yeah, the little Makarov that shoots 9 by 18 millimeter Makarov. Yeah, that's the most <laughs> uncomfortable gun that I have uh, it to shoot. When I'm proned with my <laughs> AR-15 and 7.62 by 39, though, it could... It could put a wallop in on your shoulder but proning is proning gives you the most the most uncomfortable way to shoot is proning so it's not really a surprise imagine dying to a mobile by the movie bob with 30 eyes <laughs> yeah it's uh 
That's a lot of sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, biggest thing is not wrong. It's my nose in the gun. It's the largest caliber. Favorite quest from The Witcher 3, including DLCs? Uh, so far, it's probably the the Gontaro Dim stuff from uh, Hearts of Stone. No, it might, no, it was, um, uh, just a second. It was either that or it was through space and time, the main quest in The Witcher 3. That was probably my favorite. That was really cool. It was really kind of tricky and crazy. You know, oh, you have those. Didn't expect stuff. the game to go in that direction. All right, come on, shadows, yarn glorms, go kill the piggies. No, nope, the piggy, you fucking assholes. They're killing your friends. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thanks for getting my echoes. Mallory Rags, are you planning to do Willow for EFAP movies since Lucasfilm is planning to make new movies slash, so, slash shows in the Willowverse? I suppose we could. We could. I haven't seen it, and I've heard all kinds of things <clears throat> about it, both positive and negative. I don't think it's very good. It's very much beloved. <clears throat> If prone is the least comfortable position for you, you're doing it wrong. No, so that's just, I don't know, I don't know if you ever shotgun before, but when you're prone and you're laying down and your body is lying on the ground for your mat, when the gun hits your shoulder, your body is not going anywhere. When you're kneeling or when you're standing and the recoil hits your shoulder, your body has places to go to absorb the recoil. You can have space to dance. But when you're prone, your body doesn't no. go anywhere because you're laying down. So you absorb all of basically all of the recoil of the rifle. I could shoot that. I could shoot that gun all day with my shoulder standing. But if you prone, yeah, it absolutely it, it impacts you a whole lot further. So yeah, I don't. Yeah. You know, it's... Are you disappointed that Space and Time did have more enemy variety? I've never shot a double-barreled shotgun. It would be kind of nice to. Um, I, I would like to shoot like a, a, a big, like an elephant hunting gun, something that certainly already been to Wow. Leave those elephants alone. It's something automatic. That'd be cool. I don't have any interest in buying an automatic weapon, but it'd be cool to just kind of unload with them. Did anyone call Ragnarok like, oh, and shit. FPS and Hertz interchangeably? No, most, no, most TVs are 60 Hertz. Yeah, TVs are 60 Hertz. That's not incorrect. Right. Yeah, when you buy a monitor, you don't buy a monitor in yeah. 120 right. FPS, you buy it in uh, 120 Hertz. I thought everybody knew this. Uh, you fool! Fact, interesting factoid, Rags, the human eye can pick out in this place they must rank as high as 500 FPS. That is true. Uh, apologies if people can't That's... hear you guys. Got epic music right now. Oh, oh boy. Dun, 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 dun. Lol. Do the fates. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter anymore. But what are the rules of the race? Thanks for acknowledging me. Nice. God, I rolled so <laughs> bad on the fucking. It's over, Fringy. Keep going. Meteor That's portion. True. That sucks. Hey, tortoise in the hair. Yeah, Mala said to fail, yes. Don't you remember if that's after Mikolash. Yeah. You know what? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 that is not it. I mean, I could. No, it's not even. I couldn't even make that work. There's like a bot. There's like Ludwig in between. Uh, twice, by the way, Mel. You, you know, the, the living failures can launch like little blasts. They're like little big, big circles that just travel slowly and if you hit you, you die. So I think. I can. Do I, I was going yes. to dodge one coming, and on two different occasions, a li another living failure would tag me, so that I'm, you know, oh, I'm hit by that, and then the fucking blob would go through me and just deal double. And it's like great. Mm. Also, Sexy. I accidentally ported back to the hunter stream, so now I wasted like a minute of my life. Free living failure, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
I think I know now. <laughs> yeah, no. This you is couldn't live with like I mean, live. But, but you What was his name? Thanos said you couldn't live with your failure. How, how could I be? I guess I'm not coming back to him then. That's, that's what time cool. is it even? It's 4.20. <laughs> Almost 4.20 nights. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Which beats I'm doing an all-nighter. Easy. No problem. Of, uh, Which means more whiskey. How are you nice. that you're not taking the impact? Does your arm jump around in the standing kneeling? No, it's not about your arm, it's about your shoulder. So your arms don't take the recoil, your shoulder does. Uh, so when you're prone, your body is more stable. But the trade-off, because everything's a trade-off, the, the negative of the stability you get from being prone is that your body is more stable, so it doesn't give when the recoil of the rifle hits your shoulder. Like, I'm most accurate when I am prone, but I absorb most of the recoil when I'm prone as well. Unlike if you are standing, where your body can give back because you are not stable. Oh, I, I know where I'm up to now. I've got that external knowledge to watch out for that lady. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, unless this guy is this guy. Well, time for the wet, the moist nurse. I think my favorite part about this particular fight here is that my lock on is worked. It's not going to play it on PS5. I think that you can play it on PS5, but yeah, the exactly. game's like hard locked to 30 FPS, like uh, software wise. Yeah, so it's a, oh, it's a no. fucking useless port. <laughs> so is it one of those games where like if it goes to 60 it goes twice as fast or something? I don't know. I, I think there's like yeah. a emulated yeah. version of this, this oh, okay. which runs 60 FPS I think. I'm not entirely sure how it works though. Because I know that there are a decent number of PS4 games that if you can play them on PS5 they just run 60 FPS or like an unlocked version. Mm. I'm cool. glad that we finally came back with compatibility, and uh, you got to thank Microsoft for that, because everyone's just pushed hardcore for it. Kind of it's 30 in. FPS at, at PS5, it's just at 4K. Oh, the heck fuck. Sorry. I'm gonna put it onto my monitor that doesn't have 4K. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, it's not... It's, it's, it's uh. Alright, wet nurse time. How do you throw, like, Molotovs at people? She just one hit killed me. I'm afraid your vitality. I have 40 vitality. That's a lot. Is that a lot? Or... Yeah. <laughs> I think it's th that's the, the 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 soft cap, right? 40. Yeah. Hey, is this hey Mal boss about us? Is this you half as bosses? I think so. I, I've I've never seen her one hit injured. kill me. Or, or, um, please don't use. cite Nintendo as a good example of backwards compatibility. There is no reason why the Switch shouldn't have N64 games or even GameCube games in terms of availability. Especially because you could buy them on the digital store. Well, it's just like, there should be a virtual... I mean, look at how long it took them to do the SNES. It took them ages. Like, oh, hey, you can play NES games. But, like, who wants to? Like, I'm sorry, but, like, games didn't start getting good until, I think... SNES. I feel like before that, they were just way too basic. You just wow, you think Pac-Man? Wow. Oh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm a cool with those arcade games, but I'm talking yeah. like, you know, the Super Mario Brothers, which isn't yeah, I got you. for the Super Mario World. Fucking double headbutt. Did it kill you? No. No. Oh. Oh, God, yeah. E.T. <laughs> Seems more like fighting the movie buff boss. Last week in Guild Wars 2, um, the ones I've been playing are my main is a Reaper, if you can call it a main. Um, uh, I have a Revenant, a Firebrand, a Renegade, a Firebrand, a Devil. Oh, that was a good fight. Honestly, Living Failure is probably my favorite boss in the whole game right now. <laughs> it's, it's... You're kidding, though, right? No, that was really engaging, and it felt fair. Oh, okay. And it was stressful. And... It looks like you had room to maneuver, and you could pick your targets. Yeah. And... Really you can, satisfying. You, you have something in the middle you can hide oh, behind when they sh start shooting um, projectiles at you. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, but by, by the way, another generalization. By the way, I'm sure that there are good games on <clears throat> NES. I just can't think of many of them. <laughs> like, it's also just it wasn't the Super SNES. Mario World Two on the SNES originally? Yeah, I think it was. Super Mario World was the first. All right. One. Uh, I guess try not to get one. I played it on like... Game Boys when I first played it. I guess the problem is, it's like, would you rather play Metroid 1 or Super Metroid? It's like, well, I'd rather play Super Metroid. Would you rather play Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario World? I'd rather play World. I don't have much exposure to Zelda, but if it's like, okay, the first one or A Link to the Past, it's like, I think I'd rather play A Link to the Past. Like, I just, whether or not the games that were on it were good, I just feel like the, uh, the ones that came out in SNES were just superior. Oh, and if people were saying that Rags, you were thinking of Super Mario Brothers 3, which you probably were. Super Mario Maybe. Brothers 3 Maybe is good. I am. That one is good, actually, yeah. Um, so Super Mario Bros. Let's. Oh two yeah, was, I am thinking it was of the weird co-op no. one. Uh, three. It was. So Super Mario Brothers 2 was released in the West. It was a <laughs> port of a. This is a hot take. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I don't even. I've. Right. I've yeah, uh, I must I'm be. But vacant on this whole fucking. Four? Conversation. We, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, I was talking about how. Come I, on! Oh, I'm, I'm up to so the. So I'm thinking of Super Mario. So I'm thinking of Super Mario World, which was on the SNES, which yeah. is also which, is which was also on the. Okay, so I'm thinking of four. I don't know why I was thinking about two for some reason. Four? What are you you talking about? Three, right? No, Super Mario um, three. No, because I'm I'm looking it up. I, I I just went through it on Google. So Super Mario Three is the one where he's got the tail and the ears on the yeah, front. Yeah, that's Tanuki suit one. Yeah. All right, so that's three. I've never played that. And then oh, I type in Super yeah, Mario Bros. Good. Four, and it shows up as Super Mario World because there is no such thing as there's no such thing as Super Mario Brothers Four. Okay. My chat is a, my, my chat is being a piece of shit to me right now. <laughs> well, I guess that's where the confusion set in. <laughs> basically, <laughs> but basically, uh, the the general point I'm making is that I would say that. The, the... All right, chat. Here we go. Maria. Like, oh, all right. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, like we can have games <clears throat> that actually look nice, and um, we can build these bigger worlds and um and sort of add these new mechanics in. It, it feels like every game that was on the NES was improved substantially when it was put on the SNES effectively. Like that every single version was better. <clears throat> <laughs> Fucking hate my chat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fighting the Wicked of the Pendant with no blood vials, that was probably <laughs> not. Imagine oh, nice. not beat Ergo first try, but listen, <laughs> it's a baby, so they just get in there and fuck her up. I didn't know you could die to the nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you can. No. Why are you not? Oh, that's, that's really just like, why are we saying that? I just back down because I forgot last time. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with the wet nurse. It was around the time I broke both my hands. <laughs> 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 Oh man. Okay, it was. Uh, uh, I can see how it must be annoying, Mauler, when like when she puts her swords up like that and then hits you, and but then you like dodge and she tracks you. Like it's oh. hard to tell when the tracking time like ends. It's a lot of. Extra my first try shouldn't the... be a win. It should. This is me just trying to learn her again. Like. What, what, what's up with some from sub bosses having like these stupid fucking long ass walks to bosses? Like you try and then you have to go this fucking elevator up for like 15 hours. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Who's it's winning meta? Fuck you, Scoob. <laughs> uh, man, coming into this boss with like zero blood vials <laughs> wasn't a good idea. All right, round two. Let's try. I was looking at chat and was not looking where I was going and just jumped off a fucking elevator with the shaft. Now I want to see what's happening here with uh, this Lady Maria. Her music's really good. Oh, gotcha, bitch. Walk of shame. Yeah, especially when you look at chat while you walk and just jump off the fucking <laughs> bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, just just, I just arrived on the top. <laughs> now I have to do it again. <laughs> Uh, well, more time for drinks. 
<laughs> we got him, boys. Wow. Oh, fuck. Turns out to get me. I'm not a fan of that move. Figuring out the timing is tough. The Chungus has dropped two vials each. Yeah, I'm heading back to Old Yarnum to, uh, or Yarnum Central. Yeah, to get that stuff. Rax, favorite bit of the legendary? I have none, and I have no interest in them. <clears throat> Don't worry, chat. Uh, I intend to get better. Yeah. I like how they keep attacking when you're dead. They're just like... <laughs> that's, that's what we call BM. You start losing. You've been rushing through this game like a madman. Just, just don't. <laughs> don't what? Your chat. <laughs> when, they, when they start trashing you now because you're uh, oh. tied to the boss now. I mean, I made a whole bunch of mistakes in that fight, though. It's fair. I'll let him have it on this one. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I feel it's unfair, chat. As I have throughout this game. <laughs> Humble brag. I'm such a... Tism. Such a tism. Like, I should be uh, dodging I'm more. It'll be done either Monday, Tuesday, so not have right to tell if you beat me. That's fine. That, that sounds good to me. I think one of the interesting things when it comes to 8-bit games is you look at stuff like Shovel Knight and it's like, it's attempting to emulate what you thought 8-bit was, but it clearly couldn't have been an 8-bit game. You know what I mean? Like, like it, it goes for that style and the music, the art style, which is cool and everything, but like the game is mechanically a lot more complex than a lot of 8-bit games could have really been when they came out. I feel like that's a really good example of trying to achieve oh. the feel of uh, what you would expect from that without actually doing it. You know, that when they talk about like, oh, well, you know, trying to appeal to how people remember that. I think that's a good example. And Messenger is another one. But like Messenger becomes a lot cooler in my view when it when it's pulls in the 16-bit stuff. Man, time in parries is like, the window is just so tight. Mm-hmm. That was way off. That was close. Oh, of course, for me, she does the shadow thing, because fuck me, right? I'm not getting a free... free it's weird hit. how when she, like, brings both of her swords up and you clearly hit her with the shot, like, nothing happens, she just hits you. The, the gun is really... Like, it's much more for parry. Damage isn't really a thing with the guns in this game. They're more of a utility thing. Uh, as weird as that sounds. Even then, you'd think that, you know, I'd damage or not, you'd think that hitting her when she was vulnerable, like that, it would, like, Dude. stop her animation. Yeah. Make her pause in some way. Oh, that was good. Dude, I forgot how long Shadow Face takes. Okay. <laughs> Hey, here's her. Stop! Wow, that was. That felt like an eternity. Why parry instead of dodge? Uh, because it, it's, it's just risk versus reward sort of thing. If I can negate the damage and deal more to her, that'll be great for me. Like that. is coming through on the stream, but I've got my TV turned off, so I'm missing all of these great tunes. Mm. If not, it'll come through the microphone. Oh, I'm out of bullets, fuck! Alright, last phase, which means <laughs> there's no fucking way I'm being it. <laughs> oh, okay.
What RPG do you think does leveling up well, especially in respect to gaining new skills and perks? In other words, making it feel like a real progression. So you have to get better at things as you do them. Uh... After Scrolls of Oblivion. <laughs> Like, Skyrim and Oblivion, the way that you, like, increase what a your fight. skills is done well. Oh. oh, Maria's one of the best bosses across the Souls of Bomb games. So fucking exhilarated to fight her. Oh, uh, no. Uh, the, but, like, Skyrim has its own problems with leveling up, but in terms of, uh, you get better oh, at things as you do them. Like, that's always a good thing to see. Um, mm -hmm. let's see. Ooh, don't get greedy on metal. Don't do it. Mutlo, put down your greed. Against Murgo's wet nurse. What is that? Why do all the bosses <laughs> in this game just have big things? If you read the lore, it all makes sense. I feel like it's because the PS4 could handle, well, barely, but could handle this. <laughs> It's funny, I performed the best on her third phase. Like, her first and second, I was pretty bad, but her third phase, I did really well, somehow. You beat her already? Yeah. Very well. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I want, to, I want cost now. That fight is, like, my favorite fight in all the games. Uh, what, what nurse is dead, game. We can. Oh, right, it does a weird thing where I just need to wait for a couple of seconds. Uh, there we go. Yeah, mine took ages on that one. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same every time, but. I did way more damage than you did as well. Because the third I think stage you, done, like, more... you try to parry too much more. Yeah, and once they took my bullets away and I started concentrating on dodging instead, <laughs> I think I started getting better. <laughs> I like parrying, it's cool. Leave me alone. Good thing it wasn't the first try I imagined losing to her. Mom, my chat is mean! <laughs> Fuck him up, metal. Uh... Well, that's wet nurse, but in theory, the next one could be German, right? Uh, yeah, but... The, the yeah. one I did... so... Yeah. Um, so I'm is there any a list of the bosses I've killed? I'm gonna go beat the cleric beast now. <laughs> Dude, uh, oh, be careful. Oh, right, you haven't... Gonna fuck up the cleric beast. See, your guys, your hunter's dreams on fire. Mine is <laughs> still normal. Yeah, uh, looks kind of dodgy that house. I'm still gonna go inside though. Let's see. There are games that make grinding entertaining to some people. MMOs thrive on such people. Yeah, it's about execution. Like, like that's why the whole Skyrim thing of like it's a meme that you craft like a bajillion, um like iron daggers right you just keep crafting iron daggers a huge mountains of iron daggers and now you're at rank 100 you could craft anything because you crafted a bajillion iron daggers instead of you should just be good at crafting iron daggers um in uh Guild Wars 2 crafting is pretty good in the sense that you look you can only level it up by doing new things and progressing to the next rank of things to do so you can't craft low level stuff over and over and over again because those no longer give you experience. Um, but in terms of leveling up... Oh, here we go. It's most realistic when you have to do things to get better at them, but in a game, there's something that's kind of... Like, you don't have to, but that's the most realistic way to do it. Um, uh, that's why you weren't using the Cleric Beast Bridge to farm Vile, so you haven't killed him. Yeah, I had like a pretty decent plan, I feel I had. I skipped Cleric <laughs> Beast and Witches in the beginning. And I just grabbed the doll outfit to compensate for the soul, for the echoes. That worked well until the Shadow of Yarnum. The Shadows of Yarnum, which absolutely destroyed my, my, my buttocks. I should have just went for all of Vitality in the beginning as I planned to. I derived from that plan and the fight bit me in the ass. Oh, good. Oh, uh, just good. Oh, 
Oh this my god, so I forgot how many enemies there are. are. He did so much damage. Fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> this is what we call concentrated fun, Rags. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Metal Molly Look, look, look at this. Like, what is it? Go away, creepy Lovecraftian creature. Oh, and then I die like. No cookie for you. Oppenheimer's. I'll say there's no way I'm gonna beat Ludwig on my first try. <laughs> or Maria. Or, Are you uh, doing them next or? I'm gonna go beat Cleric Beast now. Okay, well, if you had that's to be not... transported into a Soulsborne game but got to choose which one, which one would you choose? So they're all horrifying mm -hmm. worlds, so if we're just going for yeah. the coolest one, probably Bloodborne. I'd love to be a hunter. Oh, yeah. I was never I would, able to recreate. I'd probably do Sekiro. Yeah, oh yeah, fell. if that counts. Uh, that's probably it the bit. most normal. Yes, it's probably the most normal. Like you could probably just say fuck this shit and go live a normal, fulfilling life. Yeah. Which would be neat. Which is yeah, funny to say when that. The... Oh, so. Thingy I just next. find it funny that you haven't beaten the cleric beast yet. Yeah, he's well, technically you're ahead of him, played. Fringy. All right. Let it be said that Fringy's Wait, currently ahead of Metal. <laughs> No! I that was don't. not part of my plan. Because <laughs> I don't know why or tier that was Dumbo. I'm just gonna go ahead and run past all these fellas, don't mind me. <laughs> this is all fucking I'm going off like a vague visual of, of in my head of where I'm supposed to go, because I really don't quite remember. Okay, this is something. Now, I've just noticed that a lot of these bosses lead to dead ends, which is interesting compared to like Dark Souls, where a lot of the bosses don't lead to dead ends. Mm -hmm. They like actually go to a place where there are other things to see and do. All right, which? Oh, this probably isn't the way. Who would win? Uh, Rags and Company, who would win? The Imps or the Mumakil? Oh, as the Imps is in the Imperials. The Ents. Oh, sorry. Um, the Ents or the Mumakil? Ooh, I don't know what the Ents are going to be doing. Throwing stones at them? I feel like the Ents are fucked. I... I think it... I think it could go either way. Because the stones that the Ents throw are big. And if that hits the Mumakil, it's gonna fuck it up. Um, however, once the Mumakil get close, I feel like the Ents are fucked. Mm. So, at range, if the Ents can throw, like, big boulders and stuff at the Mumakil, uh, that would be, you know, that helps them out immensely. But, uh, yeah, yeah the Mumakil up close could probably take out Ents. Please help me, whatever this is. You just scream as they jump toward me. That's <laughs> me. Oh, he's already dead. I wasn't even looking at his health bar. <laughs> What's that? Well, now I'm ahead of Fringy. <laughs> All right. Well, Fringy, it was a long earned second place, but it is now gone. It's, yeah, totally evaporated. Oh man, I earned those 4,000 echoes. I'm going to make an in-detailed argument about the Nazgul on r slash Mauler. I'm just gonna... Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't fucking care. <laughs> so if you write it out, like, for Holy personal shit, fulfillment, sure, whatever, go for it. But I'm not gonna read it, and I'm not gonna care. I just don't fucking care. Also, you're wrong, but I don't care. No, you do care, Rags. Don't oh, lie. Yeah, I care a whole bunch. Yeah, oh, yeah I really, really care. Because, like, you've done a very, very, very poor job expressing just why all. you're potentially correct. Hey, Rags. And orphan of God. Check out the Orphan of God. <laughs> if you had sound, it would be even better. <laughs> <laughs> so this is cause. Let me, let me hear this. Yeah, this one's pretty funny. Funny? Wow. The sounds, like, jeez. Just squelching. <laughs> Bloodborne. It's 
It doesn't shy away it's from its nice, well. brutality. That Resident Evil 4 kind of noise. <laughs> it's funny oh, that the tone of the violence or gore in, in Bloodborne is so dissimilar from a Resident Evil type game. Like in this, it's much more of a is. tragedy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the witch was only one away from dying. Please don't. What happens to this witch when I get it? Oh. No, I think. Did I win? Let's I think I won. Go, buddy. Wait, did I? I the bottom end of that Arthur meme with the W stage that uh, uh, No, like, oh, I just now don't fucking care. Oh, like, my. I don't care about some stupid argument about why this guy's wrong about some Nazgul wording in the movie and why it totally makes sense. Like, like why I just don't a fucking of care. I'm gonna trade out my runes, Wait. actually. What just happened? I died, Metal, okay? No, I, I went... What? Like we're running away. He's like, no. In this stream, everything you said has been either stupid or incorrect, or combinations of the both. And I just don't care to go boat. on some Reddit site. I don't even have an account there to read your big, long-winded explanation as to why you're wrong. Just longer. <laughs> yesterday. Fuck, I forgot. Now I need to check. Rags versus that guy. <laughs> Oh, you should probably screen. start it off by even clarifying what your position is and what mine I, I am is. I'm very what unclear mine now at this point on what the actual argument is. Yeah, because I think I'm confused on what you are trying to argue, yeah. random person. Thing I'm on just complaining stand. something oh, too long. I'm, I'm, oh, too long. I'm not even complaining. If anything, I'm trying to just say he's wasting his time. Because I'm not going to read it. Because oh, I don't care. I'm trapped! No! Oh, no! no, no. <laughs> No, alright? Oh, just get off me, alright? Come on. Rags you don't have to do this. this. I'm not invested. I'm on a stream res responding to a live chat. I'm not gonna- I'm, and I'm here anyway. I'm not gonna go out of my way to read something on some site that I never go to about a topic that I don't care about otherwise. <laughs> You do care. Like, if you think it. those two things are the same, then, like, you're sort of proving the point as to why I shouldn't even care. Oh, so I killed the witch, but there's still these... Oh, nope, now they're gone. All right, Look, cool. I know I just <laughs> sold the Moonlight Sword, but it's because I'm playing strictly with the Sword Cleaver in this one, okay, guys? Strictly Sword Cleaver. Yeah, They're gonna same. be very upset when, I, when they see that I've done that. All right, so now Max that's... Max fighting the real Dark Souls. He's fighting in chat. <laughs> Can rags defeat the boss? But clearly, out. you can never win against YouTube chat. Is that is? All right. Game before, I have played this game before, but never finished it. Neither Sounds did I. pretty invested to me. So here's the thing: I just explained to you that I'm here <laughs> anyway, and I'm responding to a live chat as it occurs, rather casually. In the case that I'm playing a game right now, just talking about it, I'm multitasking, and I don't have much of an investment in this. Like, if I, when I have an investment in proving someone wrong, like I did with some YouTube comment yesterday where I had to look up the fucking muzzle velocity of the Gewehr 98 rifle, and I was hmm. calculating distance, like, that's me caring. Mandalorian is me caring about something. Just <laughs> wibbly wobbly these chains doesn't though. mean I'm, like, super invested into it. And if you Wait, think what? that's the case, then you're stupid. Chains go wibbly wobbly. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I've got a workshop tool or something. What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> hey, Fringy, can I, uh... I guess this was a super chat that came around the Sonic times, but... Edgy the Hedgy ruined my love for dark creatures. <laughs> <laughs> That's interminable. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, Shadow. Dark creatures. So now I teleported. I used right. to love dark creatures. This is the true oh, first walking. attempt, okay? The true. Important that I specify that. Is your weapon the upgrade, by the way? Is it what? Is your weapon fully upgraded? Oh, with a blood one. rock, yeah. Oh. He's just hiding his own version of the new failures boss. Yeah, sometimes it feels like that. <laughs> think Most I can of y'all are cool. Don't come to EFAT chap tomorrow. <laughs> Don't come to Hogwarts tomorrow, you know. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Oh! 
That was a lot of health. Man, I wanna watch you fight cause, because I can't fight him yet. Well, no. Don't worry, Mel. It's being streamed. You can see it. Oh, you're just still fighting him. Imagine losing to a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Orphan, even. Cringe. He's born. Well, he's probably pretty pissed. He just woke up. Saki survived with 1 HP again. I'm at this part of my damage, but it's just annoying. <laughs> uh, I might just fucking go through if they only drop the, the, the twin shards. Fuck those, I guess. Shit. Just gonna jump down here. Fuck off, doggo! Hey! So, right in company, is the Balrog like Edgy the Hedgy, or is he just too cool and avoid? The Balrog isn't what I would say falls into the category of just edgy for the sake of being edgy. I mean, I wouldn't even call him edgy at all. He's just cool. It's a demon. Yeah, I would agree. It's an elemental it's cool demon movie. by the looks of things. Yeah, it's a cool movie monster. Um, he is, yeah, in the universe he's treated with like, a proper response one should have to this beast. If he was, um, like, grey or something, and talked about how he was really sad about oh. everything, and then maybe he would be like a... He was an orphan, da, da, yeah. da, or his father was some dark lord that he didn't really oh. like. So. Wait, doesn't it trigger the, the other boss in there? Did you just grab it? I don't remember. I was gonna check. No? Okay. Listen, it always feels to me as if you deal less damage in Bloodborne than in Dark Souls, and I think it's because of how the boss's HP bar looks and works. Am I the only one? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm about to hit phase two, which is much harder. All oh, right, yeah, you need this item to use the uh, the elevator later, right? If I do remember correctly myself. Right, and then see ya. Phase two, bitches. Oh boy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, back in the luck. No, come back. <clears throat> oh, Here. I don't think I've been able to land a single hit on him since I started up the bolt paper. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't you throw your time bombs at me, you rude shits. Wait, was that drop? Uh oh. Stop. I thought there was a drop here. No, go away. Delayed Molotov. What a weird item, oh. by the way. You got it. Not the boss. <laughs> no, I Dude. noticed the boss is still alive. Like Oh, that's a... I, I think I had a lot less health than I thought, or something. That was a surprise death. Whoa, shit! I think <clears throat> it's a cone move, and because I was at the, the spawn of the cone move, I hit more projectiles than just one. Yeah, it just... Yeah, you had a bunch of health. <clears throat> just insta-killed you, basically. Yeah, someone in chat <laughs> said a blood shotgun. Yeah. A blooch gun. Da, 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 no, he point blanked you. I, I, I don't think the distance on those things actually changes damage for Koss. I could be wrong. But I think it's the fact that it's a code move and I would have tanked like three of the four, Constable. if you will. I hate the orphan. Uh, I really like him. Oh, wrong way. 
pretty rare for a boss to have me so engaged, even if I don't hit him for as much as like five minutes in a row. And I'm still just like uh, finding it very fun. Why am I going nuts? Damn it! Right. Oh, why? Oh, oh, why? Oh, you're off oh, to I'm Ludwig, are you? Well, I'm trying. I'm getting. Oh, stuck. here we go again. Get out of my way. Hey, hey, move it. What the hell is going on? Mando. Mando, what are you doing? Mando, what are you doing? <laughs> the point of laser is one of the best bosses in game history. Wait, who? Sorry? That's what uh, someone in chat said. What about Orphan of Cost? Yeah, I said Orphan's one of the best bosses in game history. I would want to hesitate saying something like that. Well, because it's such a high bar at that point. So I look think at that. Uh, Virgil and Devil May Cry 5, he was, uh, he was a pretty good boss. So. Yeah, Virgil was really good, actually. I think I earned that backstab there. No. It's my opinion. I no, just agree with your opinion. You hate Mongo. And I'm allowed to do that. Don't, don't. I should be in you know, I don't want to derive, uh, the status of the That was greed as fuck. I think I was just salty that I didn't get the backstab. <clears throat> I'm going to screw up on this hunter, aren't I? Hello. Hey. Look, man, I know it's convenient for you to just back out of a claim you don't get. Back out and claim you don't care, but I'm still going to make a response because it's something I care about. Your, your fan base clearly care, too. I don't think they do at all, actually. I think, like, seven people care. Well. They care. They, they don't probably don't care about the... They care about just an argument is happening. They don't actually care about the material that much, like this specific little intricacy of the material that much. But if it makes you feel better, sure. I certainly hope that whatever your Reddit post is, is better than the piss poor nonsense you've been typing out in chat. <laughs> Loads of people are saying, I don't care. I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just... Oh, but, it's, just it's, it's really boy. simple. He says no man can kill me. Oh get stabbed in the face and die by a human being yeah like i'm just okay clearly he was not correct because he dies oh. uh. but if, if you're gonna do the, if you're gonna type out a bunch of paragraphs to say that it's like a metaphorical death or some bullshit just save yourself it's not metaphorical he, yeah. he's dead yeah. Metaphoric. He is yeah. like, no man can metaphorically kill me. I'm like, well, that's I am not, not a man, people. technically. Oh yeah. balls! Well, my thingy didn't trigger. Eh, eh. Oh my god, I hate Ludwig's first face so much. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Let's see what happens. See that? Oh, just... <laughs> Almost certain that should have been a backstab. So it said, man, I didn't think you frags, man. I don't think you get enough appreciation. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're here, and you've helped me a lot. Enjoy it. This is good. Thank you. Thanks very much, Daft. I appreciate your appreciation. I really do immensely. Speaking of, of, of a message like that, you got Hey Muller and I have the same birthday. I don't know what to do with this information, but I like it. Seriously, you guys have helped me through some bad life -tisms. Sorry I can't give you guys more. Sad face. Um... Very kind. Those are the best comments that we I'm get. very happy that you're happy. Yes. Yeah, like that is, um... It's what we call uh, a win. It, it is legitimately the best comments that we get, or that I think that we get, are the ones where people say stuff like that. Like, you guys really helped me. Um, you guys, you know, you did something good for me. Which is, you know, excellent. That's what I like to hear. That's the best thing. Oh, okay, that hit me. Now, the second best thing is, I love you so much, take this pile of money. And divide it amongst <laughs> yourselves with rags getting the largest share. That's my that's my number two favorite thing that people say. I like that yeah, last sentence yeah. that rags gets most of it. Yeah, it's, those are those are pretty good too. Blade Track Two <laughs> so game. It, quote, in my opinion, no man can kill me. The Witch King. <laughs> in my opinion, in my opinion, I'm no man. 
I can't hear Rag speaking because of Mahler's dying noises. That's a sinner. No, it's the reing of the orphan. This is how, this is how EFAP ends. With thunderous reing. I think it's time for another Bible verse and or allegorical tale. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I just, uh... Bitcoin ask me what I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and he went to a Z he went to uh Bethany and lodged there. Yeah, think about it. Damn it. Yeah, he went to Bethany and he lodged there. There's a lot going on. You see, it talks about how people can like traverse distances, how they can go from one location to another, and potentially oh. at this location they go to, they can lodge. And what does that imply? That they can either be provided of lodging, they could earn the lodging themselves, or others can oh. give them with lodging. Um. <laughs> so, I I don't know what I'm meant to do now. I oh. killed the witch thing, but I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. It's just life. <laughs> I killed the witch and I don't know where to great, go. Great, baby, great. Great baby Gray just said, damn, that's my super shit. Oh my god, finally, two fucking months later. Drag <laughs> <laughs> put out a fax on his random Vicar fax recently. No, I haven't, Thunder. I need to do that. Your book of random facts. Random fact book. Oh! That parry though. It's nearby. So this is uh new new by David Hoffman. This is my grandfather gave me for this. They gave it they gave this to me not too long ago. No. Uh, so you can go through here. It's a little old, but you know, if they're facts, they're still good, right? Also if there's a boss to get stuck on, this is the the one I would like to get stuck on. Just like fighting them. Mm-hmm. Alright. There are 1,218 peanuts in a single 28-ounce jar of Jif peanut butter. Shit, man. Interesting. That's a lot. I, I'm inclined uh, to agree with that. Uh, I do think that's a lot. That is a lot, yeah. yeah. Like when you hear those stats about how many bees have to work their entire lifetime to give you like a teaspoon of honey and stuff like that. <laughs> Fun um, fact, echidnas have four Johnsons. That's true. Interesting. That's a lot of Johnson. I would rather have one really good Johnson than four mm, Johnsons. What if they're all really Johnson good, though? Is. A Johnson's a Willie! A Willie! Uh, wow, I've never felt like Springy is so blanket. hidden from the world. It's a dingle dunk. It's a Your dingle cock. on my dongle. All Big old dingle. Peter from Bly Manor talking about. <laughs> Oh, oh great. Fringy, Fringy you know about stonks. Here's a stonk fan. Yeah, read your message. All right. Home. 100 shares of McDonald's stock purchased for $2,250 when first offered in 1965 was worth more than $1.4 in 1995, 30 years later. Well, that, wow. Uh, but also inflation, right, I guess, is a fact. Keep in mind. Oh yeah, but absolutely. still, still that is a massive return. <laughs> massive stongs. I think uh, I think it's usually yeah the, the ones where it's like, hey, if you bought Amazon for like oh. ten bucks, how oh, rich are you now? Oh, this is it. okay. I guess we're in the McDonald's oh. section. Oh damn. So the biggest menu flops at McDonald's include Kalaki a bohemian pastry that had been founder Ray Kroc's mother's specialty. Oof. Oh, and the man. Hula Burger. Now, the Hula Burger was aimed at vegetarians and Catholics <laughs> who didn't eat fish on Friday and consisted of two slices of cheese and a grilled pineapple ring on a toasted bun. Oh. All right. <laughs> I can't believe that flopped. <laughs> Crazy. I know, right? That's, it sounds yeah, like it's it a recipe for success. Let's see. Um, someone recommends the Shrek 2 game. Apparently, there's an online co op hack for it that we should do. I, I can't remember if that's oh before or after I played the Shrek 2 GameCube game. If that's the one they're referring to, you know, I'm sure Rags and I would have a fucking a legendary adventure playing uh, the Shrek game online. I'm sure of it. 
the infinite possibilities. Oh, nice. Where am I? I'm somewhere at this wall, I think. And I'm dead. I fucking hate this phase. Fucking shit. Uh, anyway, thanks for the 10 euro grade, okay? Metal take more of my money because you don't take two months to read them. That is, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's racist. And true. Oh, I mistimed yeah. the dodge on that one. Uh, you should invite Procrastitara. She also does videos making fun of Batwoman, The Last of Us 2, and Cinema Roberto. I think she'd be a good fit. This is a good chance, yeah. Who knows? Um, Ruby of Blue unironically thinks SA2 is a well written game and made a two hour essay about it. SA2. <coughs> Saints. No. It's a well written game. S Sandy um, Anus 2. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to get. I tell you, there's a lot of places you do not want sand, and your anus is one of those places. You do not want to. You don't want a gritty butthole. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A gritty butthole. You do not want a gritty butthole. That is. Mm, nope. Nope, 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 nope. It's on a good venture, too. Ah, oh, there you go. Mole, you must surrender. You've lost this war. Us Christmas chads have shad. It's true, you do have Shad. We have Tone. You know, so the battle goes on. Uh, uh, hey, Rack, have you seen my new Minecraft fan art of you as Mando? No, I haven't. Um, wow, that was... Hey, I landed one of these things. That must be good. Send it to me on Discord, or have it posted in EFAP memes, and I will see it. Uh, Rags, you should really look up what an Echidna's Johnson looks like. It's horrifying. Uh, <laughs> Got a reason as any to watch and look up a Johnson? Oh, I'm so glad I dodged that fucking stupid ass dash of his. Second phase, here we go. Let's see if I can remember this phase. I know. Ow. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, that looks like it hurt. Chad's a king, so what's a king to a dragon? Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh. The forbidden woods. Where oh. is that? Oh, okay. What's a king to be Johnson? Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, frames. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, frames. Thank you for killing me. <laughs> fucking garbage piece of shit game. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking fantastic. Cathedral Ward lands and take a left to go straight. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. It's such garbage. It was such a good attempt. And then this fucking oh. shit happens. Uh, Marla, what is your favorite Dark Souls 3 boss? And why is he gay? Aw, oh, that was a lame way to die. I, sort of, I just sort of just piddled over to the end of my health bar. Okay. Uh, Dark Souls 3 favorite? What? Mm -hmm. It's those, uh, the lads and, that have multiple spawns and some are good, some are evil, or every other. I can't remember Abyss, what wa Abyss Watch Us. Yes, I think. You mean, um, yeah. And then uh, the the last boss, I really like just for his the way they made him. Um, that's the best I can do off the top of my head. Soul of Cinder. That's the one. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, Rags, I know Mahler hasn't played any Fallout. 
But perhaps That's not I'll true. look into many a true nerd's videos where he tries to state objective facts but with little to no evidence. I don't know. I played all of Fallout 3. I 100%ed it. Racism. Yeah, well... You 100%ed it? I did. I don't believe you. I don't care if you don't believe me. You f you you found every item... Are you aware of what guides on? Rud Roach. Dude, I was a... a I, I'm pretty sure I told you this before. Every... I was an achievement hunter. I was fully into that shit. I did way harder things than that. I ever, ever into that kind of thing. I don't think I care much about achievements. Oh, you! Oh, you got all the achievements for it. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, I was, I was. That's what I meant. Like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Because I was just like, oh, you, you wanted, like you did everything. But yeah, because I can believe someone got all the achievements, but I'm, I'm always skeptical when someone says I did all the things in a Fallout game. I wouldn't like, even know what I'd be saying at that point. You know, like I did all of I the did things. I did everything. I squashed every rad roach. I traversed every sewer. Oh, I found yeah, every I've bullet gone the wrong and way. shot them. <laughs> <laughs> I must have gone the wrong way, damn. Uh... Oh, game. Oh, yes, I went the wrong way, <laughs> alright. Thanks, favorite indie games? Oh, plenty. Um, Vermin Knight 2, uh, Witcher 3, Witcher 2, um, let's see, um, uh, some come to mind. I think, um, Gunpoint. Oh, sure, yeah, no, fuck you, game. Back that did not hit me at all, but sure. Devil Dagger. <sighs> Back to the Lantern? Oh, you know what, just fucking kill me. Like, when you heal four times in a row and just hit you right after again, like, get out of Oh, wow, damn, what an onslaught. All I need to do is dodge right. forward. I keep dodging back. It's like the biggest thing to learn with cars. Or at least for me. <laughs> See ya, Mel. Went to the DLC yet. I'm not even fucking close. Mommy, mama, ma. Brag, Switcher 3 doesn't really count as indie. Yeah, it depends on how you define it. If you mean that a publisher oh, and a developer great. are the same, okay. yeah, but it typically doesn't, yeah. That's generally the, the exception when people say, like, what you mean by it. So I understand. I always throw it in. Just to, you know, yes, why not? Uh, there you go. Uh, Rex, have you played anymore. Undertale? No, I haven't. I hear it's really Gosh. good, though. Seen a lot of porn of Goat Mom, but uh, I have okay. not. Uh, I've not played it. I have not played it. Maybe one day I'll get around to it. Oh, now I know where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I remember this section. There we oh, go. Oh, I just couldn't fucking dodge. Yeah, I just now. didn't dodge because fuck this game. Cool. I'm having so much fun right now with this boss. You don't sound like so that. So glad you fun. beat it. I'm Bag so jealous you beat the first Bros. Fuck this boss, dude. What's our opinion on Venture Bros? What I've seen, I've liked. I've not seen that. it. What I have seen, I have enjoyed. Rex can see this. I mean, he's in the call with me, and when I talk, he can hear me. That's that's how this works. What? <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I've been here the whole time in the call, reading yeah. out the chat as it occurs. So I'm talking like 95% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're concentrating on their Darkborn game boss. Swing sword game and swingy sword game. I'm here either typing <clears throat> or playing Stardew Valley. Rack no Kummerberg. Huh? Rack Kummerberg. Kummerberg. Got a dodge left on that. I'm a Kummer like my father and his father before. <laughs> what the? I just. Oh, there we are. Right. Fucking hell. Wait a minute. Oh, oh how did I fuck that up? Yeah. Oh, balls. Just let me heal, oh. you fucking cock. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's that attack too. I think. Now I think. 
think I remember where I'm supposed to go. Because I'm pretty sure I've done this side. Lance, are you excited Wait, for the it... Tide 2 expansion coming this winter? No! Because Winds of Magic was shit when it came out. And it no, didn't add a lot of the meaningful it's content it's that people were asking for. So no, I'm not excited for it. They had to roll back a lot of the stuff that was originally oh. in Winds of Magic. And they had like a big poll and everything on their forums. And like the majority of people said, no, this isn't good. Damn. So, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Whoops. What? <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally walked off an edge and fell. Whoever very designed cool. this boss, you need to have a word on this. There we are. Damn. The Forbidden Woods. And that word is suicide. The... Yeah, I don't know for the first phase. The second phase is. Hey, no one said you could get to the second phase. Where's huh? my checkpoint? Is there not a checkpoint in the Forbidden oh. Woods? It's like two really? different people designed it. It really is. It's that way. It's insane. But... No way, there's no check. Alright, any updates from the Barbie movies? Uh, updates? No? Uh, speaking of Stardew Valley, have you played any of the Harvest Moon games? I have not played them. Well, I've heard the Harvest Moon is very similar to Stardew Valley. Yeah. Probably, probably, yeah. Oh! Listening to this while I play Minecraft. Thank you Thanks for, for jumping and not dodging, you piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been doing that this whole time. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of vials. No, no calling the death. Oh, Jesus. I need to find him in the water. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Level design in Bloodborne is pretty impressive, though. <laughs> <laughs> the second oh. phase is so intense. Also, oh, cool. that didn't work. I know there are better weapons, there are better things to apply, there are better uh, levels I could get. I'm, I want to try and beat him with this build, if you will. I think this is a pretty good fight right now, I just need to get better at it. Get good. Yeah, I need to get good, it's the truth. Someone on Discord is telling me that I need to see uh, Rick and Morty. Yes, you do. Wait, someone sent you a Discord message just that they want you to see it? Interesting. Yeah, they said, um, let me get the, uh... Okay. Uh, please watch Rick and Morty. I'm so pickle sick of all the pickle dicks that think fans <laughs> of the show are bad because they said pickle Rick too much. <laughs> I've heard the fans are cancer, but the show is good. Hey, I'm a fan, right? You saying I'm cancer, right? No, I said I've heard. I've heard oh, thank that they goodness. are. You're so, like Gandalf talking about like the Gandalf killability. Said, they say. <laughs> it's not necessarily, yeah, it's just a whatever. Also, you know, I've been kind of reading out bits and bobs of the Super Chats from 103. We have, um, 10 left. Of 103. So 103 will finally be defeated. The people who right. donated money on 103 will finally have their questions answered in 10. Can you believe it? I'm not hearing enough. I love Matt now. Yeah. Matt. Right, I love how you're just chilling and exploring. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Fringy, where's that no, competitive no, spirit? Frames, please, frames, frames. <laughs> I say competitive spirit and instantly hear like banging on objects. In the distance. Well, I mean, that's when you know that the competitive spirit is alive and well. When yeah, when peripherals are being damaged and furniture is being butchered, battered. Oh, what? I died with, on the same attack like last it's time on this fair. face. <laughs> And that's when the game just goes down to five fucking frames, and you can't do any inputs. It's so okay, how fun. wasn't that a backstab? Can anyone in chat back me up on this when I sue the Orphan of Cost for this shit? Oh, I think somebody threw pet for one more time, and I got hit by a torch, and I was like, "Okay." 
want to do this fucking first phase. Over. Huh. Guess not. Ooh! Wait, a oh my 19 God. fire thingies. Do you guys ever, when playing a video game, sometimes, just for an instant, forget that it's a video game in that I dodged and his giant placenta or whatever was about to hit me, and for a moment it felt like I was about to be hit? <laughs> I was like, Dah! That's called immersion. Oh, yeah, I know. That's the. I just, but like for real, dude. Just for that instance for a second there, could have come right out of the screen, and I wouldn't even have thought it was that way. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought it was in that very instant, Fringy. God, listen. Yeah. Oh, Fringy, man. Can't even complete can't even Bloodborne. Win a Bloodborne race to the end zone. Hey, I just did phase one way better this time. I think I might be improving. I don't know. I don't want to call it. So I'll get way worse. There's no point using papers because I just I hit him very rarely in phase two. This is a long fight. Yeah, it is. Now that was a good move. That is worded very poorly. Nice. Have I ever? Have you guys ever played Paper Mario? No. I want to play Paper Mario in the Thousand Years War. In fact, that might be the answer to the question. The game is really good that you haven't played. I want to play Paper Mario. Oh my god. So much cool. I myself have not played Paper Mario. No, I played a Paper Mario. I played Super Paper Mario. No, I played Paper Mario. I played Paper Mario. That I hear is not as good as Paper Mario. Oh. Frames to real Bloodborne boss. Yeah, especially when... The second phase does his light attack, and there's just oh, like green what? all over the thing, or blue, whatever you want to say. I just fell into a pit with a bunch of rain. Oh, thanks for jumping again, instead of doing a dodge, that's my favorite part. Me. Stupid attack when he comes from the ceiling. Like sometimes you dodge forward and it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Like the timing on that is so inconsistent. Sometimes it stays up there for a while when you run away. No, 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 please, 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 no, I was doing so well. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Oh, wow. Did, oh. Uh. Yeah, if he hits you twice, that's GG with that oh. full health. I think this is an apt time for a coffee break. I'll be back in like a few moments. Just to win metal, it's easy. Now! Have you played the original <clears throat> Final Fantasy <clears throat> VII? Uh, no. No, I have not. Never no. all the way through. It's like one of those games that started like three times and never went through it. I don't know why. No particular reason, really. I have not played it myself. Hey, when are you watching Redacted by Order of a Pipplehead <sighs> anime girl who put a stapler and a knife in my mouth? That's a weird Excuse TV me, show name. It's interesting. I'm assuming it relates to anime. Somebody jumped forward and it worked. Pipple anime? Is weird. Is, is, isn't Theo's icon a Pipple anime girl? Pipplehead? Yeah. It's probably that one. Bum, 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 uh, bum, let's bum, go, bum. Mahler. You're our man. If you can't do it, Rags probs can. Oh, I'm pretty sure Rags would get pretty good at this game if he wanted to, but I'm not sure that he would consider the investment worthwhile. I'm not yeah, Bob I don't Art, think no. so. Let yeah, I, I think with as as good as I've gotten at like Mordhow and stuff like that, I could get really good at these games. I just I feel like I'm all right for how long I haven't played Bloodborne. Um, and I do like this game a lot, and there's lots I would praise about it, but there are also problems. Like, I consider it disastrous that the bosses I enjoy playing against in this game amount to about 5 out of the, like, 20 plus. That ain't good. Uh, wait, what just happened? Help. Oh, he was on the ceiling. I didn't even notice what happened. 
Oh, what is um, Are you looking forward to... Oh, um, what do you think of Gremlins? Why is the best Christmas film ever? I haven't seen Gremlins. Uh, are you looking forward to any upcoming games? Oh, cool. Thanks. Th God, man, Honestly, any false. games that I'm looking forward to, I'd have to be reminded that I'm looking forward to them. Nothing off the top of my head. The only one that I think of is uh, Dark Tide for me. Only one. Love when he flops around the floor and you get out of it <laughs> barely and then he just does a swing at the end. Like, no, you're not surviving. Fuck you. That's Ludwig. That's Ludwig. 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 Whoa. Boss, I'm being very mean. Wow, that probably wasn't a backstab. Also, holy shit, that's giving me a lot of health back. Is that normal? Oh, am I dead? I'm not dead. Oh, wow. wow. I think you like that, like, almost No. <laughs> Dude, I get so bad with blood vials, I just want to use them. Oh, I'm not too happy that that bullet missed. Because that's my character. All I can do is shoot gun. I can't aim. So if he misses, like that's kind of annoying. Ah, too early. I always dodge right. It's a serious problem I've got. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, thanks for the fucking stupid dash he does. <clears throat> oh, phase two. Alright, alright. <laughs> that phase two felt to me like Carlos was like, I guess I could do phase two, is that alright? I'm like, yeah. You did the dash again. Seems, seems about time. Oh, come on, dude. Just stop. Just stop. I, I get why people like it, but I just feel like it's a massive waste of my time. For the hours I sink into that and how little I get in return, it's just frustrating and it's not my thing. I do not like it. Every time I go back to it, thinking this time will be different, it ain't. Whoa. If they added a PvE mode, I'd probably play it with friends and they've said yeah, if they like if they added a a PvE then we would they would do co-op and stuff and I would too. But oh, I almost came over that again. It's actually insane. No, 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 what did you what did you? Fuck I exit. Oh this one is so moving bad. I want to fucking execute myself. <laughs> execute yourself, yeah, so I want to execute myself. I watched the 90s anime. Uh, I, I got through two episodes and I hated them both and I didn't want to watch another one. For a split second, I thought my heel was a square. Oh, what the? Along with spikes on it, really? <clears throat> oh. Oh no, I'm running out of files. Yeah, he's ace on the strategies here, how to get good at Morehouse. Yeah, yeah it's probably Morehouse, the same yeah. advice um, you would have for anything, right? Just practice. Though. I mean, yeah, like practice. Uh, I So, um, chamber feints work really well 
Uh, they take a lot of stamina to use, but they fool a lot of people. Um, if there is a singular skill to really pay attention to, it is learning the distances that good and just learning distances of your enemy's weapon and yours you can get a lot of people uh who swing too early at you that would probably be my i guess my starter advice maybe would be to um uh, learn how to punish people who swing too early and take advantage of them being open after they swing I just watched like uh Chad talking about just medieval warfare strategy, that might be uh that might be helpful. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, I don't think so at all. It's just you gotta it just being familiar with the game's mechanics. Um repetition, being familiar with you know what moves tend to work and fool people. Uh being familiar with the distances of your weapon and theirs. Um you know, being familiar with the like just just the control combinations and all the things you can do with feints and uh, parries and things of that nature. Uh, you know, learning not to do one thing too much and rely on it too much if it isn't working. Learning good positioning is really key too because if you're outnumbered, uh, you could be you could be easy to be killed if you're outnumbered. So. Learning not to stray too far from teammates. Uh, learning how to flank enemies and get them from behind. Um, things, uh, things like that. A lot of stuff goes into that. Probably a ton. Okay, so I nearly just died. That was terrifying. For Hellblade 2. That was no, I'm, perfectly I'm never, timed. I'm never excited about sequels anymore. <laughs> You upset? No, I just did amazing. That oh, fucking timing oh, on that okay. that backstab was phenomenal, and I win. <laughs> Sorry, that. Oh yeah, boy, boy. No, you now fucking yeah. Space, you going? That um, that is still my favorite fight in all of Soulsborne. I love Cos. Orphan of Cos is so much fun. Yeah, I want to fight Cos and not fucking shit. Boss. Yeah, I'm very glad. I know that he I... beat Cos. Stop writing in my shit, you fucks. <laughs> 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 this is the bloodborne equivalent of dabbing. I'm not. I briefly talked down. about Berserk and how I didn't like it, and I could only stand two episodes of that fucking show before I just. I think I just got hit by a cannonball that nearly took out all my health. Okay. I clapped when Mola beat cause her. Right, calm down. <laughs> well, this was fan service. <laughs> 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 While our beating Koss was fan service, what? Look, my character is dabbing. He's not he's very good at it. <laughs> he struggles. No, he's, like, why he's, did he he's, jump? He's almost not doing it at all. One might say, he's hey. more like just doing his hand in the air and his. All hand he knows inside. is killing beasts. He doesn't know what dabbing is. So yeah, so all you need to do is beat German or whatever his name is, and then you win, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm probably gonna. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just chill out for a little bit. I, mean, I like this image. Fair enough. I'll watch you guys play because uh, I want. I want to wind just down a sack from cost. That was a stressful fight. And Maria. This boss fight legit doesn't want me want to play the game. Like this is probably <laughs> the worst fucking fight. You could go fob a bit, game. I guess. Oh, what the? Oh. What um? How much health have you got? My 40? damage is fine. Yeah, I have forty. Like my well, damage I mean, is fine. He just flops around too much. You can pump it to. <laughs> 50. It's not like it's not. It's not like it doesn't do anything. Like, the, yeah, I know. I, I mean, I know I could, but man, is there a way to see how many vials I've got left? Is there gonna be more how footage in the Mando review? Probably not. I'm gonna try to avoid video game footage unless it's relevant. There might be oh a bit of Halo footage. What if you uh, had like Bounty Hunter from that Star Wars Bounty Hunter game? That could that could work. Yeah, I ain't Game playing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's... Yeah, I'm not going to get the emulator set up. And then <laughs> Why is this now? Downloaded and then what play it. Yeah, I'm just not going to... Fair gonna. enough. I, I've got plenty of stuff to use in its place. Um, uh, but, yeah, if they're relevant, sure. But I'm going to try to avoid just random gameplay footage if I can. Uh, so none of the Berserk adaptations <clears throat> are very good. People just like the 97 one because it's the best of the lot. Yeah, that's the one I tried. I fucking hated it. Um, 
What's a bad game you love, and what's a good game you hate? Um, there's a lot of GameCube games I love, despite thinking they're kind of... <laughs> I kind of really like Third Age, even though it's shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I yeah, enjoy I yeah. messing around with it. It makes me laugh with all of the crazy moves you could do to crazy damage, that suddenly a goblin will insta-kill you or something, you're just like, what? <laughs> as long as you don't lose like, too much oh, progress, okay. it could be endearing. And then all the references, it's really easy to fall into like, yay, I'm I'm Lord of the rings -ing. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. Um... I can believe it. Oh, you know what oh. DS2 has over Bloodborne and all the rest of the games is you can put, like, bone dust or whatever on the nearest... What What did I get stuck on? What, what did I get stuck on, game? <laughs> please tell me. Just please tell me. Why my character just slowed down for no fucking reason at all? God, oh, this fight, You should dude. use Dark Forces gameplay so you can fight Dark Troopers. <laughs> um... It's sort of for a good while in the second phase you didn't even use uh, a blood vial. It's like, yeah, I was being really careful. I was like trying to only attack where I thought there was opportunities. I fucked up a little at the end, then I actually did one of like my best moments at the end there. I totally took a risk, but I thought it was fun, and it worked. Mola save metal. We're in different worlds. We're in different worlds. But uh, what I was going to say is in Dark Souls 2 you can... Basically, like, prestige portions of the game. The only way in the Souls universe you can do New Game Plus and fight all the bosses again, right? But in DS2 you could push areas or bosses to the next level, so, like, it would be really neat in Bloodborne if I could push Cause to, like, level 2, you know, and fight him again. But I can't um, do that. It no late, So Rag doesn't like Berserk, but thinks... Dragon Age 2 is a good game. What's the tier below Normie? So, <laughs> the Berserk anime that I watched, it was really dumb. It was it was just dumb, is my best way to describe it. It was stupid. Um, I felt no investment in anything. I felt like anything that I saw didn't actually matter. Um, it was The dialogue was annoying. Everything was just, about it was just dumb and annoying. So I stopped watching it. And if you like it, that's fair enough. It's your thing. It's not mine. Um, things D Dragon Age 2 is a good game. If I had to put a number on it, and this is based off of probably literally like decade old plus memory, um, I'd pr if five is average, I'd probably give it like a six. For what now, sorry? So, Dragon Age, uh, Dragon Age 2. Fair enough. Yeah, I I'd say it's a little bit better than average. Um, so it's on the good side. But I don't think it's like amazing or anything. Stop! Mm -hmm. So, Stop it, Ron. Stop. Stop. Make sure to grab the shortcut up here on the right. Thanks for the heads up. There we go, stupid Ludwig piece of shit. Oh, you got him? Uh, Rack, do you have yeah, him? he did a little shenanigans in the oh, second phase. Yeah. He just did the he did the slash slash attack like four times in a row right after I healed. It was kind of annoying. But well then, living failure is next for you, Metal. Yeah, more shitty bosses. Hey, I like the Living Failures. Oh, I, awesome. I actually think they're one of the best sort of multi-people bosses that there is, and that might just be a really good experience this time around, but, um... Easy first try. Yeah, first try, obviously. Albert Freddy, thanks for the five gifted soups. Epically. Ludendorff. Now I need to farm blood vials. Ludwig Dorf, enough. Hello there, lads. Uh, Takes on the Cornetto Trilogy. Since Bungie broke from Activision. No. I do not. I have no enough. thoughts about Destiny 2 since the review. I haven't played it since the review or my yeah, video on it. Yeah, neither do I. I don't have any yeah. additional Which is currently where Cyberpunk sits, too. <laughs> if you call what we did on the stream yeah. a review, yeah, I think not you can. Cyberpunk, I've, the... not, I've basically not played it at all since uh, then. I've uh, just been doing Crash and this. Um, what do you think of Dragon's Dogma? I haven't played it yet. Um... It's okay if you yeah, don't like Berserk Rags, you're just literally wrong. Well, if the two episodes I saw are representative of the rest of it, then, like, you have fucking bizarre-ass tastes if you like that. Some of those stupid nonsense I've ever seen in anything, but hey, if you like it, yeah, you can like it, I guess. Um, Berserk stops right where it gets, gets interesting. That's the problem I have with it. <laughs> yeah. And as for the Cornetto <laughs> trilogy, uh, Shaun of the Dead's amazing, Hot Fuzz is amazing, and World's End is, is pretty good. Pretty great. Right, I think, yeah. Need to watch them again. Um, I haven't watched them since last time we watched them all three. Mm hmm. Let's see. Uh, what do you think about Dragon Age Inquisition? I haven't played uh, it. 
I hear good things about Inquisition, but yeah. I have to pee. I'll be right back. So no, not for 2016. As I've said, it's the I think it's the 97 anime is the one I watched, which is, which I've heard is the good one, the good show. But I constantly also hear it's not it, that the manga is the only thing that's good. It's not the show at all. And also, a lot of people say the show is trash, and a lot of people also say, oh, then you have shit taste then. So it's like, yeah, well, I just... Don't... Yeah, thanks. Yeah, That's very helpful. <laughs> Why would they want to help someone with shit taste? <coughs> no, true. Rags and Mahler, you should do a stream with Smudboy talking about world building in Mass Effect and Dragon Age. There's no point in me being there. <laughs> yeah, you don't know shit about Mass Effect. Most be like, yay. Um... The World's End is personally my favorite of the trilogy. Can't wait for The Last of Us 2 Unbridled Rage. Joel and Ellie deserve a better continuation. Agreed. It's on the way. And that's your favorite? That's fair as far as I'm concerned? I think there's plenty of reason to love that one. I think one. it's fair to pick any any one of them, especially if you, like, the actual, you know, sort of the core of the story gets to you. Yeah, I, I quite like a lot of it. Uh, a, lot of what it a lot of what it's king. doing. You're fucking king. I would have followed you to the end. I fucking, fucking have. <laughs> Stop following me. Uh, for me, Sonic Heroes is like SMSS to you. So just max out red first and simply spam attack combos after Sonic Tornadoes that blocks most physical attacks. Oh my god. Remember when I played Sonic Heroes? Um, so I'm fighting these weird yeah, brain yeah. blue brain tumor guys. I don't know what that that those are like. Hello. Hello, Mel. How do you do? Uh, Rags, do you have any video plans after Mando? Yes, I do. Also, uh, Mifu, you can still beat uh, Kanehurst and uh, the I don't know, second Amelia fight, whatever the name of that one is. Kang Those still exist. Oh, do you mean the second? Um, he's a he's a clone <laughs> of Cleric Beast, right? Yeah. He's like he's like Cleric Those... Beast, but on fire with some different moves, I believe. Yeah. Well, first yeah, things yeah. first is getting the invitation to. Kanehurst, and I can't remember how I do that. Uh, you need to go like behind where you started. I don't remember the <clears throat> the path though. Hmm. What is your opinion on the initial Mass Effect Three ending? It's fucking horrendous. That's it was awful. Insulting. Yeah. It was shocking. It was like, it's 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 probably, probably busy, Julius. Like it was Game of Thrones season eight before Game of Thrones was a thing. <laughs> like it just I mean, killed. Yeah. So much of it, it made it hard to like Mass Effect. I would you knew say it would that it is an ending that. that, um, because a lot of people are, oh, it's really good up until the end. It's like, yeah, but I was really in it for the ending, and like, yeah, man. but the ending is a very important thing. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, it is a good uh, game, but fuck yeah. that ending. Like, hey, which explosion words. do you want, blue or <laughs> green or red? So it's many really choices. Depressing. It's so fucking depressing. Well, yeah, the ending of, and what all the implications of, the, of it. When you say it's, it's um, one of the all that shit you loved about the Mass Effect world, yeah, kiss him fucking goodbye. And you're like, oh, well like, that's shit. Maybe I lack the proper context, but you know. So, at well, the end of uh, Mass Effect Three. So oh, well, no, I mean, no, he'll play. He'll play Mass Effect. All I want, I'm after is broad stuff. So like with Game of Thrones season eight, there's no writing that wasn't. Just, like everything is terrible. It destroyed all the characters. The plot made no sense. The <clears> world was beaten to hell, and the whole theme of the entire show was completely buckled in on itself. So, um, I think those are all accurate descriptions of what the ending of um, because what the ending of Mass Effect Three tells us is the main threat doesn't make sense. Like it, it's a it's a contradiction. It's it's um it's it makes no sense at all. So the main antagonist no longer makes sense. The idea of choice is totally stripped away from you. You don't have a real choice. Which is completely contrary to, um, you know, basically what Mass Effect tells you that, and and also the idea of like, um, it betrays one of the core yes. messages of Mass Effect. One of the core messages of the game is that our differences are that our differences are like the things that make us unique when we work together. Like our differences are important. Um, and then the end of the game presents the option of like, no, your differences aren't meaningful. Um, get rid of them. <laughs> it's kind of. It's oh, insane. Cool. Oh, and also, what happens to your characters? It's it's a total like yeah, no like you all. feel sick. It made it made me feel kind of sick. Like all these characters I loved and I really really liked, it it just destroys the world in not mm -hmm. in a literal way, but everything you loved about the Mass Effect universe was just 
like it just fucked everything. <laughs> yes, it did. Nobody. It was so bad. Nobody I remember when safe. it came out. It was a fucking travesty when it came out. And it just, it was, it just, ugh, it was so depressing. It made, it made you feel sick. The <laughs> ending really did make you feel sick because you got to the end, and that was it. And the credits were rolling, and you're like, "What the fuck? I can't believe <clears throat> that is it. Like that's the end." There's no more. This is it. That's the ending. Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds really lame. However, the... Um, Andromeda the came out and made everything better. <laughs> Andromeda was like, let's get the fuck away from all of this. And now they're doing Mass Effect 4. I'm not sure if you saw the trailer, but there is going to be a Mass Effect nah. with, like, Tali and Garrus and stuff. All right. Yeah, I know. It feels like you're just yeah. digging up the grave to parade yeah, it just around. Like Star Wars, yeah. Like... Wheeling out the corpse of Mass Effect and pretending it's all okay. Hmm. <laughs> Look, wave! <laughs> and then you put your hand there and just <laughs> start waving on its behalf. Fringy you... and Rags, you are smoking 600-year-old crack. Sweet. Oh, that's old, I feel that's like that's aged to perfection, boy. probably. <laughs> Did you know that one of the tracks in Wonder Woman's soundtrack is named Ludendorff enough? <laughs> really? <laughs> that is hilarious, and I am so glad that you let us know. Hold on, let me, let me a bit. look that It's up. just like a Probably fucking didn't. dubstep remix of him being like, Lud, 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 Nav, 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 Nav. <laughs> Wonder Woman, Ludendorff enough. <laughs> Ludendorff enough. Ludendorff enough. Yes, it, you're right, it is. It's that's, seven that's, minutes long. What? It, Ooh. I'm sure it's yeah. an action-packed theme. I just I just find it amusing that they would name it that. You know, it's funny how that works. Like, this movie's been out for a million years, and I'm sure when I first watched it, I didn't care that he delivered that line that way. But this time around, oh, we cared so much. <laughs> Fucking burst yeah. out laughing. And it's, it's, it's not... Just so not just how he says it, but how long there is between him saying it and just anything else happening. It's just silence. He's like, Lord and yeah. enough! <laughs> it's, it's very <laughs> awkward, isn't it? That EFAP movies, it's honestly, it's getting close. Could even be a couple of days. It's gonna be, um, uh, my end is a, an hour and a half, Das Bullshits is an hour and 40 to 50 minutes, so. Over a three hour one, EFAP movies. One? Yeah, that's the combo. Right. Oh, what I'm saying is that what he did. Yeah, yeah. Um, All right. You showed me a sneak peek of you reacting to uh, to the to the to the rape, and he's done a little right. animation. I not playing Dark Souls it's three, like, so the button for the jump was the wrong one. Fuck I've been me. I've been quite disappointed seeing people reacting to that whole thing on uh on like the internet. You got a lot of people like, "What's the big deal?" It's like, "All right, if it happened to you, you would you would think it was a big deal," but. I'm I'm happy that a lot of people do consider it a big deal. The people who don't, I'm just like, you need to fucking wake up. I think that's as simple yeah. as that. Uh, can you um, ask Rex which R ending is worse, Mass Effect Three or Hill House? Uh, probably Mass Effect Three from what you described. Mass Effect Three, probably yeah. Mass Effect Three. At least Hill House only affects like a, one House family. <laughs> Yeah. Mass Effect like destroys the whole kind of like universe it's in. It's fucking horrible. It's the yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, any games you wish got a modern sequel? Mine is Dragon's Dogma. Uh, but uh, that was his. The asker said Dragon's Dogma. <sighs> a modern sequel? Um, maybe Bait and Kato's Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean. Um. I would like to see a modern uh, I, uh, dude, version of that. They made like a good sequel that was mechanically sound and just as referential and respectful as Simpsons Hit and Run. I'd take a Simpsons Hit and Run too. Be fucking cool. Also, Bloodborne uh, 2. Gimme. I like the idea of a Jack 4, but I don't want Naughty Dog to make it, so. Hmm. I really don't. What if I make They'll it? They'll have a scene where, like, where, like, Core comes back to life. No, not Core. Uh, where they bring Crew back to life and he beats Daxter to death with a golf club. And then a very angsty <laughs> Jack is going to go on a revenge adventure until he realizes, oh, it's not worth it. It lets him go. 
<laughs> just gonna need that flashback. Just only make the same game from now on with the same story over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Nathan Drake gets his head bashed in, and Elena goes on an adventure to get him, and then realizes it's not worth it. Fuck you, Gretling Grandpa. Oh, it's progressing. I knew it. Oh, it's Let's see. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck that. Yeet. Ooh. How many umbilical cords do I need? It's three, right? Yeah. Three. Yeah, three. I've got two. I'm not even sure what the where the third one is, but um, all right, maybe uh, we'll do where you get to dwell, the, the the hidden tool is... shop, like the hunter's dream place, but then the no normal world, real oh, world, in... whatever oh, you want to call it. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know what that is too. Um, does that mean yeah, I can't fight German? You have to... Oh, you can't fight German. Uh, you need the umbilical cords to fight the moon presence. I want to fight German though. He's way better than the moon presence. Well, you fight German first, and then oh, you okay. fight Moon Presence. Never mind, that's fine then. <laughs> uh, right, your favorite scene in Mass Effect? Um, uh, it's a spoiler. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I'll, to, to be, it's a... Uh, Do the meme. It, Do the meme. No, because that kind of already has... It's when a, it's when a scientist... It, it involves a certain scientist in a tower in the oh. third game. Uh, see, my my favorite scene is I'm Garrus Macarian, and this is my favorite spot on the Citadel. Yeah, that's um, good. But I think I think, I think I, yeah, that one's think... a good choice. Um, yeah, I uh, that one I uh, I I that one got tears out of me. Fucking I, uh, uh, that, oof! What a great because they start that in the second game. Yeah. That... Why can't I pick up the Yusufka's blood vial chat? What am I missing? And Morden does not have like stupid idiotic responses. Like he's written really well. So that is a yeah. really good pick. I, I also am a big I written well, doesn't make me happy, but the uh the 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 ending of um that's the quarry and geth one, depending on whether or not you have the option to like if you if you can't do both the sad ending. Oh, I've already uh, got one. Seemed, like, what are your favorite Mass Effect characters? Uh, Garrus. No uh, question. Morden. And Morden's probably second place. Um, yeah. I, think I really like Rex. I really like Rex. Oh um, yeah, when it comes to coolest, it's fucking Rex. Or not Rex, is the fucking badass. I, I just, uh, I think, again, another one of my favorite scenes is in Mass Effect 2 when you meet Rex again and he's like, Oh, Shepard! And then just runs over to you and starts shaking your hand because he's just yeah. so happy to see. He's the only person, except for Garrus, in the old cast who's, like, ecstatic to see you. It's, it's really nice because, you know, Ashley is all pissy about it. And, like, and he's just thrilled. He's like, Shepard's back. Yeah, he has every reason to be happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Garrus, especially with how you, you know, come across him. Yeah. Holly is... It's, or, sorry, Liara is, I don't think that, she reacts, like, apathetically, which is really strange. Yeah. Um, oh, or maybe I'm just misremembering it quite a bit, um, because I know Oh, shit, they went Liara, through. Um, I expect that to happen. Uh, Ilium, another name for Troy, by the way. Ow, um, oh my god, that was a lot of damage. I think I, uh... <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. I think my... Someone said, who is best girl rags? If we're talking Mass Effect, then it's... Tally. Uh, Tally, yeah. Yeah. Then you probably... Liara's is kind of, like... Eh, eh, Liara's was... okay. Mm. And, uh, unfortunately, the human ones, except for Jack, tend to be a little bit boring. <gasps> yeah. Like, Miranda isn't as interesting as Jack or Tally. None of them are bad. They're there just, aren't really bad characters. Yeah, none of them effect. are bad. It's just, yeah, the the, mem the there is definitely the the C tier, which is like Caden, Jacob, Jacob, Ashley, uh, yeah, Miranda. Whereas like um, the S tier is <clears throat> Garrus, Tally, Morden, uh, Thane, Legion. Sorry, was they it all seem to either be one or the other? <laughs> yeah, well, well, because if I'm thinking of like mid tier, it's like. Grunt, but like I like Grunt. Yeah, Grunt's really interesting. Yeah. In his, yeah, he, Grunt's pretty interesting. He That's seems really I mean. appropriate Which for what he is and how they sort of. Um, you know, I guess what would what would another one? Uh, what about Samara? Oh yeah, Samara's right. Samara, B tier probably. Yeah. Samara, yeah, Samara's not bad. That's the thing. Oh fuck. Uh, no. She's probably I'll probably put her B tier. 
And uh, wait, what? Wait, what? Which what one hit that, me? That, uh, that, that oh, it was like the last Mexican pixel of AOE or some shit. Oh, that's Mass stupid. Jaden Alenko? No, the, uh, oh, no, in the no, third one? No. Oh, yeah. yeah, everyone fucking forgets his ass. Yeah, so he's like in the middle. Yeah, like, oh, he might, I might, I might, I even, I can't even remember enough I about him. I can't remember him his name. Even <laughs> oh, we need three. Yeah, uh, makes sense. He's just like soldier dude, man. Mm hmm. Uh. Did you, who did you choose between Ashley and Caden? All right, well, like I said, I didn't play the first one, so what I did was I played that motion comic that they put in Mass Effect 2 for, like, PS3. Oh, yeah. And I think I picked Ashley. I think I did, too. I Most think Ashley is a little bit more than, better than Caden, I think. Probably because I can't remember anything about fucking Caden Alenko. Uh, but I think I chose Ashley. Uh, well, I think it's just the standard thing of people, guys tend to choose the chick, like, <laughs> save the... No, I think yeah. she's just a little bit better of a character, and uh, another thing about it too is that you can mm. romance one or the other, so that will determine which or one. Or Liara, can. yeah, which I did. Um, or Liara. Oh yeah, you could. Yeah, but if you you know romance, that was one of the options. Um, well, the thing is, is what I did was I did Liara, and then in Mass Effect Two, I did nobody, and so you get the biggest payoff in Mass Effect Three because you didn't cheat, so to speak. Like if if you don't if you don't then that that earns you like different lines of dialogue. I remember that being the case, and of course you know if you don't do anybody in the first one, and then you uh pick whoever in two. Look upon the god of Bloodborne. Uh, let's see. Uh, how no, you're just you mocking me because uh, that that you? outfit was my strategy to win. <laughs> <laughs> to get a head start. Damn. Look, look what I'm doing now. Look what happened. Look how they massacred my boy. Uh, what did <clears throat> how what did you think of how they dealt with the elusive man in Mass Effect Three? I thought it was pretty disappointing, to be honest with you. I yeah, so I can't even like really remember. Um, he was basically indoctrinated people, by right? the uh, the Reapers. Um, oh, I, can't yeah. remember, I can't remember what his goal was. Um. And it's a and shame because the, guy with the sword, the, yeah. Asian, the space Asian ninja man. Yeah, and that felt really stupid to me. Like as yeah. a threat, I don't really care that there's some dude with a sword that's. In... But then again, there were things about Mass Effect Three that were <laughs> stupid. Like, oh, look at oh, yeah. what is this? It's an Omni Blade. It's like this is dumb. Uh, okay. Wait, wait. I hit him like seven or eight times, and he didn't die. I thought they died to like seven hits at least last time. Don't hate on Omni Blade. <laughs> They're really cool. It's actually, xenophobia that she eventually gets over is like it's totally well informed. It's not like super interesting or complex, but it's like yeah, I totally understand why you kind of have a thing against aliens. Much like you understand Mando having issues with droids. Oh yeah, that's very. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys still dislike Doom Eternal? I never had an opinion on it. I don't think. I don't. I never disliked it. <clears throat> All right then. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. How many times do I have to? Uh... <laughs> well, why why did you hate it, Rags? Let me know. I'm curious. Why did you despise that oh, game? Like... Oh, because I don't like guns and loud noises scare me, and I think that demons are a are a, are a minority that needs to be protected and valued, and diversity is our strength. Yeah. Uh, most choice in the Mass Effect series. Um. Mm, Say what? The most interesting choice in Mass Effect. <clears throat> hmm. Part of the problem is, like, I have pretty strong opinions on a lot. So, like, for instance, in the Geth decision, I don't think it's any contest which side you should pick. Like, it's yeah. Geth 100% of the way. Um... Or maybe this is... It's funny, I say that and I'm like, wait a minute, maybe Rex disagrees. It's like, no, you should pick the Geth yeah, one. Clearly, yeah. That's it's pretty so clear. Terminate. And they didn't start the war, so... And and if and if the... You know, if the Quarians aren't it... <sighs> fucking stupid... Fucking thing. Um, like, yeah, so... That one is... I like that choice, but it's a very obvious choice. And it's like... Save the, uh, Citadel Council versus not... That one's kind of annoying, because it's like, there is a rationale to not saving the council. It's like, well, we're going to throw away a bunch of lives just to save this fleet. Is it really worth it? 
Yeah. Uh, but the, uh, the game treats it like if you don't save them, you're monsters. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, I, I usually do because oh, yeah, you know, I, yeah, they I are, do. you know, very important, prominent politicians and, you know, they represent a lot of stuff and mm -hmm. it, it's, it's more than just, you know, simple lives against lives, but. Ow. Um, oh, you, God damn it. I think it might be. How does the, this happen to me all the time? <laughs> did you, did you see that? I, I, I didn't, I just. I'm appreciating. The fucking guy headbutt. The one guy headbutted me. Then the, one of the big balls came flying, hit me, and then a second one came right after that and hit me again, and I died instantly. Yeah, I had that happen. Uh, twice, I think. Oh, that's one of the ones I was telling you about. Oh yeah. They're a fun one. <clears throat> oh yeah. It might be Mass Effect Two, like when, like what to do with the research data, the Morden loyalty mission. Hmm. <clears throat> I can't remember that one, um, quite clearly. Feels Swift. good, I'm man, like coming back to areas that were annoying once and you're just super OP now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Killing that enemy in one go, jeez. Which um, game have the better Mass Effect or Halo? Um, the well, what? Mass Effect you spend a lot of time with aliens learning their culture and have them as squad mates more often and talk to them as more deeply, you know, oh, I was on the thing. Here, so I feel like it's not even fair. Yeah, I don't think it's yeah, it's not quite even. Like if I if there was a, a, a Halo game where I played as an elite and was really steeped in the whole Covenant or Sankili culture, I'd be able yeah. to decide. But um as it stands now it's not quite I don't have enough information to really say. So I guess Mass Effect, but that's just almost by default. Yeah, I think, yeah, basically. Oh, the same what the fuck was that damage? Holy shit. Just, oh, got to, just... just got to the TCW hot take. Can Theo who was on EFAP be Theo who won't be on EFAP? Thank you. Hello, Raggers. Hello. We welcome Theo's hot takes. They amuse. Yeah. Also, I trust his hot takes. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club is labeled as psychological horror on Steam. Perfect for October, I say. Character, if you do what play. the fuck are you doing? Oh. I'm, I want to sleep or something. Make sure you go in spoiler free. Maybe we'll play it one day. Who knows? Um, well, then oh, shit. tell us that it's the psychological horror on Steam if you want us to go into it spoiler free. <laughs> yeah, you ruined it. So, like, uh,. Hey guys, I'm Indie Game Dev, and I was thinking about making an EFAP video game in my free time. What genre would you want it to be? Side scroller beat 'em up, or fighting game, or something else? Um, I feel like that should be your choice. Yeah, dealer's choice, honestly. Whatever you feel yeah, most comfortable man. with. An EFAP fighting uh, game would be great. Okay, right? those have came like through the thing. Uh, what do you say, Frankie? An EFAP fighting game would be interesting if you could, you know, if each, you know, character or recurring guest was a fighter. Yeah, I would expect I have, like, Mr. Fantastic level moves. My hand's, like, flinging around. <laughs> I wonder what... I wonder you what you would throw potions at people just because you're a plague doctor. Yeah, probably, right? I figure that might be the case, yeah. Like, make make me, like, Deathstroke in an Injustice, alright? <laughs> Nobody would want to play against me. And Sh Shad like would be it. easy to put in there. Rags would be interesting. Yeah. I wonder if they do rags like Sif. Ooh. You could do rags like Sable Wolf like from uh, sure. Killer Instinct, maybe? Yeah, rags could just be a big-ass werewolf, too. Like, or maybe yeah. that's his ultimate. Yeah, like, uh, I have two modes. Like, where normally I'm just- I am just simply mild-mannered rags. However, I can transform into a were-sheeb. And... Then again, shouldn't Wolf be the wolf character? <clears throat> Um, wolf, I'm not a wolf character. Why you can't you have more than one werewolf? I don't know. Makes sense to have two. I mean, I have got, I've, make me like Jet Force Gemini, doggo, where I'm a... Uh, oh, I guess, with the guns yeah. on the back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so many on the past. different possibilities. Or, or make, me, uh, like me, make me a support character, where I like, heal and revive and stuff like that. And, and a sing fighting songs. game? <laughs> oh, and a fighting game? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, if there's no one to support, yeah, that'd be. You know, oh yeah, what if it, what a game be? like um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, where it's the same thing we were all just talking about, but then you could have different like Rags could be that type of character. That'd be fun support character. I like this idea. I like this idea. Or make me, if you can't find out how to make me work in the gameplay itself, then have me be like almost like an announcer or MC. How's none of them died yet? And that, that's assuming that you went the fighting game route. What was the other one that he suggested, potentially? Oh, um... Side scroll beat em up? Side scroll beat em up would be an interest- like if, if it was a Streets of Rage type of thing, <laughs> where you had like, just likeable characters. Yeah, you know? I think that could- well, I guess you this is why we're like, all of one. these can work, go for it. Do whatever you I want to do. I feel like a lot of these- whatever- whatever genre that has an emphasis on characters, yeah. I mean, I feel like you could all- you could push all of them in that way, right? You can do like a tactical RPG or something as well, like a Fire Emblem. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about XCOM hey. kind of thing. Mortal Kombat style, but with EFAP members and like the fatalities. Like Shad just calls an army of swords that just penetrate over and over again well, every way. You know, and if he had like a friendship, it would be a spaghetti bolognese bowl running up to him with like little legs <laughs> <laughs> dancing. <laughs> so much potential. Because yeah. I'm like the gun guy. So, if you're you gonna have to be a gun guy, yeah. Oh, yeah. Focus. Focus. So, have me well, you, like, but with an raccoon. AR. Oh, okay. And stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then that way, Wolf could be, like, the Saber Wolf mm. kind of character. Yeah, he, he goes, yeah, he's, like, he's known for his rage and stuff like that. So, make him the werewolf character. I like what the would, uh... metal would be, like, his ultimate brings in Shaley, who kills people or something. <laughs> <laughs> He, that's just how he moves around. He's always sitting down. He's always on the chair, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> what would the, like, what would the uh, X ray move or whatever be? <laughs> For metal? For anybody. <laughs> just anybody. I feel like Fatality is more interesting than X rays. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess, like, I feel like my Fatality. Like metal could be cry with no. so hard that he fills the screen and they drown, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like just it being no or something, some kind of no related no, thing. The head explodes. <laughs> what, like Sindel, just scream no and then you <laughs> collapse, blood shoots out of your ears. Yeah. Uh, hi, Mola, now. looking forward to the next Unbridled Rage. It is on the way. Things, mo w wheels are spinning, as they do. And, uh, not gonna lie, if I saw Quentin outside my door, I'm chambering around. That's the last one for me, Fuck 103. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Hey man, better to be safe than sorry, right? What if Quentin attacks would you? Be, would that be video where John Wick dies and the dog kills everyone? Yeah, that's the backstory. This reverse John Wick. <laughs> Rags as human was murdered unjustly, horrifyingly, with many a sadness. Also, your car was broken into slash stolen. <clears throat> It's time you fight back. So I have no idea where I'm actually supposed to go in this area. I'm kind of just wondering. I feel like at this point I can take my time a little. Wow. I mean, Mel hasn't even beat Maria. <laughs> I haven't even beaten whatever the next one is after the fifth one I did, the witches. Wow, this place is filled with women screaming at me. I don't like how, you know, relatable this is. Hello, <laughs> Yeet! <clears throat> you should watch Under the Mayor's It's a really bad video. Yeah, with a title like that, I can imagine it's probably pretty trash. <laughs> Man, my dress is not looking... Oof. What are your thoughts on the suicide missions mechanics in Mass Effect 2? They're fine, but I feel like they could be a whole lot better. Well, just the fact that if you do the loyalty mission, they like you, they won't die, basically. And as long as yeah, you yeah, don't just... put people in the worst possible jobs, they'll be fine. Yeah. Um, I feel like what they should do is for... Uh, I don't know, I'd have to think about it, but I just don't really Dude, think- Dude, stop spamming this attack! 
I do find it really annoying that there's a scene where you have to choose between uh, Miranda and Jack, and whoever you pick the side against will die no matter what. It's really stupid. No, you can have everyone survive. Um, no, what I'm saying is, like, if you do that mission and you haven't got enough Paragon to, like, defuse it, or enough Renegade to defuse it, then they- one of them's gonna die, because one of them will become neutral. Oh. Um, stop being yeah, so aggressive, really you noobs. I- yeah. Because I remember I was replaying it after I already figured this out, and, um, and I forgot to- I forgot to save, so my last checkpoint was, like, several hours ahead of that, and, um, yeah, that was not a fun time. Because it's, it's, it's straight after Jack's loyalty mission, so, um, yeah, before you do that, save. Because if you don't have enough Paragon, then one of them's dying. <laughs> yeah, and I don't like the fact that those are skills you have to put points into. Oh, he just fucking did his attack yeah. right- That's fucking shit, dude. Fuck you. Rags, do you punch the reporter on the city? Like, I hit him twice and just was like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Even though none of the other ones did that before. Just fuck off. Let's see. Uh, Rags, I <sighs> no. Oh. Uh, what was read out? Oh, the top upgraded to max? Oh, fantastic. I'm out of fucking blood vials. Just what? fucking kill me. What about max? Sorry? Is Mahler's weapon upgraded to max? As far as I know, yeah. I use the blood rock. I think that's the last thing you do. Yeah, that's max. Oh my god. God, stop it! It's my- the reason I don't deal as much damage as you'd think is because my points are mainly in health. Uh, Rags, what are your thoughts on the Paragon Renegade system? I don't like it. Yep. It- I think it's done- I think it's almost like a system that shouldn't be a system. They should- the- the writing should be the challenge. Like, if the writing is really good, and they give you tough decisions, that should be the mechanic. Yeah. Not, did you put enough points into your Paragon so that you could say the thing you want to say? Yeah, in which case it just heavily incentivizes always picking Paragon every time, so you yeah. have to... Because, like, oh, you didn't put enough points in Paragon, Rex is dead now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Fucking shit. Uh, oh. Okay, and then you restart your game. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah. When in, in and when I think about like the Fallout RPG system in terms of like karma, uh, that's I think it's a little better, but that's mostly tied to the results of it, not to like you don't lose a beloved squad mate if your karma isn't high enough, you know? Yeah. It has less impact on, you know, a lot of stuff. Um, so like, my brain is melting, and we've been going for a uh, hour, so, uh... <laughs> are you throwing in the tower? Well, I mean, I already lost anyway. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's... Hey, I haven't been German, so the fight is still going. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Rags, like, do you think morality should be quantified as good and bad in any game? Ideally, no. Morality is too complicated to try and distill to a number. Um, it, 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 uh, there's just realistic consequences to your decisions, and the people in the game should have a certain view of you based on the things that you say and do. Because perceived morality is far more important than actual morality. In terms I think of like that's the, uh, the the good thing about choice in games is usually that it's the the, the what you think about the choice and the, the pondering that you have and what it says about you is a lot more meaningful than the consequence of the choice. And hey. I think a lot of that is lost if the game says this is the good one and this is the bad one. You should play Soma, so. Fringy. I play I should. I know, I know I should play Soma. I know, but I got a lot of... I got Cuck. A Oof. My Crash Bandicoot 4 so video. You're around on Bloodborne when you could be playing Soma. Yeah. The fuck? Oh, let me just play Ugh. Bloodborne for seven. You could have completed Soma. If you hurry, yeah. This was your idea, alright? Oh, it's my idea. So you have no spine. We'd spend eight hours here with you again. Oh, thanks. I don't know if I would. <laughs> it it kind of is surprising game. that we've been here for eight hours, I didn't realize. Yeah, time flies when you're not having fun. <laughs> I was but having I, fun. Metal, you were having fun, right? 
I mean, yeah, I'm just still annoyed that the race was over so quickly. That's that's my only gripe. <laughs> like, I'm really annoyed by this. It was it stopped being competitive so long ago. <laughs> I got no chance. It, it's weird. It, it's it feels like I've been on an adventure in this game, but it really hasn't been that long at all. Well, I mean, eight hours is long, right? Oh, I mean, it's long, but for a game like this, you feel like you'd, uh... Feels like I've ch the scenery has changed so much. I feel like that's one of the things that these games do really well. Things that feels like a really strong progression. Yeah. Alright, uh, okay, someone says, um... He's asked us a bunch. The hitbox of them fuckers Joy is kind of wonky. Games, but what does that mean for the quality of games lacking narrative choice like Ratchet and Clank and Crash Bandicoot? Well, Wait, what? Choice is important in games with choice. I, I, I swear, if we're talking about narrative choice, yeah. yes. But Quite like, if games a game doesn't have to have narrative choice if it doesn't want to. If it wants to tell a story that is, this is what happened. There's yeah, it's like wrong with that. Important thing in video games. What about games that don't have guns? Kind of, like not all games need it. Not all games should have it. It might be the case of like linearity, but again, it'd be well. That's the point. Crash isn't about choice. It's about getting to the end of the level. Yeah. Um. I'll pass off. Gun question. I'm planning to get my. <sighs> Is there any suggestions for an economical sidearm, primarily for personal defense purposes? Economical. Um, I hear the high points are actually kind of good and worth it for the price point. Um, I got my Radom P64 for pretty cheap. It's not pleasant to shoot, but it's it's nice and slim. It makes a good carry pistol for that purpose. Um, um, you can probably look up some YouTube videos that have a lot of recommendations as well, but those are the two that come to mind. Um... Because my carry is a Glock 26. Let me see how much those are these days. And that's a 9mm. <clears throat> I think it's really good for a carry gun. It shoots really nice for a gun its size. Uh, Glock 26, Glock 26. When I got it, it was 500, and it's still basically that, yeah. So that's what I use. You know, you do you. Um, and I really enjoy it. I like it a lot. Uh, I would that would be my recommendation. But if you're looking for economical, then uh, uh, high points are the pistol herb. Check. And the the C9. I've heard they're you know they're cheap, and for the price they're good. Yeah, Desert Eagle, they can shoot through anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those are big, though. Dude, this. You can put like a Deagle in your pocket, Rags. Just shove it right in there. Let's see. This one's 160. That one's 250. This one's 170. Yeah, they're really <laughs> cheap. If it's, it's just, if you just need something cheap, that'll. I, I heard they're pretty good considering the price point. And the. Right, um, P64. Those are... I think I got mine from Classic Firearms. Let me check. They're, they're basically their old 70s, 80s, um, uh, refurbished uh, police sidearms from Poland. Or, like, Eastern Europe. Someplace around there. Uh, so... Uh, let's see. Yeah. Why is Mola wearing a dress? Wow. Wow is all I have to say. Introducing Logarius. I'll do him. I'm gonna skip Amygdala. Amygdala sucks. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go to the last horses. Definitely. Yeah, it's like 350. I'm glad I got mine when I did, because I got mine for like 
cheap, but it's because they they basically got a bunch that were imported and classic firearms were selling off a bunch of them. And they'll they'll be like the price will be like flat, like like a two hundred or whatever price, or you Whoa. could pay a little bit extra and they pick like the best one of the group and they give it to you. But you that you know maybe we can do this. Do they stop grouping? Holy shit, that's so annoying. Oh, daddy would die with one hit. Bastard. Keep a good block is around 5 to get it. Yeah, that's just what they sell for, and I would highly recommend it. You could, could now, the Glock 26 is the smaller, specific, like the subcompact one. If you want to get a normal. A, um, Whoa, why did you not like do the seven, thing? You can steal that. You can still carry a Glock 17, sure. Oh. Or a Glock Sometimes I do, so... Get a Glock... Yeah, get a Glock 17, you could conceal that. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're angry, I get it. Ugh! It doesn't take no fun answer. Build. Yeah, no, 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 don't kill me, that would be racist. Opinion on the MP5, I've never shot one. I hear that they're kind of like the gold standard for submachine guns, though. I would love to shoot one, but. Come on, one of you. Don't group up so much. Oh, you fucks! I'm not sure if you guys saw my super chat in the latest EFAP stream. We will. We will. Next year. Uh, but, um, uh, I have a tweet of Fat Jumbo, <clears throat> I guess it's Jarbo, of denying he false flagged people, saying it's a mm. false If you want to, if you want to DM me, DM me that on Discord, I'd love to take a look at it, because that sounds just crazy enough to laugh at. <clears throat> uh, just... That's Why? how I would say. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? <laughs> Big fan of these snake enemies. Gotta say, I do yeah, like they how suck. they, they stun lock you by oh. hitting you. Final hit on Logarius with a fucking parry. Get dabbed on. Jesus, dabbing. <laughs> Look at that dab. That is the perfect dab. There is a <laughs> sword in my throat. <laughs> oh no, that sounds dangerous. <clears throat> dabbing on Logarius. You, you have a sword in you. Mm hmm. Oh, it's gone. Oh. It's one of those kinds of swords, you know. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, that, stop yeah. stun locking me! Keep stun locking him. No. You know, for something that's supposed to save your life, I wouldn't cheap out and buy a YC9 or something to save it more money and get something reliable. I agree. I, I agree with that. But the question was asked for. Yeah, be living failures. This was so much fun. Good job, oh, man. The gate doesn't open from this side, so I'm. Okay. So now do Marie. Yeah. I have to get blood vials first, but yes. I the crown of illusions. What does the crown of. What does this whole sequence even do, guys? I don't remember. Let's do this. Um. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, do I have enough chunks to upgrade my weapon one last time? Go on the mate, if you're not gonna give me stuff, I'm just gonna kill you. You've been warned. I'm missing three chunks. Fuck that. You were warned. Here comes a Molotov Corktoral. Oh my god. Molotov Cocktail! Oh, that. <laughs> See, now that's distracting. I throw a Molotov at her and she says, How sad this is. <laughs> yeah, she's basically <laughs> invincible. You can you could kill her with like something There's that no just risk. starts floating in the middle of the room. Deposing? Really, really weird. Day, no, no, she's just lying on the floor. But in the air. Kneel? You know what I mean. How do I, how do I kneel? Is that one of my moves? 
people have asked uh, me two questions about Andromeda. So I only played like the first hour. I played the Eden Prime wannabe mission, and I just did not care about anything at all. And I never played it again after that. Like, uh, it, it was, ugh, what I didn't enjoy it. It ran like shit. I just didn't like it. Like, didn't like any of it. Uh, even in Fringy, you gonna finish the game? Probably not. <laughs> oh, there is a Neil prompt. Um, we're going to Mall of Finishes. Well, I might not even make it to there, like I said. I, I should, I should be long. done with this in about 20 minutes now. Oh, alright. Yeah, I'm happy to stick around for that then. Um, and then I gotta work on my book whenever that's ETA never <laughs> at this rate. Nom, 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 nom. What does drinking foul blood do? Anyone? <laughs> cool. The Foul things blood? And stuff. It gives you AIDS! No, not AIDS. Super AIDS? Or normal AIDS? Oh man, I don't have any blood <coughs> drags. Saws. Well, admittedly, now I'm interested in exploring this Egyptian mythology thing. I think that might be an interesting <coughs> project to go down. Heal near so death I'm plus one. What gun experience Mahler has IRL? Zero. Uh, well, other than um, uh, I used my dad's air rifle a couple of times. That was fun. That's nifty. Oh my god, I backstabbed the pig in the butt. Ew. Sentences that you hear on EFAP. <laughs> I backstabbed mm. the pig. Skipping yeah. Lawrence. Oh, I gotta do Lawrence as well. Alright. Alright. Nah, come on. Come on. I'm, I'm tired. Alright, All right. yeah, actually, that's a good point. Why the fuck? Lawrence is just Cleric Beast on AIDS, so there's no, no need. I'll just play the two cool bosses, alright? Like, oh, am I up to a boss? I see some fog up here. <gasps> Don't oh, breathe when you have saliva. Yaman. The Shadow of Yaman, <laughs> should I be concerned? Yarnum, yeah, not Yaman. The fuck? You've ruined the whole game. I, I said Yarnum. What are you talking about? No, Yumbo. <laughs> you ruined the whole game. Oh, Yumbo. the Shadow of Yumbo. Alright. So there's it's three enemies. Bar. One of... Should I be... Is this is this gonna be not fun? Uh, I mean, I liked him. I don't think Mel liked him. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, I never no. liked those bosses, no. Fuck those. Oh my god, I can't even get close to them. They just keep... It's like I'm Abyss going... Watches, but not as fun. I'm going to battle them naked. To prove... to, to assert dominance. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I will keep posed on their corpses as a warning to the rest. Oh, that was not a part of the thing. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep posed as a warning right. to the Have rest. Have you seen Stargate SG-1? No. Uh, I hear good things. The only Stargate that I've seen is the movie. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. All right. Now that's an audio oh. clip. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> If I were to play Mass Effect, should I be male Shep or Fem Shep? Fem Shep. Uh... I got poked in the butt by her. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, they're this. both, they're both mm. close enough. They're both good. Uh, I've played as both. I don't know if I, I don't know if I honestly have a preference. Probably Fem Shep because I can <clears throat> romance Garrus? I wish I'd let me romance Rex, though. Um, do I need to do I wanna anything? Be, I, I want to be his queen. I want to be Rex's queen back on uh, Tachanka. Do I have to do anything with the umbilical cords other than have them? Uh, don't remember. Do we have to consume them? Chat, Maybe. do I need to I eat the umbilical cords? This is a normal thing <laughs> to do in a video game. That's a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, all the chat is saying eat them. <laughs> Here oh, I go. Tally's, yeah, but you could romance Tali as a male, so that's very true too. Yeah, so, some Tally, yeah, it's, you know. it's legit. It is up to you. There's no wrong choice here. Weapon at risk? Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> I never got that the entire game. Yeah, I'm surprised. I don't know why this happened. I haven't updated, upgraded in a while, I guess. Rags' horniness is off the charts today. Oh, you have no fuck. Off the charts today? What the fuck? Today? Yeah, this is hey, nothing. This, this is this nothing. Is. I am... I'm, like... I'm in eunuch mode right now. This ain't German, nothing. I've come to bargain. You've come to suffer. Okay. Yumbo. 
Oh, what? You've come to die, that's what it was. You've come that to come. Registered. I've come to come. <laughs> wow, what a start to the fight. Wow, I didn't get to parry. That's racism. I've been raped by Maria. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, oh. oh my god. Sire! Yeah. Okay, I don't know what's happening good. anymore. I don't like being naked. I, I I shouldn't have done this. Oh, I'm out of bulletos. Okay, kill the fireball guy first and then get rid of the sword guy before phase three. Oh, is there a third phase to this? Awesome. Sire. Yeah. Oh no. Ow. Hmm, I feel if my guy aimed better with that gunshot, I'd be okay. Maybe. Oh, my, my damn echoes. Why is there a guy with a katana? This is meant to be London. In, I don't know. He got it from the colonies. <laughs> yeah, what, what the, the Japanese colonies of the, the United right. Kingdom. Yes. Uh, Ooh, the Jack and Dax series. Dude. Well, I mean, I'm a, I'm quite a fan of. <clears throat> I, I'm not, I'm not super into the first game, but Jack two and three, um, I do like those a lot. They're not, I don't view them as favorably. Like Ratchet and Clank was really my jam, but um, I, I do like Jack and Dax. So that was a simpler time um, when games actually had good writing and good gameplay at the same time, usually just one or the other. <laughs> It was back when gamey games were around, you know? The games were having fun and cool, making cool. jokes. I just have to pound my fucking weapon now. God damn it. Um, admittedly, Jack does not have... Jack has Wait. great dialogue writing, but it doesn't have awesome, like, plot writing, where was... I think um, Sly Cooper was probably crook. And, like, Ratchet and Clank is super satirical in a way that I really like. Um... Whereas mm. I oh 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 god now they've got snakes on their heads so it's going to be even worse. Mm. Um, I, I think eighteen uh, percent of players played Femship in Mass Effect Three. Really? Yeah. Oh, actually, that no, that you know what? That doesn't surprise me actually. Now that I think about it. Uh, and yes, there are bi, uh, bi and gay romances. I just forget the specifics of each. It's been a while. I think, um, I think the, no. the the guy that we were talking about, the Mexican dude in Mass Effect 3, I think he was gay. I think. All right, so, um, let's see. Paragon versus Renegade. 64.5% of people chose Paragon. Yeah, that doesn't I, surprise me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, wow. Um, okay, so... Let's go do some of these. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh 8% of players did not hear the genophage. Wait, because how many stories did you do? 8%. Oh, yeah, because if you didn't, like, you kind of... Like, oh my yeah, god. Like Imagine making yeah. that choice. Like, I'm sorry, that is the oh. incorrect choice. I didn't think that would do that much damage. <laughs> I should have figured that. Um, I wasn't a very good attempt, and I still did alright. So I don't think it was going to be too much trouble. No, I forgot Edie. Famous forgot last words. Yeah, Edie, Edie is yeah. also a, a character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not even greed. I just didn't even know. I, I figured I'd survive whatever it is he was doing. I don't. I didn't know what he was doing. I thought maybe he might summon something. Go ahead, I thought you were done. Oh, just like, it, he did a move that is like a charge up, and it could really be anything. Like, for it, it kind of made me think of the living failures, and I kind of thought when it looked at the moon that it was going to send like a missile toward me or something. <laughs> but, uh, not quite. It's terrible. Uh, let's what? see. Um, oh, that 64% was. of players did not get to meet Rex in the ME3 campaign. How was that? Oh, well, I guess depending on how many... No, how is... What? No. How is that possible? I don't know, but most people didn't even meet Rex. So that would mean that most people didn't save Rex in, in Mass Effect 1, really? 
So part of me can believe that because, like, but, but you have to put like points in Paragon. Yeah. It's yeah, it's 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 based on Paragon. Smaller, always rank up Paragon on your playthroughs, please. Yes, because getting oh. getting enough Renegade to do things is always easier than getting enough Paragon to do the thing that gets you the outcome. Oh, well, no parry attack on the in. Yes. So oh as far God. as classes go, uh, my ass. 43.7% of people played Soldier, yeah, which is... That surprise me. Yeah, that's because it's just, they just make choice. it too good. Um, I had the most fun as an adept, but only 8.1% of people used it. I can't remember what I... I think my first playthrough I did Soldier, but then after that I picked something a little more interesting. Yeah, I did I did adept. Um, I had no... I did, like, no guns with me, like, the lightest pistol I could carry. Uh, and that was right. it. And I just was able to... Because in Mass Effect 3, the less guns you carry, the faster your recharge rate is on your skills. Um, so, you could make, like, you could get insane if you're an adept, which is all biotics, and you could just fucking be flinging powers all through combat. It's really fun. 58% um, of players let Garrus win the shootout on the Citadel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't surprise me. I did. What? Oh, what okay. What? What? Hold on. Three point eight percent of players shot Morden. I am making loads of mistakes <laughs> like, right now. That is unbelievable. Uh, Three point eight is still too high. Yeah, it's like who the fuck does that? They must have hit the wrong button. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god. Right, you don't need Paragon to save Rex if you do his quest. This is in Mass Effect 1. Uh, Mass Effect 1. If you have personal mission and get his family armor, which I bet a lot of people did, did absolutely do. not do. Evidently, if 64% of people, it means that a large number of people got Garrus, uh, got Rex killed, clearly. Yeah. Um, what are you looking at, by the way? It's just some link I found with some statistics Bioware released about Mass Effect 3. Good job for me. Thanks, guys. Second try, not too bad. Ooh. Right, the reason no one met Rex was because he was default dead in Mass Effect 2, which is weird that would be the default. Yeah, that is weird. And that was the game that <laughs> made the What even was popular. that? I don't know about that one. I'm starting to wonder how much. Why would you make him default, default dead? Such? Why the hell would you make him default dead? That is bizarre. Like, wouldn't it be better to have more characters than less? God damn. You think? I don't know. That's weird. Shit. Does that mean that they expect Rex to die as the default? Yeah, because I think the default obviously <clears throat> was uh, if you're male, then it's um, then Ashley, but female it was Caden. I think that's the default as well. Keeping him alive is difficult. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know why they do it like that anyway. Yeah, but if you didn't have to do it at all, then its difficulty doesn't matter. You know? Yeah, I guess it would be that the whichever. So there's like a mosquito thing. This level. Oh, so Bloodborne! Why'd you give an enemy such a fast move when you can't handle showing it? <laughs> and all right. Oh, Marius. Rage is insane. Now I'm in Bergwent. Bergwentworth. Bergwentworth. If Rat and Rags, if Rex is dead, then you deal with Reeve in the next. That season, was half my yeah, health. I don't even know who that is. So Reeve is, is uh, the replacement, and he's not. The, so the big difference between him and, and Rex is that if you do the, make the wrong decision with the Genophage, Rex will find out and, um, and and come to get you. Whereas As he should. Whereas Reeve is too stupid to notice, so he won't. So so basically, yeah, I don't even know who Reeve is. If you have Reeve, it means that you will always have the Krogans uh, as part of your fleet. Oh, blood foils again. 
Not but again, really. I, can't, oh. I can't fathom making the wrong choice in that, in that section. He said that the word Shepard would need a hero. What How could you let him down? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's some... The word like Shepard yeah. will mean hero. Now let's show them why. It's like, who oh, gets me in the field. By the way, Rex's armor was moving. Uh, spamming dodge. Oh, no, like, yeah, the Croak armor was always just. Four cool. attacks in a row locked me in. Like, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to not get attacked in the first place. It's, yeah, and that's a great thing to tell players, isn't it? <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, cut out all the bullshit, just insta kill me with the first attack, why don't you? <laughs> you might as well. Yeah, but remember, if you don't insta kill with the first attack, then it's easier to say it was your fault. Yeah, because <laughs> it looks like you just keep taking attacks and you're like, that's not. I didn't give permission. I think this is the furthest I got uh, in my last playthrough, actually. No, wait, no, I got further than this. I think I beat the spider boss. Whichever one that is. Oof. Oh fuck, I'm out of fire paper. That's not good. Oh, what the... What the... There's a guy spraying me with a fire thing. <laughs> oh, it's a hunter. Alright, I've only got one. Yeah, alright. Oh, you should fight them. They're always really good. Huh? The hunter fights are always really good. You should totally do it. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Why can't I just... Mag, did you spare the Rachni Queen? Yes, I did. I did too. The payoff for that was a uh, email. Hit dodge. Oh, right. No, she has. Wow, she just. Did you beat the game yet? What are our favorite races in Mass Effect? I. See, my, my Garrus bias is showing because I think the Torians are cool, but I think the Quarians. Yeah, I don't know anything about cool. their, like, their culture and stuff. Compared to like the Quarians, where you get one more deep dive. Um, the Asari yeah. aren't that interesting to me. They're a little yeah, too, they're um, they're very yeah. Too cool. I really like the Krogan actually more than I think. I do too. It. Yeah, they. I I really like the Krogan. I like. Uh, they got this yeah. warrior culture, and it's it's a, it's a culture on the decline. <clears throat> um, now I'm just kind of sitting here watching. Uh, Mola try and beat this guy. Yeah, this is one of the better fights in the game for sure. Stage 2, I guess. Alright. Should be able to get the last three chunks in the nightmare, right? Which also means I have to do uh, <laughs> those fucking frenzy fuckers. And w when you fight a boss like this, and they start sitting there and sort of stretching, is that are you supposed to just know that that means they're going to do an AOE attack? Or well, what? the way to play it, if this is your first time, is back away from them, watch what they do, and right, if it's a big circle around do. them, you can safely <laughs> assume it's a damaging circle. <laughs> It's just every time they sort of stretch out a bit, it's like, oh, they're gonna do some AOE thing. Oh. See, so there's like a queue of moves. I went to attack, like, when he was coming down, but he flattened me first, and then it, like, registers yes, that I as noticed. an attack that it wants me to do once I get back up, and I'm like, I don't want to get back up and attack accept him. Accept your death, bro. Accept yeah. your death, alright? I'm some, like, spanning circle, and it's like, nah, the attack's gotta come first. It's like, but it's gonna kill me. It's like, ah, oh, well. <laughs> it's like, oh. Well, that's the game. It's like, 
key code Q. Uh, 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 uh. Input Q, I guess what you'd call it. <laughs> Someone said the Asari are super cool if you think of them as evil parasites mind alternating uh mind alternating bent on universal domination. <clears throat> I just don't think that they're eh. I think I think it's just another in instance of they're a little too like almost good. They're too good. Yeah. Yeah, they live for fucking ever. They're uh, like they're just uh, they're all attractive women and they uh, yeah. they're all you know <clears throat> loving peace and stuff. It wasn't and they're fun all telling about one anyway. As opposed to like a warrior clan that's been um, oppressed by uh, an illness because they were too powerful, um, or or a race that did that and believes that they were justified in doing so and are very scientifically minded. Yeah, um, but they have really short lifespans. They only live to be like 30-something years, so yeah. they, their culture reflects that and the way that exactly. they like, decide, you know, breeding stuff and, and contracts yeah. and... Yeah. Quarians, a super non-adaptable race. Oh, Francis, they got me. That's created cool. their own undoing and have had to flee their home because of a race that they <clears throat> created and subjugated. Living in flotillas in space. This sucks as well. Sometimes the camera gives up on focus. Um, if things move around you too fast or just too far away, it can really fuck you up sometimes. Right. Jelabrio thinks for the Risu. Good morning. Good morning indeed. Sorry, you're just space elves. Yeah, they kind of give that okay. vibe where they're just better than you. And they live a really long time and yeah. everybody loves them. <clears throat> they're just the best and you're like, eh, you didn't have to. Meanwhile, that. you know, when you think about the, the, the dwarves, or, well, <laughs> you know. Like, More uh, they intentionally make the lock-on break if they dash past you. Yes. Cool. <laughs> that, that that is that is what I highlighted. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I thought this was oh, great one's wisdom. How much does a great one's wisdom give? It's five. I think it does. Motherfucker! I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Doesn't he do the anime screams when he jumps at you? Yeah, a little bit. <gasps> <laughs> I remember watching uh, a cutscene from that Final Fantasy VII remake. The amount of anime grunts in that thing is unreal. I don't know how people can play that game without wanting to pour their eyes out, their, their ears off, rather. That game looks very nice, but like, all the anime grunts. What? Why is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's all it is! I don't get it! People don't do this! In real life. I do all the time. Imagine having to sit in a recording booth that's like, so what's my direction? Just go like... Gah, gah. Like, that's just do that over and over again. Huh? 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 Another thing that makes anime terrible. <laughs> like, to me, it's so grating that it often actually makes it very difficult to consume that content. Yeah. Death Note has some good anime grunts, though. Damn, I got weapon at risk. I shouldn't have said that I'd never gotten it. <laughs> That's what my, yeah. my fuck up was. You have Jinxenheimers yourselves. Where do I get more Flumpy Dangus Chunky boys? I need a couple of more chunks so I can update my chisms to fully Flormans. That is a real sentence I just said. I you can appreciate oh, that. Oh, you're not let me go, game? Come on, go let me go. <laughs> Normies can't handle grunts. Okay, I'm a normie then. I can't handle grunts. Yep. Wow. You got me. I think you confirmed normie. What is this uh, disgusting bullshit with this stupid gun? Stop spamming it. <laughs> that last attack had tagged him, it would have been fucking caught in that whirlwind of attacks. 
like an inch away. Wow, it fell over because of his gun. Or the statue. Hard to know for sure. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I do find it interesting that um, when I think about the anime that I like, basically all of them are the, the ones that I like are the ones that don't do the things the anime does, or at least do it to a minimal level, or makes fun of it. Like again, the fact that Death Note has really over the top like sequences for people writing things down in the book. <laughs> like I just find that really funny. These quick zooms. Man, his face too. Damage is so intense. I don't know if like does it make a huge difference not having clothes in this game? I can't remember. Mel, you might don't know think that. So. I didn't think why it did. Why are you doing it without? Why Why are you doing <clears> it that way? Well, mainly because I didn't think it mattered that much. I was wearing the doll outfit earlier, I don't think that gives you anything, does it? Not a lot, no, I don't think so. Oh, piss off, you cuck. Because I know it matters in Dark Souls quite a bit, but I don't think it matters in this that much. Mm-hmm. Because this second phase is really hard to get through. Just like, from a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for there? Attrition. That's the one I was looking for. I don't think I can survive long enough in phase two to beat him. Yeah, there's the anime screams I can hear and I just briefly turned it on. <laughs> oh, I should have fucking repaired my weapon too. Whoops. Probably, yeah. I really should move away from him when he does that move. I always get tempted to move towards him. It's like an instinct of, ah, they're up there weaker now. <laughs> Except ah, your death, alright? He's standing Except there defenseless. I should hit him with my sword thingy. No, Ooh. you... <laughs> More Barry, I'm Wait, out of bullets. I lost all my bullets. <laughs> Let's see if we can sell... The real Bloodborne is the picks we fisted along the way. Yeah, that makes sense. I would say so. <laughs> Have I got anything I can sell? Oh, let's sell these, fuck it. We'll even buy clothes. And ammo. I feel like these are all good choices to make. <coughs> Rita Plast. I've just sold that too. Alright. What is the best armor out of these? These are probably ones I sold, right? What are the Kanehurst ones? Oh, I can't afford them. Bum 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 Let's just get the right, basic thoughts on, set. Thoughts on the extended cut? I mean, it, it's better, but still, it's not... It doesn't change the fact that there are only three choices. Well, it adds the fourth one where you say, nah, no, and then you lose. <laughs> like, so that's, that's nice. So, so that's what I mean. That's still the problem. You can't win on any on terms which aren't the uh, which aren't those of uh, the, the Reapers. Their terms are the only terms, really. Because it's either that or die, which is not. Yeah. Die. Die. It gives you more, it gives you more information, but it, it is the problem of like the fact that the mass relays blow up. Like that's it. It's game over. Like yeah, those you're stuck in your solar or, system. That's it. Yeah. And you've got this entire fleet stuck on Earth, which has no resources. Like, that's that's it's it's all going to go so wrong. Yeah, the the Citadel going to diff all these galaxies and exploring exploring <laughs> the galaxy, going to all these cool places, all the Citadel stuff, all of you know, like they're just Bilge. no, none of that ever. It's ever gone again. forever. Yeah. It's gone forever. And the problem is, the game's like, oh, they'll rebuild them. It's like, but they they were made by the the Protheans, so how can you rebuild them? They weren't made 
Like you don't have. Yeah, we don't know how to do that, or we would have already done it. Yeah. So yeah, like it's shit. It's really shit. It's super depressing. <laughs> It's like, imagine it like in Star Wars, the planet you're on, you have to stay there now. <clears throat> yeah. Well, Wouldn't again, be it would be like if, uh, I mean, especially in a, in a galaxy that has long standing been an intergalactic community with the resources it would need to sustain that community. It would be like if there was a war and then you got trapped in the town that you live in. Um, yeah, and you could never leave. And you never, could never leave, yeah. Never leave. Never see your family again, wherever they live. Um, yeah, could never see the rest of your people again. Like, imagine current, like you cured the genophage just for that to happen. Yeah. Hmm. It's like we still, we still got like a lot of problems on this planet. We really do not have the resources to make this work. So yeah, there is that. But then yeah, the extended cuts like, nah, it's not a problem. It's like, oh, it is though. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, if you just it pulled is. the trigger, buddy. Huh? And the gun. I pulled the gun out. You just didn't pull the trigger before it was too late. Oh. Ugh. That's a goddamn shame. Oh, this hunter has the, the Mikalash uh, power of shooting tentacles out of his hand. <laughs> Someone said, to be fair, planets are huge. So, like, that's one thing to say if you're a human on a, 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 a ravaged Earth. At least it's Earth, the human planet. But what if you're yeah, part of that big-ass fleet? Yeah. yeah, you're never, ever going to see, like, your home planet and your home culture and all of your people and your family again. You're just gone. And, and that's yeah. it. Like, oh! I hope you said your goodbyes, because you'll never see him again. You're stuck here with all these aliens. And... The hunter was one hit away. He was one hit away. But technically, they aren't stuck there. It would just take months or years to get back to a friendly system. Dude, I don't think years is a long that. time, and I don't think they could, because again, yeah, that I... technology was made by the Prometheans, uh, the Protheans. Yeah, I think it's the mass relays that make it possible. Like, it relies on the mass relays, as far as I remember. Well, somebody's saying in chat that apparently you can still travel FTL. It's like, yeah, you could, but, like, how fast? Because it seems like the mass relays are essential to, like, to traveling these distances. Yeah, to and make again, it viable. Yeah. Like, if you, yeah, because, like, again, Beetlejuice, 600 years away if you're traveling at the speed of light. Yeah, so how much faster than light are you If you're traveling you six times the speed of light, that's 100 years. Yeah. That's the problem, is like, even if the speed is fast, the distance is still substantial. There's no if you're, Yeah, if you have a system, it, like if you have a sci-fi world, just say it's like you open up portals, or you open up rifts in the space-time continuum, or some bullshit like that. Well, it's what, you know, slip space is basically, it's like, oh, you're kind of... And, you know, hyperspace as well. It's like, oh, this is kind of like not. You're not really. Yes, in this kill reality. them. Kill them, pig. Kill them. This is it. So it said also the. Um, there's some auto correct here. The Turians and the Quarians, I'm guessing they can't eat human food. Yes, of course that's they can't. They're not, they're not human beings. Yeah. That's, that's the important thing. Man, I am bad at second phase. This is being really depressing. Yeah, because the ending of Mass Effect 3 is super depressing. Like, yeah. Yeah, like I felt sick after I first finished the game. Like, I, I was already worked up to that point with how shitty, like, the final choices and stuff are, and how they just do an exposition dump out of fucking nowhere right before your final choice, and then that's how the resolution is, and you're like, oh, yeah, I feel like shit. Thanks, game. I never thought I'd be an aspect to do that. I think, um, I remember that, because I played that game for, like, the whole day, and it was about 3 a.m. when I finished, and I was pretty <clears> excited. <throat> have you seen a trailer for a new film, Shadow on the Clouds? Wow. Yeah, just, I have. Wow. What, what is it? I don't know. I didn't it's not like a movie? movie? It seems to be a movie where it's, like, there's, it's, like, World War II pilots, but there are gremlins on the plane. Uh, and, like... Okay. And, and, like, <laughs> And, and what I remember from the trailer was there's a shot where she falls out of the plane 
and then a plane oh, explodes underneath her as she's falling and shoots her back into the plane that she fell out of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um... That sounds oh, amazing. In that case, I kind of want to see it. Yeah, yeah same. Really <laughs> but in a funny way. Alright, now it's fully upgraded. Finally. What? Uh, oh, jeez. Spooky with his little gun there. Arcane. I gotta get Arcane dumb. That's shit. <clears throat> That's a Pope one. I don't want that. Uh, that was a fart noise. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, that's like my energy levels right now. <laughs> yeah, in about now I'm gonna start watching wrestling live, so... I'm gonna start yeah. watching the back of my eyelids. <laughs> well, that's what I would do, but I have to I have to work on Tuesday again, so basically tomorrow. So I'm just gonna reset my sleep schedule, hopefully. Better fucking work if I do an all-nighter for that. This, this, this time, I'm not going to do Mikolash, am I? When I find Mikolash is big old this, Garbenheimer. This AOE attack is really, in, in this hunter is annoying me. And it's not the boss for it. Oh god, that's terrifying whenever he does that. <laughs> I'm not able to hit him, all I'm doing is losing health. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh, is that, is I'm that... pretty fond of my health. How'd you move so far? Oh, get out of here. Yep, see you later, buddy. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. I have no so more health. Like, how would you fix the Mass Effect 3 ending? Just have it be like, you don't have to have anything fancy or amazing. Just be like, you defeat the Reapers. The cycle has ended. Like, you are the ones to end the cycle of constant gal galactic extinction. Oh, you are whoops, kidding I me! I, uh... Oh, no. Not uh -oh, quite, I... but it may as well be. Uh -oh, I, if he shoots uh, his gun, I'm summon... dead. Oh, I, uh... oh, shit. I don't even know what happened there. I, uh, I summoned an old hunter. Um, but I... I wasn't supposed to, right? I think oh, that was a mistake. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Oh. No, that's uh, fucking <laughs> That's the best! <laughs> Did you- Oh, look, you beat it by like one thing. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm on. I don't know if I'm- That's- Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's the end! You win! I just like the amount of shots it still took. How many like, shots did I have left there as well? Uh, six, maybe? You, you probably shot like ten times there. I can't even dab. No, Moon Presence just starts, but you don't have to beat German again. Yeah, it means he's done now. Oh wait. Oh yeah, I don't fight it, do I? I just get eaten? I can't uh, remember what happens anymore. You can do both. You can do both. Oh, I guess I didn't get eaten. Sweet. Wait, how do I choose between those? I don't remember. I can't believe I, I just did that. That's probably the weirdest win. And I, I yeah, he lowered funny. me to like one HP. Also, there's no fucking way I'm fighting you, Moon Presence, and your reset. <laughs> you died, yeah, no shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he just stood there. It's like, yeah, just hit me. Come on. Come just on, kill it. me, do it. <laughs> Come on. What? What are you waiting for? Come on, do it. Oh, what the? Ah. Zero mm -hmm. bullets, Wait, did I kill him with my last bullet? There's no fucking way I killed him with my last. Please, someone check that. That's too unreal. 
I wouldn't believe it in a million years, though I'd like to. You know what? I'll do it for you. Like, seriously, <laughs> that's the most intense Bloodborne win I've ever had in my entire life, if that's true. And in his entire life. I mean, well, one, look at the. Two, what are the odds, Friggy? Three, look at it. Four, five, six, seven. Can you be counting down? <laughs> okay, so I think you 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 have zero bullets at the end, but I think you shot one more time than you needed to. Oh, okay. Still pretty clutch, but yeah, you had zero zero up there. <laughs> oh, apparently, I'm very <clears throat> lucky because there was an enemy trying to grab me and it kept missing. Jesus Christ! Like, I... I don't remember this boss. At all. So I can't go to sleep. Wait. What you telling me? Oh, my visceral attack damage didn't even go up when I upgraded my weapon. So that's that's fun. I remember when I first fought there, I had a weapon that did like a shit ton of visceral oh, damage. Oh, 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 what the? Belchenheim. No. I don't feel like my weapon is dealing more damage. <laughs> I've upgraded it twice. I'm confused. What the hell just happened to me? Okay. Got me up. What are you doing? Guys, I'm scared. Am I dying? Oh, that amount of blood is probably not good for me. Um, jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Pretty sure you kind of need that in your body. I'm not an expert on blood or anything, but you know. What are you, a doctor? Just taking an edu educated guess here. Uneducated, I should say. Dude, that move is not good for the moon presence. It just benefits me, really. That move in particular, anyway. I'm not saying I'm winning, guys. Shut up. <clears throat> Fire, please. That was a stabby move. Uh -oh. oh god, am I gonna die? Ah! What did it do? Is it cooling down? What's happening? <laughs> oh, that's that's what it did, right? Fuck. Uh... Man, I missed my curve hammer. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, get fucked. That was way easier than I yeah. thought it might have been. Trying to drown me in blood, bitch. Nightmare <laughs> slime. We did it. Oh, boy. So I only beat five bosses. <laughs> So, I didn't beat Amygdala, so... You got me there. He won, how does it make you feel? I know, knew he's gonna win, like, I don't know, how many hours? Like, seven hours ago? <laughs> yeah, I think we all knew that was, yeah, it was, uh... When there was, like, no sign of him having, like, any trouble with the boss, I was like, yeah, this is over. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, Maria's just raping me. <laughs> now Maul is a slug, so that's the end of that escapade. It's oh. a metaphor, Fringle. But I also kind of stopped trying because I'm kind of... I so did I. I, uh, yeah, same here. You the Taku Miyazaki. You the slug? Yeah, that is the yes. fate. That is the ending I got. Oh, well, that was a lot that's of fun. Dumb. It was. Right, you don't get the meaning behind it. <clears throat> what? It's this meaning. Just gonna, yeah. just gonna put it out there. Ca the Capra race we did back in the day was more of a race. <laughs> well, this was a race for a bit. <laughs> it was a race yeah. element for a moment. Also, God, the game is so loud. <laughs> Can I pause? <laughs> okay. So, um, like I said, EFAP 103 Super Chats have finally been caught up with. That's what they will be labeled as these release on Moolah. Uh, though we've got today's Super Chats as well as the test stream ones, Rags and I got a lot to catch up on. We will 
I'm cataloging them all, including Streamlabs. It's going to happen. Um, I don't know that there will be an EFAP on uh, Saturday, like a live one. I'm going to release uh, the part two of the Wonder Woman one like on Wednesday, I guess. And then a uh, meme fab oh, will be boy. Saturday, finally. And we might even record another EFAP, oh, meme fab, or whatever. Because we need to. So, yeah. That's illegal. That's about it, actually. Uh, you're, are you still streaming, Mel, or are you going to go offline? I mean, I'll probably tr try, like, one more time or something. All right, well, then, let me, uh, I'll shoot some of people your way. Uh, tr tr yeah, Mel, you should just tell them until you beat oh. Maria. That's a good boss fight. I mean, I have, like, one more hour until the wrestling starts. I am, <laughs> there you go. I am, like, I am, uh, beat. I'm I am also tired. beaten. Though I had a lot of fun. Um, Bloodborne's awesome, I had, but I had there's an lot. asterisk next yeah. to the awesome. It's a complicated um, game in terms of quality. Hell, there's a lot to like about it, though. I might just clip yeah. that fucking German fight and just... It's so... That that ending is insane. I don't... You can't see the health I have. And I got this parry on him that put us in the exact same position. That was That's some intense gaming. I had a... That was a full-on gamer moment. Anyone who disagrees is wrong. Um, All right, well, you can't yeah. say the game over. Uh, thanks, thanks everybody. On yeah, all it was fun. Next I'm time we race, for a little bit. next time we <laughs> race Dark Souls there. too, right, guys? Oh my oh. god, that's, <laughs> no, that's like seven. That's like around seven thousand follows away. So that's fine. Uh, thank y'all for hanging out. Like I said, we will catch up. I can't believe that was fucking nine hour stream. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I'd get to keep my gamer card, that is true. Uh so, and yeah, go go um we'll, we'll we'll I'm gonna hang out in this chat for a bit <clears throat> while I do things. I mean the Discord call. I I will not be. I am I am i I'm out. <laughs> um So uh, yeah. People in chat, if you wanna listen to the end of the conversation where uh we talk all about that thing we can't talk about on YouTube. Then um, mm, pop over to Amanda. Metal's channel. Oh, and, um, ow! She shot me. Holy shit! Two hundred thirty thousand souls. Ow! Is that German and Moon presence put together or something? Yeah. Award for binning the game. Sweet. Beat, they yeah. beat the game. Um. Thanks but yeah. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks indeed. Thank. See you over on Metal's channel. Probably maybe. Bye 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 bye. Bye bye bye. Hmm hmm hmm.